Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 601 My strength has grown. Zheng Mu was ecstatic. I am now at the sixth level of qi refining. After the brief excitement, Zheng Mu frowned. After all, this is an imperial mausoleum, and everything is dangerous. If you are not careful, you will die. Looks like we need to hurry up and get out of here. Zheng Mu made up his mind and prepared to move forward. Although there are many crises here, fortunately there is no black fog, so it has little impact on him. Hey, this is. At this moment, Zheng Mu noticed a skeleton placed in the center of the altar. The skeleton is wearing a dragon robe and holding a spear, looking extremely majestic. Moreover, the skeleton is lifelike, like a real dragon skeleton. Next to the skeleton, there is a fist-sized, shining silver bead. This should be the dragon ball. Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes and recognized the bead instantly. According to legend, when an emperor died in ancient times, or encountered special circumstances, his body would not rot after death, and his soul would condense into something like beads. Such a treasure is of infinite value. Zheng Mu took it away without ceremony, put it in his arms, and left quickly. At the same time. On the other side, a man in Tsing Yi hurriedly broke into the imperial mausoleum. He is tall and burly, carrying a three-meter-long bow on his back, with a scimitar on his waist, and he has a formidable aura. He headed north all the way to the core area of the Happy Emperor's tomb. This is the deepest part of the palace, usually only used by the royal family. Today, for the first time, we welcomed several uninvited guests. This group of people have extraordinary temperaments and are all martial arts masters. Mr. Zhuga, is what you said true? Everyone gathered around the young man in the center and asked, what do we need to do to get this opportunity? There are eight of them in total, five of them are wearing golden armor and are royal guards with extraordinary strength. The remaining two people were ordinary people, one old and one young, both wearing casual clothes. The young man's name is Zhuga Ming, and he is the nephew of the current emperor. He is famous in the imperial city and deeply favored by the emperor. I know you want this opportunity, but don't forget that there is a peerless strong man buried here. His strength is so terrifying that even his majesty and the grand master cannot deal with him. Zhuge Ming glanced at the crowd, his eyes full of fear, as far as I know, that man has been dead for a hundred years, but his body is still as tough as ever, immortal and immortal. His bones turned into a black mist. I don't know how long he has been dormant in this imperial mausoleum. Hearing Zhuge Ming's words, everyone's hearts trembled. You should know the origin of this imperial mausoleum, right? This is an ancient tomb, the burial place of ancient emperors. Zhuge Ming sneered and said, this imperial mausoleum has been put into a desperate situation by that peerless career changer. If you step in rashly, you will definitely escape death. I suggest you retreat immediately and wait for reinforcements to arrive. By then we will join forces and we may have a chance of winning. After Zhuge Ming's words fell, several forbidden soldiers suddenly fell silent and their thoughts became active. In this case, let's withdraw. A forbidden soldier said. Good thing. Okay, let's go then. Well, with so many of us gathering here, it is indeed easy to cause trouble, so it is better to act separately. Several forbidden soldiers quickly discussed and decided to leave here. Immediately, everyone dispersed. After a while, only Zhuge Ming, Qing Shan, the little girl and Zheng Mu were left in the entire cemetery. You two come with me. Zhuge Ming glanced at the two of them and said calmly. The little girl nodded obediently. Chapter 602 Zheng Mu did not refuse because he simply could not move forward alone now. The things I'm looking for are inside. Zheng Mu pointed at the skeleton and whispered, You leave here first. I will come to find you after I go in and get the things. After saying that, Zheng Mu looked at the two of them deeply, and then walked towards the sarcophagus. The sarcophagus is not purely made of jade, but some kind of rare iron stone. Under the erosion of time, it has become dilapidated. Click dash. Zheng Mu held the sarcophagus lid and lifted it off easily. Ha! Huh. 
As soon as he opened the lid, Zheng Mu couldn't help but exclaimed. The sarcophagus was empty, with nothing else except stone chips and soil. How could this happen? Zheng Mu's face changed slightly, thinking something was wrong. At this moment, a strange black mist suddenly floated out of the sarcophagus and rushed towards Xin Mu. Ah, the little girl screamed in fright. Zhuge Ming also felt an extremely dangerous aura, and immediately shouted angrily, You evildoer, please don't hurt my disciple. Rumble. Zhuge Ming stretched out his right palm and slapped it on the black garden. A terrifying force burst out in an instant. The black mist was blown away, letting out a shrill howl. Suffer death. Zhuge Ming snorted coldly and rushed toward the black mist. Unfortunately, the black mist was even faster and escaped in the blink of an eye. Humph. Where to run? Zhuge Ming stepped on Qi Ak, different steps and chased away. I'll follow you and have a look. Seeing this, Zheng Mu quickly pulled the little girl to follow her. The depths of the imperial mausoleum were dark and gloomy, surrounded by a layer of grey miasma. This miasma is so terrifying that if an ordinary warrior touches it even a little bit, his whole body will become stiff and he will fall straight to the ground and die. But for Zheng Mu, there is no pressure. Little brother, your physique is indeed unique. You are worthy of being my destined one. Ha ha ha. Zhuge Ming suddenly stopped moving forward and turned around to look at Zheng Mu with satisfaction. At this time, his body was already contaminated with some grey miasma. But he blocked them all and was not affected at all. Master Zhuge is so complimentary. Zheng Mu said humbly. Zhuge Ming nodded and turned his attention to the little girl, where is she? She can't enter here. Zheng Mu shook his head and explained, these miasmas are poisonous. Once contaminated, even I will be seriously injured. So serious? Zhuge Ming looked slightly surprised when he heard this. He looked at the little girl carefully and felt a vague fluctuation in her body. It was obvious that she had some skills. Little brother, is your apprentice a chi practitioner? Zhuge Ming said with great interest. That's right. Zheng Mu nodded and admitted. Haha little brother's luck is really good. Zhuge Ming chuckled and said, Chi practitioner, that is a legend in the martial arts world. Your little apprentice is only eight or nine years old, right? Zheng Mu nodded. After recovering his memory, he had a clear idea of the realm of a warrior. The little girl was indeed only about eight or nine years old. You, little girl, are extremely talented and will surely accomplish great things in the future. Zhuge Ming stroked his beard and said with envy on his face, it's a pity that you don't have the support of martial arts resources. Otherwise, with your foundation and talent, your future achievements will be limitless. But it doesn't matter. With my help, you will definitely reach the pinnacle of martial arts in the future. Senior Zhuge, is this appropriate? Zheng Mu looked at Zhuge Ming hesitantly. Although he is very disgusted with the Zhuge family, the other party is his mentor after all. Ha huh, don't worry, little brother. I am willing to accept you as my disciple because of your outstanding talent. Zhuge Ming said with a smile, Besides, you are my destined person, it is natural for me to help you, there is no any loss. Chapter 603 Zheng Mu hesitated for a moment, gritted his teeth and agreed. Although he has no skills, he has countless medical elixirs in his mind, and he is worried that no one will teach him. It is much better to have Zhuge Ming by his side to remind himself than to mess around alone. Thank you so much, Master. Zheng Mu grinned. Huh, children can be taught. Zhuge Ming smiled happily. Afterwards, the two of them headed inside the Imperial Mausoleum. The Imperial Mausoleum occupies a large area, with various buildings densely packed, carved beams and painted pillars, and extremely luxurious. This imperial mausoleum was originally the mausoleum of a king, but unfortunately it was attacked by thieves, and all the funerary objects inside were robbed. As Zhuge Ming walked, he introduced, the history of this imperial mausoleum is at least six to seven thousand years. It was once glorious and prosperous, but it has gradually declined recently. Not only that, there are many secrets hidden here. 
Zheng Mu nodded, indicating that he understood. Although the imperial mausoleum has declined, it is not useless. If you can get a lot of treasures from it, it will be a huge benefit for Zheng Mu. Little brother, have you noticed that we seem to be lost after we came in? The two of them walked along the corridor for half a stick of incense, but still saw no trace of the tomb. We have reached the hinterland of the palace. Zheng Mu murmured, a strange expression flashed across his face. He had destroyed all the mechanism formations in the Imperial Mausoleum hundreds of years ago. It is really unimaginable that there is a mysterious formation that is bothering them now. Here, it seems like there is a pair of eyes staring at the two of them. Little brother, I'm worried. Seeing Zheng Mu's worried look, Zhuge Ming said with relief, it's just a lost formation, it's not worth mentioning. All you need to do is break the formation's eyes. There are marks left by the formation master here. We just need to follow that clue. Oh. Zheng Mu was stunned when he heard this. Then, he raised his head. I saw a stone tablet standing on the wall not far away, with several characters of dragons and phoenixes written on it. Everything is lost. This is indeed the core of the mechanism formation. As long as you find the formation's eye, you can break out of the formation. Zhuge Ming said with determination. Then quickly take me to find the formation. Hearing that he could break out of the formation, Zheng Mu immediately became energetic. He now urgently hopes to leave this ghost place and find Lien Yixuan. Yeah. Zhuge Ming nodded and walked into the stone gate first, followed closely by Zheng Mu. The imperial mausoleum is very large, surrounded by three stone gates. Zero please give me flowers. The first stone door leads to the emperor's chamber. The second stone door leads to the imperial garden. As for the third stone door, it leads to a sealed prison. Zhuge Ming took Zheng Mu straight to the third stone door. Little brother, this is the formation vision realm. Zhuge Ming slammed the crutch in his hand on the ground and shouted in a deep voice. Rumble. As Zhuge Ming's words fell, the entire imperial mausoleum trembled. Dull, dull, alienated. One chain after another broke. Rumble. Then, a muffled sound came. The thick stone door moved slowly, revealing a dark and long tunnel. Let's go. Zhuge Ming took the lead and walked towards the tunnel. Zheng Mu followed closely behind. Ouch! Suddenly, a roar filled with resentment and anger came. A ferocious black panther pounces. Be careful! Zheng Mu exclaimed and quickly pushed Zhuge Ming away. Boom! He had just finished dodging when an iron claw struck Zheng Mu hard on the chest. Poof! Damn it! Zhuge Ming roared angrily, and quickly hit Ding with his crutch. Chapter, 604 Clang! The two phases collided, sparks shot out, and powerful force exploded, knocking the Black Panther out. What's wrong with this beast? Zhuge Ming frowned and looked at the beaten Black Panther. This Black Panther's fur is green and white, with fleshy wings on its back. It exudes a strong demonic aura, and it has reached the level of a master. The Black Panther was extremely ferocious, its eyes flashed with bloodthirsty red light, and there were waves of low roars coming from its throat. It seems to be stimulated in some way. For Ten Zhuge Ming looked solemn, could it be that too many humans attacked it at the beginning, which made it want to kill? Zheng Mu was also shocked. He remembered clearly that the Black Panther's name was Black Wind. This beast is extremely violent and should not be approached. Zheng Mu shook his head and dissuaded, let's find another way. Well. Zhuge Ming sighed softly and took Zheng Mu on a detour. But not long after they left, they ran into trouble again. There is also a stone door ahead, but there is a keyhole with a sword hilt inserted into it. Zheng Mu picked up the key and tried to insert it, but found that the key was stuck inside. This how could this happen? Zheng Mu was dumbfounded and looked at a loss. According to common sense, the key should be inserted into the keyhole. Why is he holding the key but unable to pull it out? Little brother, look at this key carefully. Zhuge Ming shouted in a deep voice. Hearing this, Zheng Mu immediately looked at the key carefully. 
I saw two words Jinkuan engraved on the key. So that's it. Zheng Mu suddenly realized. This key is forged with the power of the universe. Only the power of the universe can fiddle with the universe, change its structure, and rearrange it. Little brother, do you understand? Understood. Zheng Mu nodded. He stretched out a finger and placed it on the key transformed by the power of the universe. Buzz. In an instant, the power of the universe circulated slightly, and the key was slowly pulled out. Click. The moment the key was removed, the stone door opened. A rotten, cold breath came over, which was extremely choking. Hiss dash. Even Zhuge Main couldn't help but take a breath of cold air, obviously being greatly shocked. Is this a coffin? Hiss. At the same time, the job transfer rules in each domain also began to operate. Dark Staff Delma's gaze. The man in black robe raised his staff and smashed it down towards Xing Mu. Boom. The earth shook. The man in black robe is indeed powerful, directly destroying Mu's defensive skills. What a pity. Zheng Mu felt slightly regretful. Although he had known about the existence of the black robed man and was already ready for battle. However, due to system rules, neither the black robe nor the black panther participated in the hunting activities, so naturally there was no way to harvest. Otherwise, with the strength of the black robed man and the black panther, even if he can only gain half of the points, he will still have at least seven to eight hundred points. Humph, I want to see what you want to do. Zhuge Ming snorted coldly and moved forward with his sword. Ding dong. The system prompt sounds. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission exploration. The reward points are 100. Mission content, find the missing black wind and rescue the children in the hospital. Precautions. 2. 1 mission target, black wind. Task level, unknown. Task difficulty, unknown. Mission punishment, unknown. Seeing the content of the task, Zheng Mu was stunned and showed a surprised expression. There is actually more than one mission. First, let yourself complete the exploration, and then let yourself find the missing child. The task is so difficult, I'm afraid it's not easy. Chapter, 605 Zheng Mu thoughtfully said, but no matter what the danger is, there is always hope of completing the mission. Taking a deep breath, Zheng Mu followed Zhuge Ming into the depths of the dark tomb. In the dark and narrow passage, Zheng Mu and Zhuge Ming walked forward slowly. The walls of the passage are uneven and covered with cobweb dust, and the air is cold and damp. Not far away, there was a giant iron fence blocking the way. Something seemed to be imprisoned inside, and the roar of wild beasts could be faintly heard. Zhuge Ming looked alert and on guard. Zheng Mu took the opportunity to look at the surrounding environment. The entire tomb was empty, except for the two of them and a heavy iron fence, there was nothing else. Strange, how come there are only two of us, and where are the other adventurers? Zheng Mu murmured to himself. They should all be dead. Zhuge Ming looked calm. Oh, why? Zheng Mu asked. Because here. Zhuge Ming scanned around. There are only three of us footprints, and all other footprints have disappeared. Footprint. Zheng Mu was stunned, and then he remembered the roar of the wild beast he heard earlier. He hurriedly squatted down and found that there were indeed many footprints left on the wall of the passage, which were messy and messy. The distance between each footprint is very short, as if torn apart by sharp claws. Could it be that these footprints are causing the abnormality? Zheng Mu touched his chin and suddenly had an idea, that's right. I was in the cave before and saw the black panther running towards it. Could it be that it was the cave where it chased these footprints? The more you speculate like this, the more logical it becomes. Zheng Mu raised his head and looked at the dark mist-filled ceiling, a trace of expectation rising in his heart. Maybe, he can really save a group of children. There must be many humans imprisoned here. Zheng Mu's eyes were bright and he was full of energy. Black fog enveloped the tomb, and through the hazy black fog, a wooden bed could be vaguely seen placed in the corner. There was a corpse lying on the bed, his clothes were shabby, he was old and haggard. 
It looks like he has been dead for a long time. Zheng Mu was filled with emotions. He did not rush forward to check, but chose to continue deep into the tomb for further confirmation. Along the way, he found many bones. There are humans, orcs, and even monsters. This made Zheng Mu frightened. He finally understood why Zhuge Ming was so cautious. This ancient tomb contains decades of brutal fighting. This is definitely not a good place. Let's search quickly and rush to the next location. Zhuge Ming looked solemn. His senses are sharp and he can feel the smell of blood floating in the air better than Zheng Mu. As it went deeper, the smell of blood became stronger and stronger. Zheng Mu's brows gradually tightened. The atmosphere here is too depressing, giving people a feeling of being out of breath. Of 960. Just when Zheng Mu was silent, Zhuge Ming suddenly stopped, his pupils narrowed, and he stared straight ahead. There, there was a huge creature lying on the ground, with its arms folded across its chest, as stiff as a sculpture. It was a dark wolf-shaped monster. He has a strong physique with bulging muscles and two wings on his back. The most eye-catching thing is the single horn on its head. That's the Black Wolf King. Zhuge Ming was surprised. This monster is huge in size, full of violent and ferocious intent, just like an ancient wild beast. Instinct alone makes ordinary people tremble. This monster seems a bit familiar. Zheng Mu stared at the Black Wolf King, doubts appearing in his eyebrows. Chapter 606 Be careful not to offend it. Zhuge Ming pulled Zheng Mu and quietly took a few steps back, not daring to make a sound. Ouch! At this moment, the Black Wolf King suddenly raised his head, his eyes red, locked on the two of them. Oops! It saw us! Zheng Mu felt a chill in her heart. This guy is here for us. Zhuge Ming's expression changed drastically, and he quickly took out the dagger from his waist and prepared for battle. We can't escape now, we can only fight. Remember, no matter what the cost, you have to kill it. Zheng Mu clenched his fists. This Black Wolf King is huge and his strength must be extraordinary, making him difficult to deal with. However, Zheng Mu is not afraid either. Now that he has decided to be a hero, he will do his part. Okay. Let's go together. Zhuge Ming had no reservations, directly used his weapon and rushed towards the Black Wolf King. The two of them joined forces and cooperated skillfully, and soon subdued the Black Wolf King. This guy's strength is as high as the sixth level. Zheng Mu shouted low, swung the hammer, and smashed the Black Wolf King's head into pieces. Ho! The Black Wolf King screamed and was completely killed. Zheng Mu picked up the crystal core of the Black Wolf King, hesitated for a moment, and handed it to Zhuge Ming, here, take it. Are you crazy? Zhuge Ming was startled, this crystal core is of great use to us and cannot be wasted easily. I already have it, you deserve this one. Zheng Mu smiled and handed it to Zhuge Ming without hesitation, besides, you used up a lot of mental energy to help me. This crystal core will be beneficial to your recovery of mental energy. Zhuge Ming heard this, hesitated for a moment, and finally accepted the crystal core. Thank you. Zhuge Ming held up his hands and thanked him, his eyes flashing with gratitude, let's go quickly, so as not to have a long night and many dreams. The two hurriedly returned to the periphery of the tomb, preparing to retreat. Unexpectedly, I just walked out of the tomb. Rumble. The entire passage shook violently. Zheng Mu and Zhuge Ming's expressions suddenly changed and they ran away from the tomb. But as soon as they ran to the tomb door, they found that the tomb door had already collapsed. Not good. Zhuge Ming's eyes widened and he immediately turned his head and looked towards the end of the passage behind him. A tall and majestic figure walked into the passage. It was a middle-aged man. Wearing black clothes, with dark and rough skin, tall and strong figure, exuding powerful power. Especially his right leg, showing a strange arc and twist. People from the Black Tiger Mercenary Group. Zheng Mu's expression changed slightly, this is a 7th grade martial artist, we are in trouble. It's not easy. Although those people were injured, they are still very strong. 
the current me is not strong enough to fight against a 7th grade martial artist. I wonder if Brother Zhuge is confident of defeating him. After hearing Zheng Mu's words, Zhuge Ming pondered for a long time, shook his head, and said solemnly, the opponent is a 7th level martial artist. I really can't beat him. But we have formations to protect us, so we are not afraid of him. Zhuge Ming said in a deep voice, if he dares to approach the tomb Liamo Zhao, we will activate the mechanism and destroy him. After saying that, he looked at Zheng Mu again, full of apology, Brother Zheng, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all. Zheng Mu sighed. The matter has reached this point, we can only give it a try. I hope I'm lucky enough and don't meet anyone from the Black Knights. While the two were talking, they looked warily at the members of the Black Tiger mercenary group. There are five people in this team. Except for the seventh level martial artist, the remaining four are all fourth level experts. Chapter 607 Our mission is to clean the tomb and look for inheritance and treasures. The task is not completed now, so there is no need to create extraneous matters. You too, get out of the tomb quickly, otherwise you won't blame me for being ruthless with my sword. The burly middle-aged leader said coldly. The things in this tomb belong to us. Zheng Mu said calmly, walked slowly in front of everyone, glanced around, and said in a deep voice, If you don't want to die, leave the tomb immediately. Huh, we worked so hard to get here, how could we just leave? The burly middle-aged leader sneered. I urge you not to make the mistake of yourselves. Zheng Mu looked cold and slowly drew out the dagger, You guys, I'm afraid you can't stop me. As soon as the words fell, the surrounding temperature dropped sharply. This kid is a little weird. The fourth level warriors of the Black Tiger mercenary group squinted their eyes, feeling a little surprised. According to their original expectations, Zheng Mu and Zheng Mu should have been frightened out of their wits. As a result, Zheng Mu actually took the initiative to provoke them. Could it be said that Zheng Mu has nothing to rely on? Who do you think you are, how dare you act rampant in front of me? The burly middle-aged man looked gloomy. As soon as he finished speaking, he suddenly unleashed all his momentum and moved towards Zheng Mu to suppress it. Um. Zheng Mu's hair stood on end instantly, and his spine seemed to explode, giving him a sense of suffocation. Wu Zong. Zheng Mu's expression suddenly changed. The burly middle-aged man from the Black Tiger Mercenary Group has impressive martial arts cultivation. Huh, brat, are you scared? Didn't you say I can't stop you? Then you should try it. The fourth-level warriors of the Black Tiger Mercenary Group burst into laughter, mocking Zheng Mu's ignorance. Humph, a bunch of idiots, you will cry later. Zhuge Ming looked solemn and took out three talismans. You two stay away, and after these flies are dealt with, I will detonate the talisman for you. Zhuge Ming ordered. Understood. Zhang and Mu nodded, then quickly backed away. Zhuge Ming held three spiritual stones and chanted a mantra. Suddenly, the three spiritual stones bloomed with bright light. Immediately afterwards, three blazing and dazzling flames spurted out from the airstrike. Akf, this is. Feeling the astonishing power contained in the three spirit stones, Jing Mu's expression changed drastically. The talismans in Zhuge Ming's hands were actually three different kinds of talismans. Burst. The three spirit stones rang out in unison, and the three flames surged instantly. In an instant, the entire tomb was filled with a pungent smell, as if it had turned into purgatory. Ah! Under the burning flames, several members of the Black Tiger mercenary group could not resist at all. In just a few seconds, they turned into ashes and disappeared between heaven and earth. Only the burly middle-aged man survived thanks to the blessing of his tyrannical energy. Huchi. The burly middle-aged man was sweating profusely, his face was pale, he was panting heavily, and his eyes looked frightened, who are you? In Zhuge Ming's hands, he actually controlled three talismans. This is simply unbelievable. I don't want to be enemies with others, you'd better get out of here quickly. Taking a deep breath, Zheng Mu said in a deep voice, otherwise, you will never get out of the tomb. After the words fell, the Black Tiger mercenary group looked at each other, gritted their teeth, and finally chose to retreat temporarily. 
Zheng Mu and Zhuge Ming also breathed a sigh of relief. They didn't know where those spiritual stones were obtained. But they know one thing. The use of the spirit stone is extremely limited. After each activation, it needs to stay for three days to recover physical strength and consume energy, blood and spirit. Three days are enough for those strong men to reach here. Chapter 608 What is this bronze fragment? Zheng Mu frowned and looked at the bronze fragment. Among the bronze fragments, there is an ancient formation pattern sealed. The formation pattern seems to be very special, with a sense of ancient times. Zheng Mu doesn't know many of these ancient characters. However, he was vaguely aware that the formation pattern seemed to contain some kind of wonderful pattern. This is one of the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang. Zheng Mu was greatly shocked. The 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang are the secret scriptures of Tantric Buddhism that have been passed down in ancient times. They are all inclusive, broad and profound. It is said that each hexagram represents a magical power, which can be called miraculous and unpredictable. Zheng Mu did not expect that among the corpses, he could see an incomplete Tian Gang 36 hexagram formation diagram. Tian Gang 36 hexagrams Zhuge Ming murmured. Zheng Mu turned around and glanced at him, there are more than a thousand profound meanings in the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang. How much you can comprehend depends entirely on your luck. Do you understand the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang? Zhuge Ming was stunned. Understand a little. Zheng Mu smiled. In that case, are you willing to help me? Zhuge Ming looked forward to it. Zheng Mu was silent for a long time, the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang are the secret scriptures of Tantric Buddhism. As a Taoist, why do you study it? The 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang correspond to the 36 magical powers and trapped methods. In Taoism, we pay attention to step by step and understand each magical power step by step. Even if there are some special cases, it is because of some special chances and coincidences that some opportunities were obtained in advance. Like Zhuge Ming, it is extremely rare for a job changer to obtain a certain magical power in advance. I once heard the secret of the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang. It is precisely because of this that we can successfully break through the realm. Zhuge Ming's eyes showed longing. The 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang record a total of nine magical powers. The first gate is called Vidra Subdues Demons, the second gate is called Great Sun Thunder Fist, the third gate is called Fire Sun Finger. The ninth gate, Samadhi True Fire, is the core magical power. Anyone who can master these three magical powers will surely reach the top and become awe inspiring in the Chinese martial arts world. Zhuge Ming spoke eloquently and told Zheng Mu all the information he knew. The 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang are known as the 36 top martial arts in the martial arts world, and their power is many times greater than ordinary martial arts techniques. Our Zhuge family only has two magical powers, one is wind cutting sword and wind blade, and the other is flying flowers and picking leaves. Zero please give me flowers. Now that I have entered the innate realm, I happen to be short of weapons. If I can take this formation diagram to the auction, I can definitely exchange it for a treasured sword. After saying this, Zhuge Ming's eyes flashed, obviously very excited. Although the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang are precious, they are not priceless. If the Zhuge family is willing to pay a certain price, it can still be purchased. After all, the Zhuge family also has an ancestor who has stepped into the realm of martial arts masters. He has traveled across China and has a broad and knowledgeable knowledge. But the problem is that not only does the Zhuge family have no money to buy this formation map, but it also attracts the attention of other forces. Along the way, the Zhuge family encountered many pursuits, resulting in Zhuge Ming being seriously injured, and had to take Zheng Mu and Zheng Mu to find a cave to recuperate. Moreover, this cave is quite strange and can actually be isolated for exploration. Zheng Mu and Zheng Mu also relied on luck to discover the existence of the cave. Zheng Mu and Zheng Mu rested for a while and then danced again. Traveling along the way, they collected various medicinal materials, vegetation and other resources along the way to replenish their physical strength. Chapter 609 Rumble 
Suddenly, a violent trembling sound sounded, interrupting their footsteps. What's the situation? Zhuge Ming's pupils narrowed. I seem to see a barrier covering the outside of the cave Zheng Mu squinted and looked a little solemnly. There seems to be an underground river with fast currents and ferocious strange fish. It is not suitable to break into it. Let's take a detour. Zhuge Ming shook his head and was ready to give up this 257 risk. Even Jing Mu sighed softly and was ready to give up. However, suddenly, Jing Mu's eyes turned red and he stared into the depths of the cave. What's wrong? Zhuge Ming was slightly surprised. I seem to smell the scent of spiritual spring. Jing Mu swallowed and his eyes widened. Since entering, Jing Mu has been suffering from hunger. Now, he actually smelled the rich fragrance of the spiritual spring, which immediately made Mu's spirit excited. When a warrior practices, he must absorb spiritual energy to temper his body and strengthen his physical body. And once you step into Xientian, you need to absorb the vitality of heaven and earth and improve your body. Although Zheng Mu did not practice the 36 hexagrams of Tian Gang, he had a unique channel and obtained the cultivation method of Nine Heavens Immortal Lord. Spiritual Spring Zhuge Ming was also excited when he heard this. Are you sure? Zhuge Ming couldn't help but ask. Eight or nine are inseparable from ten. Zheng Mu nodded slightly. What are you waiting for? Hurry down and collect the spiritual spring. Maybe it can heal my injury. Zhuge Ming showed excitement and jumped off the waterfall on the spot. Wow! Zhuge Ming disappeared deep into the cave amid the sound of surging water waves. Zheng Mu's expression changed, he hesitated for a few seconds, and then jumped down. This cave is 40 to 50 meters deep. The water from the waterfall washed down and formed a wide pool. The water in the pool is so clear that it can even reflect the silhouette of people. In the center of this big pool, an ancient tree stands. The ancient trees are vigorous and tall, with luxuriant branches and leaves, like dragons with entwined roots. Clusters of crystal-clear milky white sap dripped into the pool, exuding a refreshing fragrance. This is Chalcedony. Zhuge Ming's eyes lit up, and his whole body was stagnant. Legend has it that only natural spiritual beings can possess Chalcedony. A drop of Chalcedony is worth dozens of ordinary spiritual stones. And around the Chalcedony, there is a lotus flower. There is a bud growing on the lotus platform, dripping with green. Could it be said that there is also a spiritual plant growing in this place? Zhuge Ming's whole body froze, and there was a hint of heat in his eyes. He didn't dare to act rashly for fear of disturbing Lingji and destroying Lingquan. Ganoderma lucidum, snow lotus, crepe myrtle, sky orchid all are rare medicinal materials. Oh my god so many medicinal materials are enough to increase my cultivation level by half a level. Zhuge Ming's eyes were wild and his heart was beating fast. Just one of these precious medicinal materials is enough to cause a bloody storm. However, at this moment, all these precious medicinal materials are gathered in this three-thirds of an acre of land, piled up like a mountain. This seedling seems to be almost mature. Suddenly, a hint of joy flashed across Zhuge Ming's eyes. In the middle of the pale yellow lotus, a palm-sized bud suddenly bloomed, slowly blooming. One, two buzz. At this moment, a wisp of green smoke suddenly rose from the pale yellow lotus platform. The green smoke lingered around the buds, rolling continuously, and finally turned into an illusory green snake, spreading its teeth and claws, and pounced towards Zhuge Ming. What is this? Zhuge Ming's expression changed, and he quickly pulled away and wanted to retreat. Phew! However, Zhuge Ming is fast and green snake is even faster. Chapter, 610 In the blink of an eye, the green snake wrapped around Zhuge Ming's waist, making him unable to move. Oops! My legs are numb. Zhuge Ming was anxious, and he tried his best to activate his true energy, trying to break free from the green snake. But no matter how hard Zhuge Ming tried, the green snake was like a living creature, entangled with him, making it difficult for him to move. Damn it! Zhuge Ming gritted his steel teeth, cold sweat dripped down his forehead, and his face was filled with fear. 
He didn't expect that this green snake was so cunning and could disguise itself as a cloud of smoke, leaving people defenseless. At this moment, Zhuge Ming already felt that his right leg was completely numb and he could no longer exert any strength. Zero two could it be that I am going to perish here today? Zhuge Ming's eyes dimmed, and despair emerged in his heart. Ha, huh, you have been tricked after all. Don't you know, this lotus plant was planted by our ancestors personally to nourish the spiritual pond and nourish the spiritual plant. At this critical moment, a cold and harsh laughter suddenly resounded. Immediately afterwards, a group of people walked out and slowly approached the two of them. The leader is surprisingly the third eldest son of the Lu family, Lu Cheng. Lu Ziwen is the son of the head of the Lu family. At a young age, he became a martial arts master. He is extremely talented and has a bright future. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows, I didn't expect you to be a martial arts transferee. Lu Ziwen laughed loudly, holding a sword in his hand, I have long heard that you, Zheng Mu, a mechanical master, can control mechas well, and you have countless mecha warriors at your disposal. Today, I will learn from you. After Lu Ziwen finished speaking, he ran straight to the center. Seeing this, Zheng Mu's eyes changed slightly. Although he was extremely confident in himself, he also knew that if he fought alone, he would never be Lu Ziwen's opponent. In that case, Zheng Mu took a deep breath and gathered all the energy in his body. I saw him waving his arms, those mechanical puppets that he had transformed. Rumble. In an instant, more than twenty mechanical puppets came from all directions and surrounded Lu Ziwen. Bang bang bang. At the same time, the other five or six Lu family disciples also joined the battle and attacked Zhuge Ming one after another. Lu Ziwen's expression changed suddenly. He never expected that Zheng Mu would be so insidious and had prepared his next move in advance. Do you think you can stop me with just these puppets? Lu Ziwen had a sinister smile on his face. He held a long sword and passed through many obstacles in an instant, cutting off the first robot that rushed up. Poof! The long sword cut through the flesh, and blood spurted out. Immediately, Lu Ziwen swept across with his long sword, knocking several other mechanical puppets away. Lu Ziwen was so powerful that he broke through the encirclement of the mechanical puppets without any effort and went straight towards Zhuge Ming. Humph, even if I destroy these robots, you will never escape. Lu Ziwen's eyes were cold and he pointed his sword directly at Zhuge Ming's throat. The Lu family is 700 younger, I will die. At this moment, Zhuge Ming suddenly shouted loudly. Ha! Huh. Zhuge Ming reached out to grab it, suddenly pulled out the long knife from his back, and slashed towards Lu Ziwen's head. Clang! Swords clashed and sparks shot out. Lu Ziwen felt numb in the tiger's mouth and almost lost his grip on the sword. How can it be? Lu Ziwen was horrified. He never expected that Zhuge Ming would be so powerful. No, if you continue, the situation will be very dangerous. Lu Ziwen is not stupid, he knows that if he delays it any longer, he will definitely suffer. Immediately, Lu Ziwen stepped on Lingbo and stepped backwards, away from Zhuge Ming. Chapter 611 Um. Seeing this scene, Zhuge Ming raised his eyebrows, revealing a strange look. This Lu Ziwen is indeed a master of martial arts transfer. In just a short moment, he actually found a new step. Humph, you can't escape. Zhuge Ming snorted coldly, flicked his palm, and eight silver needles flew out instantly. These silver needles were as fast as lightning and hit Lu Ziwen's chest and cheeks. Damn it! Lu Ziwen's expression changed slightly, and he quickly waved his sword to block the silver needles. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. The crisp sound spread in all directions, and all the silver needles were knocked out. Lu Ziwen let out a long breath. He was really shocked just now. If he hadn't reacted in time, he would have been hit. And just when Lu Ziwen was relaxing, he suddenly heard a whooshing sound. A small iron nail shot out and hit the back of Lu Ziwen's head. It's just a little trick. There was a sneer on Lu Ziwen's lips. He seemed to have expected it, and he immediately slashed the nails with his backhand sword. The metal collided and sparks suddenly flew out. 
Lu Ziwen's face froze and his pupils shrank violently. This iron nail is extremely hard and has no damage at all. Go to hell. Lu Ziwen's face was gloomy, and he suddenly shouted slowly. Call out. The next moment, the vitality in his body circulated crazily, gathered into the long sword, and slashed forward fiercely. Clang. This time, the long sword finally touched the iron nail and intercepted it. However. Click. Just listen to the sound of bones breaking. Lu Ziwen's expression changed drastically. He looked down and saw that his entire arm was twisted, obviously injured. This, this is impossible. Lu Ziwen was horrified. He is a master of martial arts transfer, how could he lose to a small iron nail? Buzz. The next moment, an even more shocking scene happened. The iron nail did not disappear, but expanded rapidly. There was only a muffled sound of bang, which directly penetrated Lu Ziwen's protective aura and tore his clothes apart. Plop! Lu Ziwen staggered and fell to the ground. He raised his left arm and saw that it was bleeding profusely. Lu Ziwen's face turned pale. He couldn't believe that he was defeated by an iron nail. Mr. Zheng, save me! At this moment, Lu Ziwen couldn't care less and hurriedly asked Jing Mu for help. Noisy! Zheng Mu's eyes were cold, and with a flick of his sleeve, several wind blades flew out, cutting off Lu Ziwen's arms at the shoulder level. Puff puff. Lu Ziwen was trembling all over, his eyes widened and he stared at Ching Yu. He never dreamed that he would be attacked by a puppet and lose his life. A young and talented figure in the martial arts world was shot to death with a puppet. This is simply a shame. Mr. Zheng, please forgive me, I can give you whatever you want. Lu Ziwen panicked and quickly fell to his knees and begged Jing Mu. Master Lu, I will keep your life for now, but you can't keep that thing. Now I give you one last chance to hand over that thing. Jing Mu glanced at Lu Ziwen coldly and said in an indifferent voice. W what do you want? Lu Ziwen had a look of confusion on his face. You don't need to know, give it to me immediately. Jing Mu's tone became darker and darker and he took a step with his right leg, exuding a heart-stopping power. Don't be too arrogant. This is the ancestral home of my Lu family. Do you still want to go against us? Lu Ziwen gritted his teeth and said viciously. Behind him stood the Lu clan. Even martial arts masters did not dare to act wildly. Chapter 612 Humph, do you think your Lu family is awesome? Hearing this, a hint of sarcasm appeared in Jing Mu's eyes. Let me tell you, I will not only kill you, but also destroy your entire Lu family. Except for your grandfather, who among the Lu family dares to disobey my order. After the words fell, Lu Ziwen's expression was dull and full of disbelief. Jing Mu's tone sounded as if he was the boss of the Lu family. Haha it turns out you are just a puppet, how dare you say such arrogant words. Suddenly, Lu Ziwen seemed to have remembered something, and there was a hint of joking in the corner of his mouth. Oh. Do you think I'm pretending? There was a hint of mystery in Jing Mu's eyes, and then he slowly stretched out his palm. Wow. Jing Mu pinched his five fingers, and a majestic force appeared out of thin air, instantly lifting Lu Ziwen up as if he were lifting a small thirty-three chicken. Are you a piece of trash worthy of saying such a thing? As soon as the words fell, Zheng Mu grabbed Lu Ziwen's neck with one hand and lifted him above his head, as if he was holding a chicken. Bang! The next second, with the sound of broken bones, Lu Ziwen's entire head drooped. You, how dare you kill someone! Before he died, Lu Ziwen's eyes were still bulging, filled with deep fear. He never thought that Zheng Mu could be so cruel and would kill him without saying a word. They're just ants, not worth mentioning. After today, there will be no Lu family in Nanyang City. Zheng Mu's face was indifferent, with deep disdain in his eyes. Rumble. At this moment, the stone tablet behind Lu Ziwen suddenly glowed with dazzling light, as if it came to life. The ancient seal characters on the stone tablet all turned into ferocious skull patterns, releasing an extremely powerful oppression. Um. Zheng Mu's face changed slightly and he stopped questioning Lu Ziwen on the spot, 
but looked wary. Wow! Immediately afterwards, a black shadow swept out from the stone tablet and turned into a black shadow. The black robe is fluttering, the long hair is disheveled, and the whole body is shrouded in a dark cloak. Only two points of scarlet eyes lit up, like a bloodthirsty devil, making people fearful. This is the corpse spirit. Seeing the black shadow, Lu Ziwen's heart beat wildly and he couldn't help but take a breath. Rumor has it that the corpse spirit is made from hundreds of rotten corpses and is extremely powerful, capable of crushing any warrior. This corpse spirit has a powerful aura, even comparable to that of an innate master. Lu Ziwen never expected that there would be ten stinky household spirits guarding his Lu family ancestral hall. Jie Jie, since you're here, let's stay and be buried with him. The black shadow let out a hoarse scream, and then suddenly rushed over. Things that don't know whether to live or die. Zheng Mu snorted coldly and took a step forward to fight bravely. Boom! In an instant, fists and feet collided, making a violent roar. Kick, kick, kick! Zheng Mu took three steps back in a row, crushing several green bricks with each step he took. Sure enough, martial arts masters cannot fight forcefully. Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes slightly and sighed secretly in his heart. Although his cultivation is far superior to that of ordinary people, his realm is still shallow and his body is weak, so he cannot compete with the corpse spirit. In particular, this corpse spirit was transformed from a thousand-year-old zombie and possesses the power of a martial arts master. Although Zheng Mu has changed his job, he is still just a mortal body after all. In this situation, his attempt to take advantage is tantamount to wishful thinking. Whoosh! Taking this opportunity, Lu Ziwen quickly got up and ran towards the depths of the ancestral hall. You can't leave. Zheng Mu shook his head, flipped his wrist, a brass plaque appeared in his hand, and threw it towards Lu Ziwen. Call out! The plaque cut through the void, made a sharp whistling sound, and hit Lu Ziwen on the back. Chapter 613. I didn't expect that the corpse spirit could be suppressed so easily. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows, the effect this time was not bad. But. Congratulations to the job changer Zheng Mu for killing the corpse spirit. Job transfer experience 4000. This time it was quite a lot, and Mu directly exchanged all the experience for the combat value of his mecha warriors. Hurry up. The demonic realm is about to open. Lin Zijin's excited voice came from the headset. It seemed that the situation over there was similar. Zheng Mu changed his mind and quickly followed the others away from the pile of corpses. The pile of corpses is an open area with a wall around it and a tall door in the middle. The black shadows that emerged from the door just now were corpse spirits. At this moment, many career changers have gathered on the streets of this city. Except for a few powerful guilds, most career changers choose to fight the demon realm back domain dungeon first, and then come back to fight the pile of corpses after their level and equipment reached the top. How did this happen? Lin Zijin looked around with curiosity and found that these career changers seemed to be running from the same direction. Zheng Mu frowned, I'm afraid it's another mission. We must hurry up and find the entrance to the dungeon in the demon realm's back domain. Everyone nodded and took action quickly. It's a pity that they searched the whole street but couldn't find the so-called entrance to the demon realm, and there was nothing unusual in other places. This made everyone wonder. Could it be that this mission is really different from the previous ones? Just when everyone was confused, a system prompt suddenly came from the sky. Congratulations to Zheng Mu, the job changer, for successfully clearing the copy of Ghoul Sealing City. Obtained a reward unlimited card, X1. Congratulations to Zheng Mu, the job changer, for winning the title, Ghoul King. As the system prompt sounded, Zheng Mu was stunned. Unlimited card. He suddenly felt that things were not as simple as he imagined. What the hell? What does this mean? What kind of useless mission is this? Why did you give me a dead card? Everyone immediately exploded and protested. Although they had guessed that there must be something fishy about this mission, they didn't expect that such a pain in the ass would appear. Zheng Mu couldn't help but complain a few words, but he quickly reacted. This ghoul seal the city, is indeed extraordinary, 
and it is even very likely related to the previous third level mission. If this is the case, then prove one thing. If his guess is correct, the final boss of this mission may be the guardian of Ghoul Seal City. Thinking of this, Jin Mu took a deep breath and asked Li Tsang Yu beside him, Tsang Yu, have you heard of the Ghost King? Li Tsang Yu shook his head, no, I don't even know what a corpse is. Jing Mu pondered for a while and then continued, You know corpses, they are the kind of stiff living bodies that are created. Li Tsang Yu nodded and said, I've heard of it. Now the corpse has been made into a zombie, and it also has a special set of spells called corpse poison. Once contaminated with corpse poison, it will immediately turn into a giant. If you are lucky enough to encounter a powerful zombie, you can even control the zombie. I suspect that this mission has something to do with that zombie king. Li Tsang Yu nodded, this is possible. So, how much do you know about the zombie king? Zheng Mu asked Tao Shi. Chapter, 614 Li Tsang Yu thought about it carefully and said, I don't know much about the zombie king. It is said that its existence is related to the corpses in this area, so this place is called the zombie city. After listening to Li Tsang Yu's words, Zheng Mu nodded slightly, it seems that we must find the zombie king as soon as possible. Yeah. Li Tsang Yu nodded, and then asked, then where should we go to find the zombie king? Zheng Mu touched his chin, and after a long silence, he said 970 and slowly spit out two words, heap of corpses. Li Tsang Yu was startled for a moment, then suddenly showed a look of surprise. Indeed, since the pile of corpses is the territory of the zombie king, it will definitely leave traces. All they need to do now is just walk around the pile of corpses. Okay, let's go take a look at the pile of corpses. Li Tsang Yu said. Everyone nodded and immediately acted according to the plan. The corpse pile is an abandoned city covering a large area. This should have been the capital of an ancient country, because the buildings are very dense. Moreover, the buildings here are rectangular, with buildings erected every five meters or so. When everyone arrived at the city's central square, the center of the square was already filled with career changers. They wore uniform clothes with skull patterns embroidered on their sleeves, obviously belonging to the same force. There are hundreds of job changers in the center of the square, and most of these hundreds of people are job changers, and the rest are NPCs. The NPCs have different appearances, some are riding horses, some are holding swords, and most of them are sitting in wheelchairs. Look! A career changer exclaimed, pointing not far away. Everyone looked in the direction of his finger and found ten giant trucks parked not far away. There were countless wooden boxes inside the trucks, and a large number of white silver coins were scattered in the wooden boxes. Seeing this scene, the eyes of all the job changers turned red instantly. Damn it! Money! Grab it! This is our mission reward. Job transfer workers are furious. Isn't it just these rewards that they have worked hard for so long? Now that the reward is just around the corner, is there any reason to argue? In an instant, all the job transferees rushed away frantically, trying to carry away the gold coins. However, before the job transferees could rush to the car, an inexplicable pressure came over them. Rumble. A thunderous roar came from the altar in the center of the square. Immediately afterwards, ten figures covered with a strong aura of death appeared in the center of the square. Ouch! A roar that shocked the soul suddenly erupted, sweeping in all directions. The moment the figure appeared, the originally noisy square suddenly became quiet. Those career changers who tried to rush forward to grab the rewards stopped immediately, their faces full of fear. Because above that figure, a majestic and vast momentum spread, as if it could easily crush everything. Everyone's hearts trembled, and they all stopped subconsciously. The figure glanced at the job changers around him with cold eyes. The next second, the figure opened its legs and walked straight towards Zheng Mu and others in the crowd. Holy shit! The zombie king is coming! screamed the job changer. Zheng Mu and others immediately put on a defensive posture. Even Lin Yunfan didn't dare to take it lightly at this time. After all, he is not alone now. When that figure approached, the faces of all the job transferees became extremely solemn. They didn't think they could defeat this zombie king. 
Chapter, 615 What do you want to do? Zheng Mu asked with a forced smile as he looked at the zombie king getting closer and closer. Roar! The corpse ghost king looked up to the sky and roared, staring at Zheng Mu with his scarlet eyes, and a cruel arc appeared at the corner of his mouth, you are all going to die. As his voice fell, the surrounding air suddenly turned cold. Wisps of black mist emerged from his body, wrapping him up in the blink of an eye and turning him into a pitch black mass. Buzz buzz. A strange trembling sound emanated from the corpse king, and then, waves of dark wind blew out of thin air, causing the surrounding temperature to plummet as if it were cold winter. Fuck. Why is it so cold? Everyone shivered in unison, feeling a chill down their backs. Fortunately, this situation did not last long, only a few seconds. After those dark winds dissipated, the surrounding environment had completely changed. All the original buildings around him disappeared and were replaced by a barren field. The corpse ghost king in front of everyone has disappeared, leaving only a 20-meter-high stone statue standing there, exuding a cold and dark atmosphere, which is daunting. This statue is as high as a six-story building, and its entire body is made of pure white bones, lifelike. The information above his head also appeared, causing the pupils of Zheng Mu and others to shrink sharply, and their expressions became extremely ugly. Ghoul King, LV-1 Elite Introduction The Ghost King was born in a cemetery and resurrected due to death. It is the owner of this cemetery and was once the king of the entire cemetery. Note, the ghoul emperor is the strongest among all the ghouls. Even the weakest corpse puppet of the ghoul emperor has reached level 5. Nah. Level 5 monster. What should we do? Can we fight? In front of this statue, Zheng Mu's face was extremely solemn. Although there is only one level difference between zombie puppets and ordinary zombies, there is a qualitative improvement. Not only did the corpse of the zombie emperor turn into a zombie, his strength also reached level 8. Moreover, the zombie king's attack power and speed are terrifying, and he is especially good at sneak attacks. If it weren't for this, when the game was first launched, there would already have been a team of career changers to explore here. However, even so, many career changers still died tragically under the claws of the zombie king. Don't worry, I'll do the calendar. Zheng Mu frowned and started thinking about countermeasures. At this moment, the huge corpse king suddenly raised his head. Boom! A harsh sound broke through the air. The huge corpse emperor suddenly flew out and bit Zheng Mu with its bloody mouth. Not good. Zheng Mu's expression changed drastically, and he quickly swung his sword to block the attack of the corpse emperor. Zheng Mu was knocked out by the ghost king. Amazing! Brother Mu can't handle 030. When the people who changed jobs around saw this scene, they were all horrified. However, after Zheng Mu stabilized his body, he did not hesitate at all and instead rushed out again. Kill! He shouted violently, clenched the dagger in his hand and slashed at the corpse's thick chest. Ding! Sparks fly! Zheng Mu's arms were numb. The ghost king was actually unscathed. Zheng Mu's face darkened, and he continued to swing the dagger in his hand to chop at the corpse emperor. Clang! 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 However, the zombie king was still unscathed. On the contrary, his wrist was already aching. As expected of the zombie emperor, he is so damn hard. Chapter, 616 This won't work. Zheng Mu cursed through gritted teeth and continued to attack the ghost king with his dagger. However, the ghost king didn't seem to pay attention to Zheng Mu's attack at all. He just stretched out his hand to grab the dagger and clamp Zheng Mu's dagger firmly. No matter how hard Zheng Mu struggled, he could not move at all. On the other side, the two archers also took action and shot at the zombie king. Puff puff puff. However, their attacks had no effect except leaving a series of tiny scratches on the corpse king. On the contrary, the ghost king grabbed a spear with his backhand and threw it directly towards the two archers. Whoosh! The spear was like an arrow from the string, carrying strong wind and shooting towards the two archers. Get out of the way! Everyone yelled in panic, quickly evaded, 
and at the same time distanced themselves, not giving the corpse king a chance. Laugh. The spear penetrated the chests of the two archers and pinned them to the far wall. The two archers' eyes were dripping with blood, obviously not expecting this scene. The ghost king was extremely fast. After succeeding in one move, he immediately changed direction and attacked a thief again. This thief is the wretched man just now. Damn it, are you bringing bad luck on me again? The wretched man's face was full of resentment. However, the corpse king's speed was too fast, giving him no chance to escape. Bang! The zombie emperor punched the wretched man in the chest with lightning speed, sending the wretched man flying away. He vomited blood and his health points were instantly cleared to zero. Grass mud horse, I will fight with you. The wretched man endured the pain and got up, roaring. Call out. The ghost king jumped up suddenly, rushed directly in front of the wretched man, opened his bloody mouth and bit him. Ah! The wretched man was so frightened that he wanted to run away, but found that his legs were completely paralyzed. Go to hell. The wretched man's eyes were crazy, and he knew that he could no longer escape. In this case, it's better to risk your life and give it a try. Go to hell. The wretched man shouted angrily, raised his dagger, and stabbed the corpse emperor's throat fiercely. However, the next moment. Boom. The ghost king suddenly grabbed the wretched man's neck with his right hand, crushed his head, and crushed him to death. All this sounds complicated, but in fact it only takes a moment. When the ghoul king once again turned his attention to the other job transferees, everyone was immediately frightened to death. Run away! Everyone screamed in surprise and ran away frantically. However, these job transfers were no match for the zombie king, and they were bitten to pieces almost instantly. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's face turned livid. This corpse king is too fierce. Zheng Mu was extremely shocked. If the corpse king is level 7, Zheng Mu is not afraid. But the zombie emperor in front of him has obviously advanced to level 6, and Zheng Mu will definitely not be able to defeat it. Let's go. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, turned around and ran. However, the zombie king moved too fast and could not catch up. Seeing that he was getting closer and closer, Zheng Mu couldn't help but show a bitter look. Winning the king is good. At this critical moment, Zheng Mu suddenly heard footsteps coming from not far away. Fuck. Help. A group of career changers ran away like crazy, heading this way. Help me. Brother Mu, please help us lead you. Damn it, stop it. Seeing that group of people, Zheng Mu was stunned. Why are you? Aren't these the guys I met in the valley yesterday? Chapter 617. For some reason, Zheng Mu felt the urge to laugh when he saw the panicked expressions of those job transferees. Ha ha ha, I finally survived. Oh my god, I scared the baby to death. Several job transferees ran all the way and soon met Zheng Mu, breathing heavily. Brother Mu. Run. The ghoul emperor is about to catch up. A tall and thin boy shouted hurriedly. That's right, Brother Mu, leave quickly. If you don't leave, you may get hurt. Another fat boy shouted anxiously. The other two female job transfers didn't speak either, they just looked at him quietly. Who are you? 400 Zheng Mu frowned slightly. Could it be that he was sent by the mysterious man in black? Unfortunately, I had been following him just now, so I didn't see clearly what the garden looked like. You don't care who we are. Anyway, you'd better take us out of here now. Otherwise, the corpse emperor will catch up. The tall and thin boy glared at Zheng Mu and said with an angry look on his face. Why should I help you? Zheng Mu shook his head and said lightly, Besides, why do you want me to trust you? Damn it! Don't toast me and you'll be punished with a fine drink. Do you believe I will throw you down to feed the corpses? The tall and thin boy suddenly became furious and stared at Zheng Mu fiercely. Hearing this, Zheng Mu immediately laughed. Oh. Really? Then I really want to try it. Fuck, you're so shameless. The tall and lanky boy snorted and suddenly reached out to grab Zheng Mu's shoulder. 
However, before he could touch Xing Mu, he felt a sharp pain in his abdomen and flew out. Bang! A huge boulder fell from behind, crushing him into a meat pie. Grass! The other four job transferees suddenly became furious and drew their swords to slash at the zombie king. Ding 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 ding! The sound of weapons clashing echoed around. However, what surprised everyone was that the zombie king, who should have been very fragile, actually completely blocked the attack of these four daggers. Not only that, the ghost king also slapped the fat and thin boy on the head, knocking them to the ground. Ach, bang! 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 The heads of the two strong men shattered instantly like watermelons exploding. Hiss! The remaining two job transferees were immediately frightened to pee. Brother, if we don't offend the river, how about sparing our dog? Yes, yes, I promise, I will keep secret what happened today. Both of them were so frightened that they rolled over and knelt down, kowtowing like garlic in front of the corpse king. Ah! Looking at the two cowards in front of him, Zheng Mu couldn't help but sneer contemptuously. Then he raised his right hand and punched out. Boom! A powerful force came out of his body. The corpse king's body flew out instantly like a cannonball. Plop! The corpse king's huge body fell heavily to the ground, making a dull sound. System prompt, the host kills the level 2 monster zombie king and gains 2 zero, zero experience points. System prompt, the host kills the level 4 monster zombie king and gains 100 zero, zero experience points. System prompt, the host kills the level 5 monster zombie king and gains 2 zero, 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 zero experience points. As prompts sounded one after another, Zheng Mu's level was directly upgraded to level 9, and the experience value reached 99,99,010 billion. Killing the ghost king this time is enough to raise Zheng Mu's level. This how is this possible? Seeing Zheng Mu's actions, the other two job transferees were stunned. Chapter 618. They have already learned how terrifying the corpse emperor is. Even with the cooperation of teammates, the situation was still full of dangers, and the team was almost wiped out. However, Zheng Mu actually killed the Ghost King single handedly. This is simply beyond common sense. He <laughs> he. Zheng Mu glanced at the two of them, with a sarcastic smile appearing on the corner of his mouth. Then, he turned around and prepared to leave. Hey, hey, Brother Mu, wait for us. Another tall, lanky boy quickly caught up. Although he was scared, he still followed him. Because his mission is to follow Zheng Mu, and if Zheng Mu refuses to help them, then he will not be able to complete the mission. Brother Mu another fat boy glanced at the Ghost King in the distance with some fear, couldn't help but swallowed, and asked in a low voice, My name is Zhang Hao, who are you? Profession. Archer. Zheng Mu replied calmly. Oh, Brother Mu, are you interested in joining the War Alliance? As long as you are willing to join the War Alliance, you will be my benefactor, Zhang Hao, from now on. Zhang Hao's attitude immediately became more respectful, and at the same time he spoke with an eager tone of invitation. War Alliance. Zheng Mu was stunned. He didn't expect that these people were actually related to the Alliance in the game. Yes, the War Alliance is the top force in China, with millions of elite career changers. Zhang Hao continued, every career changer who joins the War Alliance will be awarded the War Alliance Medal. Hearing this, Zheng Mu's heart beat suddenly. He never dreamed that he would actually have the opportunity to join this legendary top force. Brother Mu, what's wrong with you? Seeing Zheng Mu deep in thought, Zhang Hao asked nervously. Oh, it's nothing. If that's the case, I'll think about it. Zheng Mu nodded, and then followed the two of them back to the village. Inside the village hall. Looking at the few people entering the room, a joyful look appeared on everyone's faces. After all, they were also worried that their team would be wiped out and even sacrificed several members. How's it going? Brother Mu, are you sure? A young man stepped forward and looked at Zheng Mu hopefully. Don't worry, as long as I'm here, there will be no problem. Zheng Mu said without hesitation. Hearing this sentence, everyone showed excited expressions. In that case, it's up to you. 
Thank you, brother. No matter how it ends this time, I, Wang Hai, owe you a favor. Zero please give me flowers. Brother Mu, you need to rest for the night. We will set off tomorrow to find DSS operations. Everyone surrounded Jing Mu enthusiastically and kept introducing their information to him. It turned out that there were six people in this team, and apart from Wang Hai, who had died, there were still five people alive. The reason why these five people did not die was because the treatment potion Jing Mu left before was still effective. Jing Mu didn't tell them that he had healing skills, he just said that he had learned healing skills and could barely be considered a half doctor. Everyone obviously didn't believe it, but they didn't bother to delve into it. Jing Mu is not a fool, and he doesn't want to cause trouble. So everyone basically chose to believe what Jing Mu said. Soon night fell and everyone was eating in the hall. Along the way, they had seen Jing Mu's strength, so they respected him even more and quickly served Jing Mu with vegetables and soup. This scene caused the villagers to curse secretly, and their hearts were filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred. They know that my identity is anything but ordinary. Otherwise, how could it be possible to kill the corpse ghost emperor with one move? Chapter 619 The next day. Early morning. A ray of sunlight shone into the room. Jing Mu, who had poor sleep quality, slowly opened his eyes and felt tired all over. He didn't sleep all night last night and his physical condition was very bad. Oh, my physical fitness is indeed not good enough. Jing Mu sighed and murmured to himself. But it doesn't matter. With my current ability, as long as you give me some time, I will definitely become stronger. Huh. That's. Suddenly, Zheng Mu frowned slightly. Beside him, there was a woman lying. She was wearing a loose white robe, her black and glossy hair was spread on her back, and her delicate and pretty face had a somewhat lazy look. As if sensing the movement, the woman opened her sleepy eyes in confusion and looked around suspiciously. Are you awake? Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows at her. Hearing this, the woman's cheeks turned red quickly, and she quickly reached out to cover her chest. You, you, you why are you here? She gritted her teeth, stared at Jing Mu with a mixture of shame and anger, and said in a panic, Who are you? Get off my bed. This woman is exactly the girl Jing Mu rescued yesterday, Yang Feifei. At that time, Yang Feifei was seriously injured and was dying, so she was in a coma for a whole day. Jing Mu couldn't stand it anymore, so he used holy blessing. Otherwise, this girl would probably be cold. Ah. Uh, this is your bed. Zheng Mu smiled awkwardly, sorry, sorry, I didn't pay attention last night and thought it was someone else's room. Snort. Yang Feifei snorted coldly, stopped talking to Zheng Mu, turned over and continued to sleep. Ahem aren't you hungry? Do you want to get up and eat something? Zheng Mu touched his nose and said with a smile. I'm not hungry. Yang Feifei shouted, and then continued to sleep. Seeing Yang Feifei's refusal so completely, Zheng Mu couldn't laugh or cry. Do I really look like a bad guy? Why does this girl look so hostile to me? Zheng Mu shook his head and did not continue to pester. Anyway, he had nothing to lose. After breakfast, the team gathered and prepared to continue exploring new areas. This area is the largest mountain range near the village, and the rest of the town is at the foot of another mountain range. This mountain range is extremely vast, and the peaks are steep. According to the marks on the map, the monsters are hidden in the deep mountains and old forests, making it easy for hidden attacks. According to the instructions on the map, there should be a small level leader monster inside. However, due to the terrain, the density of monsters here is very high. Moreover, these monsters are very powerful. Even if they are not at the 8th level, they are definitely at the peak level of the 7th level. It is not easy to pass through this mountain range. Somewhere in the mountains. Zheng Mu was riding on a motorcycle, explaining to the people around him while driving. You must remember that most of the monsters here are fire monsters, earth monsters, and a small number of ice monsters. They are all very good at attacking enemies with frost and rocks. While Zheng Mu was explaining, he waved his dagger towards an ancient tree not far from 4-8. Ha! 
Ha! As a strong gust of wind swept by, the ancient tree was cut off by a fraction in an instant. Damn it! Brother Mu is so powerful. Everyone was stunned and said in shock. You know, this is a hard ancient wood. Moreover, this ancient tree was as thick as an adult man's waist. Zheng Mu could easily chop it down with just a dagger. This level of strength is simply appalling. Chapter 620 Moreover, although these ancient trees are not as hard as steel, they are also extremely fragile and cannot withstand Zheng Mu's sword. Zheng Mu looked at this scene and was quite satisfied. Although he is only 25 years old, he has lived in the apocalypse for nine years and has experienced many bloody fights. Moreover, he began to practice the qi condensation technique at the beginning of the end of the world, and his body and strength have long been different from what they used to be. If it were a new person who had just awakened, it would probably be difficult to cut down this ancient tree. After all, ordinary people's strength may not reach Qing Mu's level even if they exercise for a year and a half. Okay, let's go now. Zheng Mu turned the direction of the motorcycle and took the lead to walk deeper into the mountains. At the front of the team, Zhang Yong and others were studying the Zero Two map carefully, preparing to formulate a detailed battle plan. Brother Zhang Yong, when will we set off? Zheng Mu came to Zhang Yong and asked. It'll be ready soon, wait until I check the route. Zhang Yong replied without raising his head. Oh. This map is so detailed, even the route is planned. Zheng Mu was slightly surprised. It seems that Zhang Yong is quite powerful. Ha, huh, we are all old hunters. Zhang Yong chuckled twice, we spent three months drawing this map, and we guarantee there are no errors. That's it Zheng Mu nodded thoughtfully. Let's go. Zhang Yong shouted excitedly, then got on his motorcycle and followed Zheng Mu's pace. This mission is very important. If we complete it successfully, our future development will definitely get better and better. Zhang Yong said. Well, I hope it goes well. Zheng Mu said calmly, then rode away on a motorcycle with the team members. This is a huge forest with dense branches and leaves that block the sun. Zheng Mu was riding a motorcycle through the forest, and there was a rustling sound in his ears, which made people's hair stand on end. Roar. Suddenly, a low and ferocious roar came from the depths of the distant forest. Hearing this voice, everyone's hearts trembled and they looked around cautiously. There was another neighing sound, like a death curse, making people shudder. The next moment, in front of everyone's eyes, a huge tiger bolted out of the dense forest and headed straight for Zheng Mu and the others. Fuck! What the hell is this? After seeing the true appearance of this fierce tiger, Zhang Yong was so frightened that his face changed drastically he cursed loudly. This tiger has dark yellow fur and is as big as a truck. His eyes were extremely red, his scarlet tongue was salivating, and he exuded a disgusting fishy smell. Yes it's an 8th level leader monster. Run! Run! This guy is too big. We are no match for it. As soon as Zhang Yong finished speaking, Many survivors who were originally quiet screamed. Afterwards, everyone turned around on their motorcycles and fled deep into the forest. Zheng Mu stood motionless. Zheng Mu, why are you still standing there? Hurry up and hide in the woods on your motorcycle. Seeing this, Lu Min shouted hurriedly. Zheng Mu still stood there, with a smile on his lips, and slowly pulled out the dagger on his right leg. Then, he jumped on the tiger's head, holding a sharp dagger, and stabbed towards the tiger. Laugh dash. The dagger slashed across the tiger's neck, and blood spurted out and sprinkled on the ground. Chapter, 621. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu pulled out the dagger, and the tiger fell down with a howl, throwing up a pile of dust. Fuck brother Mu is awesome. Wang Peng and others were immediately excited and shouted in unison. Okay, Hurry up and pack your things. Zheng Mu waved his hand, not feeling happy about winning the battle. After all, this is just a tiger that has just stepped into the eighth level, and it will have no impact on him. Brother Mu, where are we going to find food? This forest is big enough. Li Ming said with a frown. I know. 
Zheng Mu said lightly, and then rode his motorcycle towards the depths of the forest. The career changers are now completely following Zheng Mu. However, this copy cannot be underestimated. If you rely solely on yourself, I'm afraid you won't even be able to break into the top three. Even if they get through by chance, the remaining monsters and experience points will be enough to kill them several times. If you want to truly become stronger, you must unite. Soon, Jing Mu led everyone to a grassland. This is one of the areas most prone to combat in the wild map. Although there is no great boss, there are all kinds of weird monsters. Moreover, these monsters are very dangerous and can capsize if you are not careful. Of course, there are also certain risks. After all, this is a wild map. You never know what kind of enemy you will encounter. Brother Mu, look at those two birds in the sky. At this moment, someone suddenly pointed in the air and exclaimed. Hearing this, everyone raised their heads and looked into the air, their faces suddenly turned ugly. I saw two huge black spots flying quickly. After careful observation, everyone confirmed that they were double-winged iron eagles. The double-winged iron eagle is a level 8 monster with extremely fast flying speed and even more terrifying attack power. Zheng Mu, who has now reached level 9, has long been accustomed to these monsters, so he has no fear at all. He took out a smoke bomb from his arms and threw it out, and suddenly thick smoke filled the surrounding area. At this moment, the two-winged iron eagle finally arrived and swooped down. Fuck, run. Everyone reacted quickly and fled deep into the forest. Bang! The two-winged iron eagle smashed a big tree with one wing, causing sawdust to fly wildly. Fuck you. Zheng Mu cursed secretly in his heart, kicked his feet, and flew into the air to avoid the fatal blow. Bang bang. At the same time, he kicked out his legs and kicked the two double-winged iron eagles away, falling towards the other two job transferees. Two muffled sounds were heard, and the two job transferees were grabbed by the wings of the double-winged iron eagle and thrown directly to the ground. Ah! The screams instantly filled the entire forest. Ignore them both and keep moving forward. Zheng Mu gave a cold shout, then took the lead and ran forward. When the others heard this, they quickly followed him without paying any further attention. There are simply too many double-winged iron eagles. If they don't leave as soon as possible, they will definitely suffer heavy losses. Roar Dash Just as everyone left Haudenua, the two-winged iron eagle roared and chased after them. These beasts actually killed their own brothers. They will definitely tear the human in front of them to pieces and eat them to pieces. Oh shit! Seeing the two-winged iron eagle getting closer and closer, a job changer couldn't help but cursed, and then took out a crossbow. Call out! A sharp arrow shot through the air and hit the neck of the two-winged iron eagle. Pfft! The sharp arrow shot through the head of a double-winged iron eagle, causing it to fall to the ground immediately. Chapter 622 Ouch! The two-winged iron eagle howled in pain and rushed towards everyone angrily. Zheng Mu immediately took out his shotgun, aimed at a flying two-winged iron eagle and pulled the trigger. Snapped. A dull gunshot sounded, and the bullet immediately penetrated the chest of the double-winged iron eagle. Then, it fired in other directions. Bang bang bang. Following a burst of intense gunfire, the two-winged iron eagles fell down one after another. After a brief confrontation, everyone successfully eliminated the two-winged iron eagles. Seeing the corpses and blood on the ground, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. However, we have not completely relaxed our vigilance yet, because no one knows whether these two-winged iron eagles will be resurrected. Brother Mu, there seem to be a lot of wild boars around here. Li Ming said suddenly. Hearing this, everyone was shocked and stared into the distance with fiery eyes. Sure enough, they found many wild boars a few hundred meters away from the forest. Wild boar is a relatively common monster in wild maps, with mediocre attributes and little value. However, the wild boar has a special skill, Bloody Slaughter. Bloody Slaughter, consumes 100 points of physical strength and 30 points of HP every second. The effect of Bloody Slaughter, is very simple act by, and crude, and it is absolutely invincible when used in a fight. 
If it were an ordinary wild boar in the wild map, there would be no need for anyone to worry. Because this kind of wild boar has no attack power, not even as good as ordinary monsters. But what if it's a special wild boar in the wild map? That would definitely be a devastating disaster. Because there are many wild boars in the wild map. If you are surrounded by wild boars, you are basically in trouble. Therefore, the wild boars in the wild map are very dangerous. Brother Mu, what should we do? Li Ming asked. What else can we do? Just fight. Zheng Mu shrugged. Although the wild boar herds in the wild map are powerful, their numbers are also very sparse and cannot be spread throughout the entire area. Therefore, Zheng Mu felt that he and others should be fine. Moreover, in addition to the wild boars, there are also twin iron eagles. As long as you're careful, you shouldn't get hurt easily. After thinking clearly about the pros and cons, Zheng Mu led his teammates to start hunting. Da da da. Gunshots rang out, and wild boars were killed and fell to the ground, quickly turning into white light and disappearing. Along the way, they gained a lot. In addition to wild wolf meat, there are also many medicinal materials. And because of the firearms provided by Zheng Mu, their casualty rate has also been reduced a lot. This is also the reason why Zheng Mu chose to enter the wild map. After all, as long as you are lucky enough and hunt some wild animals, you can obtain a lot of resources. These beasts are all about money. Zheng Mu doesn't want the company he worked so hard to build to collapse. While Zheng Mu and others were hunting the monsters bravely, on a big tree in the distance, a double-winged iron eagle was hovering in the sky, staring at everyone with its cold eyes. It seems to be monitoring Zheng Mu and others, and it seems to only occasionally pass by. Brother Mu, we still have 10 experience points to upgrade Li Ming looked at the experience bar on his panel and said with some embarrassment. They had been wandering in the forest for three hours, and based on past experience, it was probably almost lunch time. However, their mission was not completed yet, so they could only continue to stay in the forest. However, Zheng Mu did not rush them. After all, he didn't dare to leave the forest rashly now. If there is an accident, it will be troublesome. Chapter, 623 Just then, out of the corner of Zheng Mu's eyes, a green fluorescent light flickered. Um. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows, feeling slightly excited. Could it be that the boss has been refreshed? Thinking of this, he quickly turned his head and looked around. However, the next moment, when he saw the scene in front of him, he was stunned. Why is it a bunch of mushrooms? I saw a row of red mushrooms growing about 20 meters away from everyone. Their colors are very bright, like balls of burning flames, exuding an alluring fragrance. Grass mushrooms? Zheng Mu's expression suddenly became strange. There is a very weird dungeon map in Wild Survival. The biggest boss in this instance is called Grass Mushroom. This boss is very powerful, has a very high IQ, and can use various toxins and traps, making it very difficult. However, this boss has a lot of experience, with a total of 200 points. It can be said to be a super fat boss. But here comes the problem. Is this Grass Mushroom the boss of the wild map, or is it a monster? Zheng Mu thought for a long time and felt that this grass mushroom should belong to the wild map. Because there are no other wild monsters next to this grass mushroom. Moreover, it has no equipment on its body, it just looks like an ordinary mushroom, without any highlights. So, decided to try to pick it up. Ding! You picked up grass mushroom too. Grass mushroom elite, after picking, you can gain experience 50 and medicine 1. Grass Mushroom Elite, after picking, you can gain experience 40 and medicine too. Looking at the two things in front of him, Zheng Mu frowned slightly. He always felt like something was wrong. Brother Mu, what's wrong? Seeing this, Li Ming couldn't help but asked in confusion. You guys should pick up the mushrooms and take a look first. I always feel something is not good. After hearing Zheng Mu's words, other job transferees did not dare to neglect, and stretched out their claws to touch the mushrooms in the grass. Ha! What kind of mushroom is this? It smells so good. Holy crap! There are actually medicines. Wow! 
I have one too. This is a healing potion that can restore 25% of your blood volume. Huh, me too. Seeing the potion bottle in their hands, everyone was pleasantly surprised and wanted to take it immediately. Don't worry, wait. Zheng Mu, stop them, I suspect this is not a grass mushroom at all, but a fake made by a double-winged iron eagle. Look at it, there is absolutely nothing on it. After hearing Zheng Mu's words, everyone came over one after another. Sure enough, there are no iconic tattoos or markings on those double-winged iron eagles. And judging from the appearance, there is no difference at all from the orthodox double-winged iron eagle. This could it be said that it is just a fake. Everyone's expressions changed. If this is the case, doesn't it mean? Be careful. Suddenly, Zheng Mu's face darkened. Boom! Along with a burst of gunfire, a bullet quickly cut through the void and shot toward Mu. The speed of the bullet was extremely fast, making it impossible for Zheng Mu to avoid it. Brother Mu! Careful! In an instant, everyone screamed in surprise. Zheng Mu's reaction was not slow either. He tapped his toes heavily on the ground and jumped backwards with the momentum. Phew! The bullet penetrated the place where he had been standing, leaving a hole as big as a bowl. What the hell? Seeing this scene, everyone couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Chapter, 624 If this bullet hits himself and others, he will definitely be shot in the head and die tragically in an instant. And what shocked everyone even more was that the sniper hiding in the dark had a very tricky sight, and he could control it so skillfully. If it is an ordinary job changer, he will definitely be attacked, and he will not even have a chance to avoid it. Oh, is this the legendary bubbling of happiness? Zheng Mu murmured to himself. Yes, it was a double-winged iron eagle from 310 that just attacked him, and it was also a juvenile version of the double-winged iron eagle. Although Zheng Mu had already expected that the monsters dealing with this copy might have cubs. But seeing the scene of the two-winged iron eagle attacking him with his own eyes, he still couldn't help but gasp. This is simply cheating. It is indeed the first boss of the dungeon. Brother Mu. What should I do? Li Ming shouted worriedly. They have already lost three members. If they lose one more, the team will completely collapse. It doesn't matter. There are five of us and there is only one of us. What are you afraid of? Wang Peng curled his lips disdainfully and said without fear. However, at this moment, he suddenly noticed something strange. Wang Peng's face suddenly became serious, and he hurriedly said, Everyone, be on guard, it's coming. Upon hearing Wang Peng's warning, everyone hurriedly put on a defensive posture and looked forward with solemn expressions. Sure enough, in the next second, a Japanese two-winged iron eagle appeared in their line of sight. But this double-winged iron eagle seems a little different from what they imagined. This iron eagle is larger than the ordinary iron eagle. It is covered with golden feathers and looks majestic. However, it does have a huge horn on its head and a pair of wings on its back, which looks a bit like the legendary two-winged angel. Moreover, what surprised Zheng Mu was that its HP did not drop at all. You know, Zheng Mu just struck it on the head with a knife, but the result was that the damage figure was not even revealed. It can be seen from this that the armor on its body must be very resistant. But even so, Zheng Mu still didn't intend to give up. Now that you have encountered it, there is absolutely no reason to give up halfway. What's more, there are archers and thieves on our side. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu took a deep breath and carried Bilyuo towards the double-calculated Iron Eagle. The others also took out their weapons and followed. This two-winged Iron Eagle seemed to be aware of the danger. It looked up to the sky and let out a roar, then flapped its wings and rushed over. However, at this moment, Li Ming suddenly threw out his arm. Call out! A sharp crossbow arrow flew straight towards the two-winged iron eagle with a sharp sound of breaking the wind. Poof! The crossbow arrow pierced the neck of the double-winged iron eagle. However, what surprised Li Ming was that this time he only caused more than a thousand points of damage to the double-winged iron eagle. You know, he is a second-level enhanced ranger. He can easily kill even ordinary professionals, 
but this double-winged Iron Eagle only has over 1,0,0 p-points. Roar Dash The two-winged Iron Eagle roared in pain, then opened its bloody mouth and bit Li Ming. 3. 8 Li Ming's face changed slightly, and he hurriedly ducked sideways. On the other side, several teammates also launched a siege on the double-winged Iron Eagle. Boom! Boom! The two-winged Iron Eagle swept its wings and slapped a thief to the ground, then took it in his mouth and devoured him alive. What the fuck? Looking at the scene in front of them, the job transferees were all stunned. Damn it! Is this still a double-winged Iron Eagle? Chapter 625 Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows, but he was not afraid of these two-winged Iron Eagles. Thinking of this, he summoned the Mecha Warrior. The Mecha Warrior was seen holding the Iron Eagle's beak with one hand, and grabbing the Iron Eagle's neck with the other hand, lifting the Iron Eagle high into the air. Then, the Mecha Warrior suddenly exerted force. Boom! With a loud noise, the sloppy Iron Eagle was violently led from the sky to the earth. There was a sound of flesh hitting the ground, dust flew up, and the ground shook slightly. When the smoke dissipated, Zheng Mu was surprised to find that the two-winged iron eagle that he had thrown to the ground was already intact. This guy is actually not dead. You must know that the one shot just now was equivalent to two heavy cannons. No wonder it 2 has dominated the wilderness for so many years. Even a second-level magician would definitely not be able to handle this. Not to mention these rookie career changers who have never even learned first-level magic. Zheng Mu's thoughts were racing, but the expression on his face did not change at all. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, Do you think you are really awesome because you have wings? Tell you, the circle is going to blow you up today. After that, Zheng Mu controlled the mecha warrior again and rushed forward. There was another violent shock, and the two-winged iron eagle actually blocked the attack of the mecha warrior with its body. What the hell? What should I do? I can't hit you. Is this Nima still an Iron Eagle? Run away quickly. Do you want to stay any longer and wait to be killed instantly? Damn it! These people don't follow the rules at all. Looking at the people around him, Zheng Mu chuckled, who dares to leave and give it a try. Hearing this, everyone shut up and could only grit their teeth and persist, hoping to find the right time to escape. After all, these two-winged Iron Eagles are too terrifying. If you guessed correctly, this kind of double-winged iron eagle should have the property of being immune to general attacks, right? Otherwise, how could it withstand two shells? What's your name? At this moment, the first-level peak swordsman asked. Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu replied calmly. Zheng Mu. What are you doing here? Hunting the iron-feathered bird. Iron-feathered bird? The swordsman frowned slightly. He seemed to have the impression that there were indeed many such monsters in this area. However, this iron feathered bird is too powerful. Ordinary bows and arrows cannot break through the defense, unless you use a large crossbow or long range archery skills. However, this iron feathered bird is extremely agile. How easy is it to hunt it down? Thinking of this, the first level peak swordsman couldn't help but ask The iron feathered bird is a fourth level monster, how did you kill it? Zheng Mu glanced at the swordsman and said slowly, kill with one move, effortlessly. Listening to Zheng Mu's words, everyone suddenly took a breath of cold air. Killing a level 4 iron feathered bird in one move. How much abnormal strength and skill does this require? Let's join forces. As long as we kill it, the treasure here will be divided equally. The swordsman suddenly said in a deep voice. Listening to the swordsman's words, several job transferees next to him nodded, obviously agreeing with his point of view. After all, the iron feathered bird is so powerful that even a third level swordsman would find it difficult to kill it. Oh. So good. Zheng Mu asked with interest. Yes. The swordsman nodded, this secret realm is opened every ten years, and you will gain a lot every time. Moreover, it is said that there is a tower of heritage in this world. As long as you successfully break through the level, you can enter the tower of heritage. Chapter, 626. In this case, I will join forces with you. 
Zheng Mu nodded. He did not intend to act alone. After all, it is difficult for two fists to defeat four hands. If there is danger, there is definitely no hope of self-protection, but with the addition of with these people, their self-protection ability should increase a lot. And the most important thing is that these people are the elites of their respective forces. If you can win over a group, you can win over a group. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu immediately ordered his mecha warriors to stop attacking and prepared to surround and suppress the Iron Feather Bird with this group of people. At the same time, the Iron Feathered Bird seemed to be aware of the crisis. It waved its wings, bringing up gusts of wind, and then quickly rushed towards the top of the hillside. Want to run? Stay here for me. Zheng Mu shouted angrily and controlled the mecha warrior to pursue him. At the same time, Daggers appeared out of thin air and shot at the iron feathered bird. Puff, puff, puff. The dagger pierced the fur and splashed with blood. Although these injuries are not painful to the fourth level iron eagle, they make the iron feathered bird extremely angry. Roar. Just hearing a roar, the iron feathered bird swooped down instantly, opened its huge mouth, and bit Ching Mu. Ding. A spark shot out and the iron-feathered bird's sharp claws fell on the Zheng Mu mecha warrior's right arm, wiping out a string of fire. Click. With a crisp sound, the iron-feathered bird tore apart the armor of the mecha warrior. FCK. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu cursed secretly, and then controlled the mecha warrior to dodge sideways. The iron-feathered bird's long tongue licked down instantly, leaving a deep indentation on the ground, and even formed a burnt black mark at the bottom of the indentation. And Zheng Mu also escaped this blow. Mom! Seeing that the iron feathered bird was a greater threat than the third level demon wolf, Zheng Mu's brows suddenly knitted together. Zheng Mu, hurry up and find a way to kill it. Otherwise, we will definitely die today. At this moment, the first level peak swordsman could not care about other people. Because he knew that if the iron feathered bird continued to chase him, he would be eaten sooner or later. And at the moment when Zheng Mu was thinking, he suddenly felt a strong wind whistling behind him, and his pupils shrank involuntarily. Bang! Zheng Mu reacted in time, raised his leg and kicked him with a whip. A muffled sound was heard, and the wings of the iron feathered bird were kicked out of place, and its huge body shook a few times, almost falling over. Seeing this scene, everyone was stunned. Damn, is this still a human being? Just one kick knocked the wings of the iron feathered bird off course. The weak point of this iron feathered bird is its wings, kill it now. The swordsman suddenly shouted. Hearing this, Zheng Mu also understood. It turned out that the iron feathered bird was afraid of lightning. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu immediately turned the gun and aimed at the wings of the iron feathered bird and pulled the trigger. Boo hoo hoo. Purple thunder and lightning suddenly appeared and headed towards the iron feathered bird. Z la la. Waves of electric current surged out, and the iron feathered bird suddenly let out a miserable howl. Success. Zhao Li's. Seeing this, everyone looked overjoyed. However, at this moment, the iron feathered bird suddenly flapped its wings and its entire body leaped into the air. Swish. The iron feathered bird raised its tail high and hit Zheng Mu hard. Seeing this, Zheng Mu looked solemn and immediately summoned the mecha warriors. Boom! The huge impact made the entire ground tremble, and the mecha warrior was directly knocked away several meters before he could stabilize his body. Chapter 627. Damn how can this beast be so powerful? Zheng Mu was extremely surprised. The collision just now knocked the mecha warrior back a full seven or eight steps. At this time, the iron feathered bird had already taken off into the air and galloped away into the distance. Oops, it's going to run away. The swordsman immediately showed a look of panic and made a decisive decision. He pulled out a long knife from his waist and slashed at the iron feathered bird. Clang! Gold and iron clash, and sparks fly. The iron feathered bird was extremely fast and disappeared into the jungle in the blink of an eye. Damn, this iron feathered bird is so powerful, it doesn't look like the third level 570 at all. The swordsman's face was extremely gloomy at this moment. 
He originally thought that the iron-feathered bird was nothing more than that, but the collision just now made him clearly realize this. The power of the iron-feathered bird. The attack power of this iron-feathered bird is definitely over 500. Not to mention a third-level monster, even a fourth-level monster might not be able to withstand such a brutal attack. This iron-feathered bird is extremely fast, we can't catch up at all. This is how to do. At this moment, many career changers around them also looked worried. Although their strength is good, they are not confident enough to fight one against two, not to mention that their target is not the iron-feathered bird, but the other two spiritual source trees. If the iron-feathered bird escapes, who knows that the remaining two Lingyuan fruit trees will be harvested by other career changers. Don't worry, I have a way. You go and rob the other Lingyuan fruit trees first. Looking at his teammates around him, Zheng Mu said calmly, Later, when the iron-feathered bird is far away from me, I will lure it to attack others. The Spiritual Source Fruit Tree After hearing this, everyone nodded and immediately acted according to the plan. At this moment, the iron-feathered bird was running wildly through the forest, trying to find Zheng Mu. However, it was unable to find any trace of Zheng Mu. Buzz! Suddenly, a light blue barrier suddenly rose. Boom! The iron-feathered bird plunged into the light blue barrier and made a violent sound. At this time, CAF, the light on the barrier gradually dimmed. What? The iron-feathered bird's eyes widened, obviously confused. What the hell is this? Its wings flapped hard, trying to destroy the barrier. But the strange thing is that this barrier is as solid as reinforced concrete. No matter how hard the iron-feathered bird is tossed, it remains unscathed. Hey, this is my defensive shield. Only my skills can remove it. Zheng Mu's voice came from the side. Humph. Pretend to be a ghost. There was a trace of ridicule on the corner of the iron-feathered bird's mouth, and then it flapped its wings again, trying to destroy the barrier with brute force. The next second, its face turned pale and lifeless. Because the moment its wings touched the barrier, it discovered that its wings were directly burned into ashes and turned into feathers floating in the air. Chirp. The iron-feathered bird let out a shrill wail, obviously seriously injured. Seeing this, Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes slightly, and then turned on Windrunner mode, again. The next moment, I saw Zheng Mu's speed soaring to the extreme, as if he was teleporting, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Boom dash. Before Iron Feather Bird could react, he was kicked away by Zheng Mu, fell to the ground, and passed out. Seeing that Iron Feather Bird had completely fainted, everyone's eyes lit up. Kill it. Zheng Mu looked at everyone indifferently and said. Yes. Everyone nodded quickly and immediately rushed towards the Iron Feathered Bird. Chapter 628 I'll go. This Iron Feathered Bird is so fucking meaty. This is too much meat. Ha, huh, I'm rich. Everyone cheered and rushed towards the Iron Feathered Bird excitedly. At the same time, in the distance, a young man was standing on an ancient sycamore tree. TSK, TSK, it's really enviable and jealous. The young man murmured, his tone full of regret. This person is clearly Li Yunza, and the Iron Feathered Bird is also his carefully raised pet. The strength of this Iron Feathered Bird has reached the early stage of the fourth level. I didn't expect to lose to this guy named Xin Mu. Li Yunza touched his nose and raised the corner of his mouth. Forget it, I have other things to do, so I'll spare you for now, Xin Mu. After saying that, Li Yunza jumped up and jumped from the tree. Seeing this scene, Zhuang couldn't help but feel a hint of fear in her eyes. It seems that Li Yunza has noticed me. Fortunately, he ran out early. This thought flashed through Zheng Mu's mind, and then he thought, in this case, let's trick him again. After all, Zheng Mu is no fool. At the same time, on the other side, in another area not far from here. Ha! Huh. I found a Lingyuan fruit tree. An excited voice suddenly sounded. Immediately afterwards, a few figures were seen rushing out from the depths of the dense forest and heading straight for the Lingyuan fruit tree. Ha! Huh. That's the third level spiritual source fruit tree. Ha! Huh. You're lucky, 
this is worth 5,000 experience coins. Several people smiled one after another, obviously very happy. At this time, a man suddenly frowned, looked to one side and said, what's going on? Why do you feel that the surroundings are so quiet and scary? Nothing will happen, right? TCH hearing the man's words, another girl curled her lips, what could happen? It's probably because the iron-feathered bird doesn't dare to come near here. That's right. Hearing this, the boy grinned. This forest is managed and protected by their hunter union. On weekdays, these iron-feathered birds will basically not come close to this area, and they are also happy to be leisurely. No one will take the initiative to provoke these extremely dangerous monsters. However, just when they were about to continue picking Lingyuan fruit, they suddenly discovered that the iron-feathered bird had fallen into the nearby bushes. The expressions of the hunters were a little surprised, obviously they didn't expect the iron-feathered bird to appear here. Zero please give me flowers. Could it be that the iron-feathered bird was knocked down by someone? Hiss. Doesn't that mean the iron-feathered bird has a treasure in it? Huh, now I'm rich. Several hunters looked at each other, their eyes filled with passion. They had long heard that the materials on the iron-feathered bird were extremely valuable, and they finally encountered it today. Damn, the strength of this iron-feathered bird is at least level 4. I'm afraid it will be difficult for us to get the materials from this iron-feathered bird. What are you afraid of? With the deputy commander here, we will be fine. Upon hearing the captain's words, the other team members' eyes suddenly lit up, and they all looked in one direction, with admiration on their faces. That young man is the deputy leader and weapons master of their guild. His strength is also number one in the entire Maple Leaf Town. Under his leadership, they can obtain this huge profit. Call out Dash. A harsh sound broke through the air suddenly, and then a strong man came out from behind an ancient tree. The stout man was extremely tall and muscular, with explosive muscles all over his body. His tiger eyes were as sharp as an eagle, which made people feel fearful. Chapter 629 he was carrying a giant broadaxe on his back, and his arms were wrapped with iron ropes, which was obviously very heavy. Ha! The strong man yelled angrily, then turned his axe and hit the nearest person hard. Click! With the sound of broken bones, the hunter vomited blood and died on the spot, falling straight down. Whoever dares to stop us will be shot to death. Brothers, let's get to work. The strong man roared angrily and wielded his broad 580 axe to chop down a famous hunter like melons and vegetables. Although these hunters possess martial level strength, they have no power to fight back in front of strong men. In just a few minutes, they were all lying on the ground in a mess, with blood flowing everywhere. The strong man strode towards the iron feathered bird's corpse, his face filled with ecstasy. Ha! Huh. It's happening! It's happening! The hunter laughed wildly with excitement. Ha! Huh. Is there blood? Suddenly, the strong man frowned slightly. Immediately, he squatted down to investigate, and his face became even more horrified. Two of the iron-feathered bird's wings were cut off. How is this possible? The strong man said in shock. The attack power of this iron-feathered bird is comparable to that of a peak warrior. Who is it that has such combat power? Could it be the proud children of those big forces? A hunter guessed. Absolutely impossible. Another hunter shook his head and rejected this possibility. In the past, this iron feathered bird only attacked low level beasts, but this time, it dared to provoke even high level beasts. Although this iron feathered bird is strong, it is still a second level ferocious beast. Logically speaking, it shouldn't be so weak. The strong man thought deeply. Perhaps someone missed it. The hunter from before continued. Hearing this, several other people nodded, seeming to think this explanation was very reasonable. Humph. No matter if he picked it up or not, it's true that we get the Lingyuan fruit back as soon as possible. After the strong man finished speaking, he was about to pick up the iron feathered bird's body. However, at this moment, he found that he could not move even half an inch. What's going on? The strong man's expression changed drastically. He clearly remembered that he could move the iron-feathered bird's body just now. 
Huh, boy, it's useless, you can't move this iron-feathered bird. At this moment, a slightly mocking laugh came into the ears of the strong man. Who? Hearing this voice, the strong man's pupils shrank sharply. He looked around and didn't see anyone. Just when he was confused, a strong smell of blood suddenly drifted into his nose. The next second, the strong man suddenly turned his head and saw a huge black panther lying on the ground. This is a magic pattern tiger. The strong man took a breath of cold air, and a wave of panic surged in his heart. The strength of the magic pattern tiger is equivalent to that of an early level 5th level beast, and some can even rival that of an early level 6th level beast. This magic pattern tiger is incredibly fast and is good at sneak attacks. If it weren't for its huge size, even an early stage 6th order monster might not be able to catch it. However, at this moment, the magic pattern tiger was lying on the ground obediently, apparently tamed. Damn it! Who did it? Seeing this scene, the strong man too, five gritted his teeth with hatred, and his eyes were full of resentment and humiliation. As the captain of the Maple Leaf Town Hunter Guild, he is a mid-level fifth-level practitioner, and now he is being ridden on his neck. How can he swallow this breath? At this moment, his peripheral vision swept across the ground not far away and found a piece of paper placed on the grass. What is this? He raised his eyebrows slightly and stretched out a hand to touch the note. Chapter, 630 Um. Just as the strong man was about to touch the note, his face suddenly froze. His throat seemed to have been struck by a boulder, and he lost his voice instantly and was unable to speak. Because right next to the note, stood a young man wearing a black robe, with a golden mask on his face. That mask was about the size of a palm. It was dark golden in color and covered with mysterious patterns. It looked quite domineering. And the young man held a giant broad knife with an exaggerated shape in his hands, exuding strong natural energy. After seeing this picture, the strong man was immediately frightened. That's a magic pattern tiger. The other party is actually able to control the magic pattern tiger. What does this mean? This is definitely a fierce and unparalleled existence. Moreover, zero to the evil spirit exuded from this young man made the strong man feel deeply afraid. Your Excellency who are you? The strong man asked stammeringly. Me? The young man glanced at him coldly, and a cold arc appeared at the corner of his mouth, you don't need to know, anyway, you will soon become a ghost under my sword. Boom! The next moment, the young man suddenly swung his sword, and the sharp sword light tore through the air and slashed hard at the strong man's head. What a terrifying attack power! The strong man's eyes widened with a horrified expression. He didn't expect that the other party wouldn't say a word and just took action. However, he is the captain of the Maple Leaf Town Hunter Guild after all, so he naturally has a lot of courage and courage, and he immediately raised his fist to face the sword light. Bang! The sword light was very powerful. With one strike, the strong man was immediately thrown several meters away. His chest collapsed, a large mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth, and he almost fainted. This guy's power is so terrifying. There was a storm in the heart of the strong man. He had tried his best to overestimate the opponent's strength just now, but he never expected that the opponent's strength far exceeded his expectations. I don't believe you can still withstand my fist. The strong man got up again, running wildly with the energy in his body. Immediately afterwards, he kicked the ground with his right foot, turned into an afterimage, and rushed towards Sheng Mu very quickly. Die! The strong man roared and punched Mu in the chest. With this punch, he almost used all his strength. Even a steel plate would be broken by him. Boom! The next moment, a muffled sound came out. Immediately afterwards, a scarlet liquid splashed out. The strong man suddenly vomited a large pool of blood in his mouth, and his body flew backwards like a cannonball, hitting a tree trunk hard. The bark of the tree peeled off, and he fell into a pool of blood. After a few twitches, he was completely lifeless. Hiss. In the distance, a group of hiding hunters 957 saw this scene and couldn't help but gasp. They originally wanted to take advantage of the chaos to escape, 
but now they didn't dare to move. This young man was so terrifying, he actually killed the hunter captain in the late fourth level with one strike. Could it be? Everyone looked at the young man with awe in their eyes. At this moment, the young man walked slowly to the side of the strong man, looked down at the strong man's body, raised the corner of his mouth with an evil arc, and said indifferently. Those who hunt the beasts of the seventh level desolate bone dragon will be rewarded with five thousand low-grade crystal cores. Those who kill the third level beasts will be rewarded with eight hundred low-grade crystal cores, and those who kill the fourth level beasts will be rewarded with one thousand low-grade crystal cores. To kill a level 3 ferocious beast, you will need two zero zero low-grade crystal cores, and to kill a level 4 ferocious beast, you will need twenty zero zero low-grade crystal cores. Chapter 631 We gained a lot this time. While speaking, the young man took out a bunch of crystal cores. After seeing the number of crystal nuclei clearly, the hunters were stunned. Holy shit! This guy actually killed all three level 4 desolate bone dragons. And it only took less than a stick of incense. Holy crap! What a monster! Such strength is at least the early 6th level, or even higher. How could such a character appear near Maple Leaf Town? Stop talking nonsense! This is the Yunza Mountains. Apart from the mercenary union, there are no other mercenary groups at all. Hey! Since this young man has such great strength, let's just follow him, shall we? The hunters talked a lot, and they all concluded that Zheng Mu's strength was extremely terrifying, and Zheng Mu's background was so strong, it would definitely not be a loss to follow him. For a time, the hunters were all excited. However, at this moment, Zheng Mu suddenly frowned and turned his head to look in a certain direction. He saw a mercenary team of about ten people running towards him. The leader is a tall and thin young man. He holds a broad-bladed spear, wears silver-gray battle armor, and has a long sword at his waist. He has an unparalleled aura. This young man looked arrogant and arrogant, and seemed not to pay attention to the other mercenaries around him. In fact, no one would notice him. In the Yunza Mountains, strong men in the early sixth level of Wuho realm are extremely rare. How could they be as arrogant as this young man? Brother. Help. Help. Someone killed the second master. When the young man was still dozens of meters away, the strong man finally saw hope and quickly called for help. What? Someone actually dares to kill members of our hunter guild. Hearing this, the young man in silver armor flew into a rage. Then he stared at Jing Mu with malicious eyes and said in a cold voice. Are you the one who killed Lu Heng? the deacon of our union. Humph! Today, you are dead. Zheng Mu glanced at him and sneered, it seems that you should be the fifth-ranked hunter in the union. Yes, I am Zhao Feng. Remember, my name is Zhao Feng. If you kill my brother, you will have to endure the pain of dying in flames today. Zhao Feng smiled ferociously while speeding up. Fire Lion! The hunters behind him were all startled. The fiery lion is said to be an early stage 7th level barbarian bull king. It is huge in size and has a violent and terrifying personality. This barbarian bull king once fought with a six-winged python, and finally consumed the six-winged python alive. It is said that once the flame lion displays the flame lion flame, its momentum will become even more violent. Ordinary peak innate warriors will only be killed instantly when encountering it. At this moment, Zhao Feng summoned the fiery lion, and obviously regarded Jing Mu as his enemy that he must kill. This is terrible. It actually attracted a fire lion. It's over. We're dead. Damn it. I'm only four years old, and I still don't want to die. Nua Ma Zhao, the faces of everyone around him were full of fear and panic. Jing Mu, however, still looked calm and said indifferently, it's just a fire lion. Do you think you can hurt me with the flames of this beast? Looking for death. You are so ignorant that you dare to look down on our blazing lion. Today I will let you see how powerful our blazing lion is. When Zhao Feng heard Jing Mu's taunt, he couldn't help but become even more angry. With a shake of his hand, the fire lion roared and rushed towards him. Chapter 
632. Although the fire lion has not yet reached the seventh level, he has some intelligence in his body. He knows that his master is very angry, so he vows to use a thunder blow to kill this ant who dares to insult him. Ha! You're done. A gloating smile appeared on Zhao Feng's face, as if he had seen Zheng Mu being bitten into a corpse by the fire lion, or being trampled to pieces. However, just when the fire lion was about to fall in front of Zheng Mu, Zheng Mu suddenly took action, reached out to grab the fire lion's neck, and then threw the fire lion away. Ouch! The fiery lion howled miserably, fell back several meters, and fell heavily to the ground. After struggling twice, it died. Everyone was dumbfounded. The mercenaries looked at Jingmu blankly, unable to react for a long time. This guy actually killed such a powerful bull beast. How strong is he? Little bastard. You actually killed the fire lion. No one can protect you today. After Zhao Feng was stunned for a moment, his eyes were ferocious. He immediately pulled out the long knife from his waist, jumped up towards Xing Mu, clamped Xing Mu's shoulders with his legs, swept out the long knife, and chopped off Xing Mu's head. Click! Xing Mu raised his right foot slightly and kicked it out at will, causing Zhao Feng to vomit blood and fly backwards. What are you all standing there for? Come with me. Kill him. Zhao Feng got up from the ground, pointed at the mercenaries in the distance and cursed. As soon as he finished speaking, the hunters rushed up and kicked and punched Jing Mu. In the blink of an eye, they pushed Jing Mu to the ground and started beating and kicking him. Huh, boy, are you going to be arrogant again? Are you going to continue to be arrogant? Zhao Feng sneered again and again. Jing Mu was lying on the ground, with red and swollen cheeks, tattered clothes, and extreme embarrassment. However, he still looked calm. He looked at Zhao Feng lightly and said, Don't you think it's strange? Strange? What's strange? Zhao Feng asked doubtfully. Zheng Mu grinned, showing his white teeth, and said with a smile, You are so powerful, why do you want a bunch of useless innates to help you fight? What did you say? How dare you look down on our hunter guild? Zhao Feng's expression changed, and then he sneered, Huh. Let me tell you, even if you are a transcendent ninth level being, you don't dare to provoke our hunter guild. If you dare to provoke us, you are tantamount to provoking the hunter guild, and you will definitely be punished. Shattered into thousands of pieces. Oh. Really? Your threats have no effect on me at all. Jing Mu shook his head indifferently, I killed Lu Hang, the deacon of your union, so you sent people to track me? You are indeed an extraordinary ancient warrior from the ninth level. Zhao Feng's pupils shrank violently, his face was horrified, and then he said with a ferocious smile, but so what? You can't escape today. Even if you can kill the deacon of our union, you must pay the price. Our Gale Wind Hall is not the only the weakest branch in the union is not someone you can offend. You're wrong. I didn't kill the deacon of your union, but everyone in your entire hunter union. Zheng Mu said calmly, I originally didn't want to kill innocent people indiscriminately. After all, there are countless ordinary people in this world who need me to protect them, but you just show up, so I have no choice but to kill you all. What? Kill us all. Zhao Feng was startled at first, then sneered, just you. Who do you think you are? Kill us all. Do you think you can kill us all? You take yourself too seriously. Zheng Mu ignored the other party and turned to look at the mercenary pen curtains. Brothers, let me ask you, do you want to make money? Chapter, 633 Upon hearing this, several mercenaries' eyes lit up. They are all desperados who often rob homes and homes. In addition to killing people and robbing goods, they also do part-time tasks assigned to them by their employers. Of course we do. Zheng Mu nodded and said, since you want to make money, I will give you two choices now. 1. Join our guild. Follow me from now on. After becoming a guild member, you will have a fixed salary every month, and I will not I will let you do that kind of evil thing. 2nd. You will continue to be wandering mercenaries. However, when our guild grows, I will recruit more strong people. 
At that time, you will sever ties with your current force and join our guild. You are still your free agents without any restrictions. Upon hearing this, the mercenaries immediately hesitated. Seeing this, Zheng Mu immediately added. Our guild is the third-ranked super guild in the world. It is much more powerful than your original power. Joining us will bring no harm to you at all. I can guarantee that your future will not stop at the one-star level. The guild can even be promoted to an A-level guild soon. A-level guild. When all the mercenaries heard this, they became excited. Although level A guilds are second only to level 5 guilds, they are powerful enough. Especially for medium-sized unions such as Hunter's Guild and Assassin Guild, if they can join an A-level guild, both their status and income will be greatly improved. More importantly this is a wilderness world. It's full of dangers and opportunities. Who doesn't want to become stronger? Moreover, even if what Jing Mu said were all lies, they still didn't have to worry about being hunted down after joining an A-level guild. A-level guilds have influence all over the world, and no one dares to challenge them. Thinking of this, someone finally spoke and said in a deep voice, I can promise you. But you must give me guarantee, otherwise, don't blame me for being unkind. No problem. Zheng Mu smiled slightly, took out a gold coin and threw it to the other party, saying, I will use my life as a guarantee. If you violate the agreement, this gold coin will be your punishment. The man glanced at the gold coin, a trace of greed flashed in his eyes, and finally nodded, Okay, I believe you. And I. Another mercenary said, I'll join. I'll join in too. Zero please give me flowers. Me too. Someone took the lead, and other mercenaries also expressed their intentions. Okay. Welcome everyone to join the guild. From now on, we will be a family. A bright smile appeared on Zheng Mu's face, and he immediately glanced around and said, Everyone, please rest assured that from now on, this wilderness belongs to us, and our only enemy is those damned ones. Warcraft. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a rumble in the distance. Then I saw more than ten huge one-horned rhinoceros running towards this side. They were extremely fast and were already far away from Zheng Mu and others in the blink of an eye. Seeing this group of behemoths approaching, Zheng Mu raised the corner of his mouth slightly and murmured to himself, they're just a bunch of silver-level guys. He flicked his fingers. Call out. A ray of cold light shot out and instantly penetrated the neck of a one-horned rhinoceros. Poof. Blood splashes. A huge one-horned rhinoceros, as big as a hill, fell dead on the spot. Hiss. Seeing that the one-horned rhinoceros couldn't even withstand Zheng Mu's attack, the remaining nine one-horned rhinos stopped and stared at Zheng Mu and the others with vigilant eyes. Chapter 634 Zhao Feng couldn't help but swallowed, and a huge wave of waves arose in his heart. He never expected that the Zheng Mu in front of him would be so powerful, killing a silver-level magic beast, the one-horned rhinoceros, instantly in just one encounter. This is silver level. In the wilderness world, silver-level monsters are the top existence. And once you reach the gold level, you can dominate an area. But the Zheng Mu in front of him is obviously less than twenty years old. How can he have such terrifying combat power? Could it be that he is hiding his strength? As soon as this idea came to his mind, Zhao Feng became more and more afraid. But soon, he felt relieved. Because he remembered that this land belonged to a big man, and this big man had an army under his command, half of which were elite legions. And Zheng Mu's ability to form such a powerful army in such a short period of time must have something to do with that big shot. After thinking about this clearly, Zhao Feng's worries gradually disappeared. He snorted coldly, then raised his finger to touch the unicorn star, you go and deal with these life-threatening things. Whoosh! After hearing Zhao Feng's words, the remaining eight mercenaries stood up and walked towards the one-horned rhinoceros, obviously wanting to do it themselves. Although these one-horned rhinoceros are strong, they are not strong enough to compete with the strong men of A-level guilds. So they are not afraid at all. However, just as they were about to attack the one-horned rhinoceros. Boom! Along with an earthquake-like tremor, 
the ground suddenly cracked and dense cracks appeared. Immediately afterwards, in the crack, a pair of scarlet eyes suddenly opened, like a ferocious tiger, charging towards everyone. Roar! With a deep roar, a huge grey wolf appeared in front of everyone. The grey wolf's fur is dark grey and has two sharp horns on its forehead. Moreover, this grey wolf looks different from ordinary wolves. There are tufts of black fur on both sides of its nose. Looks extremely treacherous. It's the nether wolf. Seeing this netherworld wolf, the pupils of the nine mercenaries all tightened, and their eyes flashed with intense horror, as if they had seen some kind of wild beast, and their faces were full of horror and fear. Ghost Wolf, also known as Evil Ghost Wolf. This kind of monster likes to suck blood and souls, and is violent and murderous. It is one of the most dangerous monsters in the wilderness world. The destructive power of a ghost wolf is comparable to that of a small town. Run. After the nine people reacted, they ran away. They didn't think they could stop the netherworld wolf. Whoosh. 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 However, before they could escape far, the netherworld wolf led more than ten netherworld wolves to quickly chase them. Seeing that the nether wolf was biting hard, the selected mercenary cursed angrily, then turned his head and glared at Jing Mu, growling, Why are you still standing there? Hurry and help. Jing Mu raised his eyebrows, then walked slowly towards the netherworld wolf, and said at the same time, Sorry, I am only responsible for recruiting you, not protecting your safety. The hired mercenary was so angry that he couldn't help but swear. Zheng Mu was too lazy to pay attention to him and walked straight into Hui Lu Ken. Hu Qi. In the gray fog, wisps of subtle wind sound came. Zheng Mu felt carefully, but didn't notice anything. He couldn't help but frown and said, Is it an illusion? At this moment, a weak wave suddenly reached his head. Um. Upon noticing this slight fluctuation, Zheng Mu's expression suddenly became serious, and then he concentrated on sensing it. Chapter, 635 The next moment, in the grey fog, he keenly noticed dozens of weak fluctuations that were difficult to distinguish with the naked eye. These fluctuations are distributed in various locations in the grey mist, forming strange trajectories among each other, and intersecting to form a strange pattern. This is there was a hint of surprise in Zheng Mu's eyes, space magic. Zheng Mu once heard his teacher Robert mention something about space magic. According to Robert, among space magic, there is a skill called space trace, which is rare and powerful in space magic. Magic. Space trace, after use, the caster can create a space trace to change the surrounding environment. Regardless of whether it is matter, spiritual energy or elements, they will all be pulled into this trace of space. Unless the strength exceeds the caster by too much, it will be difficult to interrupt this change. It turns out to be space magic. Zheng Mu was stunned, but quickly shook his head, although it is very powerful, the flaws of this magic are obvious. If you encounter someone with higher strength than yourself, this trace of space will have no effect. At this time, the trace of space has gradually become clearer and is slowly shrinking. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, then made a fist with his right hand, aiming at the trace of space and smashing it down. Bang! With a muffled sound, the trace of space suddenly shattered into hundreds of fragments and scattered in the grey garden. At this time, Zheng Mu once again mobilized his mental power, trying to reunite the traces of space. But what surprised him was that this time, he could no longer condense the traces of space. What happened? Zheng Mu frowned slightly, with doubt in his eyes. At this moment, out of the corner of his eye, he caught a glimpse of a green herb standing quietly on the hillside not far away. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly lit up. He knew this herb. It was a second-grade medicinal material, King Shuenko. Is this what I'm looking for? Looking at the green frost grass, Zheng Mu's heartbeat suddenly accelerated, and his eyes showed desire. Now he is only one step away from reaching the seventh level of body refining, and this piece of grass can help him complete his breakthrough. Zheng Mu took a deep breath and walked towards the hillside. Soon, he came to King Shuenko. This is a bud plant that is all white and crystal clear and looks like an ice sculpture. It looks extremely beautiful. 
Zheng Mu took out the dagger, easily dug out a small section, stuffed it into his mouth and started chewing. The taste is sweet and refreshing, with a hint of bitterness. Click. After chewing it, a majestic energy flows down the throat and fills the entire stomach. Boom. In an instant, his stomach churned violently, like boiling hot water. Layers of heat waves continued to pour out of the abdominal cavity and rush to the limbs and bones. What a huge energy! Zheng Mu was extremely surprised when 667 felt the huge energy contained in his belly. Just by swallowing such a small amount of King Shuenko, his cultivation instantly rose to the peak of the early stage of the sixth level of qi training. If you eat up this green frost grass, you will probably be able to break through right away. What a good thing! Looking at the green seedling in his hand, Zheng Mu's eyes were burning. But soon, his attention was focused on the group of ghost wolves around him, and his expression gradually became serious. Although he had killed a lot of netherworld wolves in the fight just now, the number of netherworld wolves still reached more than thirty. Among them, the strength of two netherworld wolves has reached the early stage of qi training at the fifth level, and the other two are at the third level of qi training. Chapter 636 And now he has just broken through the sixth level of qi training, and his strength is equivalent to the fourth level of qi training. If he wants to defeat these ghost wolves, he must deal with them as soon as possible and by time, otherwise the only outcome waiting for him is death. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu took a deep breath, then raised his feet and walked towards the ghost wolves. Roar! Seeing the prey coming to the door, the nether wolf immediately let out an excited roar and attacked Zheng Mu crazily. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold and stern, and he held a dagger and faced him. Poof! There was a soft sound of the sharp blade cutting through the skin, and dozens of blood flowers shot out from Zheng Mu's body instantly. His injuries worsened instantly, and he could barely hold the dagger safely. However, Zheng Mu did not stop and continued to wield the dagger to chop down the ghost wolves. Although the nether wolf has rough skin and thick flesh, its defensive power is amazing. But after all, there were too many, and soon there were more and more wounds on Zheng Mu's body, with blood splattering and dyeing his clothes red. And just when Zheng Mu was about to fight desperately, a familiar roar suddenly resounded through the sky, How dare you, you beast! Call out! A strong wind struck, instantly piercing the throat of a ghost wolf. The netherworld wolf's neck was pierced by a sharp arrow, scarlet blood flew, and his body fell to the ground. Bang bang bang! Immediately afterwards, three more dull gunshots rang out, and the first netherworld wolf was instantly killed. At the same time, a dark figure jumped out from the side, picked up the long bow on the ground, and bent the bow to knock an arrow. Puff! Another nether wolf was shot in the head and fell to the ground on its back. A handsome man in purple warrior uniform walked out of the woods, holding a long bow and shooting arrows. Each arrow can kill a nether wolf, the speed is staggering. It's him. Seeing this young man who suddenly came to the rescue, Zheng Mu felt happy. He had long seen that those ghost wolves seemed to be afraid of the handsome young man. If it weren't for this, Zheng Mu would have started running for his life long ago, why would he be standing here stupidly? Why don't you leave yet? The young man frowned when he saw Zheng Mu. Hearing this, Zheng Mu grinned and said, Hey, I can't leave just yet. Oh. Hearing this, the young man raised his eyebrows and asked with interest, Why? Zheng Mu shrugged his shoulders and replied calmly, You see, there are a lot of these ghost wolves, more than thirty. Even if I can escape, I will probably have to pay a huge price. The young man nodded slightly to express understanding, then frowned and said, in that case, why do you stay? Zheng Mu chuckled and said, who told you I was going to run away? The young man was startled, don't run away. Do you want to kill them all? Stop dreaming. Although the ghost wolves are low in intelligence, there are too many of them. You can't kill them at all. Hearing this, he laughed and said, of course I don't want to kill them. With that said, Zheng Mu turned around, walked to the Qingshuang grass, squatted down, and then stretched out his hand to pick off the seedling. Hello. Seeing this, the young man couldn't help shouting to Zhao, is this thing edible? Zheng Mu waved his hand, no, 
but I know how to use it, and it will definitely be more useful. The young man glanced at Jing Mu suspiciously, with a bit of vigilance in his eyes. He did not believe that Jing Mu could control the medicinal properties of King Shuanko. Because medicinal materials such as King Shuanko are generally used exclusively by practitioners. Ordinary people are not qualified to practice at all, and even some warrior families may not choose to cultivate Qingshuang grass to avoid burning themselves. Chapter 637 But Cheng Mu didn't particularly care whether they believed it or not. After all, there are still many things waiting for him to explore in this divine realm. Zheng Mu shook his head, these career changers were so stupid that he found it difficult to save them. After looking at the system, he saw that all his mecha warriors had almost been upgraded. It's time to go to the altar. In front of this hall is an arched door. Through the door, you can enter the altar in the backyard of the temple. In addition to various job transfer tasks and treasures, there are also many mysterious existences in this map. For example, there are many extremely powerful NPCs hidden in 373 inside this temple. Their strength is amazing, and they may even possess terrifying power that can destroy the world. Therefore, every time they come to God's realm, the desire for the altar among job changers is extremely high. Zheng Mu was now standing in the temple hall, looking at the altar next to the arched door in the distance, his eyes flashing, and he felt quite excited. His most urgent thing now is naturally to improve his skills. Therefore, Zheng Mu did not hesitate for too long and walked directly towards the door. As soon as he stepped out of the arch, his eyes suddenly turned into a dark world. At the same time, there were bursts of roaring and loud noises in my ears, as if thousands of troops and horses were galloping past my ears. After his eyes adjusted to the darkness, another scene appeared in his sight. A wide road appeared at his feet. Surrounded by endless hills, as far as the eye can see, there are dense forests, birds singing and flowers fragrant, creating a harmonious scene. Moreover, the road leading deep into the hills is very flat, with unobstructed views and almost no obstacles. It seems like this is my mission location. Zheng Mu looked up and saw that the spacious road was empty and empty, as if it was a dead end. But since the task gave a prompt, Zheng Mu naturally knew what to do. He walked slowly along the road, and within two steps he noticed something unusual. There seems to be a lot less vegetation on this road as if, and the whole space seems very lonely. And as he went deeper and deeper, the wind noise around him gradually became louder. The howling wind was mixed with bursts of strange syllables, like some kind of weird monster roaring. Zheng Mu frowned and stopped. At this moment, he suddenly heard a hoarse roar coming from behind. Immediately afterwards, he felt a cold breath on his shoulder. Zheng Mu turned around and saw a huge head appearing less than half a meter behind him. And the owner of this head is actually a job changer. Fuck. Zheng Mu was startled and hurriedly took two steps back, narrowly avoiding being bitten by the head on his neck. You who are you? Why are you here? Zheng Mu asked in a deep voice. However, what answered him was a ferocious and ugly face. The head opened its mouth to reveal sharp white teeth, and a pair of scarlet eyes stared coldly at Zheng Mu. The next moment, the head suddenly came towards Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu's heart trembled slightly. Although he was not an ordinary job changer, this divine realm had limits after all, otherwise he would have killed this unknown enemy long ago. But his current level is only V1, and he is no match for this enemy. What's more important is that he doesn't know the details of this enemy. If there is a fight, he will definitely suffer the loss. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and prepared to lure this guy away first. Chapter 638 Thinking of this, Zheng Mu immediately used his skill, Light Spirit Technique. As he let out a low drink, a light cyan light appeared on his body surface. This is the basic magic of the Light Spirited Mage. After casting this magic, his speed will be significantly improved. Zheng Mu ran away without hesitation. When this head saw this, it didn't care about anything else and just started chasing after it. However, it soon became tragic. Because the terrain of this place is extremely complex, it is easy to get lost in it if you are not careful. 
What's more, although this head has superior strength, its IQ is obviously average. It soon discovered something that made it depressed, it seemed that it had been abandoned again. This scene made it so angry that it wanted to tear that human into pieces to vent its anger. But it couldn't find the other party, which made it very crazy. On the other side, Jing Mu quickly rushed to the altar after leaving the temple. According to the mission regulations, he needs to complete the mission as soon as possible to obtain rewards, so he must speed up. Fortunately, he did not encounter too many dangers in this area and arrived near the altar smoothly. Ding, the host of Sleepy Joy triggers a hidden mission seeking the truth. Listening to the system prompts, Jing Mu perked up and finally completed the second task. Ding, hidden mission searching for the truth, ask the host to find the truth and complete the mission. Reward 100 job transfer coins. Failure to do so will result in erasure. Searching for the truth. Isn't this about finding a door to the core of the temple? Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment. He thought carefully and then shook his head. If you are in another copy, you may also try to use the thief's stealth to hide aside and observe secretly. But in this temple, it is impossible for anyone to ambush him. Because in this temple, no disturbance can escape the surveillance of the temple guards. And if the traps in this temple cannot be cracked in time, it will be impossible to enter the core of the temple. Therefore, Zheng Mu thought over and over again and decided to just rush in and take a look. But before that, the first thing he had to do was to figure out the size and layout of the temple. This temple is filled with all kinds of strange ancient trees. And these ancient trees also emit light green fluorescence. It seems that my guess is correct. This temple was indeed built in a cemetery. Zheng Mu thought silently. He raised his head and looked around, and soon discovered a huge coffin placed about five or six meters away from him. His pupils suddenly shrank and he became alert instantly. Crack. Suddenly, there was a crisp sound, and Zheng Mu's body shook slightly. Immediately afterwards, he was surprised to see the coffin lid that was lying quietly on the ground slowly rising. Zheng Mu held his breath, knowing that he was likely to encounter new dangers. After the coffin board was opened, a thick and majestic aura suddenly swept out. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu saw a huge thing slowly emerging from the coffin. It was a black python with a fierce and cruel appearance. The muscles at the corners of Zheng Mu's eyes couldn't help but twitch. Although he had long expected that he would face such a challenge, he still couldn't help but gasp when he saw it with his own eyes. This black giant python is as thick as a bucket, its whole body is covered with extremely hard scales, and its head is covered with sharp and ferocious fangs, as wide as a knife or an axe. Chapter 639 What the hell is this? Zheng Mu murmured to himself, with deep fear in his eyes. He knows that this time the enemy may be extremely difficult to deal with. However, before he could think any further, this behemoth had already attacked him first. It suddenly raised its snake tail and slammed it down with an unstoppable momentum. Faced with such a ferocious offensive, Zheng Mu did not dare to neglect and immediately jumped up, narrowly avoiding the fatal blow. May 17th Bang the snake's tail hit the ground hard, causing countless dust to fly. And Zheng Mu took the opportunity to fall firmly aside. At this time, he finally realized how powerful his enemy was. This is a powerful existence that he has never encountered before, and it can even be called terrifying. The strength of this giant python alone is about a ton. Such a powerful explosive power shocked him. With this level of power, one punch could probably turn him into a puddle of mud. Zheng Mu did not dare to neglect at all. He clenched the dagger in his hand and prepared to deal with this life and death fight. And the black giant python was also looking at Zheng Mu, its eyes full of cruelty and bloodthirsty desire. Damn it, how could such a big monster suddenly appear? Zheng Mu cursed secretly. At this moment, he suddenly felt a familiar fragrance wafting in the air. Zheng Mu was startled when he heard this, and then an expression of ecstasy appeared on his face. This smell is left behind by her. This is the special fragrance of Su Yakina. Although the scent is very light, Zheng Mu can still clearly identify the scent she left behind based on his familiarity with her. 
Thinking of this, Zheng Mu felt relieved and became much calmer. Since Su Yakina has been here, she must know the secrets in this temple. Since this woman knows the secret of this place, then I will follow her into the temple. As long as you join her, you can get the mission clues and successfully complete the hidden mission. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu no longer hesitated and walked directly towards Su Yakina. Soon, Zheng Mu came to a stone tablet and looked at the words carved on the stone tablet. Copy of Temple, Introduction, This is a temple jointly built by priests of all generations. It is said that a powerful witch once lived here, possessing divine power that reached the heavens and the earth. But later, for some reason, she chose to leave this world. But in this castle, all the information about witches is preserved. This passage seems very short, but it gives people a profound and long-lasting feeling. It seems that this passage contains a great mystery. Ha! Huh. Zheng Mu exhaled a breath to calm the turbulent emotions in his heart. Then he turned around and walked toward a cloth door in front of him. This stone door is not big, only about half a foot high and about two meters wide. There are two rows of stone statues on both sides of the stone gate, which look very solemn and solemn. Zheng Mu stood in front of the door and reached out to push open the heavy door. Creak, creak the door slowly opened, revealing the scene inside. Behind the gate, there was a dark, narrow, winding corridor. The corridor was filled with thick black smoke, and the stench that was choking your nose hit your face. Zheng Mu held his nose and moved towards the corridor. The closer you get to this door, the thicker the black mist inside becomes. Soon, Zheng Mu's feet stepped into the door, but as soon as his arms touched the mist, his skin was burned. He quickly retracted his arms and took a few steps back. Chapter 640 At this time, he discovered that his legs had long disappeared, leaving only two bare arms, which looked extremely strange. Zheng Mu's face suddenly turned ugly. He lowered his head and checked his clothes and found that there was nothing wrong with them. It seems that the designer of this copy is very particular. Zheng Mu murmured. In any case, he has overcome the initial crisis for the time being. Zheng Mu walked along the corridor and soon reached the end. Here is a spacious and bright hall, with candles lit on the walls, shining white. Zheng Mu circled around but found no valuable clues. Even the corpse he saw before was nowhere to be seen. Zero Two Zheng Mu frowned and couldn't help but wonder if the black python was still alive. At this moment, he suddenly felt a strong wind coming from behind, and he was so frightened that he quickly dodged. Unfortunately, it's still a step too late. Snapped. A whip hit the spot where he was just now, leaving a deep crater. Immediately afterwards, the black giant python opened its bloody mouth and sprayed venom at Zheng Mu. Fuck. Zheng Mu cursed and quickly dodged. But his reaction was still a beat too slow, and the dark green venom splashed on his face. Zheng Mu only felt the burning pain in his cheek, and a burst of severe pain hit him, making him scream in agony. Awesome. Zheng Mu said through gritted teeth. Although he was not corroded by the venom, the power of this whip kick should not be underestimated, and it almost caused him to lose his appearance. What shocked him even more was that the black giant python just attacked him with its claws, but he didn't feel any resistance and easily dodged the attack. Is this giant black python so fast? Zheng Mu raised his head and looked at the black python. I saw that this giant python was completely black and weighed about 40 or 50 pounds. It was covered with black and red veins and looked particularly ferocious. There was actually a single horn growing on the head of this giant black python, which was stained with scarlet blood. Hiss. The black giant python launched a second round of crazy attacks. Bang bang bang. Zheng Mu was beaten and retreated steadily. He kept dodging the black python's attacks while observing the surrounding situation. Soon, Zheng Mu noticed a stone platform not far away with a bronze wine pot on it. Could it be Zheng Mu's pupils narrowed? This bronze wine pot has three characters blesser written on it. Could it be? Is this a bottle of wine given by the gods? Zheng Mu immediately ran towards the stone platform. But before he reached the edge of the stone platform, the black python discovered Zheng Mu's intention. 
The black python roared and pounced on Jing Mu. Jing Mu quickly picked up the wine bottle, raised his head and drank. In an instant, a biting cold liquid slipped into his abdomen and turned into a scalding heat all over his body. The next moment, a majestic and vast power surged into my heart. This is the power given by the gods. Zheng Mu was extremely excited. His strength surged and he grabbed the black python by the neck. Then give it a good twist. Click. With a crisp sound, the black python's neck broke instantly. Its body also collapsed, smashing rocks everywhere. Zheng Mu shook off the snake skin in his hand, threw it aside, and then turned his attention to the bronze wine pot. Is this a precious thing given by the gods? I really hope there is something else here. However, after waiting for a moment, there was no change in the bronze wine pot. Apart from some weak temperature and ripples, there was no other change. Chapter 641 What's going on? This shouldn't happen. Zheng Mu was stunned. Logically speaking, this magic should have various effects, but now this bronze wine pot does nothing. Just when Zheng Mu was confused, the bronze ring suddenly emitted a pale golden light. Ha! Huh. What's going on? Zheng Mu looked at the ring in surprise. At this time, he had brought the bronze ring to his wrist and activated its function. And what appeared on the bronze ring was a picture. In the picture, a room appears. There are various rare and exotic animals placed in the room, as well as several old and simple items, which look quite ancient. And in the center of the room, there lay a man wearing gorgeous armor, tall and imposing, who turned out to be Zheng Mu's father, Dr. Zheng. In the room, there is a huge table with some ancient books and jade pendants placed on it. And just to the north of the table, there is a bronze tripod. The bronze tripod is engraved with complex and obscure symbols and patterns, revealing a taste of ancient vicissitudes, as if it has been passed down from ancient times to the present. This is an antique. Zheng Mu stared at the bronze tripod without blinking. He clearly remembered that he was in this room before, drank the liquid in the wine bottle, and then gained powerful power. This is the legendary blessing. Zheng Mu was extremely surprised. It is said that blessings are gifts given to humans by gods and possess powerful power. But Zheng Mu knows that there are no gods in this world. Because the gods described in myths and stories are just names for certain kinds of special beings. For example, dragon, phoenix, unicorn. But since it is a legendary existence, it must have powerful power, right? Just as Zheng Mu was thinking wildly, he suddenly heard a fine and hoarse chewing sound coming from behind him. Zheng Mu turned around and saw that the black python was chasing after him again. Damn it, I'll fight you. Zheng Mu roared, raised his fist and smashed the black python on the head. Bang! With a muffled sound, the huge body of the black python swayed and fell to the ground, with traces of fishy and sticky blood spilling from the corners of its mouth. The black python climbed up with difficulty and pounced on Zheng Mu again. Boom! The black giant python's body directly smashed into the hard rock, and even the stone pillars collapsed, causing dust to fly. Ah, uh, the black giant python let out a shrill wail. Die. Die. I'm going to kill you. Eat you. The black python roared angrily. It seemed to hate this despicable insect who dared to hurt itself. Huh, it's not that simple to kill me. Zheng Mu sneered and took a large gulp of strong wine with the bronze flask again. In an instant, the rich and pure aroma of wine wafted. The black python smelled the aroma of wine and immediately rushed towards Zheng Mu like a mad dog, trying to snatch the wine bottle. But Zheng Mu was not willing to give it a chance, so he drank two more gulps of strong wine and threw the wine directly to Kong Chen. When the black python saw this Ma Li Hao, it didn't care to chase the wine pot. Instead, it quickly changed its target and wanted to tear Zheng Mu into pieces. Ha, huh, come after me, come and catch me. Zheng Mu shouted as he ran wantonly in the dark forest. The black python roared angrily, but it couldn't do anything to Zheng Mu, who was flexible and versatile in the jungle. Gradually, Zheng Mu ran farther and farther and disappeared into the night. The black python roared angrily several times, and finally gave up the pursuit, 
but slowly turned its head and left. The Other Side Chapter, 642 A girl was sitting in a cave on a cliff, breathing heavily. Her chest was rising and falling violently, her eyes were intoxicated, and she was obviously a little drunk. Not only that, there were faint thunderous sounds in her ears. Zheng Mu is sprinting forward with all his strength. He felt heat rolling all over his body, and every step he took was very heavy. But he still gritted his teeth and persisted. Just because less than five meters behind him, there was a red skeleton. The skull's head was covered with green hair, and a pair of scarlet eyes were staring at him, as if ready to choose someone to devour at any time. Zheng Mu's speed was very fast, reaching a level beyond the reach of ordinary people. 400 but even so, he still couldn't get rid of the skeleton behind him. The skeleton followed closely, always keeping a distance of about 3 to 400 meters from Zheng Mu, making it impossible for him to distance himself. Damn it, do you really think I'm easy to bully? Zheng Mu was so angry that he simply stood still and waited for the skeleton behind him to come over. Hey, come on, let the storm come more violently. Zheng Mu looked up to the sky and screamed, then kicked off the cliff and jumped into the air, shooting straight into the sky like a falcon. This is the first time Zheng Mu takes the initiative to jump onto the cliff. Because on weekdays, although he act, often jumps to the treetops with the help of ropes and climbing equipment, he has never jumped so high. He could feel the howling wind around him, making his clothes rustle. But Zheng Mu ignored it and flew straight into the sky, then landed steadily. Pa! He threw the wine bottle on the ground, and the wine spilled all over the floor. And he sat cross-legged on the ground with his back against the big tree, closed his eyes and began to practice. The wine I just drank was actually the water of blessing. It is a powerful potion that can enhance one's physical strength. Of course, the stronger the effect, the greater the side effects. If there are no corresponding antitoxins or anti-aging agents, I am afraid that this kind of alcohol will cause irreparable damage to the body. But for Zheng Mu now, the blessed water is of no use. So Zheng Mu drank a drop without hesitation. Rumble. Suddenly the dark night sky was filled with dark clouds, lightning and thunder, and large swaths of shadows were cast down, covering the entire forest. Thick thunder snakes rolled and scurried through the clouds, and a heart-stopping pressure enveloped the entire forest. The terrifying fluctuations originated from the depths of the forest, as if some peerless beast was about to be born. At this time, the black and white python also sensed the danger. It roared, then sent a soul-shaking roar toward the sky. In an instant, the thunder that was rolling endlessly suddenly stopped. Kacha. With a crisp sound, the dark night suddenly became bright as day. Boom! A bolt of thunder pierced the sky, illuminating the dark forest and making everything look like daylight. At the moment when the thunder fell, a huge shadow appeared out of thin air, blocking the brilliance of the stars in the sky. The phantom exudes golden light, like a god coming to the world. In front of this golden shadow, even the huge black python looks extremely small. Zheng Mu also opened his eyes at this moment, looking at the shadow, and his heart was filled with shock. What kind of monster is this? Zheng Mu couldn't help but curse. The figure is too huge, more than twenty feet tall, bigger than a mountain. And its appearance is not ferocious, but gives people a holy and peaceful feeling, like a virtuous immortal god. Chapter, 643 Next to this golden shadow are nine dazzling balls of light. The nine light balls were in a surrounding shape, slowly rotating around the black python. Hiss. Suddenly, the shadow stretched out his hand and made a move. A ball of light suddenly exploded and turned into a silver bolt that swept out. This silver bolt contained extremely terrifying power and struck the black giant python instantly, knocking it back dozens of meters and falling directly off the cliff. Zheng Mu took the opportunity to jump up, jumped directly off the cliff, and then rolled to the ground. Pfft. As soon as Zheng Mu landed, he opened his mouth and spit out a mouthful of blood, and his face instantly turned pale. His attack just now seemed powerful, but it actually overdrawn all his energy and blood. After all, this is his last ditch effort and he must do his best. Fortunately, he won in the end. 
crash dash. At the same time, the nine light balls also began to shrink rapidly, and finally merged perfectly into the shadow. Roar. The next moment, a deep and deep dragon roar suddenly resounded in all directions, shaking the heart and soul. The huge golden shadow gradually faded and finally disappeared. Instead, there was a mighty dragon covered in red gold scales and wearing a crown. Holy shit, why is it a dragon? Zheng Mu was frightened. He never thought that he would encounter the legendary dragon. The golden dragon was looking down at Jing Mu with contempt in its eyes. It let out a dragon roar again, then opened its huge dragon wings, soared into the sky, and instantly got into the clouds. What the hell? Are you leaving now? Jing Mu was stunned for a moment. Does this guy disdain to fight with him? Jing Mu couldn't help but laugh, haha, it's so pretentious. But since you are so arrogant, I have to kill you today. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, and then walked towards the place where the black python fell. At this time, the black python had fainted and was lying on the ground dying, twitching continuously. And around the neck of the black python, there is a silver thread wrapped around it. Zheng Mu knew that the silver thread was used to control the black temple python. As long as the thread was broken, the black temple python would be completely killed. But this thing is of little significance to Zheng Mu. He is not a trainer and has no time to study how to operate this thing. Zheng Mu looked up at the sky, with a thoughtful look between his brows. In his current situation, he could only choose to escape. Zero please give me flowers. Otherwise he wouldn't survive even a minute. Where should I escape? Zheng Mu murmured. Various road maps emerged in his mind. Ha! Huh. Zheng Mu suddenly let out a sigh, he saw a familiar road map. Ha, huh, we are really enemies on the same road. Zheng Mu suddenly beamed with joy and said excitedly, This is so damn true that if you don't take the road to heaven, you will choose to go to hell if there is no door. He immediately took out the jade pendant, and then inserted it into a certain node of the black python's body according to the method recorded on the jade pendant. The next second, a vision suddenly occurred. Whoosh! A dazzling green light bloomed instantly, and then spread quickly, wrapping the entire black python in it. Immediately afterwards, a few lines of fine handwriting appeared in the dazzling blue light. I am the owner of the Valley of Ten Thousand Demons, and you are my successor. You should inherit my power, kill the evil spirits, and protect the safety of the Valley of Ten Thousand Demons. If you disobey, you will be punished by heaven and earth. Just two sentences, but they contain an inexplicable aura of greatness, as if the power of God has descended. The green light slowly converged, revealing the huge body of the black python. Chapter, 644 At this time, Zheng Mu discovered that there were three deep tooth marks on the neck of the black python, which were the marks left by the phantom just now. Damn! This guy is truly a super scion too, his defense is so awesome. Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath. Although this phantom is very weak, it is not even as good as an ordinary person. But this kind of power is simply terrifying. Zheng Mu estimates that even if he uses all his strength, he can only leave a shallow mark on 950 at most. Moreover, this giant black python has rough skin and thick flesh. Even if he squeezes himself dry, there is no way to seriously injure it. Such an ending makes Zheng Mu feel so sick. I'll kill you. No, I have to leave here first, find a hidden place to hide for a while, and then come back to take revenge after I recover from my cultivation. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and left quietly. Half an hour later, Zheng Mu found a bush, got into it, and began to practice in seclusion. In his Dantian, a ball of extremely hot flames burned like a scorching sun. In this scorching sun, there is a golden ball spinning. Zheng Mu knows that this is the essence of his father and the only opportunity for him to enter the world of cultivation. His parents were ancient Chinese warriors. Because they were too seriously injured, they both died, leaving him only a Jing Yuan pearl. Zheng Mu knew that this Jing Yuan pearl contained extremely majestic and powerful energy. These energies may be enough for Zheng Mu to cultivate to the martial arts realm, or even higher. Moreover, 
the energy contained in the Jingyuan Pearl is more than a hundred times and a thousand times that of the outside world. Over the past year, Zhengmu has not dared to slack off. On the one hand, he hunted strange beasts to improve his strength, and on the other hand, he worked hard to absorb the energy in the Jing Yuan Pearl, preparing to break through the shackles. But he has been unsuccessful, causing Zheng Mu to take a day each time he takes the medicine. Now, he decided to make a desperate move. Boom! At this moment, dark clouds suddenly gathered in the sky, thunder and lightning flashed. The strong wind roared past, turning up the leaves all over the mountains and fields, and the scene was extremely spectacular. Is this is someone going through a tribulation? Zheng Mu's pupils shrank sharply, feeling surprised. The thunder and storm both indicate that the disaster is about to come. Could it be that the giant black python is about to advance? Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes slightly, with a cold light flashing in his eyes. The black giant python is so huge. If Zheng Mu really succeeds in advancing to the warrior realm, then Zheng Mu may be really in trouble. At this moment, there was lightning and thunder in the sky, and a huge purple lightning cut through the sky and struck the ground hard. Crack! The lightning struck the black python's head hard, cutting it in half from the snake's head. Hold head high! A scream resounded all around, causing the entire mountain forest to shake violently, as if it was about to collapse. Hee <laughs> hee, it's as expected. Zheng Mu grinned, his eyes full of coldness. Another bolt of thunder landed and struck heavily on the head of the black python again. Ouch! The giant black python howled in pain, its whole body was charred black after being struck by lightning, and it was emitting wisps of green smoke. Z la la! In the sky, thunder struck down one after another, as if it would never stop. Roar! The black python struggled wildly, seeming to want to break free. Finally, with the last thunder falling, the black python's tail was finally completely exploded. The shrill neighing sound echoed throughout the mountain, making people's hair stand on end. Chapter, 645 Thunder exploded in the sky, as if it was about to tear the sky apart. The black giant python was struck to pieces by lightning and turned into a mutilated corpse, falling to the ground. Pfft! Blood spurted out, staining the surrounding ground red. This scene made Jing Mu's heart skip a beat. This black giant python is a real master-level beast. Was he struck to death by lightning? This is too exaggerated. Thunder and lightning rolled in the sky, as if God was angered and vowed to kill the black python zero too. However, although the black python was completely charred, it died of anger. But the wound on its head that had been pierced by the golden shadow had not healed. At this time, a white beam of light shot out from the wound on its head and shot straight into the sky. Roar! The beam of light became more and more dazzling, and finally it condensed into a huge shadow that was more than three meters high. There are countless runes flowing above the shadow, which looks extremely mysterious. Seeing this, Zheng Mu couldn't help but shrink his pupils, this, this is. This should be the legendary phantom, a soul-like existence. Zheng Mu stared at the huge shadow carefully with wide eyes. There is a layer of faint silver light covering the phantom, as if it is wearing a piece of armor, filled with an unparalleled aura. Roar! The shadow looked up to the sky and roared, as if venting the anger in his heart, which made Zheng Mu's eardrums tremble. Zheng Mu quickly covered his ears, the roar was so terrifying. At the same time, the dark clouds in the sky gradually dissipated and the weather gradually improved. Phew, the rain finally stopped. Looking at the sky that was slowly getting clearer, Zheng Mu couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Afterwards, he sat cross-legged under a big tree, and started to use the energy in the Jingyuan Pearl. Zheng Mu's physique itself is an extremely domineering one. Now with the help of Jingyuanzu, his cultivation speed is astonishingly fast. Originally, his cultivation was still one step away from a breakthrough. As the Jingyuan Pearl continued to be devoured, Zheng Mu's cultivation level was soaring at an incredible speed. After only a few hours, his cultivation level successfully reached the bottleneck, and then he successfully broke through to the peak of martial arts. Ha ha ha! Aware of the surging power in his body, 
Zheng Mu couldn't help laughing. After breaking through to the pinnacle of martial arts, he now has the confidence to kill anyone with one punch. Even if he meets a master at the pinnacle of martial arts, he is confident that he can defeat him with his physical strength. After all, in Zheng Mu's eyes, those ordinary warriors were not qualified to be his opponents. Call. Taking a deep breath, Zheng Mu slowly opened his eyes. Ding. Congratulations to the host, the Yellow Mecha Bumblebee, for breaking through to the peak of martial arts and gaining a few points. Hearing the crisp 573 notification sound of the system in his mind, Zheng Mu immediately beamed. With a wicked smile on his lips, he stood up, stretched his muscles, and showed a happy look on his face. Ha ha ha, peak. I am also a warrior now. I want to see how you trash can fight with me. As soon as he finished speaking, there was another muffled thunder explosion in the sky. Immediately afterwards, the fifth huge purple thunder, carrying destructive pressure, crashed towards the ground. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly sank, and a trace of perseverance appeared in his eyes. He looked up at the sky and said word by word, I want to see who can kill me today. Chapter 646 The huge thunder struck the ground hard, creating a large crater with a diameter of more than 10 meters within a radius of nearly 100 meters. The soil is churning and gravel is splashing. This terrifying attack even caused a series of aftermath shocks, sweeping through the surrounding vegetation. If it weren't for the fact that this place was so remote and uninhabited, people would have noticed something strange long ago. Whoops! Zheng Mu gasped for breath, his eye sockets were extremely red, and his eyeballs were covered with dense blood vessel patterns. The veins on his skin were knotted, as if they were about to burst at any time. He looked very scary. Crack! A low creaking sound came from Zheng Mu's throat. Then, a drop of dark yellow liquid seeped out from between Zheng Mu's teeth and fell to the ground. As soon as this dark yellow liquid hit the ground, it turned into an extremely rich mist, quickly spread and enveloped it. And this thick gray-black mist, the moment it was contaminated by the huge phantom, immediately began to corrode it. Zila. The huge phantom trembled, let out a sharp scream of pain, and began to twist. A dazzling light bloomed from its body, resisting the invasion of gray-black mist and driving it away from the body. Roar. The shadow let out a roar of grief and anger, suddenly exerted force on its legs, and ran away directly into the distance. Want to run away? There's no way. Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with crazy killing intent, he stamped his right foot on the ground, and his figure jumped out instantly. Bumblebee appears. Whoosh! Like a cannonball, Zheng Mu manipulated the hornet into a black shadow with his body. He caught up with the phantom in the blink of an eye and punched towards the phantom. Under this punch, you can vaguely see the flickering golden light, which contains boundless power. Bang! Zheng Mu's punch hit the shadow, and there was an explosion. And the phantom received a huge impact. After shaking its body, it leaned forward again. Ha, huh, now that you've come to your door, don't even think about leaving. Leave me alone. There was a hint of scarlet in Zheng Mu's eyes, like a bloodthirsty beast. At this time, he seemed to be possessed by a devil. His strength has skyrocketed, and his speed has also skyrocketed. Zheng Mu jumped up, flew towards the shadow, opened his arms, and tightly hugged the shadow's neck like an eagle catching a chicken. Then, his legs bent, his waist and abdominal muscles suddenly swelled, and his body stretched as straight as a fully stretched bow. The next moment, Zheng Mu suddenly pulled. The phantom figure shook slightly, and then was torn in half by Zheng Mu. Pfft! A cloud of blood mist sprayed out and sprayed directly on Zheng Mu. However, at this time, Zheng Mu was completely crazy and regarded the rain of blood as nothing. Ouch! A shrill howl sounded. After all, the phantom was unable to withstand Zheng Mu's tearing force and directly exploded into countless fragments. The remains were put into the storage ring by Zheng Mu. TSK TSK, I really didn't li hao hao, guess wrong. Seeing this scene, Ji couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. After absorbing the energy and memory of the corpse, he discovered a strange problem. 
The energy or memory of each corpse, the most important thing, is protected in the mind. In other words, only by defeating the true spirit of the corpse can the corpse's energy and memory be obtained. This also made Zheng Mu understand why he was able to absorb that energy. Chapter 647 Those energies are the memories and perceptions of these corpses. So I only need to defeat this phantom to obtain the memory of that powerful martial artist. Hey, what are you waiting for? Zheng Mu sneered, and then rushed towards the shadow on the cliff again. Boom dash. Zheng Mu waved his iron fist unceremoniously. Although the shadow tried its best to resist, it was no match for Zheng Mu. Every time Zheng Mu punched it, part of it was broken into pieces. In just about three seconds, Zheng Mu smashed the head and torso of this huge phantom into pieces. Tap tap tap. The energy in the shadow and the memory of the corpse suddenly rolled to the ground. Zheng Mu stretched out his right hand and sucked all those memories and energy into his storage ring with ease. Well it's not bad. I didn't waste a soul-gathering pill at last. Zheng Mu grinned, showing two rows of white teeth, making him look brighter and more handsome. At this moment, Zheng Mu suddenly became serious, as if he noticed something. Call out. The next moment, Zheng Mu suddenly drew out his long knife and slashed to the side. Clang. Sparks fly. A long sword with a ferocious shape and extremely black shape was hard on Zheng Mu's long sword. When the two collided, Zheng Ji felt a huge counterattack coming. Zheng Mu felt as if all the bones in his body were about to be broken. He staggered back several steps before he stopped. Um. Seeing this, Zheng Mu's eyes turned cold and he looked at the figure of the man in black. It's you. Zheng Mu's pupils shrank to the size of a pinhead, and his eyes were full of solemnity. The man in front of me is the man who almost killed me. You didn't expect it, did you? You lose your family dog. The eyes of the man in black were full of murderous intent, and the look he looked at Zheng Mu was even more filled with hatred. I really didn't expect that you would dare to come and die. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, his eyes filled with fighting spirit. If Lin Feng hadn't been there last time, he would have died with just his current strength. But this time, he didn't believe that the other party could still save him. You little beast, you deserve to die. Hearing Zheng Mu's taunt, the man in black became furious, suddenly raised his sword and stabbed at Zheng Mu. His long sword was completely black and extremely sharp. Once it cut through the air, it would make a whimpering sound. Ding! Congratulations to the host for earning 500 points. Ha ha ha. It's great. Keep going. Zheng Mu laughed loudly and rushed forward to fight the man in black. The two fought together instantly. Zheng Mu's strength suddenly increased sharply, but the man in black lost his physical support and his combat effectiveness was greatly reduced. Soon, the man in black was knocked to the ground by Zheng Mu and fell into the pool again. Cough cough cough. The man in black coughed violently, his face extremely gloomy. Zheng Mu walked over slowly and looked down at the man in black. You little bastard, I'm going to kill you. The man in black cursed angrily, his eyes were red, and he stared straight at Zheng Mu, his heart full of resentment. Oh. Zheng Mu was stunned when he heard this, and then joked, if you have the ability, just give it a try. Today I will let you know that way is the real waste. After the words fell, the man in black gritted his teeth suddenly, and then started struggling violently. I saw the man in black clenching his hands suddenly, and then tearing them apart. Chapter 648 Pfft. Just a muffled sound was heard, and the man in black tore his chest alive. Aha! A burst of hysterical screams broke out from the man in black and something was squirming in his bloody chest. The man in black reached into his chest and pulled out a bloody object, and then swallowed it in one gulp. The sound of chewing is so crisp and chilling. After eating the strange thing in his chest, the man in black gradually regained his composure. A faint green pattern also appeared on the surface of his body. E.T. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu took a breath, and a trace of fear flashed in his eyes. He felt an extremely dangerous aura from that green pattern. 
How how do you have such a thing? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he looked at the man in black in disbelief. The thing that the man in black took out from his chest just now was a green bead. This bead is oval in shape, exudes rich life fluctuations, and contains extremely terrifying wood attribute aura. This bead is absolutely priceless. Jie Jie. Little bastard, you actually know this kind of treasure. That would be even better. Today, you can't even think of escaping. The man in black shouted coldly, holding a long sword and attacking Zheng Mu again. Wherever the long sword passed, the air was split instantly. Whoosh! A strong wind blew over, making Zheng Mu couldn't help but narrow his eyes. Zheng Mu raised the long sword and charged towards the long sword. Ding ding ding! The two collided wildly, and the screams of Gushao could not be heard. This piece of trash is actually so powerful. Looking at Zheng Mu who was fighting fiercely with the man in black, Zheng Mu couldn't help but frown. Because he discovered that the man in black had completely recovered his strength. Even more powerful than before. After all, he has now integrated the world's test calendar. It's definitely not going to work like this. Zheng Mu shook his head slightly. He had exhausted too much. If he continued fighting like this, he would definitely lose. In this case we can only use that trick. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, then suddenly turned around and left. Where to go? The man in black suddenly became furious and immediately chased after him. The silver mecha appears. Zero please give me flowers. The next moment, a bright silver light suddenly lit up around Zheng Mu. Immediately afterwards, a warrior wearing silver armor suddenly appeared. The silver-armored warrior suddenly opened his eyes, then shook his arm, and a silver light appeared, charging towards the man in black. What the hell? The man in black was immediately shocked. He could feel that the silver-armored warrior in front of him had the strength of the peak transformation realm. But he has never encountered an immortal cultivator at the peak of transformation. Bang bang bang. The man in black couldn't help but feel horrified. But he still desperately resisted the attack of the silver armored warriors while looking for an opportunity to escape. And Zheng Mu is secretly preparing to strike, preparing to give the man in black a fatal blow. Boom! Finally, after a fierce battle, the man in black's amulet finally failed to hold up and completely shattered. The next moment, the silver armored warrior's attack was written unreservedly on the man in black. The next second, only a muffled sound was heard. The head of the man in black exploded and turned into a cloud of fleshy foam and white brains. Huh, finally solved sure. Chapter, 649 Looking at the countless corpses turned into flesh and blood, Jing Mu breathed a sigh of relief. Then, Jing Mu focused his attention on the two wooden sticks on the ground. Jing Mu bent down and picked up the two sticks, with a smile on his face and murmured, This thing is pretty good. Afterwards, Zheng Mu put away the stick, turned around and left the place. Ha! Huh. Why are there two keys? As soon as he walked out of the cave, Zheng Mu saw two keys outside the cave. One of them, 483, is Zheng Mu's key, and the other. But it's the key to the man in black. It seems that the identity of this man in black is very extraordinary. The corners of Zheng Mu's mouth curved slightly. Boom! The other job changers have now taken advantage of the chaos to escape from the god's domain, and he will naturally have a way to deal with the rest. It's not a threat. But now that we have reached the back domain, we don't know what the supreme rules are. Zheng Mu took out the jade pendant and felt it silently. After a while, bursts of white fluorescence emitted from the jade pendant, illuminating the surrounding scene. And in the jade pendant, there are three big characters written clearly, endless rules. Looking at the words in the jade pendant, Zheng Mu thought to himself, I originally thought that these endless rules would be the same as those in the god's domain, but now it seems they are different. The endless rule is a rule of order set by heaven. All living beings must abide by it. Just like in human society, if you have no money or power, you want food and housing? Sorry, there is no way. Moreover, these endless rules have many restrictions, even including transactions between people. 
For example, if a powerful being needs help, the other party's friendship or power can only be obtained in this way, unless both parties reach an equal relationship. Just like some special creatures, only if they are willing to help can the other party provide you with strength or food. Of course, the most important thing is that the power of endless rules is limited. Once this limit is exceeded, it will be expelled. Not only that, if the rules are violated, the punishment is even more severe. In short, everything must rely on strength and means. Huh, that's interesting. However, since it is a rule, then I will break this rule. Zheng Mu snorted coldly. Then he stepped forward, picked up a few stones along the road, and threw them into the creek nearby. Immediately afterwards, a stream of water flew out. Wow! The water flow fell to the ground and instantly condensed into a sword, flying towards Zheng Mu. Call out! An afterimage flashed through the air, that water sword came to stab Zheng Mu in the throat. This move is extremely fast, and even a peak innate warrior may not be able to dodge it. When Zheng Mu saw this, he narrowed his eyes slightly, stretched out his right hand, and grabbed the water arrow. Immediately afterwards, he squeezed hard with his fingers and broke the water sword. Afterwards, Zheng Mu threw the broken water sword into the creek nearby. Then, he continued to move forward and walked into another forest. Swish! Swish! Countless water arrows are coming. Zheng Mu broke it again and smashed it into the stream without mercy. Soon, the stream was filled with water sword remains, hundreds of them. Although the power of these water swords is terrifying, Zheng Mu is protected by a jade pendant, but they can't hurt him at all. In this way, after Zheng Mu destroyed the remains of nearly a thousand water swords in a row, he finally stopped. Because he felt almost done. If the destruction continues, the remains of the water sword here may form a lake. The power of this endless rule seems not strong enough. Zheng Mu shook his head. After destroying thousands of water swords just now, neither the speed nor the power was far from what he expected. Chapter 650 Zheng Mu can feel this from the water swords he just destroyed. This made Zheng Mu a little disappointed. He was ready to return to the city and continue to look for hunting opportunities. After all, he is now considered invincible in the entire wilderness area. No matter what kind of monsters, strange beasts, ferocious insects or evil beasts you encounter, they will all be a crushing massacre. Zheng Mu lacks training now, so he wants to return to the town. Ha! Huh. At this moment, Mu suddenly frowned. Because, he unexpectedly discovered that the remains of the water swords that he smashed started to slowly squirm. Then they came together too and gradually merged together. Hiss. Zheng Mu gasped when he saw this. This power of endless rules actually exists. At this moment, he was completely in disbelief. The power of this endless rule can actually restore the damaged water sword, and the recovery speed is not slow. This is too scary. It stands to reason that the efficiency of this kind of recovery should not be high. Because the power of the water flow is too weak. But the fact is that Zheng Mu clearly felt that every time the water sword fragments were broken by him, they could quickly gather into a new water sword. And it's extremely fast. Could it be said that the power of this water sword does not depend on the power of endless rules, but is controlled by its owner? Such a thought came into Zheng Mu's mind, and he punched suddenly. Bang! There was an explosion. The remains of the water sword instantly exploded into countless fragments. But soon, among the debris, a shimmering silver water sword fragment appeared. Sure enough Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes and grabbed the water sword fragment in his hand. Buzz buzz! The fragments of the water sword trembled, as if trying to break free from Mu's control. However, Zheng Mu's face was extremely gloomy, and he was holding on to the fragment of the water sword, refusing to let go even though the water sword trembled. Just be quiet. If you make any more noise, I will grill you. Click. Zheng Mu's left hand holding the fragment of the water sword suddenly burst into flames. Huchi Huchi. The flames were beating and the temperature was extremely hot. The water sword fragment immediately became obedient, like a docile pet cat. 
When Zheng Mu saw this, an evil smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and then he suddenly opened his mouth and bit it. The extremely sharp water sword fragment was bitten into half by Zheng Mu. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu swallowed the remaining fragments of the ordinary water sword, and then poured the remaining half of the water sword fragments into the stream. Puff Puff After the fragments of the water sword fell into the stream, they immediately turned into debris all over the sky and disappeared without a trace. Ding! Congratulations to the host, triggering a hidden plot. Hearing the sudden voice in his head, Zheng Mu's face showed excitement. Hidden plot. Has the hidden plot been triggered? 880 Would you like to receive the hidden plot reward? The system asked again. Get it. Zheng Mu nodded. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a hidden reward, water attribute. This water attribute power comes from the endless rules. The host only needs to integrate it into the physique to gain water attribute abilities. Hearing this, Zheng Mu's face couldn't help but change, and he fell into deep thought. Water attribute ability? In this world, are there really water attributes? Moreover, you only need to integrate it into your own physique and you can learn it easily. Doesn't that mean you can learn these things yourself? Zheng Mu's heart was filled with ecstasy. Chapter 651 but he didn't show it. I wonder how powerful this water attribute power is. After saying these words, Zheng Mu's body suddenly tensed up, and the muscles all over his body bulged, like steel. At the same time, Zheng Mu focused his attention on the stream in front of him, looking serious. The next second, Zheng Mu's body suddenly rushed out. Rumble. There were loud roars, and Zheng Mu's entire body slammed into the water, causing waves to splash. Ho ho ho! The roars of various strange beasts suddenly sounded all around. The originally lonely jungle suddenly became extremely noisy. Countless strange beasts swarmed in and tried to attack Mu. However, Zheng Mu didn't bother to pay attention to these ordinary beasts. At this moment, he is trying to integrate the power of this endless rule. Zheng Mu's body kept crashing into the stream, getting deeper and deeper. Finally, Zheng Mu even dived to the bottom of the stream and finally stopped. Water attribute, get out here. Zheng Mu gave a low shout, then stretched out his arm and patted it into the stream. Boom! After a muffled sound, endless water splashed up, and a surging water vapor instantly rose up, spread out, and enveloped the area near the stream. Zheng Mu's eyes were sharp and he carefully observed the situation around him. The next moment, he turned around suddenly, and the Democratic Party suddenly shot out. Snap! Snap! Water drops are splashing everywhere. With a flick of Zheng Mu's right wrist, a giant python about three meters long and as thick as a snake was thrown out. The giant python fell heavily to the ground, its tail whipped on the ground several times, and finally it became motionless and was already dead. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu nodded slightly, with a look of satisfaction on his face. This water attribute power is indeed very powerful. Using it alone is enough to deal with many warriors and strange beasts, right? Zheng Mu murmured. He is now certain that the techniques he practices are definitely evolved from the power of endless rules. This special ability can help Zheng Mu easily kill ordinary beasts or aliens. And Zheng Mu also believes that as long as he is willing, this water attribute power can be infinitely enhanced. If coupled with his swordsmanship, Zheng Mu would have enough confidence even in the face of an attack from a supernatural being. And Zheng Mu even discovered that when he ran the technique, the blood in his body boiled and the power in his body skyrocketed. At this moment, Zheng Mu's power has surpassed the early stage of the first stage and reached the second stage. Zheng Mu was in a good mood, with a smile on his face. Not only because his strength has improved, but more importantly, his identity certificate has been obtained. There's just one more chance left now. After you leave the secret realm, you will immediately apply for your identity document. From now on, no matter how hard they investigate, they will never find anything on themselves. Because he is no longer the same as before. Now he is no longer the timid and cowardly boy he was before. Moreover, what if they doubt themselves? 
now I have completely gotten rid of the mystery of my life experience. He, Jing Mu, is no longer the good-for-nothing boy he once was Wang Hao. Rather, he is famous in the capital and intimidates China's top genius. Oh, it's just a bunch of ants. Whatever I want, Jing Mu, no one can stop me. Zheng Mu snorted coldly and thought to himself. Afterwards, Zheng Mu gathered his thoughts and prepared to return to the camp. After all, those career changers are still in the camp. He had to rush back and tell the job transferees that he had obtained the water attributability. Chapter 652 Then tell them not to worry, they can leave the valley and return to the camp right away. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu quickened his pace, and when he encountered strange beasts along the way, he killed them directly. At this moment, everyone in the camp was still in a daze. The movement just now was so loud that it must have disturbed the ferocious beasts here. Although these beasts may not necessarily come outside to cause trouble. But what if? After all, this is a dense forest and there are too many dangers. Everyone was in a nervous mood and could not sit still for fear of being attacked. Even Xiao Yasi's pretty eyebrows were frowned tightly. Although she has full confidence in Jing Mu, she can't guarantee that there will be no danger. But the other boys had solemn expressions and alert eyes. Isn't this guy scared out of his wits? He hasn't come back for so long. A top student couldn't help but complain. Other top students also shook their heads, obviously thinking that Jing Mu was unreliable. He had walked deep into the jungle alone for so long, and there was no way he would be safe. Oh, it's not a bad idea to die for this kind of trash. A boy had a look of disdain on his face and mocked Fong Fong as if he was being disrespectful. Everyone else nodded silently, thinking that Jing Mu was in danger. Just at this time dash. Suddenly, there was a sound of rushing water in the distance. Immediately afterwards, a ball of water came through the air and hit the top student hard. Boom! There was an explosion, water burst out, and the top student screamed. Akba, immediately afterwards, the water ball burst, and a figure slowly emerged. Zheng Mu slowly walked out of the dense forest with a faint smile on his face, looking very relaxed. Fuck! What the hell is this? The boy is back. Huh, this coward actually came back alive, it's incredible. Don't be ridiculous, how could this loser come back alive? Shouldn't he be buried in the belly of the beast? In an instant, a series of exclamations sounded one after another. At this moment, the boy who was dressed strangely was also stunned for a moment, and then when he realized what he was doing, he became furious. Damn it! That's what I'm saying. Even if this loser escapes by chance, how can he come back alive? This guy was really afraid of losing face, so he found an excuse to run away. Oh, this kind of trash deserves to die. The top student was surprised at first, and then cursed viciously, as if Sheng Mu's face would be dull if he didn't die. I didn't run away, I just wanted to find an opportunity for a breakthrough. Now that the breakthrough is complete, I will come naturally. Sheng Mu said lightly. Are you still making excuses? Hearing Zheng Mu's words, the face of the fire-type job changer suddenly darkened. Do you know how long we have been waiting for you here? One night. It's good for you, you'll never come back. Is the breakthrough completed now? Then you should keep moving forward. The fire class transferer roared while glaring at Zheng Mu. He felt that Zheng Mu's behavior was simply a naked humiliation. When the other job transferees heard this, they all looked at Jing Mu with unkind expressions in their eyes. They all wanted to see how Jing Ji would explain. However, Jing Mu didn't say much. Instead, he raised his eyes and looked at the fire type job changer. You want to know why? Okay, I'll give you a chance. Now, go and attract that female bear. As long as you can attract it, I will tell you the truth. If you can't do it, then I don't need to say anything. At this moment, Zheng Mu was looking down at the fire class transferee with a playful smile on his lips. Chapter 653 A trace of panic flashed in the eyes of the fire type job changer, so what, I can't get the treasure of the god's realm today, and none of you here can even think of it. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows, that's not up to you. 
After the words fell, he pointed the sword directly at the opponent, since you are so stubborn, don't blame us for being ruthless. Humph. The fire-type job changer gritted his teeth and said, come on, let's see who wins this time. After saying that, his figure turned into a wisp of smoke and drifted towards the trees nearby. Seeing this, Zheng Mu and others quickly followed. At the same time, Zheng Mu shouted loudly, everyone, be careful, he will use the wind escape to hide his traces. In fact, he didn't need to remind him. Everyone around him had already noticed the movement of the fire-type job changer, but because the opponent was a fourth-level master, they didn't have much confidence. But after hearing what Jing Mu said, everyone immediately understood what they should do, so they all turned their attention to their feet, looking for the whereabouts of the fire-type job changer. Soon, the fire-type job changers were forced out of their prototypes. I saw that the guy turned out to be a cat, and he had three tails. The surface of its body was burning with blazing red flames, and it was obvious that it had just used a special ability, fire escape. This seeing this, everyone present looked shocked. They had no idea how to attack. Let me try it. Zheng Mu said after pondering for a moment, and then he took out a dark stone slab from his arms, which was covered with strange lines. When he saw the slate, a look of fear appeared on the face of the fire class transferee, how could this thing appear in your hand? Zheng Mu said lightly, you don't need to care about this. Now, just accept your death. After saying that, the runes on the stone slab lit up, and then, the stone slab emitted a rich black energy, and the black energy spread quickly. Covering a 10 meter radius, forming a solid barrier. Zheng Mu threw the stone slab to the ground, then formed a seal with his hands and shouted in a low voice, seal the barrier. As his voice fell, the space outside the barrier became slightly distorted, and then, a terrifying sense of oppression swept across the entire place instantly, making all the job transferees present couldn't help but tremble, as if there was a mountain pressing on their chests. Above, difficulty breathing in difficulty breathing. Zero request flowers zero. What the hell is this the fire class transfer swallowed his throat and his eyes widened. He thought that what Jing Mu took out must be some powerful magic equipment, but it was absolutely not the case. Come to think of it, this thing has nothing to do with power at all. At this time, a sneer hung on the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth, don't worry, you will be free soon. After saying this, there were crackling sounds in the barrier, which seemed to be the result of internal cracks. At the same time, the job transferees outside the barrier also clearly noticed this change, and a soldier immediately said, Quick! Break the barrier! Hearing this, everyone launched an attack on the barrier without hesitation. In an instant, hundreds of skills bombarded the barrier, erupting with violent momentum. The barrier shook, slowly expanded, and finally completely shattered. At the same time, everyone present flew upside down and fell dozens of meters before stopping. Seeing the mess inside the barrier, Zheng Mu's mouth curved slightly. Although he only mastered this one skill, it was quite powerful when used. Chapter 654 He looked up and looked ahead. At this time, the fire element transferee was lying on the ground, looking very weak. It's over. Zheng Mu sighed softly, then raised the sword in his right hand and swung it down violently. Pfft. A huge head soared into the sky, and hot blood splashed on Zheng Mu's clothes, leaving a pungent smell. Zheng Mu glanced down and saw a headless corpse lying on the ground. The wound on the neck was extremely deep, and blood flowed out, staining the ground. After looking at the corpse on the ground, Zheng Mu walked slowly to his body, then squatted down, touched the emblem on his head, and murmured, your emblem belongs to me. He stretched out his finger and gently touched the center of the emblem. Buzz. There was a soft chirping, and immediately, a ball of red flame appeared on the emblem. Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed, and then he handed the long sword in his hand to the female archer beside him, and said, help me protect the law, I need to retreat. After saying that, Zheng Mu sat cross-legged on the ground, closed his eyes, and adjusted himself status. While Zheng Mu was practicing in seclusion, the other career changers around him were also idle. After ensuring safety, they took out various medicines to treat their own injuries or restore their magic points. 
They know Zheng Mu's strength very well, and he is by no means an ordinary person. Although they are both fifth-level master-level job transfers, they do not feel that they are stronger than each other. Therefore, the only thing they relied on was their well-coordinated team, and each of them carried several powerful recovery potions. If not, they would probably have to deal with the previous wave of output here. As for the fire-type job changer, he was forgotten by everyone. Except for a few people, no one would waste precious healing magic to treat him. Just like now, when Zheng Mu is in seclusion, the job transferees around him are still fighting, and they don't even bother to use a healing skill for fear of disturbing Zheng Mu. Time passed, two minutes passed, and Zheng Mu was still in the state of regulating his breath. Three minutes passed, and Zheng Mu still didn't open his eyes. Eight minutes passed, and just when everyone thought something might happen to Zheng Mu, Zheng Mu suddenly moved. He stood up slowly, spread his arms, and a majestic breath filled the air from his body, making the surrounding air stagnant. Zheng Mu let out a low roar, overlapped his fists, and then swung them down violently. In an instant, two huge golden fist shadows suddenly appeared and hit the barrier hard, making a loud roar. Boom dash. With a loud noise, the barrier shattered and turned into a ball of ashes dissipating in the air. At this time, a group of people hurried over, and the leader was the holy knight Wang Ji. Zheng Mu, are you okay? Wang Ji asked eagerly. It's okay. Zheng Mu waved his hand, then pointed to the location where the barrier was broken and said, Well, there is a living person lying over there. Looking in the direction Zheng Mu pointed, he found a headless body lying on the ground. Wang Ji came closer to take a look and found that the headless corpse was the fire type job changer who was killed earlier. He scratched his head in confusion and said, No, when we were fighting someone just now, that person had already been killed. Why did he suddenly appear again? Zheng Mu shrugged, who knows maybe he has hidden skills. Hearing Zheng Mu's words, the people next to him showed expressions of disdain. Do we still need hidden skills in a battle of this level? Besides, if there were hidden skills, we would have used them long ago. Why would we wait until now? Chapter 655 Since he is already dead, we don't need to care about him anymore. Let's move on and try to get a few more sets of materials. After all, the rewards for this mission are huge. Wang Ji said excitedly, and then he waved and took the everyone left this place. An hour later, Zheng Mu came to an abandoned warehouse. There is a house deep in the forest, and it is built on ruins. It is leaking from all sides, and it feels quite eerie and desolate. Zheng Mu pushed the door open and was greeted by a puff of choking dust, making him cough. He covered his mouth and nose, frowning and said, I asked you, why did you design such a harsh environment so crudely? Everyone smiled awkwardly, then pointed to the table in the center of the room and said, there is the storage box for mission items. Hearing this, Zheng Mu quickly moved towards the table. However, at this moment, a strange black shadow suddenly came out from under the table and slapped Zheng Mu with a claw. Zheng Mu was caught off guard and received a claw on his chest. He instantly retreated several meters, with a slight blood mark appearing on his cheek. Damn, it's a zombie. Seeing this black shadow, Wang Ji immediately realized that he had been tricked, and immediately shouted angrily, How dare this bastard lie to us! Everyone was also very angry and gathered around the table. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, narrowed his eyes and said in a deep voice, It can't run away, let me try. After saying that, he walked towards the table, one step, two steps when there was only twenty centimeters left from the table. At that time, the zombie who was originally hiding under the table finally couldn't bear it and jumped out. Holy shit! Everyone exclaimed when they saw this zombie, obviously not expecting it to be hiding under the table. The zombie is completely black, about two meters tall, and has a large and sturdy body. The exposed skin is dark green with a faint light, and a scarlet tongue extends from the mouth, as sharp as a sharp blade. In the center of its forehead, a vertical pattern runs through the entire skull, which looks quite ferocious. The zombie was extremely fast and arrived in front of Zheng Mu in the blink of an eye, clawing at his neck with its claws. Zheng Mu had sharp eyes and quick hands. He quickly raised his foot and kicked the zombie's belly hard. 
At the same time, he turned his left hand into a knife and chopped it on the zombie's arm. Click. With a crisp sound, the zombie's wrist was directly dislocated, and the attack stopped, and was easily blocked by Zheng Mu. Such a hard skin. Seeing that this zombie was able to resist his own attack, Zheng Mu was secretly frightened, but he did not panic at all because he had a special skill. Crazy transformation, initial, after activation, the attributes of the job changer will be increased by 10% and the attack power will be increased by 2 points for 30 seconds. Looking at the skill introduction, Zheng Mu raised the corner of his mouth slightly, snorted coldly, and directly chose to activate the skill. In an instant, Zheng Mu's whole body glowed with bright golden light, and his whole body was like a golden god of war 527, majestic and extraordinary. And most importantly, Zheng Mu's temperament has become completely different. In the past, Zheng Mu's aura was as gentle as jade, but at this moment, his aura suddenly became sharp, like a sharp sword. Seeing the change in Zheng Mu's temperament, everyone was stunned. Why did the boss temperament suddenly become so scary? Damn it, did you take the wrong medicine? Listening to everyone's discussion, Zheng Mu's face darkened and he glanced at them coldly, his cold gaze making them silent. Seeing that no one dared to say anything, Zheng Mu restrained his breath, snorted coldly, and then turned his attention to the black zombie. Chapter 656 The zombies seemed to be aware of the danger and were immediately ready to escape. Zheng Mu naturally didn't give it a chance, so he jumped up and slashed down with his right leg. This flying kick caused waves of sound to break through the air, it was so powerful and heavy that it streaked through the void like a bolt of lightning. Bang! The zombie was kicked away and continued to struggle after falling to the ground, but in the end it slowly lost signs of life. Ding, congratulations on killing a zombie and gaining 1-0-0 experience points. Seeing the zombie die, everyone applauded. Zheng Mu shook his head slightly and said, You are making too much fuss, this is just a black zombie, you have never seen the world. Hearing this, everyone rubbed their noses in disbelief, but in the eyes of others, this scene took on a different meaning. Looking at Zheng Mu, they suddenly remembered that this new sanctuary career changer was very powerful. It was said that he had once defeated a boss-level ghost cheetah. Then this black zombie should be nothing. After understanding this, other people immediately became excited and took out their weapons to fight with the zombies. However, what surprised them was that this zombie couldn't be killed at all. Even if half of its body was chopped off, it could still jump a few times. And it took them more than 40 minutes to deal with such a zombie. Is this guy immortal? Everyone looked at Zheng Mu and asked. Zheng Mu carefully checked the corpse of the zombie and found that it was indeed dead, then he slowly said, although it is immortal, it is not invincible. Just cut off its arms, or cut off its waist, or even if you dig out its heart, it will die completely. And it will not spit poisonous mist and corrosive liquid like ordinary zombies. Hearing this, everyone suddenly understood and nodded. At this time, someone asked, Boss, where is its weakness? Zheng Mu thought for a while and then said, There should be a protruding sarcoma near the spine. I understand, thank you, boss. After saying that, the thief went straight to the zombie. The zombie seemed to have expected that he might be killed today. He immediately let out a roar, turned around and ran away wildly in the distance. The speed was extremely fast, and he disappeared in the blink of an eye. Seeing this, Zheng Mu frowned. He always felt that something was wrong. However, before he could think about it clearly, a familiar system prompt suddenly came to his ears. Please note, please note that the job changer Zheng Mu triggered the main mission exploring the ruins. Do you want to accept the mission? Hearing this sentence, Mu couldn't help but froze. Main mission? Didn't I just complete it? Why is there another mission? The main mission this time seems to be a little different from the main mission just now. The thoughts in Zheng Mu's mind were racing, and his thoughts were surging. Then, he decisively accepted the task. Task reward, 500 career transfer experience unknown task, none. Zheng Mu fell into silence looking at the mission information displayed on the screen. 500 job transfer experience Zheng Mu murmured, no Alihao, it seems that if you want to get more points, you can only do side tasks. 
His goal is to earn more points to redeem items, so he must try to avoid triggering tasks to avoid causing trouble. Zheng Mu's expression gradually became firm, and then he turned around and ordered, You stay here and guard this black zombie. Don't let it run around and don't let anyone get close to it. Do you understand? Don't worry, boss. I promise to complete the mission. Everyone said, patting their chests. Chapter 657 Zheng Mu nodded and left. After walking out of the room, closing the door, Zheng Mu took a deep breath and walked down the mountain with solemn eyes. System, start transmitting now. Ding dong, the system reminds you that your physical fitness has reached the level of ordinary players. Do you want to continue the transmission? Continue. As Zheng Mu finished speaking, the system responded again, and a soft light fell from the sky, covering Mu. The next moment, his vision suddenly changed. The originally dark and dead wilderness disappeared, and he was in an empty world. In the distance, there are continuous mountains and several rivers that twist and turn like giant dragons at the foot of the mountains. 307 and right next to the river, there were three men wearing white robes. Is this the outer area of the ruins? Zheng Mu looked up into the distance and whispered to himself. Although there was no danger around him, Zheng Mu felt very depressed and had difficulty breathing. He was certain that the reason why he felt this way was not caused by the environment, but because of the aura exuded by the three men in white robes. The momentum of the three men was so strong that they were like three towering mountains standing in front of Zheng Mu, making him unable to resist at all. System, scan the attributes of these three people for me. Zheng Mu ordered the system. Soon, three names appeared in front of Zheng Mu. Name, Zhang Wenyuan Silver Level Historical Martial Artist. Title, Chivalrous Warrior. Age, 27 years old. Strength, 1510, Agility, 139, Intelligence, 63. Basic Skill Points, 0. Skills, None. Equipment, Unidentified. Introduction, Zhang Wenyuan was born in a martial arts family in a small county town. He once went to the Shaolin Temple to practice internal martial arts, but was expelled from Shaolin due to lack of skills. He is good at using a steel spear, a set of iron sand palms, and a Shaolin boxing technique, and is known as the young martial arts hero. He's actually a martial arts master. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows slightly, feeling a little surprised. Although I have seen many career-changing martial arts masters in this divine realm, there are very few opportunities to fight with real swords and guns. This is the first time Zheng Akab, Mu has met. This Zhang Wenyuan's momentum is very strong. He is probably much stronger than those who have changed jobs. No wonder he can be a boss in the demon sect. Zheng Mu muttered. And as expected, he still has a lot of demonic energy in him. No matter what, since it's a boss, it's natural to kill him. Wait. Zhang Wenyuan. Suddenly, a name came to Zheng Mu's mind. This Zhang Wenyuan is exactly the same as the black zombie he killed. Could it be the same person? Thinking of this possibility, Zheng Mu couldn't help but swallow, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. This is so embarrassing. What should I do now? Zheng Mu was confused. The task provided by the system is to kill Zhang Wenyuan, which means that he must be active near Zhang Wenyuan to have any hope of defeating Zhang Wenyuan. Zheng Mu is now more than 2,000 meters away from Zhang Wenqing. Even if the kite skills are fully blessed, he may not be able to fly 2,000 meters. Could this Zhang Wenyuan be the father or ancestor of the black zombie? If so, then things would be serious. Zheng Mu's face was uncertain and he hesitated for a long time, and finally sighed, damn it, I deserve it. Gritting his teeth, Zheng Mu decided to give it a try. After all, this is the only chance. If he misses tonight, it may be difficult for him to find the right time to kill Zhang Wenyuan. System, activate the kite technique. Zheng Mu ordered the system. Chapter, 658 Immediately, Zheng Mu bent his legs slightly, and his body tensed instantly, like a spring ready to go. Call out dash. There was a sound of breaking through the air, and Zheng Mu turned into a phantom, rushing forward so fast that he even created an afterimage. 
In the blink of an eye, he crossed more than 200 meters and appeared 10 meters in front of Zhang Wenyuan. At this moment, Zheng Mu's pores all opened and his blood boiled, as if a cheetah was staring at its prey. Die, Zhang Wenyuan. Zheng Mu roared angrily, his body jumped suddenly, and he stepped on the ground with his right foot. With the help of the reverse thrust, his body instantly rose to a height of more than 20 meters, and then he volleyed upside down and hit Zhang Wenyuan hard. Aha! Uh -huh. Zhang Wenyuan groaned, and a bright red blood stain escaped from the corner of his mouth. He turned around slowly, revealing his scarlet eyes, staring at Jing Mu, with a bloodthirsty curve at the corner of his mouth, grinning ferociously, stretched out his right arm, and grabbed Jing Mu. Boom! In an instant, Jing Mu felt a huge strong wind coming towards him, making him couldn't help but narrow his eyes. The next moment, a smelly finger wind brushed against his neck, causing a tingling sensation on his skin. Hiss. Zheng Mu took a breath and felt his throat burning. He looked down at the wound, and a drop of blood slid down his neck, staining the skirt of his clothes red. The power of this claw is as powerful as a ferocious beast attacking its prey. Zheng Mu suddenly became extremely alert and quickly took two steps back to distance himself. Roar Dash. Zhang Wenyuan looked up to the sky and roared, the sound shaking the whole country. Damn it, this guy's strength is definitely more than the gold level. Zheng Mu secretly screamed, his heart filled with strong fear. At this time, Zhang Wenyuan suddenly took long strides and ran towards Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu's pupils contracted and moved quickly to the left. Bang bang bang. As soon as Zheng Mu moved a few steps, a series of dense sounds like raindrops came from his ears. Zhang Wenyuan was seen waving his arms and frantically attacking the place where he was standing just now, breaking a stone slab. This guy's attack speed is much faster than I expected. Zheng Mu knitted his brows together and secretly said something troublesome. Although Zhang Wenyuan's attack power is far inferior to that of Zheng Mu, his advantage is that he is fast enough. Every attack always lands when Zheng Mu dodges, making it impossible to prevent him. System, activate investigation skills. As Zheng Mu issued the order, a green light was projected on Zhang Wenyuan, and his information immediately came into Zheng Mu's eyes. Zero request flowers, zero. Zhang Wenyuan. ID, Demon Cult Leader Bronze Level. Level, Level 20. Weapons, Reinforced Concrete Shield Silver, Steel Claw Dagger Gold. Skills, Steel Claw Gold Level Martial Arts, Iron Shirt Silver Level Martial Arts, Poison Needle Technique Gold Level, Ghost Crying Wolf Howling Curse Gold Level, Iron Head Kung Fu Gold Level. Rating, SS Level. After reading Zhang Wenyuan's basic information, Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with excitement. SS Level Rating. Zheng Mu licked his tongue and said excitedly, so his strength is equivalent to a peak silver warrior. According to the classification standard of warriors, gold warriors are equivalent to warrior apprentices, silver warriors are in the early stage of warriors, and gold peak warriors are at the peak of martial arts disciples and have the qualifications to break through to silver warriors. However, if a gold peak warrior wants to break through to a silver warrior, he needs to understand a warrior's will, and he doesn't know when he will be able to break through. Zheng Mu originally guessed that Zhang Wenyuan should be just an ordinary martial artist, but he did not expect to reach the peak of martial arts. It seems that all the secrets are hidden in Zhang Wenyuan. Chapter, 659 In this case, he should be the father of the black zombie. However, these have nothing to do with Zheng Mu for the time being. He just wants to figure out his current situation and how to get rid of Zhang Wenyuan. Zhang Wenyuan's speed is too fast. If he continues like this, he will catch him sooner or later. No, I have to find a way to kill him as soon as possible. Zheng Mu frowned, thinking about a solution to the problem. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Yes, since Zhang Wenyuan is so fast, let me make my kite skills more powerful 410. Zheng Mu's eyes became sharp, and his thoughts changed rapidly. He added the Xiaoyao sword technique to the puppet mecha. Immediately afterwards, the puppet mecha bent its legs and exerted force on its waist and abdomen. Bang! The mecha was like a cannonball, 
suddenly jumping out of place at an extremely fast speed. This is the effect of the first level of Xiaoyao sword technique, swift wind sword step. Zheng Mu's figure disappeared from Zhang Wenyuan's sight. Ha! Huh. Zhang Wenyuan frowned slightly, stopped and looked around. Boy, get out of here! Zhang Wenyuan suddenly shouted angrily. Swish! 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 There was a slight sound of wind, and then three arrows shot towards Zhang Wenyuan from different directions, locking him firmly. Zhang Wenyuan sneered, punched out, and directly blasted the three arrows into powder. Whoosh! At this time, another arrow whizzed over. Zhang Wenyuan's eyes flashed with cold light, and his right arm swept across, causing a violent sound of wind. Snap! This time, the arrow broke into two pieces. Call out! Just when Zhang Wenyuan thought there was no danger, a slender crossbow arrow appeared silently from behind Zhang Wenyuan and went straight to his chest. Ha! It's just a small trick. Faced with this fatal blow, Zhang Wenyuan did not panic, slapped his right palm out, and accurately grasped the tail end of the crossbow arrow. Immediately afterwards, Zhang Wenyuan pulled out hard and tore the arrow shaft into two halves. Ding! At this time, the system sound also sounded. Congratulations, you got 500 points. Listening to the system prompts in his mind, Zheng Mu suddenly showed a bright smile, ha ha ha, this wave of profits is guaranteed. He 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 Zhang Wenyuan, you can't blame me for this. It was you who killed me first, so suffer death. Zheng Mu said with a grin, his face full of gloom and ferociousness. Before he finished speaking, Zheng Mu's body suddenly exploded, approaching Zhang Wenyuan at an extremely fast speed. Zhang Wen saw the sight, his face darkened, and he was about to use his grappling hand to catch Zheng Mu, but he was surprised to find that the opponent's speed was several times faster than him. How is this possible? Zhang Wenyuan's pupils shrank. Boom! At this moment, the mecha had already arrived in front of him and slapped out his palm. Zhang Wenyuan's face changed slightly, he raised his fist and collided head-on with Zheng Mu. Zhang Wenyuan was directly knocked away by a huge force and fell heavily to the ground. Poof! A mouthful of blood spurted out Zhang Wenxuan's eyes were filled with shock and disbelief. He was actually beaten to the point of vomiting blood by a warrior, and moreover, he was beaten to the point of vomiting blood by a useless warrior. Damn, how could this happen? Zhang Wenyuan gritted his teeth and glared at Zheng Mu angrily. Zheng Mu was too lazy to pay attention to him, and continued to follow him, attacking him with one move after another. Zhang Wenyuan retreated steadily, with more and more blood stains on his body. Damn it, how dare you, a pariah, attack me! Zhang Wenyuan stormed off and roared. Who are you scolding? Are you looking for death? Zheng Mu said coldly, Try shouting again, I will break your legs today. Zhang Wenyuan's eyes burst out with strong resentment, and he stared at Jing Mu, like a wolf that chooses people to devour, and said fiercely, I tell you, you'd better be more respectful. I am a peak martial artist. You are not my opponent, obediently hand over that skill, and I will spare your life. Otherwise, today will be your memorial day next year. Chapter 660 is the peak of martial arts very difficult? Zheng Mu smiled disdainfully, then jumped up and whipped his leg. Zhang Wenyuan's expression changed drastically, and he crossed his arms to protect his face, trying to resist. Boom! There was a violent roar and Zhang Wenyuan was kicked to the ground, his bones shattered inch by inch. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, rushed forward and stepped on Zhang Wenyuan's neck. I'm asking you one last time, hand over the fragments of the eighteen palms of the dragon. Zhang Wenyuan breathed hard, you are dreaming ahem. Boom! Before he finished speaking, Zheng Mu kicked Zhang Wenyuan in the chest and kicked him several meters away, almost breaking his ribs. Are you really unfaithful? Zheng Mu squatted down slowly, his eyes cold and ruthless. Zhang Wenyuan felt the killing intent in Zheng Mu's eyes, and a sense of fear arose in his heart. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold and he said word by word, My patience is limited. He winked at the bumblebee mecha. Click. 
Click. A harsh moan came from Zhang Wenyuan's ribs. He clutched his ribs in pain, trembling all over, and almost fainted. There was no mercy in Zheng Mu's eyes, and he said coldly, This is your last chance, hand over your skills. Otherwise, I will break your neck in the next second. Zhang Wenyuan had large beads of sweat on his forehead, and his cheeks turned red from holding it in. He said with difficulty, You don't even think about it ahem. Then don't blame me for being rude. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold and Bumblebee clenched his right hand into a fist. Bang! Bang! He punched out two consecutive punches and hit Zhang Wenyuan's knees, causing Zhang Wenyuan to kneel to the ground instantly. Ah! Zhang Wenyuan wailed miserably in severe pain, and his entire left leg instantly fell to the ground limply. That's right, why go to all the trouble? Zheng Mu's indifferent voice sounded, I'll ask you again now, where is the remaining exercise scroll? Zhang Wenyuan endured the pain, gritted his teeth and said, Kill me, I can't ahem. Zheng Mu slapped Zhang Wenyuan on the face, knocking him unconscious. This guy is quite tough. Zheng Mu shook his head, then stretched out his palm and pressed it on Zhang Wenyuan. After a while, a jade pendant appeared and lay quietly in Zheng Mu's palm. After Zheng Mu saw the jade pendant clearly, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, finally got it. This jade pendant is Zhang Wenyuan's personal treasure and is worth more than one million. It is definitely impossible to hide such a valuable item in a storage ring. The specific location can only be known through the soul-searching secret technique. Of course, this secret technique causes great damage to the soul, and it also requires the cooperation of the user. Fortunately, Zhang Wenyuan did not understand the secret technique of soul cultivation, so Zheng Mu was able to successfully steal the location of the jade pendant. After putting away the jade pendant, Zheng Mu picked up all the money on the ground. There are seven or eight large boxes filled with these things, and each box contains at least five million or more. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly became hot, this time he made a fortune. He just spent more than 600 yuan, and the rest belongs to him. Zheng Mu happily put the banknotes into his arms and left carrying the big box. Brother Zheng, thank you this time. Li Yunfeng looked at Zheng Mu gratefully. Although the relationship between the two of them is not particularly close, they are classmates after all. Now that Zhang Wenyuan was killed by Zheng Mu, he breathed a sigh of relief. It's okay. Zheng Mu waved his hand. Then let's retreat quickly to avoid being caught by other students. The two ran wildly until they reached the wilderness on the outskirts of the city before stopping. Chapter 661 Brother Zheng, let me take you home. Li Yunfeng said with a smile. Thank you so much, Brother Li. Zheng Mu nodded. Li Yunfeng started the car with ease and drove Zheng Mu towards Nanhu City. Zheng Mu sat in the passenger seat and closed his eyes to relax. Brother Zheng. You are still sleeping. Li Yunfeng glanced at Zheng Mu, who was sleeping soundly next to him, and said awkwardly. Oh no. It's okay Zheng Mu opened his eyes and scratched his head, feeling a little embarrassed. Li Yunfeng sighed and said, Oh, Brother Zheng, although your strength is higher than mine, you are too weak. This cannot continue. Hearing this, Zheng Mu couldn't help but frown and said, Brother Li, what do you mean? Brother Zheng, to tell you the truth, I once participated in a monster hunting competition. Although I lost to Zhang Wenyuan, the actual difference between my strength and Zhang Wenyuan is not big, at least not as unbearable as you. Li Yunfeng he sighed and said, with your current strength, you can at most compete with a three-star monster. If you encounter a stronger monster, your life may even be in danger. Zheng Mu nodded in agreement. If you want to survive, you must improve your strength as soon as possible. Li Yunfeng said seriously. Ha! Huh. Zheng Mu glanced at Li Yunfeng in surprise. This is the first time Zheng Mu has heard him talk about this issue. I have been practicing boxing since I was a child. I reached the level of a yellow level professional at the age of 10. Now I am 24 years old and have already surpassed the yellow level professional. Li Yunfeng said proudly, obviously very proud. It's a pity that my parents died young. 
My grandparents raised me up and taught me how to read and write. I have always wanted to enter a martial arts school, but my talent is limited and I have been unable to break through to the yellow rank transfer. Is it because you can't break through the yellow class transfer? Zheng Mu said in surprise. Well Li Yunfeng sighed. That's it. Zheng Mu suddenly said. He always thought that Li Yunfeng's current achievements were solely based on his talent. Do you know if there are any shortcuts if you practice hard? Li Yunfeng asked curiously. What shortcut? Zheng Mu asked. It means swallowing the qi gathering pill. Li Yunfeng said excitedly, this pill can assist in training and has excellent effects. It can greatly improve martial arts talents and increase the probability of innate breakthroughs. Zheng Mu was slightly stunned, you mean you can break through by taking the qi gathering pill? Li Yunfeng nodded, yes, this is the shortcut. Qi gathering pills are difficult to buy. Even ordinary people need millions to buy one. Moreover, you can only take one pill at most every month, otherwise it will cause too much spiritual energy to accumulate in the body. He exploded and died. Zheng Mu shook his head. Then why do you have the qi gathering pill? Li Yunfeng asked doubtfully. It's a long story Zheng Mu took a deep breath and said slowly, actually, the qi gathering pill is not a rare item at all. Next, Zheng Mu briefly introduced the function of the qi gathering pill and the process of purchasing it. After Zheng Mu finished speaking, Li Yunfeng was completely stunned. Hello, Zhao Nuo. This qi gathering pill actually has such a heaven-defying effect. So, do immortal cultivators really exist in this world? Li Yunfeng murmured to himself, stirring up a storm in his heart. Zheng Mu smiled bitterly and nodded, of course, there are all kinds of cultivation resources and career changers in the interstellar world, and of course immortal cultivators exist. Moreover, there are also many secrets in the interstellar world, and even national institutions have no right to interfere. Li Yunfeng fell into silence. He didn't know whether to believe Zheng Mu's words or not. Chapter 662 After all, what Zheng Mu described was really shocking. However, Zheng Mu's words seemed reasonable. Ancient martial arts, monks, immortal sects, etc. do exist in the interstellar world. Seeing this, Zheng Mu smiled lightly and said, Okay, it's getting late, let's go home quickly. Yeah. Li Yunfeng nodded, started the car, and drove home. On the road. Zheng Mu asked, Brotherly, how old are you this year? 28. Li Yunfeng replied. Then you should have a girlfriend. Zheng Mu suddenly asked. No, I'm still looking Li Yunfeng said. The two of them chatted and came to Zheng Mu's residence, stopped the car and walked into 443. Brother Zheng, I won't disturb your rest. I'll contact you tomorrow. Li Yunfeng waved his hand and turned to leave. Zheng Mu looked at Li Yunfeng's back, with a playful smile on his lips, then closed the door and window, sat cross-legged, and blessed all the Mechas with the Qin Emperor's secret of immortality. When he was drinking in the hotel just now, Zheng Mu felt that his body was filled with huge and pure spiritual energy. So, he guided it out without hesitation, preparing to refine and absorb it. Buzzing buzzing the majestic pure spiritual energy formed a vortex around Zheng Mu, spinning crazily. At the same time, Bursts of thunder sounded in Zheng Mu's body Ache, and a terrifying coercion enveloped the entire room. Crack. It was like something was broken. The next moment, surging spiritual energy rushed to Zheng Mu's Dantian and was swallowed up by the small golden cauldron. Hiss. Even Zheng Mu couldn't help but gasp. This qi gathering pill contains too much spiritual energy. Fortunately, this little golden cauldron was perverted enough to swallow up most of the spiritual energy, otherwise Zheng Mu probably wouldn't be able to bear it. After an unknown amount of time, Zheng Mu's face turned pale, sweat flowed down his forehead, and he was soaked to the skin. Finally, Zheng Mu felt a sharp pain again in his body. He finally broke through to the pinnacle of martial arts. At this moment, Zheng Mu's Dantian was filled with surging spiritual energy, almost condensing into liquid, and it was staggeringly rich. Such a strong spiritual energy can directly impact the innate realm. 
Zheng Mu thought to himself. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, controlled the spiritual energy, and began to circulate according to a specific route. Rumble. Zheng Mu suddenly felt bursts of thunder coming from his body, as if lightning flashed across his body, giving him an extremely comfortable feeling. About half an hour later, the spiritual energy in Zheng Mu's body was exhausted, and he gradually calmed down. Opening his eyes, Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with excitement. Ha ha ha! I finally reached the peak of martial arts. Zheng Mu laughed excitedly. Congratulations, Master. The system's cold voice came to my ears. Zheng Mu grinned, reached out and took out the small golden cauldron, and said, System, I want to redeem the qi gathering pill. Ding 500 points will be deducted from the host, and the remaining points are 200. Please wait. After a while. Some information came to Zheng Mu's mind. Qi gathering pill, gathers the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, nourishes the physical body, and can improve the physical quality of those who change jobs. Price, 100, 0, 0 points bill 1100. Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows slightly, it actually cost 5000 points. The qi gathering pills in his memory were just pills taken by mortals. Even the lowest level first grade qi gathering pills were not worth 5000 points. This shows how precious this qi gathering pill is. It is indeed one of the top 5 high end elixirs in the interstellar world. Zheng Mu marveled, it seems that this interstellar medicine is really a hidden dragon and a crouching tiger. Chapter 663 With a thought in his mind, Zheng Mu put a qi gathering pill into his belly. Crash! In an instant, a cool air flow spread all over Zheng Mu's body. Zheng Mu suddenly felt that his skin had become extremely delicate and soft, and his bones had undergone earth-shaking changes, as if he had been reborn. At this time, Zheng Mu took out another qi gathering pill and put it into his mouth. The two qi gathering pills melted in the mouth and integrated into Zheng Mu's body. Zheng Mu's skin became rosy and crystal clear, and there seemed to be blood rushing in his blood vessels. Immediately, another ray of warm heat spread from the abdomen to the limbs. Ha Zheng Mu exhaled lightly, the effect of this elixir is so powerful that it can actually strengthen the muscles and bones. This was a so-called marrow cleansing pill for ordinary job changers, but it caused earth-shaking changes in his muscles and bones. Continue refining. Zheng Mu's eyes sparkled. Although the effect of qi gathering pill is remarkable, if you want to unleash your body's potential, you must go through long years of tempering. And now is a good opportunity to exercise. As night falls, the sky is filled with stars. Zheng Mu sat cross-legged on the bed, closed her eyes and regulated her breath, breathing in and out with her nostrils trembling slightly. I don't know how long it took, but Zheng Mu suddenly opened his eyes, his eyes as sharp as a knife, very sharp. Crack! Zheng Mu clenched his fist, and there was a crisp sound like exploding beans in his body. Bang, 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 Zheng Mu punched the wooden wall, and the wall suddenly cracked with spider web-like lines, which quickly spread to the entire wall. So strong. Zheng Mu was shocked. Although this body is only at the peak of martial arts, due to the consumption of qi gathering pills and the practice of body tempering techniques, the physical body is far superior to that of ordinary people. Zheng Mu even suspected that if he used all his strength, one punch would be enough to break the rocks. Now I can completely defeat ordinary job changers. Zheng Mu thought to himself. Although the limit of this body is only the peak of a martial artist, Zheng Mu's combat power has definitely reached the master level. But it doesn't matter, he is not enough, he also has mechanical assistance. After all, he practiced the body tempering technique, plus the qi gathering pill and the body tempering technique. Such a body, even in the martial arts world, would be considered a genius and a monster. Moreover, Zheng Mu has other advantages. He can now fly with a sword. Flying over objects is a miracle. If someone saw this scene, they would definitely be shocked. Ha! Huh. Zheng Mu exhaled a breath, lay back on the bed, and slowly fell asleep. Zero please give me flowers. A night without words. The next morning. When Zheng Mu woke up, he had regained his energy from yesterday, 
full of energy, and full of strength. This is Zheng Mu's most enjoyable night since traveling through time. He enjoyed this feeling. After breakfast, Zheng Mu walked towards the park alone. Now Zheng Mu, in addition to practicing every day, is to exercise himself and become familiar with the spiritual energy in his body. Zheng Mu came to the center of the park. It was deserted, not to mention people, not even a bird. Alas Zheng Mu sighed quietly, why is there no one playing games with me? Zheng Mu originally thought that there would be a large number of fans watching after his breakthrough, but nothing happened. Could it be that he has fallen out of favor? At this moment, Zheng Mu suddenly felt a murderous aura coming over him. Whizzing. Two black shadows passed through the trees and landed in front of Zheng Mu in the blink of an eye, blocking his retreat. Haha kid, what's your name? A short, fat boy looked at Zheng Mu and asked insidiously. The two of them have very strong auras, and you can tell at a glance that they are not ordinary little gangsters. Chapter 664 Zheng Mu glanced at the two of them, get out. Ha! Huh. The pudgy boy's face darkened and he said with a ferocious smile, boy, you are quite arrogant. Before he finished speaking, an iron rod stabbed Zheng Mu's neck from behind at a tricky and cruel angle. It was obviously Lian Jiazi. Seeking death. A chill flashed in Zheng Mu's eyes. Bang! The next second, Zheng Mu grabbed the boy's wrist holding the iron rod and twisted it with his backhand. Crack! There was a crisp sound, and the 067 iron rod broke. Zheng Mu raised his right foot and kicked the boy hard on the chest. Pfft! The boy screamed and fell on his back on the grass, clutching his chest and curling up in pain. Zheng Mu stared at the boy indifferently, don't make me kill you. The boy's face turned pale, and he hurriedly waved his hands and begged for mercy, please, spare me. I was just following orders, and I didn't mean to offend you. Zheng Mu hummed, what do you want to do? Our boss ordered us to teach you a lesson so that you can learn the rules and understand who is your master. The boy looked at Zheng Mu in fear. Zheng Mu frowned when he heard this, I didn't provoke you, why should you hit me? The boy sneered, not daring to look directly at Ji, I can't tell you the reason. Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes and sneered, it seems that you are professionals. I'm warning you, you'd better not move around during the recent period, otherwise I will make you pay the price. Zheng Mu threatened in a cold voice. He is not yet sure how strong he is, so he should not expose himself too much, lest he scare away these small fish and shrimps. Yes, yes I will definitely do it. The boy nodded hurriedly. Zheng Mu turned and left. After Zheng Mu disappeared, the pudgy boy breathed a sigh of relief and wiped the sweat from his forehead, ha, huh, I almost pissed myself because of this monster. Damn! That kick just now was as terrifying as the weight of a mountain. Fortunately, he didn't ask us why, otherwise I would definitely have to explain it here. That guy is not an ordinary person, let's leave quickly. The pudgy boy and his companions helped each other to their feet and quickly ran away. Eh. Isn't that Cheng Mu? In the distance, Li Lu happened to pass by the entrance of the park. She specially changed her clothes today, wearing a black short-sleeved shirt and jeans. She is young, beautiful, lively and playful, and looks like a pretty girl next door. Ah! Li Lu's sharp eyes suddenly saw Zheng Mu in the distance, and immediately shouted, Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu followed the reputation and saw Li Lu. Eh. Sister Li Lu. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment and immediately went to greet her. When Li Lu saw Zheng Mu, her eyes lit up and she laughed happily. Zheng Mu came to Li Lu and looked at Li Lu curiously, Sister Li Lu, why are you here? He he. Li Lu smiled sweetly, I have class today. That's it. Zheng Mu suddenly realized it, and immediately smiled and said, Congratulations to Sister Li Lu for your promotion and job change, congratulations. Li Lu pursed her lips and smiled, with expectation in her eyes, Have you really decided to be a mechanic from now on? Yes. Zheng Mu nodded, Since I have come to China, of course I must repay Grandpa for his upbringing. Speaking of her parents, Zheng Mu always feels inexplicably sad. 
Although in the eyes of the world, 0, 8 he is a loser and useless. However, for Zheng Mu, he is a good father and a good grandfather. He once taught Zheng Mu and was more strict in Jitsuan High Court. He also taught Zheng Mu to be a real man who stands upright. Zheng Mu kept his grandfather's teachings in mind, worked hard, and finally achieved today's results. Then I wish you a smooth journey and be on the list. Li Lu said with crystal clear eyes and a sincere tone. Chapter 665 Zheng Mu nodded and said goodbye to Li Lu. Now he has a lot of existing mechas. But now that he has a lot of points, he can draw new mechas. Moreover, the divine magic realm was about to open, so he had to seize the time to improve his strength. Other job changers are probably also coveting the treasures of the divine magic domain. This makes Zheng Mu feel pressure. So he needs to improve himself faster. Zheng Mu came to the mysterious hall and chose to draw the mecha. Ding dong. Congratulations to host 02 for getting the mecha, White Tiger. Hearing the sound of the system, Zheng Zhuang's eyes suddenly lit up. White Tiger. That is a very powerful existence in the mecha. Although it is far inferior to Qin Long. But as the most domineering existence among mechas, Zheng Mu certainly likes this kind of mechas with extraordinary performance. Sure enough, mechas are still easy to use. Although these things are majestic, they are too troublesome. After this mission is over, we must clear the divine magic domain. Zheng Mu thought silently in his heart. Then, he summoned the white tiger. With a ray of light shining. The white giant beast appeared in front of him. Roar. A roar echoed throughout the space. The white tiger's eyes were extremely scarlet, revealing savagery and madness. Looking at it, Zheng Mu couldn't help but gasped, so fierce. The white tiger at this moment exuded a strong aura. It's like a big mountain, intimidating. Such a terrifying aura is enough to prove its power. Zheng Mu could even imagine how terrifying this guy would be if he got angry. But. This is not just as simple as being mighty. Only a muffled sound was heard. Zheng Mu looked up towards the ceiling. I saw a huge hole being broken through. Such power is simply earth-shattering. It is indeed a ferocious beast among mechas. TB. Damn it, this mecha actually has an ejection function. Zheng Mu said in shock. Originally he just wanted to summon it for fun, but he never thought it would have an ejection function. This was an unexpected gain for him. After all, although the weapons and equipment he has now are good, they are not flexible enough, and the fighting method is not very suitable for him. If he could have such a function, it would undoubtedly make him more agile and faster while fighting. This is definitely an unexpected surprise. Zheng Mu quickly ordered Bai Hu to rush out a few steps. I saw the white tiger jumping up from the ground. Immediately, its body swayed and disappeared. When he reappeared, he was already 30 meters away. The speed is incredible. Zheng Mu's face was filled with excitement. This kind of mecha is really cool. And the attack power is also extremely strong. Zheng Mu tried to control the white tiger and hit a monster. A loud bang 613. The earth shook. The monster was easily knocked away by the white tiger. Seeing the scene he had created, Zheng Mu felt extremely comfortable. This is a mecha. A mecha with its own turret. This power is simply explosive. He he he, I can be considered an awesome time traveler. Ha ha ha, when I come back, it will be the time when you cry for father and mother and beg for mercy. Zheng Mu laughed loudly, his heart full of heroism. At the same time, the realm of gods and demons. In the midst of nothingness, Zheng Mu appeared here. He had just entered the legal domain and had not encountered any danger. But that doesn't mean it's safe. Quite the opposite is true. Chapter 66 Because at this time, there are many magical beasts inside this legal domain. The levels of these monsters are all above 2 star, 5 star, and 9 star. Each of these monsters is extremely terrifying. They either bared their teeth and claws, or were extremely ferocious, all targeting Zheng Mu, wanting to tear him into pieces and devour him. 
Zheng Mu knows very well that these monsters are not only difficult to deal with, but also powerful. Once your body is touched by them, even if it is contaminated with just a little bit of blood, you will be seriously injured. So, Zheng Mu must get rid of them as soon as possible. There are simply too many of these monsters. There's no way he can get rid of it. What to do? Zheng Mu fell into deep thought. Do you want to give up this opportunity? Zheng Mu frowned. This time the divine magic realm is full of temptations. There are many powerful monsters here. It is said that there are ninth level monsters here. It is the top existence in the legal realm. As long as you hunt the ninth grade monster, you can get rewards. Moreover, there are all kinds of rare treasures. Zheng Mu felt a little hesitant in his heart. He is not a greedy person, he just feels that this time the magical realm is too weird, and he is unwilling to take risks. After all, everyone knows that there are many crises in this magical realm. If something unexpected happened, he couldn't bear the responsibility. Only. Wouldn't it be a waste of opportunity if we just give up? He was a little confused. Forget it. In that case, let's fight to the death. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and decided. Anyway, he is alone now. Even if something goes wrong, he can escape. Thinking like this, Zheng Mu didn't care much and rushed straight towards those monsters. I saw him controlling the white tiger and rushing towards a monster. Boom! The huge sound made the surroundings tremble. And on the chest of the monster, a huge hole suddenly appeared. Blood is flowing. But the white tiger seemed to have no intention of stopping and was still charging towards the other monster. The violent collision sounded again. And that monster was blown away again. Two consecutive violent collisions left this monster on the verge of death. It struggled to stand up, but it no longer had any fighting spirit and turned around and ran away. The white tiger chased after it and continued to move towards it. Soon, the white tiger completely killed the monster. Ding, you kill a 5-star monster and get 500 game coins. Ding, you kill a 6-star monster and get 1-0-0 game coins. Ding, congratulations on getting a bottle of healing potion. Listening to the constant voices in his mind, Mu's face showed a look of joy. It is indeed the realm of divine magic. Just the corpse of a monster earned me a thousand game coins. If you defeat more Warcraft, wouldn't it be a huge profit? Thinking of this, Zheng Mu couldn't help but grin. Ouch! Suddenly, along with a roar, a seven-star monster finally couldn't hold back anymore and attacked Zheng Mu. This seven-star monster is extremely huge. The whole body is covered with scales and looks extremely strong, like an iron tower, which is very scary. Huh, another money giver. Zheng Mu's eyes lit up. Immediately, he controlled the white tiger and rushed forward unceremoniously. The white tiger roared and fought directly with the seven-star monster. At this time, Zheng Mu could clearly see the appearance of this seven-star monster. Chapter, 667 The head of this seven-star monster is oval-shaped, like an egg, and is covered with sharp fangs, like spears. There are several small tails behind it, and every time it swings, it emits a harsh whistling sound. In addition to this seven-star monster, there are hundreds of six-star and five-star monsters all around. These monsters look somewhat similar to humans, but they have bone wings on their backs. At this moment, pairs of their glowing green eyes were staring at this side. Zheng Mu felt that his body was extremely cold. Because these monsters all exude extremely terrifying auras. Each one is several times more terrifying than Zheng Mu's white tiger. The worst of these monsters have six-star level strength. Among them, the most terrifying one actually reached the eight-star level. The eight-star monster is already a terrifying existence comparable to the 9-54 star powerhouse. Oh my god, are there so many magical beasts in this magical realm? Zheng Mu was stunned. He originally thought that although there were many magical beasts here, there must be limits. After all, there are ninth grade experts here. However, the scene before him told him. The magical beasts here are simply inexhaustible. Roar. 
The eight-star monster roared, waved its palm, and swatted at Jing Mu. Jing Mu was startled and immediately dodged away. The monster missed its blow and suddenly became violent. He jumped up suddenly and rushed towards Jing Mu. Jing Mu snorted coldly, controlled the white tiger, and fought with it. Clang clang clang. The sound of weapons clashing kept coming. As time went by, Zheng Mu gradually discovered that the movements of the monster began to slow down. Even his actions became slow. A faint smile couldn't help but appear on the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth. Ha <laughs> that's it. Zheng Mu came to his senses. He has guessed that the reason why these monsters become like this should be related to them absorbing some special energy. Zheng Mu estimated that that energy should be something that enhances the strength of Warcraft. Otherwise, it is impossible to make Warcraft become more powerful. In that case. Then I won't be polite. Hey hey. Zheng Mu's thoughts changed rapidly and he suddenly became excited. Ding, a special open area near the host has been detected. The space here contains a rich aura, which has an excellent nourishing effect on martial arts practitioners and allows them to make breakthroughs. Please host choose whether to enter. The system prompt sounds. Zheng Mu's eyes sparkled. Breakthrough. His eyes were blazing and his heart was beating crazily. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ever since he entered this world, his realm has been declining. Although he has the support of the system, his cultivation speed is still extremely fast, but it is still far behind the geniuses in this world. But now, he can actually improve his strength with the help of the majestic energy contained in this divine magic domain. This is an unexpected surprise. Get in. Zheng Mu made his decision almost without hesitation. Whoosh. In an instant, he and Bai Hu disappeared from the spot and entered the divine magic realm. Next moment. An incomparably thick vitality of heaven and earth rushed to his face in an instant. Extremely rich. It's so refreshing. But Cheng Mu was not intoxicated. Instead, he quickly sat down cross-legged and started to use his skills to guide the energy of heaven and earth. Soon, he discovered the clues. This magical realm seems to be alive. Chapter 668 it can actually swallow external energy and strengthen itself. This made Jing Mu extremely excited. There were originally only two stars in his Dantian. Now there are three more. Jing Mu knows that after his Dantian is completely filled, he can try to condense the fourth star core. Roar! The white tiger roared. Then, it turned into a phantom and pounced on the seven star Warcraft. Zheng Mu took the opportunity to control the white tiger and cooperated with the white tiger to attack. Suddenly, he had the upper hand and was not at a disadvantage at all. Ho ho ho! The seven-star monster roared angrily, but was helpless. Zheng Mu's combat experience is too rich. His movements are very flexible and there are almost no flaws. And he also has quite a lot of combat experience. Between each move, you can always catch the flaw and deliver a fatal blow. Under such high-intensity fighting, Zheng Mu felt the hearty fighting feeling that he had not seen for a long time. At this moment, he seemed to have forgotten the danger. Only enjoyment remains. Pfft. Another slash with the knife. Zheng Mu slashed the neck of the seven-star monster. Suddenly, black liquid splashed out. The seven-star monster fell down. At the same time, the white tiger roared, opened its bloody mouth and bit the seven-star demon layer to death. Ding, congratulations to the host for hunting the six-star monster, Thunder Cloud, seven stars, and earning 500 points. Ding, congratulations to the host for hunting the three-star monster, Qingming, four-star, and earning one, zero, zero points. Zheng Mu heard the system prompt. Um. Zheng Mu was stunned. Damn it. Why did you explode the equipment? The special space you mentioned is in this world. Ding, that's exactly it. Hearing the system confirmation, Zheng Mu was elated. Without saying a word, he urged Bai Hu to kill again. Ding, congratulations to the host for getting 10, 0, 0 points. Zheng Mu was killing the monsters while listening to the constant sound of the system. 
just about half an hour. Zheng Mu had already killed tens of thousands of low-level monsters. Damn, this bitch feels so good. Zheng Mu couldn't help but cheered. You know, this is just the beginning, and he hasn't encountered any more powerful monsters yet. If I continue to hunt, I don't know how many points I will get. Zheng Mu is in a good mood. However, he did not dare to stop, but continued walking inside with Bai Hu. The monsters here become stronger as they go deeper. Zero please ask for flowers. Even Zheng Mu feels a little bit in trouble at this moment. Boom! Suddenly, a huge explosion sounded from the sun array. A monstrous evil spirit rose into the sky. Zheng Mu looked up. Directly above him, in the depths of the pitch black hollow, a huge creature emerged. Its whole body was shrouded in black mist, and its true appearance could not be seen clearly. I could only vaguely see it, it was a ferocious and ferocious python. The giant snake is a hundred feet long, like a mountain range. Its head is huge, as thick as a bucket. At this moment, he was swinging his body crazily, causing waves of strong wind. Zheng Mu's face changed slightly. This is a six-star monster. However, at this moment, the white tiger beside him roared angrily. Then, he charged forward brazenly and met him. Ouch! The white tiger looked up to the sky and roared, deafening. Immediately afterwards, its speed suddenly increased. In an instant, he appeared beside the giant python. And Zheng Mu, at this time, directly performed the fifth level of Xianhuang Ba Ti Ju. Suddenly, his body grew and turned into a giant. At this moment, he was surrounded by golden light. Chapter 669 Above the fist, a dazzling light bloomed, as if it could crush everything. Kill! Zheng Mu shouted low, swung his iron fist with all his strength, and hit the giant python. There was a muffled sound. The terrifying power burst out. The giant python was beaten and rolled several times, vomiting blood, and its injuries were even more serious. But Zheng Mu remained motionless. His physical strength is far stronger than ordinary job transfers. At this moment, breaking through the shackles in one fell swoop, 207 reached the fifth level. Such strength is already quite terrifying. Even if you don't use any skills, your physical strength alone is enough to crush ordinary five-star and six-star martial arts masters. At this moment, Zheng Mu finally breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't expect that in this strange world, he could still pick up a storage ring. This trip was not in vain. Not only did it solve the problem of repairing hidden diseases on the body, but there were also unexpected gains. This is definitely an unexpected surprise. However, he never thought about it. This storage ring does not belong to him at all. Maybe it's because he has been staying in the forest since he traveled to this world. And his experiences in his previous life were completely different from those of humans in this world, so it was naturally impossible for anyone to know him. Therefore, this ring became ownerless. At this moment, Zheng Mu is full of expectations and is ready to check out his novice gift package. However, just when he opened the system backpack, a flash of scarlet color flashed out. In his field of vision, a scarlet gift bag appeared, exuding endless charm. Zheng Mu's heart was beating fast. He had never seen such beautiful scarlet. If this gift bag is opened, will it bring me any surprises? Zheng Mu's heart is about to jump out of his throat. But the next moment, his eyes suddenly opened wide. I saw a few large characters written on the scarlet gift box. SS level gift, spirit of heaven and earth. Zheng Mu was stunned. Holy crap! This actually works. Zheng Mu almost cursed her. This is too stupid. I actually got an SS level gift. SS level gift. Although it is only a sentence. But what does this mean? It means that this SS level gift bag contains something rare and rare. This. Zheng Mu swallowed and couldn't wait to open the scarlet gift box. In an instant, a cloud of dense glow emerged, covering Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu suddenly felt that his eyes were stinging so much that his consciousness was blurred. This made Zheng Mu quickly close his eyes. 
it took a long time for him to slowly adapt. However, when he regained his sight, the picture he saw shocked him. He saw a lotus flower appearing in front of him. The whole body is crystal clear, exuding endless divine splendor. The key is. On top of the lotus, there is a seedling. Although it is small, it is full of vitality. Obviously, it was no ordinary plant. But some kind of elixir. Oh my god, what kind of luck is this? Could it be said that this is destined to change one's fate against the will of heaven? Zheng Mu 5, 6 is extremely excited. He dreams of owning a spiritual treasure. Unfortunately, this is a luxury product. Just like women always want to buy LV bags and Chanel bags. Men always want a Ferrari. However, these things all require money. If you don't have money, let alone buy it, you won't even dare to take a second look. Zheng Mu is now in urgent need of money to purchase elixirs and martial arts. And this spiritual grass in front of you is worth a lot of money. Chapter, 670 Zheng Mu was almost bursting with joy. Ha ha ha, this world is quite kind. In this case, wouldn't I be able to get a lot of resources easily? Zheng Mu chuckled. At this moment, he felt that the world had become better. And just when Zheng Mu was immersed in fantasy, the giant python was also aware of Zheng Mu's existence. Roar! A roar that made the forest tremble. Immediately, he saw that the giant python opened its bloody mouth and bit Zheng Mu fiercely. This scene made me, Zero Two Mu, instantly alert. He had just obtained this treasure. If it were swallowed by a giant python, wouldn't it be a huge loss? Therefore, Zheng Mu did not hesitate and kicked him out. Bang! Another violent collision. The giant python was kicked out again and fell into the bushes in the distance. Zheng Mu stood there and snorted coldly. This snake has rough skin and thick flesh, and has extraordinary defensive power. If it were a job changer in the ordinary martial arts realm, there would definitely be nothing he could do about it. Fortunately, Zheng Mu is physically strong, otherwise, he would have capsized in the gutter. But, so what? Zheng Mu grinned, showing his white teeth. He knew that he was in trouble. You snake, you are quite courageous. How dare you eat me, young master? It seems I have to make snake stew today. I don't believe you can withstand more than a hundred attacks from me. Zheng Mu stared at the giant python not far away with burning eyes. This giant python was obviously very intelligent. Hearing Zheng Mu's words, he immediately felt in danger. It turned and ran away. However, its speed is far behind Zheng Mu. In an instant, Ji caught up with the giant python. Without saying a word, he rushed forward, rode on the giant python's body, raised his fist as big as a casserole, and hammered the giant python crazily. Rumble. The giant python was beaten to pieces. But still struggling. Zheng Mu's anger rose. This snake has rough skin and thick flesh, and is extremely defensive. If it is delayed for a long time, it will not be good for anyone. Zheng Mu directly exploded with power, raising his power to the strength of thirty oxen. Boom! With one punch falling, Na Ju Shi's whole body went limp. Click! Broken bones. It whined and fell to the ground, dying. Zheng Mu took a deep breath and got off it. Oh my god! Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu was scared to death. After just a brief fight, this giant python was almost beaten to death by him. Holy darling, is this a monster? Zheng Mu turned pale with fright. Although this giant python looks weak, its defensive power is astonishing. Even a strong martial artist of the same level might not be able to do anything to it. Unfortunately, I met Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu is not only extremely powerful, but also as powerful as a thief. One punch can knock it out. This giant python is no match at all. No matter what, just pick the spiritual grass and take it home first. Zheng Mu was extremely excited 140. This is spiritual grass. Spiritual grass is the essence bred by heaven and earth. 
It can help those who have transferred to the martial arts realm to break through bottlenecks and advance to a more advanced level. It is said that once you take the spiritual grass, you will be blessed by heaven and earth. And there are only a few plants of this spiritual grass in the entire Chu dynasty. Every one of them is being fought over by all forces. Even for the royal family, there is only one plant. You can see how valuable it is. Zheng Mu went through a lot of hard work and finally found Ling Chen. How could you miss it? He quickly climbed to the top of the tree, looked down at the surroundings, and carefully searched for traces of the spiritual grass. Ha! Huh. This plant doesn't seem to be a spiritual herb. Zheng Mu frowned. Chapter 671 Although this spiritual grass is also full of green. However, it has a strange smell and smells bad. Could it be that this is dung? Zheng Mu was confused. He had only seen this kind of thing in ancient books. Moreover, it is recorded in the ancient book that jazz is also an extremely rare medicinal material. However, the dung was so smelly that Zheng Mu couldn't bear to try it, so he gave up. Ha! Huh. At this moment, Zheng Mu suddenly saw a dark brown stone. He knelt down and picked up the stone. Get it cold. This stone is exactly the ore Zheng Mu saw in the library before. Ha! Huh. This ore is actually so hard. I punched you, but there was no damage at all. Zheng Mu was full of surprise. Although this ore is not big, it is extremely hard and can definitely be called a treasure. Zheng Mu collected the ore happily. This time I really made a lot of money. Zheng Mu said happily. Although this ore is not big, it is very hard in texture. Use it to make weapons or armor, which will definitely be several times stronger than those made by ordinary blacksmiths. However, I don't have a suitable sword with me now. We still have to think of a way to get some handy weapons. Zheng Mu murmured in a low voice. At this time, Zheng Mu suddenly felt a little urgent to urinate. He quickly jumped into the river on the side and finished solving it. Returned to the python's body. Then, Zheng Mu stretched out his hands and picked up the spiritual grass. Hey, with it, my cultivation speed will definitely increase dramatically. Zheng Mu chuckled. But. Zheng Mu frowned, this thing is so smelly, how should I eat it? Forget it, I don't mind it anyway. As long as it can increase the effectiveness of practice. He picked up the spiritual grass, opened his mouth, and bit it suddenly. Pfft. Blood splattered everywhere. The spiritual grass was immediately bitten into two pieces by Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu spit out the residue in his mouth, then took out the dagger, cut off the remaining parts, and put them into the baggage. After doing these things, I feel satisfied. He was about to leave, but suddenly remembered something and turned to look at the python corpse beside him. Well, this is a great tonic. Zheng Mu licked his tongue, his eyes burning. Swish, swish, swish. Zheng Mu waved his dagger and cut open the python's body and took out a crystal core that shone with golden light. This golden crystal core exudes rich spiritual energy. TSK, TSK, this is good stuff. Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed, full of interest. However, he also knows that he currently does not have the ability to refine crystal nuclei. Therefore, I just took a brief look at it, put away the crystal core, picked up the backpack, and continued walking forward. He was going to the largest pharmacy in the city to buy some medicinal materials. After all, his cultivation requires a huge amount of spiritual energy. And this forest is not stable. Therefore, Zheng Mu chose to buy spiritual herbs to refine the medicine in the city. He planned to stay in the city for a few days to refine some elixirs to supply his cultivation. Definitely, at this moment, outside the city, another group of people were also looking for Zheng Mu. Trash. Can't even catch a boy. What use do you need? An old man looked gloomy and spoke coldly. He stood beside the carriage. On top of the carriage sat a woman in red. She has a beautiful face and a voluptuous figure. At this moment, her beautiful eyes raised slightly and looked at the man's seat in front of her. There was a trace of disgust and anger between her eyebrows. Chapter 672 
Miss, please rest assured, my subordinates will definitely do their best to capture that young man alive and bring him back to you for disposal. The man knelt on the ground respectfully. He has a handsome face, but at this moment he has a flattering expression. This young man is Song Boi, the son of the Nanling County Sheriff. My father said that as long as we can kill that good for nothing, we can make him a slave forever. In that case, I will give you a chance. The woman in red spoke. Yes. Thank you, miss. Song Boi was so happy that he wanted to rush over immediately and tear Jing Mu into pieces. However, he knew his own weight and did not dare to move. Otherwise, if he offends the evil star in front of him, he may suffer disaster. I hope you won't live up to my expectations. The woman in red slowly closed her beautiful eyes, as if falling into a deep sleep. However, there was a touch of sarcasm at the corner of her mouth. Following a cold snort, there was no more sound in the carriage. Song Boi, on the other hand, was trembling all over. Thank you for your magnanimity, ma'am. Song Boi wiped the sweat from his forehead and breathed a sigh of relief. Call. Immediately afterwards, he got on his horse and prepared to leave. However, when his eyes fell on the body of the giant python in the distance. Suddenly, the pupils shrank sharply. Akf, hiss. What kind of snake is this? The scales of this snake are actually as hard as black patterned gold steel. Oh my god! With such hard scales, if I could have a set, wouldn't my combat effectiveness be soared? Ha ha ha! What a blessing! Song Boi laughed loudly and showed excitement. Although this giant python is dead, it is still three meters long and its body is extremely huge. This giant python weighs 500 kilograms. This is a real python. All the skin, flesh, muscles and bones are good materials for refining spiritual weapons. Even the fur and tendons of this giant python have extraordinary effects. If these materials are used to forge protective gear, the power will definitely become stronger. Thinking of this, Song Boi suddenly couldn't hold back, walked over quickly, pulled out the sharp blade, and started peeling the skin and cramping. Wow! However, at this moment, bursts of footsteps were heard in the jungle. Immediately afterwards, a group of knights galloped over and appeared in front of Song Boi in an instant. Seeing this scene, Song Boi was startled for a moment, and then a look of ecstasy appeared on his face. This could this be? Song Boi's eyes widened, staring at the silver-white badges hanging on the waists of the knights. It is the exclusive symbol of the commander of Beihuang Guard. He didn't expect to meet the king of the northern guards here. At this moment, the other knights also jumped down from the treetops and came to Song Boi. There are eight of these knights in total, and each of them carries a powerful aura. Especially the person at the front is even more shocking. These eight knights are all strong men in the Ninggang realm. And he has reached the peak level. There is even a faint hint of the aura of a half-step master. He is the commander of the Northern Wilderness Guard in the Northern Wilderness Territory. Li Yunshan. Greetings to the Commander-in-Chief. Song Boi bowed respectfully, with fear in his tone. He never expected that he would meet Li Yunshan in this wilderness. This Li Yunshan is the commander of Beihuang City in the northern wasteland, and he is also a high-level warrior. He is powerful, second only to the Marquis of Zhengua in the entire northern wasteland. Chapter 673 It is said that Li Yunshan is still a child of a certain big family. However, even so, relying on his own efforts, he is only a high-level warrior after all. There is a huge gap between high-level career changers. And Song Boi had also heard of Li Yunshan's reputation as a cruel and ruthless person. Oh! Master Song, why are you here in the wilderness? Li Yunshan glanced at the python's body on the ground. This made Song Boi's face change slightly. Commander Li, I hunted and killed this giant python. Song Boi explained eagerly. However, Li Yunshan waved his hand. I don't care who killed him. Now let me ask you, what are you doing around here? Why do you appear in a place like this? Li Yunshan spoke coldly. Song Boi hesitated. However, 
Before he could speak, Li Yunshan suddenly seemed to remember something. You just said you were going to chase a country trash, what did you call him? It seems to be called Jing Mu. Ha! Huh. Do you know him? Li Yunshan frowned. Yes. It's that trash from the countryside. Song Boyi nodded to confirm, then shook his head. Commander Li, this guy is a waste. He is just a first-grade low-level mechanic job transfer, not worth mentioning. This giant python was discovered by a little fluke. Originally, I wanted to take it back and give it to the lady as a gift. After Song Boyi finished speaking, he looked at Li Yunshan with fiery eyes. Yeah. Li Yunshan asked lightly. However, he was still sneering in his heart. You said that guy is a waste, but he is a waste. Hee <laughs> hee. You are a piece of shit. In your daily life, you are eating, drinking, whoring and gambling. Which thing is not your best? You tell lies without making a draft. Li Yunshan sneered. In this world full of job changers, who doesn't know that there is a mechanic job changer who is very powerful? He wanted to meet the mechanic. Zheng Mu in the distance sneezed, who is talking about me? He looked at his points and it seemed that the mecha could be upgraded again. System, help me upgrade. Zheng Mu said without hesitation. Boom. In an instant, system messages flooded the screen. Ding dong ding dong. Countless information poured into his mind. The mecha was upgraded successfully, 10 points of skill proficiency were consumed. 10 points of skill proficiency. Zero please give me flowers. For others, absolutely no less. However, to Zheng Mu, it is nothing. After all, he has accumulated nearly 300 skill points in the past few days. Add two more points for me. There was another explosion, and Zheng Mu felt that his energy was about to be blown away. Ding dong. Congratulations to the host, you successfully upgraded the mecha to the 9-star level. Obtain special attributes, combat form. Combat form, you can use the machine arts, mechanics, and alchemy that the host originally learned to fight. The introduction is simple. Zheng Mu was stunned at that time. Although his original mechanism skills, mechanical skills, and alchemy skills are all elementary skills, they are all basic types. Therefore, it does not possess any enhanced attributes or attack skills. Not even defensive skills. Now. There actually is. Combat form, after use, the host can master the previously learned skills and strengthen the combat form. Huh, it's so cool. With this combat form, I can use all my mechanism arts, mechanical arts, alchemy, and mechanism arts from now on. Moreover, you can also increase attributes. Zheng Mu was pleasantly surprised. Chapter, 674 Ding Dong Congratulations to the host, for completing the hidden mission. Reward, 10 zero zero experience points. Ding Dong, the host has gained a new skill, Puppetry. Puppetry, you can control an undead creature and replace the host to fight. Undead creatures? Zheng Mu pondered for a moment. Then, just select explore. Suddenly, a piece of information appeared in his mind. Puppet Technique, 257, is an auxiliary skill of the summoning system, which can be controlled through blood essence, soul, etc. The strength of the power is related to the strength of the caster. The current level is only level 1. If you reach the second level, you can control any life form within the third level to fight. After reading this, Zheng Mu nodded with satisfaction. Although this puppet technique is only at the first level, it is very powerful. After all, this is a summoning skill. Moreover, Zheng Mu discovered another privilege. Ding! The system determines that the host can summon any creature below level 3 to fight. Level 3 or below. This means that even 5th level creatures can still greet them. Ha ha ha. Marvelous. Zheng Mu is ecstatic. He didn't expect that his task would be so easy. The first level puppet technique is enough to defy the heavens. Moreover, it can also summon life forms below level 3. Let's go. 
Let's go find that Jing Mu. I want to see how strong he is. Li Yunshan took Song Boi and walked towards the village where Jing Mu was located. And at this moment, Jing Mu is still at home, excitedly practicing puppetry. System, get me a copy of the blueprint for this puppet technique. A white card flew out. Falling in front of Jing Mu. This is exactly that puppet card. This is the puppetry skill card. Consume 100 skill points each time to purchase the puppet technique. Jing Mu thought to himself. Immediately, a black energy filled the air and enveloped the puppetry drawings. In an instant, a sense of clarity emerged from Jing Mu's heart. The next moment, a dark humanoid monster with wings appeared in front of him. This is exactly the demon god's clone. This time, I can finally summon it to fight. Jing Mu was delighted. He tried it and found that the devil's clone could follow his own will and act. Good. With this puppet clone. I'm not afraid of that guy Li Yunshan anymore. Walk. Let's go out for a swim. Zheng Mu is gearing up. He can't wait to see how strong that big boss Li Yunshan is. Roar. The demon clone roared and roared. Zheng Mu took him and left home. Soon. The two of them came to the end of the village. At the foot of a mountain. Here, a military green off-road vehicle is parked. Li Yunshan was sitting in the cab. In his arms, he held a strangely shaped heavy knife. Si Zheng Mu appear. A sneer appeared on his lips. Little beast, you dare to hurt my son, today is your death anniversary. Not only will I kill you on 4-5, but I will also torture you until you can't live or die. Rumble. As soon as Li Yunshan finished speaking, his whole body rose directly into the sky. Like a cannonball, it hit Jing Mu. The heavy sword in his hand bloomed with dazzling light. This blow. Zheng Mu's head must be taken away. Hey, do you really think I'm afraid of you? Zheng Mu sneered. Immediately, he waved his hand and punched. Chapter, 675 When he punched out, the void trembled. It seems to contain the power of destruction. Bang! Two hits. The ground shook violently, and smoke and dust scattered. Li Yunshan's heavy knife flew out of his hand and landed on the rocks nearby. Click. The hard rock actually cracked and shattered inch by inch. His expression changed horribly. His eyes were filled with disbelief. How can this be? He widened his eyes and looked at Zheng Mu in disbelief. He never expected it. The strength of this little beast is so terrifying. Just one blow almost broke his sword. How could he believe this? Are you a career changer? Li Yunshan's face was full of surprise. He knew it. Among those who changed jobs, there were also distinctions between high and low. Among them, Japanese products are the weakest. The second grade is the strongest. Moreover, above the martial arts realm, there is the advanced job transfer realm. Those above the advanced job transfer realm are extraordinary ones. But, as far as he knows. Now. All of China. Only in the Chinese army, a senior career changer appeared. And he's only a half-step advanced career changer. There is still a long way to go before he can break through and become a truly powerful high-level career changer. DJ. The little bastard in front of me is actually no worse than a high-level job transferee. How could he not be shocked by this? Boom! Zheng Mu ignored Li Yunshan. But keep moving forward. The muscles in his right arm swelled and the bones crackled. Swinging his right fist again. He smashed it towards Li Yunshan. You! Li Yunshan was startled. Quickly mobilize your strength to protect your whole body. There was a loud noise. Li Yunshan staggered back a few steps. His face was full of horror. You actually. Stronger than a high-level career changer. Li Yunshan was completely shocked. Zheng Mu. How could he be stronger than a career changer? I told you, you are not worthy of being my opponent at all. Zheng Mu said indifferently. 
Immediately, he waved his fist again. Another punch came out. Poof! Li Yinshan's chest collapsed and he vomited blood. His whole body flew out. Impacted on the mountain wall. Fainted instantly. Hiss. Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. This Li Yunshan is really amazing. With just brute strength, he was able to resist two attacks from himself and suffered only minor injuries. If it weren't for the fact that he had a demon clone by his side. There is absolutely no way he can stop Li Yunshan's move. But. Now, the situation has changed. My demon god clone is enough to crush ordinary job changers. Since you want to play, then I will play with you. Zheng Mu thought. Crash. The demon god's clone appeared, also holding a square-shaped painted halberd, standing in front of Mu. Kill. Zheng Mu shouted loudly and rushed towards the demon clone first. The demon clone is formed by condensing spiritual power. Can act autonomously. It can even simulate various exercises. At this moment, facing Li Yunshan, he can naturally use his martial arts. Clang! Zheng Mu fights with the devil's clone. One person waved the Fangtian 610 painted halberd, and the other held a shield to resist. Both of them have speed, strength, and defense far beyond ordinary people. It can almost be called invincible at the same level. Bang bang bang. For a while. A fierce fight begins. Zheng Mu and the demon god's avatar were both extremely brave and brave. This scene shocked passers-by. Holy shit. What is this? Run quickly. The crowd screamed. They all avoided this area. Because this is comparable to a scene in a movie. Is this a filming? It looks like it to me. No matter what, call the police first. Passers-by around him were talking a lot. They looked here, all with fear in their eyes. Chapter, 676 And at the same time. In the room deep in the farm. Li Yunshan sat cross-legged on the bed. In front of him, there was an instrument. Didi Didi. On the instrument, the red light is on. Ha! Huh. Someone broke in. Li Yunshan opened his eyes. He looked up. However, he discovered that a familiar figure appeared in front of the window. He was running away like crazy, as if he was looking for something. Is it that little beast? After seeing the person clearly, Li Yunshan's eyes flickered, filled with hatred. It turned out that Zheng Mu had severely injured him with a blow just now, causing the power in his body to be disordered. This causes the toxin to spread and cause severe pain throughout the chest. Li Yunshan quickly took some antidote pills. Then, he found the spiritual grass and elixir he had raised, and used his true energy to refine it into spiritual liquid. After taking it, although the toxicity was temporarily stabilized, heavy losses were incurred. Damn it! When I recover, I will cut you into pieces. Li Yunshan gritted his teeth and was filled with anger. Over the years, except for that old man. Has he ever suffered such a big loss? However. He didn't notice. It was a brief moment when he took the spiritual liquid and healed his wounds. Zheng Mu has sneaked in quietly. Call out. Take advantage of his illness and kill him. At this time. Zheng Mu did not hesitate and used the Nine Heavens Dragonine Fist. The fist wind howled. He blasted Li Yunshan hard. Li Yunshan was horrified. Quickly raised his fists to resist the circle. Click. Li Yunshan bent his legs and fell to his knees. The whole person was in an extremely embarrassed state. Zheng Mu's power was beyond his expectation. Why did this little beast suddenly become so powerful? He was furious. But Cheng Mu was too lazy to talk nonsense. Boom. Punch out again. This time. Li Yunshan had no way to dodge and was punched to the ground again. Puff. Li Yunshan spat out a mouthful of blood, his face full of ferocious resentment. Little beast, just wait for me. When the strong man from the family comes, I will definitely kill you without a burial place. 
At this moment, Li Yunshan was full of hatred. He struggled to get up. About to leave. Who asked you to leave? At this moment, a cold and ruthless voice sounded. I saw Jing Mu taking one step forward. Blocked Li Yunshan's way. You what are you going to do? Seeing this, Li Yunshan's pupils shrank, and he was filled with shock and anger. He did not forget that it was Jing Mu who attacked him severely earlier. Ha, huh, I told you, I want to play with you. Zheng Mu grinned, Sen Han was cruel. Next moment. He stretched out his hand and pressed it on Li Yunshan's shoulder. Bones crackle. Afterwards, Li Yunshan trembled all over and his face was twisted. It just felt like being hit by thousands of giant hammers. Click, click, click. Every inch of his body was shattered and his bones were broken. The blood surged violently, and Li Yunshan couldn't bear it anymore, so he fell to the ground on his back. Ah! Howling shrilly, like an evil ghost. You how dare you destroy me! Little beast, I will make you pay the price. Li Yunshan's eyes were red and he roared again and again. He never imagined that he would encounter such humiliation. Good, back then, he was invincible in the Jiangnan Job Transfers Association. Now, it has fallen into the hands of Zheng Mu. Noisy. Hearing Li Yunshan's threat, Zheng Mu frowned. Kick out. Kick Li Yunshan out. Get out. Zheng Mu spoke lightly, his face full of sarcasm. Now, his strength has greatly increased and he has been successfully promoted. If it were on normal days, Li Yunshan might still be able to fight with him. Only now big. Not enough to watch at all. Chapter, 677 You Li Yunshan was furious. However, he was scared of being beaten. He didn't dare to say anything at all and just ran away. Zheng Mu returned to the house. Um. Soon. He just discovered that there was a female corpse lying next to him. His clothes were in tatters, his skin was charred, and he had already turned into a pile of withered bones. Who is she? Zheng Mu was stunned. He knew the woman and she was a wet nurse. Help yourself treat your injuries before. However, now that the back domain area has been opened, there will definitely be many career changers who will follow suit. No wonder. Zheng Mu didn't think much about it. He only thought that the other party died and fell when he changed jobs and had not had time to leave. It looks like he just left not long ago. I don't know where to go 447. Zheng Mu shook his head and sighed. The world is too chaotic. Job transfer missions and maps can be found everywhere. Even NPCs can kill career changers at will. The so-called rule restrictions have disappeared. Why? Sigh softly. Zheng Mu then got up and prepared to cremate and bury him. But right now. Out of the corner of his eye, he suddenly caught sight of something. Suddenly my heart was shocked. Etc. No way. Zheng Mu was shocked. He slowly raised his head and looked around. Really? I saw several pieces of equipment placed on the edge of my bed. The most conspicuous thing among them is a bloody sword. This long sword is as red as blood, as if soaked in blood. It exudes a strong and fierce aura. It's daunting. This is the legendary heaven level spiritual weapon, the bloodthirsty sword. Zheng Mu gasped. He was extremely excited. The bloodthirsty sword is a top quality spiritual weapon. The power is astonishing, and it has a strong bloodthirsty flavor. It is said that it once drank the blood of tens of millions of people who changed jobs and successfully transformed. Although, it is only the first product of the spiritual weapon. But it is by no means comparable to ordinary soldiers. I didn't expect I could actually obtain a heaven level spiritual weapon. Zheng Mu's eyes were blazing. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't have believed that a spiritual weapon could actually give birth to a weapon spirit and thus become a spiritual treasure. Huh, if that's the case, then my strength will definitely increase act, many times. Zheng Mu was excited. He immediately picked up the bloodthirsty sword. Afterwards, I explored it mentally. 
As expected. Ling Bao has a spirit, even if it is only a preliminary awakening, there is still spiritual wisdom. Ding! Congratulations to the host for triggering the hidden plot, killing Li Yunshan, and getting the mission reward, a mecha promotion scroll. The system prompt sounds. Mecha promotion scroll. Zheng Mu was slightly stunned. What is this? He was puzzled. Immediately, information about the Mecca's promotion appeared in Zheng Mu's mind. Mecca, also known as Mecca Secret Skills. As the name suggests, it is closely related to your own blood. The higher the level of Mecca's secret skill, the more powerful it will be when used. And these Mecca secret techniques were created by the ancestors of all races and left to future generations to use. Every Mecca secret skill is unique can only be mastered by one person. Moreover, only special mechas will do. Like ordinary people, even if they get it, it's useless. I see. Zheng Mu suddenly realized. This mission reward is a reward for mecha promotion. It seems that Li Yunshan must have some kind of powerful mecha. Otherwise, it will be impossible to trigger the mission. Zheng Mu murmured in a low voice. And soon, he understood. Because, this Mecha Promotion Scroll is actually designed specifically for the Mecha Promotion. Chapter, 678 Just after taking it, you can instantly control the level of your own Mecha. In this way, a lot of practice time can be saved. Moreover, it is extremely efficient. After all, everyone's Mecha Promotion level is different. If you don't understand, it's easy to get stuck and waste a lot of time. In this regard, learning forging from ordinary people is a wonderful way to achieve the same goal. But in comparison, the efficiency is better. Nice gift. Zheng Mu was overjoyed. He hurriedly sat down cross-legged. Start taking it. Rumble. Accompanied by the bloody pill entering his stomach. In an instant. A majestic mecha energy burst. Like a tide, it swept through his entire body. It made him feel comfortable all over. It's like being reborn. The promotion of Mecca is really terrifying. Zheng Mu was amazed. His Mecca level opened rapidly in just two or three seconds. From the original A level, it reached the peak of C level. It is only half a chip away from level B. Such a terrifying amplification effect. Make Zheng Mu simply ecstatic. But. Zheng Mu was still cautious. Because he knows. The later it gets, the more difficult it becomes. There is a bottleneck period for mecha promotion. The later you go, the more difficult it becomes. In particular, once you reach level A, if you want to improve again, you must rely on mecha elixirs or heavenly materials and earthly treasures. Otherwise, it would be impossible to be promoted again simply by absorbing the energy of one's own mecha. Therefore, at this time, Zheng Mu must hurry up. Strive to use the Mecha to advance to the real level 5 quickly. Whoosh! Zheng Mu runs 5 tigers cutting the door knife. The blood in the body is boiling and surging, turning into a torrent, roaring and washing over the body, washing the internal organs. And Zheng Mu's strength also increases with the improvement of the Mecha. Boom! After a while, Zheng Mu opened his eyes. He felt the surging power, and his face was full of excitement. Finally a breakthrough. Zheng Mu had a smile on her face, full of confidence. He felt that his strength had increased tenfold. With every move of his hands and feet, thunder roared. Now, even facing the Grandmaster, he is not afraid at all. Ha! Huh. What is that? Right now. He suddenly noticed something unusual. In the distant forest, there seemed to be bursts of screams and wailing. Dangerous. He frowned. This is a newbie area. Logically speaking, there should be no wild bosses at all. Zero please ask for flowers. Immediately, he stepped forward. Soon. He just arrived at his destination. What happened? Zheng Mu had a surprised look on his face. At this moment, a war was breaking out not far ahead. Li Yunshan, armed with a spear, swept across the wasteland in Lioha. 
one enemy after another died violently. However, right in front of him, a giant python was attacking him crazily. The evil beast is looking for death. Li Yunshan snorted coldly. With a flick of his wrist, the spear danced like the wind. In an instant, the giant python was stabbed seven inches. TSK. The giant python roared. The huge body hangs limply. The dead can no longer die. But Li Yunshan looked solemn. I saw the giant python's gallbladder slowly squirming. There seems to be toxins remaining in the body. Once contaminated, you will definitely die. Li Yunshan took a deep breath, immediately took out an antidote pill and swallowed it. And the other side. Xiao Chen's face was as sinking as water. This giant python is so evil. It is actually able to spit out corrosive toxins, as well as highly toxic poisons, and its defense is also amazing. The two of us worked together, but we couldn't kill him. Xiao Chen gritted his teeth. Chapter 679 I'm here to help you. Hear this. Li Yunshan nodded in agreement. Then the two of them came out together. One left and one right, surround and suppress this giant python. Click. Xiao Chen swung his sword and chopped it down, hitting the giant python seven inches. As a result, it was blocked by hard scales. It failed to hurt vital parts. Instead, Li Yunshan took the opportunity to stab the giant python through the neck. Suddenly, the flowers splashed. The giant python struggled and died completely. Wow! 720 just at the moment when Xiao Chen and Li Yunshan relaxed. The ground suddenly cracked. A ferocious and huge snake head emerged from the surface. Ouch! A cold and cold atmosphere filled the air, and the snake's eyes were scarlet. This turned out to be a five-star monster. Not good. Xiao Chen's face changed wildly. He quickly pulled away and retreated. Li Yunshan's expression also changed dramatically. He was also shocked. But he quickly calmed down and kicked out with a whip. Bang! The five-star monster was kicked in the chest and flew backwards. Whoops! Xiao Chen gasped. Sweat beaded on his forehead and his heart was palpitating. Five-star monster! How would it appear here? Xiao Chen turned pale in horror. This novice area is just a D-level world. Except for job changers, the strongest is C-level. Moreover, it is not correct. But where did this five-star monster in front of me come from? Xiao Chen. Li Yunshan also approached at this moment and asked. I feel like there's something weird here. How do you know? Xiao Chen was surprised. He looked around carefully, but didn't find anything strange. This giant python is definitely not that powerful. Li Yunshan shook his head. Although he didn't see any clues, he vaguely felt that something was wrong with this five-star monster. Could it be that someone really entered the novice area and attracted this ferocious beast? And these people have died unexpectedly? Li Yunshan guessed. This possibility cannot be ruled out. Xiao Chen nodded in agreement. Although the monsters in the novice area are powerful, they are not invincible. However, they are often intelligent, very intelligent, and extremely cunning. And there are so many of them that once they collide, it's very difficult to parry. But now, since someone broke in, this group of five-star monsters became furious. That proves that that person is dead. Anyway, we are safe now. Xiao Chen relaxed slightly. He looked up at the sky, only to find that it was getting dark. Has night fallen? Xiao Chen whispered. No. We can't stay any longer. Let's go quickly. Xiao Chen and Li Yunshan left quickly. At the same time. In the distant forest, there was a roar. It was the five-star giant python just now, leading his men to follow Xiao Chen. Shortly after. A embarrassed figure appeared. Damn it, he actually ran away. The visitor cursed a few words. He is none other than Lu Qinggong. Beside him, there was a young man. It's Zhang Wenbao. Only. 
His clothes were torn and dripping with blood. It was obvious that he had experienced a fight. Let's run away. He was pale and trembling. This scene is too weird. He even wondered if he had a nightmare. And at this moment, Lu Qingdong glanced at him coldly. Immediately, he said indifferently. Why are you panicking? It's just two sea-level newcomers. Even if they escape by chance, where can they escape? Moreover, this novice area is too small. Not to mention a sea-level newcomer, even a high-level job transferee can't even think of leaving alive. Chapter 680 If they dare to step out of the village even half a step, they will definitely die. Lu Qingdong sneered. He has decided in his heart that Xiao Chen and Li Yunshan will stay in the novice area forever. After all, Li Yunshan is powerful and has a good background. If you offend him, there will be endless trouble. More importantly, Xiao Chen is a friend of the eldest young master of the Li family. If the Li family finds out, he will kill Xiao Chen. Lu Qingdong couldn't believe his consequences. Therefore, he wants to kill people and silence them. And all this. Xiao Chen didn't know. At this time. He and Li Yunshan had already left the novice area. Heading towards the Misty Valley. This Misty Valley is said to be a secret realm created by a powerful person. Zero two every three months, monsters will be born from it. Therefore, we must hunt down monsters as soon as possible to gain experience points and exchange them for points. The higher the level, the more generous the redemption rewards will be. Li Yunshan patiently introduced Xiao Chen. And right now. Suddenly. A black shadow shot out like lightning and rushed towards Xiao Chen instantly. Damn it. Xiao Chen's expression changed wildly, and he quickly drew out his sword to resist. Clang. Sparks fly. The monster that attacked was a one-horned rhinoceros. The one-horned rhinoceros is a five-star monster. Although it is only the early stage of five-star rating. But the fighting ability is extraordinary. His speed is extremely fast and his physical body is tyrannical, making him unparalleled. Brother Li. Help me delay some time. Xiao Chen said anxiously. Then he turned around and rushed out. Good. Li Yunshan nodded. Rumble. Xiao Chen performed Dragon Elephant Domination Fist. The sound of gold and iron resounding throughout the forest. The one-horned rhinoceros has rough skin and thick flesh. Although Xiao Chen's punches are powerful, they still can't do anything to him. The two sides are at a stalemate. Xiao Chen frowned slightly. The strength of this one-horned rhinoceros is comparable to that of a six-star job transferee. If I want to defeat him, I'm afraid it will take a lot of effort. He sighed to himself. And now, time doesn't allow it. Xiao Chen's eyes were sharp. Swish, brush, brush. Suddenly. He used thunder step, reaching the limit. In the blink of an eye, he was already close to the one-horned rhinoceros. Kill. There was a loud shout. Xiao Chen activated the nine young Xian veins. The surging and vast power of Yang Yen swept through the eight wastelands. Boom! He punched out and shocked everyone. Roar! The one-horned rhinoceros roared. He fought back. However, he was still hit in the head by Xiao Kangda's ten punches. I was stunned on the spot. Die! Xiao Qin seized the opportunity. His palms were like steel, slapping down violently. Snap! The head of the one-horned rhinoceros exploded instantly. Turned into a pile of mud. Ding! The system prompt sounds. Xiao Chen was immediately overjoyed. Congratulations to the host, Xiao Chen, for killing the five-star monster and gaining 500 experience points. Congratulations to the host, Xiao Chen, for his upgrade. The current level is, B level. Please keep up your hard work and be promoted to the A-level novice area as soon as possible. Xiao Chen felt refreshed. He thought this mission was dangerous. Unexpectedly, it was completed easily. Let's go. 
Xiao Chen was filled with 520 joy. Li Yunshan took a deep breath. Then, he led the way, and the two of them headed towards the misty valley. Along the way. Occasionally, a startling roar of beasts can be heard. Xiao Chen and Li Yunshan were appointed cautiously. The misty valley should be ahead. Li Yunshan suddenly stopped. He saw a quiet canyon in front of him. Thick jungle obscured the view. It's daunting. Walk. Xiao Chen did not hesitate. He stepped out. And at this time. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, a burst of wanton laughter resounded in the jungle. Immediately. Only three figures appeared in front of them. Chapter 681 On the other side, Jing Mu smiled. This demon god's back realm is really exciting, with so many career changers gathered together. Xiao Chen and Li Yunshan looked at the mutated demon god in front of them. What's wrong, we are a water mage and a force transfer person, there is no way we can fight against him. Zheng Mu sighed, how could something like this appear here? You ask me? I also want to know why. After Li Yunshan finished speaking, he rushed directly towards the huge monster. But before he could get close, he was slapped away. This made Zheng Mu helplessly shake his head. Both of them have relatively strong professions. But in front of this monster, he was as fragile as a child. Not to mention the rest of the career changers. What should we do? Are we going to die here? Li Yunshan asked bitterly. Zheng Mu frowned, and suddenly a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind. His eyes lit up and he shouted hurriedly, Li Yunshan, use the teleportation scroll to leave quickly. What? Li Yunshan was stunned. Teleportation scrolls are extremely precious, worth tens of thousands of game coins. It would be a waste to use it to escape. Oh, be obedient. Zheng Mu said anxiously. Seeing Zheng Mu's serious look, Li Yunshan finally gritted his teeth and tore up the teleportation scroll in his hand. Immediately, Li Yunshan and Zheng Mu disappeared from where they were and teleported to Weixi. In the Demon Queen's territory, teleport away with Li Yunshan and Zheng Mu. The remaining career changers were in despair. Because the huge demon was slowly coming towards them. The strength of these career changers is very low. Some even remain at the entry-level level as warriors. Facing the demon's attack, he was completely helpless. In an instant, more than a dozen job transferees died under the huge demon minions. This horrific scene makes many career changers terrified. At the same time, in the distant mountains and forests, two figures appeared out of thin air. These are two knights. They wore silver armor and carried long swords at their waists. Is this the demon god's queen realm? It's really weird. One of the tall female knights said. She has beautiful appearance and elegant temperament. Such people stand out from the crowd wherever they are placed. But there was a hint of fatigue on her face. Well, this mission is to find traces of the descendant of the devil and protect its safety. Said a young male knight next to him. The two of them looked at each other and could see a hint of determination in each other's eyes. Their family has guarded the demon god's harem and the royal family for generations. Although I don't know why the two of them were sent to perform such a difficult task this time. But since the patriarch said it himself, they must do it. At this moment, a violent roar sounded in the sky. Those were two huge cannonballs that fell into the demon god's harem. The explosion kicked up thick smoke and dust. The flames rose. This huge movement disturbed the monsters in the demon god's harem. Suddenly countless demons rushed towards this side. This made the two knights extremely nervous and prepared to face the enemy. But when they saw what these demons looked like clearly. They Wang Wang Zhao, were completely stunned. These demons were actually summoned by the two human job changers just now. How could they possibly summon demons? This is the demon god's back domain, an area where summoning is prohibited. Could it be that these two people are behind this? Thinking of this, the two knights couldn't help but their hearts beating faster. They quickly rushed to live in the smoke. I saw a body lying there. When the male knight saw the corpse, he trembled and knelt on the ground. 
Chapter, 682 King! You are finally back! He said excitedly. The female knight standing next to him looked confused. She didn't understand why her teammates called this corpse king. At this time, the male knight had wiped the tears from his eyes and stood up. This is the fourth prince under the command of the demon temple. He was killed by the descendant of the demon. The male knight said in a deep voice. This sentence shocked the female knight. Then how could he summon the devil? The female knight asked doubtfully. Perhaps, this is just a coincidence. The male knight shook his head. He felt that things were not as simple as they seemed. After all, how could a descendant of his highness the demon summon a demon? There must be something fishy about this. But what does this 427 incident have to do with them? Forget it, take this body back first. The female knight said. But, these demons. What are you afraid of? The female knight snorted coldly. She took out the dagger from her waist and slashed the neck of the corpse. Then he cut his throat with a dagger. Blood spurted out immediately. This made the female knight smile with satisfaction. Walk. She turned away first. On the other side, after Zheng Mu and Li Yunshan were teleported through the teleportation scroll, they arrived at a city outside the demon god's harem. The two of them looked at the city Asai, and were stunned. Where did we run to? Li Yunshan asked in surprise. The city they are currently in is the main city closest to the demon harem. It's called Black Iron City. I don't know about this either. Zheng Mu shook his head. They can't tell where they are now. Let's go get some information around here first. Zheng Mu suggested. Good. After the two people discussed it, they walked towards Black Iron City. The Black Iron City is not large in scale. There are many soldiers patrolling the city walls, and the defense measures are very strict. This Black Iron City seems to be responsible for the safety of the demon god's concubine. Zheng Mu frowned. The place where they are now is a bit far away from the demon god's harem. But according to what the two knights said, the demon god's concubine is in the demon god's harem. Then the demon god's harem should also belong to Black Iron City. If you put it this way, this Black Iron City should be the management of the demon god's harem. Let's take a look at the city first and then talk about it. Zheng Mu said. Li Yunshan nodded. The two of them walked into the Black Iron City. The security in Black Iron City is not bad. There are many shops on the streets selling all kinds of things. The people here seem to be living a good life. It's just that the architectural style here is rather primitive and not as prosperous as other main cities. The two were wandering the streets. Soon, they discovered that most of the items sold in the shops in Black Iron City were medicines. Moreover, these medicines are basically aimed at necromancy. Zheng Mu has profound knowledge in necromancy. Therefore, he quickly discovered a problem. These medicines do not meet the requirements of the necromancer at all. How did you know? Li Yunshan asked curiously. If you look carefully, these medicines all exude a faint smell of death. Zheng Mu said, pointing to the introduction of the medicines. Li Yunshan heard this and took a closer look. Sure enough, as Zheng Mu said, the medicine exudes the smell of death. This surprised him, and he didn't understand why Mu would pay attention to these small details. Zheng Mu explained, because the technique I practice is the undead system. Actually it's because he has an undead mecha. But he still understands the principle of not exposing wealth. Li Yunshan suddenly realized, and then asked, are you a job changer from the undead? Zheng Mu didn't hide anything and said directly, no. But I have researched this road. Chapter, 683. No. Li Yunshan's eyes widened. Why does this person seem so omnipotent? He is not a job changer in that field, yet he still knows this spell so well. Zheng Mu nodded, not bad. He was once a genius instructor at the Magic Martial Arts Academy. Has a unique talent for learning spells. Therefore, it was this discipline that he chose to practice. What are you doing studying necromancy spells? Li Yunshan asked curiously. 
Study the weaknesses of necromancy. Zheng Mu smiled. The corner of Li Yunshan's mouth twitched and he couldn't help but said, You guys you really dare to think about it. Ha ha ha. Zheng Mu looked up to the sky and laughed. Then he started looking for the magician's guild in this black iron city. After searching for a while, the two finally found a relatively luxurious house. Where are we going? Zheng Mu pointed to a magnificent building in front of him and said. Li Yunshan nodded, and then followed Zheng Mu into the building. The two walked into the hall. I saw that the decoration inside was luxurious and very rich. The maids and servants here are all exquisitely dressed. A standard aristocratic style. It is indeed a city governed by the demon god's harem. Please wait a moment, sir. I will bring you tea and water right now. A maid with an enchanting figure said respectfully. Her breasts are plump and tall, and her figure is attractive. There was a charming smile on her cheek, which made people feel loving. Li Yunshan's eyes widened when he saw it. This was the first time he saw such a beautiful and sexy woman. Ahem, thank you. He said awkwardly. You're welcome, sir, please have some tea. The maid handed the tea cup into Zheng Mu's hand. Zheng Mu lowered his head and looked at the steaming tea. He suddenly stretched out his hand and poured the cup of tea on the maid's face. The maid was startled. But she didn't panic. Instead, he covered his cheeks and showed a coquettish attitude, Sir, what are you doing? Ha ha. Zheng Mu sneered, who sent you as a spy? Hearing Zheng Mu's words, the maid was startled for a moment, and then immediately said, What nonsense are you talking about? How can the slave family be a spy? Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes and looked at the maid, and said slowly, Then tell me, who do you belong to? The maid hesitated for a moment, and then said slowly, The slave family is. Before she finished speaking, a sharp sword shot through the door and pierced Zheng Mu's heart. Ding dash. Zero please give me flowers. Defense Mecca. A green light shield appeared on Zheng Mu's body, blocking the flying blade. Immediately, he suddenly raised his foot and kicked out. Boom. A figure flew out instantly and fell hard to the ground. Um. Zheng Mu turned around and saw Yuan District, a young man in black lying on the ground. It's you. Zheng Mu recognized at a glance that this young man in black was one of the demon messengers who had fought with him before. And the maid who was knocked over by him was actually the black-robed woman who intercepted Zheng Mu at the city gate before. It turns out that she was pretending to be a maid just now. The purpose is to attract Zheng Mu's attention. How dare you sneak up on me? Zheng Mu said in a cold tone. The woman in black robe snorted coldly, Why don't I dare to sneak attack you? Do you think you still have a chance to survive? After she said this, she flicked her wrist. Several hidden weapons shot out. Zheng Mu dodged sideways, avoiding the hidden weapon, and swept his right leg at the same time. Bang! The woman in black robe was kicked out again. Zheng Mu took advantage of the victory to pursue him, and launched a series of offensives to press him away wildly. Bang bang bang! In the blink of an eye, the woman in black robe was forced to the point where she was almost helpless. Chapter 684 Asshole The black-robed woman shouted angrily, I will definitely kill you today. Rumble Then, the black-robed woman summoned her own elemental puppet. A monster that was more than two meters tall and looked like a wolf dog appeared. It is furry, gray-brown in color, with thick and powerful limbs, ferocious and sharp teeth, and a pair of extremely scarlet eyes. Netherworld Wolf Li Yunshan exclaimed. Although the nether wolf is a magical beast, it possesses powerful 743 power. The strength of this kind of monster is already comparable to that of a level 9 monster. And it's extremely fast. What's even more terrifying is its hand-to-hand -hand combat prowess. Roar. The nether wolf roared and rushed towards Xing Mu. Zheng Mu did not retreat but advanced, charging towards the netherworld wolf. Boom! The two collided together and exploded. A huge noise spread throughout the hall. The nether wolf was knocked backwards by Zheng Mu's punch. Zheng Mu, 
on the other hand, stood motionless. Jing Mu looked at the nether wolf, sneered, and said, That's all. The netherworld wolf was shocked to the inside by Jing Mu's punch. However, its recovery ability was very strong, and after just one minute, it stood up again. It roared angrily, opened its bloody mouth, and bit Jing Mu. Jing Mu took a step forward and avoided the bite of the netherworld wolf. Immediately afterwards, Jing Mu punched the netherworld wolf on the neck. Click. The nether wolf screamed, his head drooping on his shoulders, obviously dead. Seeing this scene, Li Yunshan was stunned. Jing Mu's strength is too terrifying. The nether wolf is comparable to a level 9 monster. Moreover, its defense is extremely powerful and it is generally invulnerable. As a result, Netherworld was defeated easily. Brother, you are so awesome. Li Yunshan couldn't help but admire. Jing Mu shook his head, I don't like your rules. Rules? What rules? Li Yunshan asked doubtfully. Jing Mu picked up the teapot on the table, threw away the lid, and poured a sip of tea into it. This tea is poisonous. Li Yunshan immediately exclaimed. He never expected that this tea would actually contain poison. At this time, Jing Mu's expression had changed. He spat out a mouthful of blood and his face was as pale as paper. Damn it! Jing Mu cursed angrily, knowing that he was poisoned. Ha! The woman in black robe sneered, Jing Mu, Jing Mu, you have today too. Jing Mu's face was full of solemnity. He didn't expect that the tea actually contained poison. Fortunately, he discovered it in time, otherwise he might have died. He turned his head and stared at the woman in black robe. Who are you? Jing Mu asked in a deep voice. You don't need to know. The woman in black robe slowly said, because you must die. Huh, you, a fifth level peak person, want to kill me? That's ridiculous. Jing Mu said sarcastically. This woman is really strong, and she can actually use the skill of pretending to be an ordinary maid to deceive him. If I hadn't been alert, I would have almost been fooled. Really? Then you give it a try. The woman in black robe said, waving the dagger again and came over to kill. Zheng Mu sneered, while resisting the woman's attack, he slowly approached the man whose arm was crippled by him. Hey 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 two, seven. The man looked at Zheng Mu approaching and suddenly laughed sinisterly. Zheng Mu frowned. He suddenly felt something was wrong, but he didn't take it to heart. Whoosh! Zheng Mu jumped up suddenly and rushed towards the man. Phew! A round object was caught in his hand. Zheng Mu looked down. He saw a black bead the size of a bullet lying in his palm. Chapter 685 Zheng Mu's pupils shrank suddenly. You actually poisoned me. A strange arc appeared at the corner of the black-robed woman's mouth, and then she flashed and disappeared into a phantom. And the moment she left, the man subdued by Zheng Mu also quickly escaped from control. He took out the dagger from his waist and pointed it straight at Jing Mu's chest. Jing Mu hurriedly released the projectile in his hand and kicked the man away. Whoosh! The projectile cut through the air and went straight to Jing Mu's throat. Jing Mu's pupils shrank and he punched the projectile. Boom! A violent wave spread, and Mu was knocked back several meters. The projectile in his hand was also shattered at this time, turning into powder and dissipating. Ha, huh, what a powerful poison. If this poison gets on the skin, it can be fatal. The figure of the woman in black robe appeared in another direction, looking at Jing Mu. Jing Mu raised his eyebrows, you are a poisonous job changer. The woman raised her eyebrows and smiled, with a poisonous air in her hands, you are quite knowledgeable. Jing Mu smiled and summoned the mecha. The golden armored warrior comes out. Hua Luo's eyes widened. Are you a mechanical job transfer master? The Mecha Martial Arts sect is a branch, but it is actually not complete. Some people will choose to switch to auxiliary professions such as magicians or beast tamers, while Zheng Mu likes Mecha Martial Arts. The so-called Mechanism Art and Magic both belong to the category of Mechanism Art, but they are different from each other. For example, Magic can release offensive magic such as fireballs and ice cones, 
while mechanism magic mostly uses rune arrays to achieve its goals. Zheng Mu did not expect that by such a coincidence, he would meet his opponent for the machine skill transfer, and he was also a powerful high-level poison transfer master. Humph, how can this mere mechanism technique be compared with my poison? The woman in black sneered, reached out and took out a piece of paper from her arms, and threw it into the air, causing the piece of paper to float in the wind. Soon, dozens of red beetles emerged from the note and attacked Jing Mu overwhelmingly. Mechanism Technique Thunder Zheng Mu pressed the secret with his fingers, and a thunder and lightning symbol was generated out of thin air. Immediately afterwards, the thunderbolt symbol instantly became extremely huge and slammed into the beetles. Bang bang! The lightning exploded, and the fish and insects screamed again and again. Your skills are indeed exquisite, but your strength is too weak. The woman in black smiled contemptuously and controlled the beetle to continue killing. Boom! Zheng Mu fired another thunderball, but still couldn't resist the dense swarm of beetles. These guys are too difficult. Zheng Mu cursed secretly, and suddenly had an idea. He immersed himself in the sea of consciousness and mobilized the star core in his body. The core of the star is a gray-white ball, surrounded by 36 miniature runes, as colorful as a circle of bright stars. Buzz! When the core of the star lights up, the entire sea of 843 consciousness seems to come alive. Wisps of light yellow starlight emerged and wrapped around Jing Mu's body, making him look as if he was in the vast star field. What is this? The woman in black was shocked. This energy fluctuation far exceeded her own. Zheng Mu had a fanatical expression on his face. Ha ha ha. He laughed wildly, his eyes filled with blood, I finally found you, I finally found you, you are mine, you belong to me, ha ha ha. Along with his laughter, the thirty-six stars in the sea of consciousness trembled together. Click click click. Those starlights that were originally motionless suddenly seemed to be pulled and began to move slowly. Chapter 686 Every rotation made Zheng Mu feel numb and comfortable all over. And the most important thing is that his strength began to skyrocket. In less than 10 seconds, Zheng Mu's strength unexpectedly increased to the 7th grade elementary level, just one step away from the 7th grade intermediate level. And the most amazing thing is that there seems to be something extra in his head, and some mysterious information is flowing in his mind. What is this information? Zheng Mu looked confused. He tried to read the information, but found that the information seemed to be blocked by some mysterious force and could not be deciphered at all. Ha! Huh. A trace of surprise flashed across the pretty face of the woman in black. Apparently she didn't expect Zheng Mu's strength to soar. No wonder you dare to follow me. It turns out you have a chance. However, even if you have a chance, you still have to die today. As the woman in black spoke, she picked up the spell again. Whoops! Endless black mist filled all directions, and the beetles that had been hiding in the black mist suddenly swarmed out and pounced on Zheng Mu with ear-piercing screams. Zheng Mu's face was solemn. He knew that this moment was the real test for him, and he could not tolerate any distraction. Mechanism Technique Thousands of Thunderous Armies Zheng Mu slapped the mecha's head with its sheep's paw, and immediately, the eight cannon barrels behind the mecha spewed out blue-purple thunder and lightning. Sizzling A ball of thunder and lightning bloomed in front of Zheng Mu, and then exploded. Crack Thunder and lightning shined in all directions, and all the beetles that were close to Zheng Mu were instantly turned into charcoal. However, although most of those beetles were killed, the remaining hundreds of beetles still rushed in without fear of death. Damn it! Zheng Mu frowned. There is no way to defeat these bugs. Even though their bodies are as fragile as if they were made of tofu, they cannot withstand the huge numbers. Even if Zheng Mu's lightning was powerful, it would be difficult to kill a hundred beetles with one move. This can't continue like this, we must find another way. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth. Suddenly, an idea suddenly appeared in his mind, and he shouted loudly, Mechanism Technique Iron Wall Defense. Wow! Zheng Mu was seen covered with a layer of silver armor, and the beetles bumped into the armor one after another, but to no avail. Puff puff! 
As soon as those beetles touched the armor, they fell to the ground and could not get up again. Mechanism Technique Shield Wall Protection A three-foot-thick steel wall suddenly appeared behind Jingmu, blocking the erosion of those beetles. What what is this? The woman in black had a gloomy expression. She has also heard about the mechanism technique, and even learned it personally. But this was the first time she encountered such a defensive method. Humph, I want to see what trump card you have. The woman in black roared angrily and controlled an even larger swarm of insects, heading straight for Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, had no expression on his face, took one step forward, raised his right leg, and walked away suddenly. Swish, swish, swish. I saw illusory afterimages that could not be caught by the naked eye emerging, cutting the insect swarm into pieces. The face of the woman in black changed slightly, what kind of martial skill is this King Zhao's? Martial skills. This is the power of the Mecca. Zheng Mu said coldly, flicking his right arm, and a giant sword appeared out of thin air. Boom! I saw the giant sword flying down in the air, as if the sky was shattering and the earth was shattering. Bang! A deep ravine appeared on the ground, and smoke filled the sky. The woman in black was startled and quickly retreated to avoid being affected. And when she saw the scene in front of her clearly, she couldn't help but take a breath, her eyes filled with horror. Chapter 687 Because in front of Zheng Mu, a valley appeared. In the valley, countless beetle corpses were densely piled up. His how is this possible? You who are you? The woman in black's voice was trembling. She couldn't understand why the man in front of her could be so terrifying. With a wave of her hand, the infinite beetle turned into charcoal, without even the strength to resist. This was definitely the weirdest thing she had ever encountered. Zheng Mu stared at her coldly, Tell me, where is that boy? Humph. Why should I tell you? The woman in black snorted coldly, her face full of ridicule. If you don't want to, then stay here forever. After Zheng Mu finished speaking, he used the mechanism technique again. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Countless arrows streaked across the void, pouring out like pear blossoms in a rainstorm. A little trick. The woman in black had a sarcastic arc on her lips. She flipped her wrist and controlled the beetles to form a high wall. Ding ding ding. The arrows hit the high wall and broke off one after another, unable to harm the woman in black at all. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold and he put his palms together. Mechanism Technique, Fusion of Thunder and Fire In an instant, the thunder and lightning net spread suddenly, covering a radius of five feet. Countless blazing thunder snakes rushed into the swarm of beetles and rolled wreaking havoc. In the blink of an eye, the black insect tide disappeared completely. This. The woman in black opened her eyes wide, her face full of shock. Who are you? She stared at Jing Mu, her voice cold, full of fear and resentment. It doesn't matter who I am, what's important is that tonight is the day you die. Jing Mu said coldly. The woman in black looked ugly. She ignored Jing Mu's mecha and thunder. Although she has an infinite sea of insects at her disposal, in terms of aggressiveness and durability, it is definitely not as good as Jing Mu's mecha and thunder. Damn it, do you think I can't do anything to you like this? The woman in black snorted coldly. Zheng Mu looked calm, you might as well give it a try. Very good, I hope you can continue to show off later. After saying that, the figure of the woman in black disappeared suddenly. She was planning to escape underground and use the sea of insects to bury Zheng Mu. A contemptuous smile appeared at the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth, and he stretched out his hand to touch his chest. A simple act, exquisite metal box appeared in his hand instantly. Blow it up for me. Zheng Mu pinched his fingers, and the metal box immediately burst out with bright rays of light, and then exploded. The whole land shook violently, as if the end was coming. Immediately afterwards, streams of flames emerged from the ground and spread quickly, engulfing the entire area in the blink of an eye. The flames burned fiercely and swallowed everything. Those beetles could not escape at all and turned into ashes in an instant. The woman in black was wrapped in flames and screamed repeatedly. She struggled desperately, 
but she couldn't get rid of the flames and could only keep begging for mercy. Spare me, I said, I said. Her voice grew fainter. Zheng Mu stopped activating the flames and asked calmly, Young man, where are you? About three kilometers east and northwest, I am not sure. His strength is too strong. I can only vaguely sense. Waste. Zheng Mu looked cold and stepped on her neck. Then Zheng Mu sped away in the direction mentioned by the woman in black. At this moment, outside the wilderness less than two kilometers away from Jingjia village. A giant centipede about twenty meters long and ten centimeters wide lay across the wilderness. This giant centipede is red all over, its carapace is dark green, its abdomen has a circle of gold lines, its entire body is blood red, and it exudes a vicious and bloodthirsty smell. Chapter 688 Every time it takes a step, a deep pit will appear on the ground, as if it has been plowed. At his head, stood a young man. The young man was tall and muscular, and a powerful aura came out of his body. He was dressed in black and looked pale, but his eyes were as sharp as a knife, making people afraid to look directly at him. He is the young master mentioned by the woman in black tang Fai Long. Huh, I didn't expect that there is a mechanical puppet master hidden here. Tang Fai Long chuckled lightly, his eyes full of teasing and disdain. Although these mechanical puppets are powerful, they are not living people after all, and they still have flaws. Look carefully, there is a groove on the knee of that mecca, which is obviously the ammunition supply port. Huh, as long as his knees are broken, this mecca will be scrapped and it will be impossible to use any weapons. There was a hint of arrogance and arrogance in the corner of Tang Feilong's mouth, as if he was extremely confident in himself. However, at this moment, the roar of the sun array sounded. Boom! The earth shook. In the originally quiet wilderness, a mushroom cloud suddenly rose. Tang Feilong's pupils suddenly tightened and his heart suddenly shrank. How how is it possible? He was simply stunned. The cabin had been raised to the ground. But he didn't find the mecca. Tang Feilong's eyes flashed with confusion, did you run away so quickly? Even a warrior should have no time to care about the Mecha Legion that he is proud of. But now he had to admit that the other party had actually escaped his attack. It's a pity if you were allowed to live for two more days, it might really cause a lot of damage. Tang Phylong whispered and slowly narrowed his eyes. That's all, let's deal with a human first. The next moment, a huge woman in black appeared in front of Zheng Mu. This is her Mecha. A ferocious skull occupies the entire mecca. On top of the skull, black mist lingered, like a ghost. The woman in black held two sickle-edged daggers in her hands, and her scarlet tongue licked the blood on the daggers, which looked particularly oozing. Jie Jie. You were able to destroy one million of my insect soldiers, which really impressed me. The woman in black grinned and said, but you will still die in my hands after all. Noisy. Zheng Mu frowned. You wanna die? The woman in black shouted angrily and sprinted suddenly. Whoosh! Zero please give me flowers. The woman in black was extremely fast, like a black smoke, rushing in front of Zheng Mu in an instant. Go to hell! The woman in black roared and by dong stabbed towards Zheng Mu Lang Lang. Her speed was extremely fast, and she was close in the blink of an eye. However, Zheng Mu still looked indifferent and pulled the trigger of the machine gun in his hand without hesitation. Snap! Gunpowder spit out, and an iron ball roared out instantly. Clang! The iron bead hit the woman in black stagger, causing a sound of metal and stone clashing. The face of the woman in black changed, and her mouth felt numb. She looked up, and a flash of shock flashed in her eyes. The iron ball just now was so powerful that it knocked her dagger to the ground. Not only that, but a few sparks flew up, making her heart palpitate. As expected of a mechanic, he is really powerful. Tang Phylong smiled coldly, but your strength is too weak. As soon as he finished speaking, Tang Phylong jumped up. He was eight feet tall, like a small hill. With one kick, the ground shook. Careful. When Zheng Mu saw this, he immediately reminded him. A shadow of a leg fell, and the ground cracked. 
A series of ravines crisscrossed each other, spreading to all directions. Chapter 689 This guy seems to feel pain. When Zheng Mu saw this, he was immediately shocked. Sure enough. The weakness of this giant steel dragon is its eyes. Hey hey hey, I'll blow your eyeballs out, see how arrogant you are. Zheng Mu sneered and immediately pulled the trigger again without hesitation. Whoosh! A bullet from an electromagnetic pulse gun whizzed out, piercing the air instantly and heading straight for the steel dragon's eyeball. One four three bang! This time the electromagnetic pulse gun attack directly hit the steel dragon's left eyeball. The giant steel dragon suddenly opened its eyes, and a stream of red blood flowed from its pupils. And its left eye was instantly blinded by a bullet from the electromagnetic pulse gun. The giant steel dragon let out a scream, and the severe pain caused it to shake its head crazily, trying to pull out the electromagnetic pulse gun bullet. But at this time, the steel dragon's left eye is blind and its vision is blurred. Is there any possibility of removing it? On the contrary, it made it more and more manic. Go to hell. At this time, Zheng Mu controlled the mecha to jump up suddenly and instantly reached the neck of the steel dragon. Boom! He punched out and hit the side of the steel dragon's neck directly. Crack! Only a sound of bone cracking was heard. The neck of the giant steel dragon was shattered by Zheng Mu's punch. The neck of the steel dragon actually dented, like a piece of fragile glass. The entire head and neck of the giant steel dragon separated instantly, lost their support, and collapsed. At this time, blood also surged out from the neck of the giant steel dragon, instantly dying in area red. At this time, Zheng Mu was already sweating profusely. The fighting process just now was actually extremely dangerous. At this moment, the giant steel dragon finally collapsed. The huge body fell heavily to the ground, as if the entire mountain collapsed. Boom! Boom! The rock under the giant steel dragon instantly cracked and even formed a wide crack. Ha it's finally solved. At this time Zheng Mu took a deep breath, his eyes full of surprise. The defense and combat power of this giant steel dragon are really terrifying. If it weren't for Zheng Mu's desperate fight I'm afraid it would be really difficult for him to defeat him. Wait a moment. Suddenly, Zheng Mu's pupils contracted, and there was a warning sign in his heart. Call out. Almost subconsciously, he raised his palm and pressed it directly to the ground. Boom. In an instant, several thick earth thorns suddenly shot out from the ground, shooting directly towards Zheng Mu. If he hadn't escaped in time, he would have been trapped in a hornet's nest by now. Damn it, you're not completely dead yet. Zheng Mu's brows were furrowed and his eyes were full of anger. The giant steel dragon is obviously dead. Why is it alive again? Roar. The roar of the giant steel dragon sounded, making people's scalp numb. Then it stood up again and roared crazily at Zheng Mu its eyes flashing with scarlet light. Obviously, the fierce confrontation just now also caused serious damage to it. One eight at this time, Zheng Mu did not. He stared at the giant steel dragon with burning eyes, and his heart was beating fast. This giant steel dragon is powerful, but has a low IQ. And it's so big that it can't escape the pursuit of its own rockets. Damn it! Today I am going to test the corpse of this steel dragon to see how strong it is. Zheng Mu's thoughts changed rapidly, and he was ready to gain the upper hand again. Chapter 690 After all, although this flesh and blood demon snake is a flesh and blood god, it can only go so far. This steel suit of mine can absorb other people's energy and convert it into the energy you need. So even the flesh and blood demon snake can't do anything to him. At this time, the flesh and blood demon snake looked at Jing Mu's smile, his eyes full of anger. The next moment, the flesh and blood demon snake directly stretched out its long letter and swept toward Mu. The long letter, which is more than 10 centimeters long, is enough to easily crush steel armor. You're such a beast, zero two, you still want to catch me. You're just wishful thinking. Get out of here. Jing Mu shouted coldly, immediately took steps, and rushed into the meteorite belt minister. Ouch! 
The flesh demon snake became even more furious upon seeing this and quickly followed it. Although Zheng Mu is fast, the flesh and blood demon snake is not slow either. The distance between the two is getting farther and farther. Hey hey! Zheng Mu sneered, immediately stepped forward instead of retreating, went straight into the dense forest, and rushed towards the flesh and blood demon snake. Roar! When the flesh and blood demon snake saw Zheng Mu's behavior, it seemed as if it sensed some danger and immediately roared. The next moment, he flew towards Zheng Mu, intending to tear Zheng Mu into pieces. Whizzing! The speed of the flesh demon snake was more than twice as fast as Zheng Mu, and it caught up with Zheng Mu almost instantly. Zheng Mu did not dare to resist, so he could only quickly change direction and run to the side. However, the flesh and blood demon snake was chasing after him, and his speed was still very fast. Zheng Mu was extremely anxious at this time and could only keep changing directions. But the flesh and blood demon snake followed Zheng Mu closely and could not get rid of it. However, suddenly, it actually got into the mecca. At this time, Zheng Mu was sweating heavily on his forehead, his legs were shaking slightly, and his heart was extremely anxious. He knew that if he didn't get rid of the flesh and blood demon snake as soon as possible and waited for his end, it would be miserable. Damn it! Zheng Mu cursed secretly, and a crazy idea suddenly flashed through his mind. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, then looked crazy. Nah! Let's fight! At this time, Zheng Mu didn't care and punched his chest directly. Click! There was a sound of bones cracking. Severe pain suddenly erupted from Zheng Mu's chest. Hiss! It hurts! At this time Zheng Mu took a breath of cold air, but he didn't care so much. And Zheng Mu couldn't care less at this time, so he could only punch himself in the chest one after another. Click click click. As the sounds of broken bones sounded one after another, Zheng Mu felt severe pain all over his body. However, he couldn't stop, and he didn't dare to stop. Because he knew that if he did not take the opportunity to kill this flesh and blood demon snake at this time, he would be completely in dire straits. Ah! Zheng Mu kept wailing and beating his chest. Every blow made his injuries more serious. However, the strength of the flesh and blood demon snake is indeed too terrifying. It is made of flesh and blood, and even a body formed by condensation of blood is enough to crush Zheng Mu. At this time, Zheng Mu's plan to kill the flesh and blood demon snake is simply a fool's errand. Pfft! At this time, Zheng Mu was already wrapped around his upper body by the flesh and blood demon snake. The flesh demon snake's tail is like a steel whip, lashing out suddenly. Zheng Mu only heard a crisp sound, his ribs were instantly broken, and his chest collapsed. Chapter 691 His whole body was violently whipped out. The chest is sunken, the ribs are broken, the internal organs are shaken, and blood spurts out. This scene is simply terrifying. However, the flesh and blood demon snake did not let him go, but leaped over again, trying to swallow him alive. Ha ha ha. Come on. I tell you. Even if I die today, I will drag you like a beast on my back. Zheng Mu laughed loudly at this time, his eyes were red. He understands that he must fight to the end tonight and must not hold back. Come die. The next moment, Zheng Mu took out the laser sword directly from his arms and ignited the engine instantly. Boom! In an instant, a blazing high-temperature flame suddenly bloomed above the bloody swamp. The scorching energy instantly illuminates the surrounding area for several meters. Hiss! Seeing this scene, the flesh and blood demon snake suddenly screamed, and San Ho jumped to the point of fright. Although it is extremely fierce, it still belongs to life after all, and it is also afraid of flames. Ha ha ha. I want to run away. No way. Seeing the flesh and blood demon snake escaping, Zheng Mu couldn't help but laugh heartily. TSK. The next moment, Zheng Mu started the engine again without hesitation. Whoosh. In an instant, blazing fire enveloped Zheng Mu, trapping him tightly inside. The flesh and blood demon snake was wandering around the periphery, unwilling to get close. Hey, why are you so scared? Don't you dare to come in. 
Looking at the hesitating flesh and blood demon snake outside, Zheng Mu's heart was filled with teasing and ridicule. At this time, Zheng Mu had already forgotten the panic just now. Now, he was like a fox, quietly watching the flesh and blood demon snake, his heart full of ridicule. This kind of cat catching mouse, clown like game made Zheng Mu feel a little comfortable in her heart. Ouch! Ouch! At this moment, a wolf howled again in the distance. Damn, trash. Hearing this voice, Zheng Mu couldn't help but frown. But at this moment, the flesh and blood demon snake suddenly raised its huge head and stared at Zheng Mu with scarlet eyes. Ouch. Immediately afterwards, the flesh and blood demon snake let out a sharp and ear piercing roar, and then slowly stretched out towards Zheng Mu. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's pupils shrank sharply. What the hell, what does this guy want to do? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he looked at the flesh and blood demon snake slowly walking toward him in astonishment. The next moment, the flesh and blood demon snake jumped up suddenly, opened its bloody mouth, and bit Zheng Mu. At this time, Zheng Mu also turned around suddenly. Bang! In an instant, the flesh and blood demon snake opened its mouth and bit Zheng Mu's shoulder, its teeth instantly piercing the skin. Um. Zheng Mu immediately groaned but he did not choose to dodge or defend. Instead, he hugged the neck of the flesh and blood demon snake and used the last strength of his body to fall toward the ground. Beneath the place where they fought, there was actually a huge island. Plop! With a soft sound, Zheng Mu grabbed the flesh and blood demon snake and fell hard into the mud. At this time, the flesh and blood demon snake had been severely burned, and its scales were constantly breaking and falling. The originally tough and sharp fangs were broken many times. Pfft. The next moment, Zheng Mu's eyes turned red, and he suddenly swung his dagger towards the neck of the flesh and blood snake, and slashed it away. The flesh and blood demon snake's eyes widened instantly, and then it suddenly turned over and broke away. Whoop whoosh. Chapter, 692. Zheng Mu was lying in the mud, gasping for breath. The injuries on his body were even more serious. The chest was sunken several inches and all the ribs were broken. There was blood hanging from the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth, and the expression on his face seemed to be one of relief. A strange and inexplicable smile appeared on his face, which was terrifying. And Zheng Mu's mind became increasingly confused. Ha ha ha. I want to drag you to bury me with you. Zheng Mu stretched out his arms at this time, looking crazy and his eyes were bloodshot. At this time, there was only resentment and hatred left in his heart. He wants revenge on the flesh and blood demon snake. He will cut this beast into pieces with thousands of knives and crush his bones into ashes. Die! Die! Zheng Mu roared angrily at this moment, raised his hand and stabbed the 953 dagger towards the flesh and blood demon snake. Pfft. The next moment, the blood-stained dagger instantly pierced into the eyeball of the flesh and blood demon snake. Hi. His. At this moment, the flesh and blood demon snake kept shaking its head. But I still can't get rid of this dagger. At this time, the flesh and blood demon snake no longer has any history. It was grabbed tightly by the neck by Zheng Mu, completely restricting its movement. Ha ha ha. You beast. Die. The next moment, Zheng Mu's eyes widened, and he used all his strength to insert the dagger deeply into the throat of the flesh and blood demon snake. A seg, Gulu. Along with a burst of extremely fishy smell, the flesh and blood demon snake's eyes instantly bulged, foam was spitting out of its mouth, and finally it slowly collapsed. Zheng Mu's sword is extremely accurate. Kill with one knife. There was still madness and bloodlust in Zheng Mu's eyes. He slowly put away the dagger, then stood up and walked towards the lake. He needs a bath. Zila Zila. However, when Zheng Mu just walked to the lake. The blood surged and turned into blood pythons, attacking Zheng Mu crazily. Damn it! Zheng Mu shouted coldly and took out the dagger instantly. Then slashed hard. This blood python was actually split into two parts by Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu's power is really too strong. Even if he is severely injured and critically injured, 
he still has extraordinary fighting power. Zheng Mu's footsteps kept moving, his palms danced, and he kept chopping. Whenever a stream of blood rises into the sky, it will be instantly killed by Zheng Mu. Soon, the blood within a three-meter radius had completely melted away. And Zheng Mu's figure has returned to its original state. Zheng Mu didn't stop at all, and struck another blow with his backhand, instantly knocking back the other blood python. At this moment, a sharp light suddenly flashed out in Zheng Mu's eyes. Call out! The next moment, Zheng Mu's figure suddenly grew sharply, and his speed increased to the extreme. In the blink of an eye, it reached twice the speed of sound. Almost instantly, he arrived in front of the blood python. Hiss. This time, the blood python couldn't react at all, and was instantly grasped by Zheng Mu by seven inches. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu suddenly exerted his strength. Click. Click. The severe pain caused the blood python to twist continuously. Its tail instantly wrapped around Zheng Mu's wrist. However, even this can hardly stop Zheng Mu's power. Zheng Mu suddenly exerted force and directly uprooted the blood python's body. The seven-inch position of the flesh and blood demon snake was shattered by Zheng Mu's punch. A huge head rolled out, and blood spurted out. Chapter 693 Plop At this time, Zheng Mu fell straight to the ground, shaking all over. At this time, his face was as pale as a sheet of paper, without the slightest color. The whole person was extremely weak, as if he might die at any moment. But the corner of his mouth showed a smile at this time, even a hearty smile. However, what Zheng Mu didn't know was the moment before he closed his eyes. The flesh and blood demon snake composed of blood and water disappeared instantly. Only a blood bead was left floating in the air. Whoosh! But Zheng Mu didn't notice this, but slowly stretched out his hand, trying to catch the blood bead. After all, it is the only thing of value to him. As for Zheng Mu, he won by picking up the slack. But he knew in his heart that all this was his luck. Otherwise, he would have been eaten alive. At this time, looking at the bloody precious item in the air, Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed slightly, and then he stretched out his right hand. However, at this moment, a sudden change occurred. Boom! Only an explosion was heard. Above Zheng Mu's head, there was a sound of thunder. The sound was deafening and made people's scalp numb. Ah! Afterwards, Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment. I saw arcs of electricity jumping on his body. Crack! The clothes on Zheng Mu instantly burned. And he couldn't bear it anymore, twitched all over and fell to his knees. At this time, he was in a semi-conscious state. However, that kind of heartbreaking pain can wake him up. Ouch! Arcs of electricity flashed around Mu's body. His skin was instantly charred. At this time, Zheng Mu's eyes were red, his whole body was trembling, and he was wailing like a wild beast. Boom! Finally, after a while, there was a loud noise. I saw that those electric arcs actually wrapped Zheng Mu directly. Then, it exploded instantly. Turn into little stars and fill the space. Hiss. And Zheng Mu suddenly woke up at this time. When he opened his eyes, he found that he was dead and turned into ashes by electricity. Ha, huh, I have never experienced any big storms in my life, how could I die in the hands of such a monster? At this time, Zheng Mu had a smile on his face. He wasn't afraid, he just felt relaxed. Zero please give me flowers. Zheng Mu felt that his whole body was so weak and exhausted to the extreme. However, he grinned and then slowly stood up. At this time, Zheng Mu's eyes were full of perseverance. He knew that he had to leave. Soon, he found a secluded place and began to incorporate the blood of gods into his mecca to transform it. Didi. A series of mechanical prompts sounded. At this time, the original ferocious mecha pattern on Zheng Mu's chest has been replaced with a new type of armor. At this time, Zheng Mu gives people a powerful and southern feeling. Especially the row of firearms at the waist is even more visual. Amazing! At this time, Zheng Mu ignored the others and rushed to the next location. 
he wants to hunt more objects created by gods. Therefore, he is very fast. In a short period of time, it has already crossed several regions. Kill all the monsters you encounter along the way. At this time, all his injuries had basically healed. And here, he once again encountered a powerful enemy on this mysterious island. Chapter, 694 That's a steel angel. He is six meters tall and wearing silver armor. Behind his back, there is a pair of steel wings. At this time, its eyes were shining with blue flames. The figure was majestic, standing on the spot like a hill, making Zheng Mu take a breath. However, there is no fear. There was a trace of bloodlust and madness in his eyes. Bring it on. He roared angrily and rushed towards the Steel Angel 097. There was a flash of cold light in his hand, and the pitch black sharp dagger stabbed the Steel Angel straight into the air. Ding! However, the next moment something happened that he didn't expect. The dagger instantly shattered as soon as it got close to the Steel Angel. But this steel angel continued to rush towards Zheng Mu as if nothing was wrong. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, was extremely horrified at this time. Holy crap! How is it possible? This is an SS level dagger and it can't break through your defense. Zheng Mu exclaimed. Roar! However, the steel angel ignored them at all and came straight to kill them. At this time, the killing intent in this steel angel was simply intense to the extreme. Zheng Mu's liver and gallbladder were split apart. Sweat was pouring down from his forehead. But this time, there was no way to avoid it. Chilla. The next moment, a two-centimeter deep gash was made on his shoulder by the steel angel. The red blood flowed gurglingly, instantly causing him heartbreaking pain. Ah! Miserable screams were heard. Zheng Mu felt as if he had been pierced by thousands of arrows. This kind of pain is really terrifying. Not only that, the Iron Angel's attacks became more and more fierce. Every time he swung the sharp blade in his hand, Zheng Mu's skin burst into blood. Boom! Finally, the Steel Angel kicked out hard. Kicked Zheng Mu several meters away. Three of Zheng Mu's ribs were broken instantly. This scene frightened Zheng Mu. The strongest person in his world was actually tortured by a robot until he lost his temper. This was hard for him to accept. However, this steel angel had no intention of letting him go. He roared and came to kill again. Damn it, you forced me to do it. Blood of the gods. Burn. Zheng Mu roared, and in an instant, a majestic energy surged out of his body. In an instant, it covered the whole body. Crack. Immediately afterwards, a crisp sound came out. A metal chain suddenly appeared on Zheng Mu's left arm. Then, a blazing brilliance emitted from the chain. The next moment, he crashed directly into the steel angel. The chain seemed to have the power to destroy heaven and earth. Wherever he goes, even the space is rippled. Pfft. In the end, the steel angel was instantly pierced through the body. However, this time, the steel angel did not fall. Instead, it continued to condense in the void. He let out an angry roar, and then punched down, directly breaking the zero, seven steel chain. Click, click. Then, the entire body shape was condensed again. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's pupils shrank. In this case, even if he is resurrected with the blood of the gods, it will also take some time. However, when he saw the ferocious steel angel, the fear in his heart disappeared instantly. In this case, we can only do our best. Chapter, 695 Kill The next moment, Zheng Mu charged out again. At this moment, the scene of the two fighting was earth-shattering. The endless strong wind splashed and swept in all directions. At this time, Zheng Mu, although seriously injured, was still extremely brave. Every sword strike contains great power. However, facing the steel angel, they could only passively defend and retreat steadily. In fact, he almost lost the power to resist. Boom! A dull explosion sounded. The steel angel directly grabbed Zheng Mu and smashed it to the ground. 
Bang! A big hole was made in the ground. Zheng Mu was lying in it, covered in blood. However, boundless hatred burst out from his eyes. Ha, huh, even you are worthy of fighting me. Iron Angel said wildly. Whoosh! Then, the steel knife in his hand was struck directly. Chilla. At this moment, Zheng Mu couldn't dodge at all and was cut into two pieces with a single sword. Blood mist spurted out. His eyes were filled with despair. Did you die like this? Boom. However, just when his heart dimmed and he was about to completely destroy his consciousness. A ball of green light actually emerged directly from his body. Moreover, it expanded rapidly. In the end, it turned into something like a seed. Then, it slowly fell into Zheng Mu's eyebrows. The next moment, everything calmed down and returned to its original state. However, when the seed fell. Crack. A clear voice sounded. Zheng Mu only felt that there was something extra in the depths of his mind. But at this moment, his eyes suddenly opened. At this time, he could not hide the surprise on his face. God Godhead? He spoke in surprise. Because, at this moment, he sensed a green ball floating deep in his mind. The ball exuded a strong breath of life, making him feel extremely comfortable. This is a godhead, something left by the gods. At this time, Jing Mu obviously did not expect that what this mysterious seed brought to him would actually be something like this. But, just the next moment. The pair of Zhang's eyes that had just stood up turned red. His right hand was in a fist. With a sudden swing, he directly punched a steel angel who was trying to attack in a sneak attack. His figure was like a demon, extremely ferocious. In such a situation, even the steel angel would not dare to step forward. At this time, Zheng Mu confirmed a serious feeling. He literally gained the power of a god. The blood of gods can improve people's strength. Even in battle, it can stimulate potential and enhance combat effectiveness. This is the blood of the gods, the real 240 magical effect. Hey, this time, I'm going to kill all the enemies here and absorb their energy. Zheng Mu said excitedly. As he spoke, his figure jumped up. The surface of his body was actually covered with traces of electric arcs. The whole person was like thunder, blasting away at another steel angel. This punch contained millions of kilograms of force. The steel angel couldn't resist it and was blown away. The chest collapsed and the mouth and nose were bleeding. Moreover, Zheng Mu had no intention of stopping. His figure flashed and he kept attacking. Chapter 696 In a short period of time, the steel angel was blasted. It made his figure become even wilder. Huh, it's so cool. Today I will definitely massacre the entire island. Zheng Mu laughed wildly. Then, it swept away into the distance. However, this move attracted the remaining seven steel angels to pursue them. After the soles of their feet landed, billowing smoke and dust kicked up. The speed is extremely fast. At this moment, Zheng Mu looked at the steel angel chasing after him. There was a look of indifference in his eyes. These guys are looking for death. If this is the case, then don't blame yourself and go on a killing spree. Boom. The next moment, an illusory figure once again condensed above Zheng Mu's head. He is armed with a spear. Like a god, it swept downwards. Kala. Those steel angels were directly drawn into pieces before they even got close. Blood mist filled the air, and screams could be heard endlessly. After seeing such a scene, Mu's eyes showed satisfaction. Is this the power of the blood of gods? It is indeed a treasure that can give me extraordinary power. Then, Jing Mu's figure did not stop. Instead, it swept away into the distance. Wandering in this wasteland, hunting gods. At this time, everything Jing Mu did was seen by the monitors. There was shock in his eyes. At this time, people were not only shocked that Jing Mu had obtained the blood of the gods. What's even more shocking is Zheng Mu's methods. Boom! At this time, there was a roar. A steel angel could not withstand Zheng Mu's continuous attacks. It was blown up in the air. 
this put a look of surprise on the monitor's face. At this time, there was a hint of greed in his eyes. He felt that his opportunity had arrived. Just devour these powerful steel angels. You can advance and gain higher level abilities. At this time, Zheng Mu was desperate to attack those steel angels. He knows the weaknesses of these steel angels. Call out. The long sword cut through the sky, its blazing sharpness almost tearing the void apart. Pfft. Then, the sound of a sharp blade piercing flesh was heard. Another steel angel was stabbed in the throat. Then, Jin Mu turned around and ran away. All this happened so fast that people couldn't react in time. Roar. The monitor roared. He wanted to stop it. However, it is simply difficult for these ordinary steel angels to follow him away. I could only watch Cheng Mu disappear into the distance. At this time, the other party had already left the island. After all, although he has obtained the inheritance from the gods, it does not mean that he can control it easily. He just gained part of the power of the gods' blood. But at this time, Cheng Mu didn't care about this. He hurriedly walked towards the distance. It's too far from the coastline. In this case, it will cause great damage to the king's good. Tick tock, tick tock. Blood flowed down his clothes. However, Zheng Mu didn't care. At this time, he was completely immersed in cultivation. The blood of these gods can not only improve one's cultivation, but also cleanse one's body and improve one's strength. At this moment, Zheng Mu's strength is constantly improving. Bang bang. But at this time, he heard a huge roar. Chapter 697 a giant steel tiger actually came to kill him. This giant tiger's body is huge and exudes a fierce aura. His limbs stepped on the ground, as if he could crush rocks. As it collided, its huge mouth opened. Revealing ferocious fangs. At this time, I dare not neglect my skills. His finger pointed to his side instantly. Then, a flame ray roared out. The blazing energy bloomed with dazzling light at this time. Boom! The flame ray collided with the giant tiger. Makes a thud. Immediately afterwards, endless sparks flew from the giant tiger's body. It went backwards 613. Roar! The giant tiger roared and wanted to escape. But, how is it possible to get rid of Zheng Mu now? At this time, Zheng Mu's strength can be said to be bottomless. Whoosh! The next moment, he rushed directly towards the giant tiger. The speed was so fast that it almost reached an unbelievable level. In the blink of an eye, he arrived next to the giant tiger. The long knife in his hand struck down. Vast energy burst out. The giant tiger's head instantly fell to the ground. Rich energy surges, due to the state. It's very exciting. However, at this time, Zheng Mu did not dare to delay at all. Because, he vaguely felt that there was danger approaching. Therefore, it is time to prepare to return to the base. But, just when he made the move. A roar came out. Then, a giant python rose into the sky. The huge tail whipped towards Xing Mu. It is fast and has unpredictable power. Hiss. After seeing such a scene, Xing Mu couldn't help but take a breath of air. Then, his figure evaded. However, his figure just fell. A giant snake unexpectedly fell from the sky and entangled itself towards him. Open it for me. After seeing such a scene, Zheng Mu's eyes were red and he shouted loudly. In an instant, the mysterious energy emperor in the body swept out of the city. A barrier was formed in front of him. However, the giant python is obviously extremely flexible. His body hit the barrier in an instant. Crack. A crisp sound came out, that solid barrier. It was actually crushed directly by the giant python. And Zheng Mu was also hit and flew away. Such things are common on the entire island. Except for those powerful beasts here. There are also many poisonous insects and evil creatures. Especially poisonous insects, there are more of them. They are not afraid of pain and are good at sneak attacks. Once bitten, Death is inevitable. 
At this time, Jing Mu couldn't help but feel anxious. If this continues, he will really die from the mouths of these poisons. While he was thinking, a foul smell came out. Zheng Mu looked up. I saw a group of huge scorpions hovering above my head. The metallic luster of those scorpion needles is heart-stopping. Damn it! Zheng Mu cursed secretly. Then, it ran towards the distance. At this time, he replied that he was in a very embarrassed state. The constant flickering pushed the body technique to the extreme. However, those poisonous substances are like maggots attached to the bones, chasing after them. It annoys him so much. Finally, a roar came out again. Then, a huge steel bear appeared on the field. His whole body was covered with jet black hair, like steel needles. Chapter 698 Two sharp teeth, three inches in size, are frightening. As soon as he appeared, he blocked Xing Mu's way. There was a bloodthirsty light in his eyes. Obviously, he wanted to hunt Xing Mu. Court death. After seeing such a scene, Xing Mu shouted angrily and slashed out with the long sword in his hand. The sharp sword light spanned the sky and headed straight towards the giant bear. Boom! The explosion sounded in an instant. Zheng Mu's figure is not just walking backwards. Even the weapon in his hand was knocked away. Roar! The giant bear roared at this moment and was actually charging towards him. Damn it! Zheng Mu's face looked extremely ugly. Although these strange beasts are powerful, their combat effectiveness is not bad. If they fight hard, they may not be invincible. But now that he was seriously injured, how could he compete with the giant bear? The only option is to escape. Just, at this moment. Chi Chi. Several icy arrows suddenly shot out. These arrow rains contain extremely poison. Wherever he passed, even the air became extremely smelly. Zheng Mu did not dare to neglect and quickly waved his arms to resist. Ding. A clear voice came out. Zheng Mu's long sword was actually thrown straight away. These toxins can actually corrode weapons. Zheng Mu's face became even more ferocious. Then, his right fist hit the area covered by the poisonous mist. Kala. Bolts of thunder and lightning condensed out instantly. Boom. As bursts of thunder sounded. The entire poisonous mist rolled, and the giant bear died in an instant. Only Zheng Mu was left standing there. However, at this time, his face was still extremely pale. The skin and flesh on the body were cracked layer after layer, and blood was flowing gurglingly. He was obviously seriously injured. However, he did not stay for a moment. Step forward and walk towards the distance. At this time, he needs to leave here as soon as possible. Otherwise, it is very likely to die here. However, just when Zheng Mu's figure had just entered the dense forest. In his ears, there were roars again. I saw a giant python appearing in front of Zheng Mu. The giant python exudes powerful power. At this time, it is devouring everything around it. But Zheng Mu was already in a desperate situation. Zero please give me flowers. At this time, beads of sweat were falling from his body. The whole person seemed a little depressed at this time. Looking at Jing Mu's appearance, the scarlet color in the python's eyes became even more intense. Then, it turned out to be heading straight ahead. It wants to eat the food in front of it. Call out. At this moment, a sharp arrow flew over. The speed is extremely fast. It directly penetrated the giant python scales. Blood dripped from the corners of the giant python's mouth and it screamed shrilly. Then, it slowly climbed towards the distance. Zheng Mu was extremely excited when he saw this scene. He knew that he could be saved. After that, Zheng Mu continued to go deep into the island, which was suspected to be the habitat of gods, and encountered many gods' creations. He couldn't help but make his mechas become more powerful. Here, Zheng Mu did not meet anyone who could rival him. Moreover, because he was sailing in the ocean, no matter how many divine creatures he encountered, no one knew what he had done. Of course, this is not what Zheng Mu wants to see. 
After all, if the outside world knows that he possesses such otherworldly power, it will be a very bad thing for him. Chapter, 699 As time went by, he got closer and closer to that temple, and he also discovered several other similar places, but they were all just small temples. But no matter what, he was almost close to the location of the legendary temple. Finally, after he passed through another forest, a behemoth appeared in front of him. Is this is this the rumored temple? Zheng Mu 990 stared at the huge palace complex in front of him in stunned silence. It towers into the sky, like a heavenly palace, and its entire body is bronze in color, giving people a simple and solemn feeling. The most shocking thing is that there is a light white mist hanging over it, like a fairyland, and the white mist is more like the breath of a plant with extremely strong vitality. Jing Mu is sure that he has never seen such a strange building. Moreover, this building is so huge that you can't see the end from a distance. It seems to be floating in mid-air, giving people a feeling of being above the world. A feeling of. At this moment, Jing Mu was standing on the top of a mountain, looking at this magnificent temple in the distance, and his heartbeat couldn't help but accelerate. Moreover, this temple gives people an extremely dangerous feeling. Even from a distance, you can still feel the overwhelming pressure. Even though he has successfully integrated the mecha, and even upgraded his suit, weapons and other equipment to the epic level, he still feels small in front of this temple. What the hell is this? Jing Mu murmured. His heart was full of shock, and at the same time there was a hint of fear. Although he had guessed that there must be many mysteries hidden in this ruins, it was not until he actually came into contact with it that he realized how naive his previous thoughts were. This is simply scarier than the paradise described in fairy tales. It is absolutely impossible for a building of this level to be created by manpower. No matter what it is, once you find it here, you can't give it up. Zheng Mu spoke in a deep voice. At the same time, he also suppressed all distracting thoughts and looked at the temple seriously. Although this temple looks very sacred, no one knows what this temple will bring to people. While Zheng Mu was observing the temple, a slender young man was sitting quietly on the throne, overlooking the entire world. His appearance is very handsome, his facial features are impeccable, his long golden hair hangs down around his waist, looking extremely elegant, and he is wearing a set of extremely luxurious silver robes, and his whole person exudes an extremely noble temperament. In his hand, he held a crystal ball. What is reflected in the crystal ball is exactly where Zheng Mu is standing at this moment and the temple he is looking at. Oh! Is there a visitor from a foreign land? The silver-robed man chuckled, however, I am quite curious about what you want to do here. Don't tell me that you want to visit me ha ha ha. The man suddenly raised his head and laughed. His laughter was extremely clear and crisp, like the collision of jade beads, which made the listeners feel relaxed and happy. However, under this laughter, the smile on the silver-robed man's face gradually solidified. Suddenly. Rumble. A violent explosion suddenly sounded, and hundreds of black mechanical warriors suddenly appeared around him. Each mechanical warrior is about three meters tall, with a sturdy body, bulging muscles, and its arms are covered with dense and ferocious gun barrels, enough to tear everything into pieces. Chapter, 700 Ha! Huh. It's interesting. The silver-robed man's mouth curved slightly. But it's not enough. Kill them all. With a roar, hundreds of mechanical warriors rushed towards the temple and attacked crazily. Boom! 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 The surging sparks instantly illuminated the night sky, and huge clouds of smoke also obscured the view. However, this only lasted for a brief moment. Then, with a huge roar, all the smoke and dust dissipated instantly, and the bodies of hundreds of mechanical warriors broke apart and turned into a pile of waste. Iron, scattered all over the ground. Ha! Huh. The man in silver robe was stunned for a moment, then shook his head and said with some disappointment, it seems that you are not qualified to be my opponent. That's all, I'll get rid of you first. As he spoke, he stood up suddenly and reached out to grab the void. Click. I saw a flash of electricity appearing out of thin air on the silver-robed man's hand. The next second, thunder flashed out and instantly turned into a purple-red thunder spear. 
Go. The next moment, with a sharp shout, the thunder spear shot out of the air and arrived at Zheng Mu's side in an instant. Bang! Zheng Mu was caught off guard and was instantly stabbed in the chest by the spear, sending him flying backwards. Poof! A mouthful of blood spurted out. Zheng Mu looked down at the injury on his chest with a bitter expression, thunder and lightning of this level actually contain such powerful destructive power, it almost killed me. The main reason why he suffered a loss just now without preparation was for this reason. Because thunder and lightning are the laws of the universe, and the so-called laws are all ants, this sentence is also applicable to thunder and lightning. Although Zheng Mu has integrated his own power into the mecha, this mecha is a technological product after all and is composed of various elements. Therefore, when encountering lightning, weaknesses of insufficient resistance will still appear. This also caused him to be scarred after being hit hard. If it weren't for his amplification effect, an ordinary mecha master would have died in the lightning. However, there seems to be something wrong with the lightning here. The power is too small. It is probably just an ordinary S-level energy weapon. Forget it, let's leave first. Zheng Mu shook his head, turned around and left. Although he was unwilling to do so, there was nothing he could do. After all, this place was too dangerous and was not a place he could stay. However, he had just turned around and stepped forward when a cold voice sounded in his ears. Want to leave? Have you asked me? Zheng Mu's heart thumped and he turned his head hurriedly. He saw a man covered in a silver cloak suddenly appear in front of him, staring at him with interest. Behind the man 507 were dozens of silver mechanical warriors. Who are you? Zheng Mu's pupils narrowed, you are. Whoosh! The silver-robed man raised his hand and waved, and the mechanical warrior behind him moved instantly. Whoosh whoosh! Just hearing bursts of sharp whistling sounds, dozens of silver mechanical warriors were dispatched at the same time, and the carriers rushed towards Zheng Mu with unparalleled power. Damn it! Zheng Mu cursed in his heart and quickly escaped, but the next moment, he was shocked to find that he was trapped. How can it be? Zheng Mu's face changed drastically. The dozens of mechanical warriors in front of him all had sea level strength. His legs slammed to the ground, trying to break free and escape. Chapter 701 However, as soon as he moved, he was surrounded by dozens of silver mechanical warriors. They all pulled out their weapons and smashed them down. Clang clang clang. Sparks fly. Facing this overwhelming weapons offensive, Zheng Mu's eyes were red and he gritted his teeth. In the end, after paying the price of half his life, he finally managed to escape from the group of silver mechanical warriors, but his physical condition was also extremely bad, and he almost lost even the strength to crawl. Damn it! This is a cage created by some special environment. Zheng Mu was extremely anxious. He originally wanted to enter the temple to investigate, but he encountered this situation as soon as he arrived at the door. And he also felt that the familiar feeling of calling was getting stronger and stronger. Is there really something in that temple? There was doubt in his mind. In this case, I can only try again. Zheng Mu took a deep breath and jumped off the cliff. However, something shocking happened to him. The moment he jumped off the cliff, he felt like he was stepping on marshmallows, and he was strangely suspended in the air. There was a circular platform floating under his feet, lifting him up in the sky. This is. A ray of light flashed in Zheng Mu's eyes. He he he. The silver-robed man walked up to Zheng Mu with a smile and said in a joking tone, My prey, won't you run away? Pray. Hearing this, Zheng Mu immediately reacted. Are you the summoner? The silver-robed man smiled and nodded, Yes, I am the only master in this region. Only. Zheng Mu frowned and became wary. It stands to reason that since the man in silver robe says that he is the master of this world, then this world must have his enemies. But he has never heard any information about him. Obviously this guy's enemies are hidden deep. As expected of a summoner, you are indeed qualified to be called the one and only. Unfortunately, you are destined to perish today. 
The silver-robed man grinned and suddenly reached out to touch the mecha warrior beside him. The next moment, the mechanical warrior next to the silver-robed man immediately started the engine, and then his figure skyrocketed, reaching over five meters in the blink of an eye, turning into a giant robot about two meters tall. Roar! A roar echoed through the sky. Boom boom boom! At the same time, dozens of mechanical warriors also roared and then began to change their appearance. Their size skyrocketed, and in the blink of an eye they turned into behemoths about three to four meters high, standing like hills in the valley. Zheng Mu's face suddenly became serious. Just by relying on his breath, he could tell that each of these mechanical warriors had extremely strong combat power. 21. Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Such terrifying strength is comparable to the top experts in the outside world. It seems to be troublesome. If I face these money, mechanical warriors, I'm afraid I'm no match. Zheng Mu's mind was running rapidly, and he didn't know what he was planning. On the other side, the man in silver robe looked around with interest and smiled with satisfaction. Yes, yes, every plant and tree here is as perfect as I imagined. This world is truly worthy of being a holy land, and it can actually give me such rich rewards ha ha ha. Listening to the man in silver robe's crazy smile, he suddenly understood. Chapter, 702 The silver robed man in front of him is probably a madman, maybe he is a pervert, or maybe he has a brain problem, which is why he is so enthusiastic about the buildings in this area. What on earth do you want to do? Zheng Mu said coldly, are you the guardian of this world? No no no. The silver robed man shook his head slightly and said with a smile, I am just a soul born in this world. I only need to keep devouring other souls and strengthen myself. Who wants to stay as a guardian? Bye. Soul body. Zheng Mu murmured, what exactly happened in this world? Did I guess wrong before that 410 here is not an ancient ruin? But it's pretty much the same. The man in silver robe smiled faintly, to be precise, my existence is equivalent to the master of this area. I have only one purpose, to destroy this world. Let the whole world turn into nothingness. Destroy the world. The silver robed man's words were filled with overwhelming hatred, which made Jing Mu couldn't help but shudder. There must be something wrong with this guy. Jing Mu couldn't help but become suspicious. I advise you to give up your resistance and let me take you away. Otherwise, I cannot act, guarantee whether you will die. The silver robed man spoke calmly, with a hint of cold murderous intent in his tone. Humph. I won't sit still and wait for death. Although the situation was difficult, Zheng Mu still refused to give in. Stubborn. The silver-robed man slowly shook his head, and suddenly stretched out his hand to grab the empty space. Call out. The giant mecha suddenly turned its gun barrel and aimed it at Zheng Mu. Immediately afterwards, a ball of dazzling energy light waves burst out from the barrel. Boom! A huge energy ball shot out, hit Zheng Mu's chest instantly, and exploded immediately. Click. 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 A series of crisp cracking sounds reached his ears. The black clothes on Zheng Mu suddenly tore apart, revealing skin covered with scars and dripping with blood. Severe pain shot through his body, almost causing Zheng Mu to faint. Ah! Zheng Mu couldn't help but roared up to the sky. Rumble! Landslide! Zheng Mu's figure jumped up and shot towards the distance like a cannonball. He had been severely injured and did not dare to stay at all. He just wanted to leave this area as soon as possible. Dense thunderbolts fell from the sky, forcing Zheng Mu into a state of embarrassment. If not for the protection of his battle clothes, he would have been robbed long ago. He <laughs> he. Looking at Zheng Mu walking away, the man in silver robe looked disdainfully, a mere loser actually tries to resist. How stupid is he? He didn't rush to catch up, because in his opinion, escaping a Zheng Mu was not a big deal. After all, his target is the entire world. An ant is not worthy of his attention. As the silver-robed man waved, the mechas suddenly dispersed, each occupying a direction, and surrounded Zheng Mu. What do you want to do? Zheng Mu's face changed slightly, 
and he shouted in a deep voice, I advise you not to act recklessly, otherwise I would rather die together. He could feel that these mechas seemed to be accumulating energy. Once the energy gathered enough, they would attack him. He 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 he, both jade and stone will be destroyed. Do you think I will be afraid? The silver-robed man sneered and said disdainfully, over the years, there have been many people who want to threaten me. What's the result? Chapter, 703 I expected it. Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with brilliance, that's why I work hard to improve my strength. Oh. The silver-robed man glanced at Zheng Mu in surprise, then laughed, your idea is very good, but unfortunately your strength is still too weak. As he said that, he suddenly looked up to the sky, as if he noticed something, hey, I found it so quickly ha, huh? in that case I will use you to sacrifice to my great planet. Boom boom boom. The silver-robed man let out a low roar, suddenly opened his mouth, and spit out several streams of dark red air. These dark red air flows suddenly exploded in the middle, forming a thick blood mist that enveloped a radius of 100 meters. Immediately afterwards, in the blood mist, several strange figures emerged silently and rushed towards Xing Mu. Ha! Huh. This is... Xing Mu looked stunned, what is this? Xing Mu was a little shocked. However, before Zheng Mu could recover, several figures exactly like that person had already rushed towards him. Zheng Mu's face changed slightly and he hid in a hurry. However, his speed slowed down a bit, and new injuries were added to his body, making his face even more ugly. There was a sneer on the face of the silver-robed man, so what if you are fast? These figures all have level 5 combat power. It is not easy for you to deal with them. What's more, this is a restricted area. Do you think you can escape? Having said this, he waved his hand slightly. Swish. 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 Several figures who looked exactly like him suddenly disappeared. Immediately afterwards, several figures emerged from all directions and enveloped Xing Mu. Boom. Several powerful fists were blasted towards Xing Mu. Bang. Bang. Bang! The muffled sound of fists hitting flesh kept coming, like the sound of raindrops hitting the glass. Puff! Zheng Mu spat out a mouthful of blood mixed with broken internal organs and staggered back, his injuries becoming more serious. He had been completely suppressed, and he didn't even have the strength to resist. Ha! Huh, I want to see how long you can last. The silver-robed man sneered and said, When you are exhausted, I will personally refiner you into a puppet. Zero please give me flowers. As soon as the man in the spirit robe finished speaking, a dazzling golden light suddenly flashed from the horizon. The next moment, two burly bodies suddenly appeared next to the man in silver robe, one on the left and one on the right, blocking the man in silver robe. The silver robed man frowned slightly and stared at the two people who suddenly appeared, Who are you? The two burly bodies stared at the man in silver robes expressionlessly, and moved without answering. The two of them punched the silver-robed man at the same time. The silver-robed man's eyes narrowed, you are seeking death. Rumble. The next moment, the three collided together on the spot, sending out a violent shock wave that swept through the entire pit. Whoosh. The body of the silver-robed man suddenly flew backwards and fell hard to the ground, plowing a ravine in the sky and the earth. Hiss. This scene frightened the mechas, and they retreated one after another. When Zheng Mu saw this scene in the distance, his heart was even more disturbed. What kind of monsters are these? They can actually defeat a strong man easily. Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he was extremely shocked. Chapter, 704 It can withstand thermal weapons by relying only on physical strength, which is even more powerful than the Hulk and Iron Man in the movie. However, now he was beaten by a group of mechanical creations and was unable to fight back. How terrifying are these mechanical creations? At this moment, Zheng Mu finally understood why the silver-robed man chose to seal him here. Damn bastard! At this moment, Zheng Mu only had anger and resentment in her heart. His 770 eyes were red, like an evil ghost, extremely ferocious. However, just when Zheng Mu fell into madness, Suddenly, 
a pungent smell wafted into his nostrils. Smelling this smell, Zheng Mu suddenly felt weak all over and his head was extremely dizzy, as if he would fall asleep at any time. Um. Seeing this, the silver-robed man raised his eyebrows slightly, did it turn out to be poisoning? There was a joking smile at the corner of his mouth, this level of toxin should be enough to put you into a deep sleep, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Although these mechanical creations cannot kill you, they can slow down your actions. The silver-robed man murmured to himself. In this special space, no one can save this kid except him. Ha <laughs> ha. Zheng Mu suddenly grinned. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and said with cold eyes, Drag me down. Ha, you underestimate me too much. Zheng Mu walked slowly between the mechanical creations. He reached out and grabbed a mechanical creation and squeezed it hard. Click. The extremely strong alloy exploded directly under this pinch. How how is it possible? There was a look of surprise on the silver-robed man's face. He couldn't believe that the man in front of him had the power to destroy the alloy. No wonder he was able to break into this space. It turned out that he relied on brute force. However, at this moment, Zheng Mu suddenly turned around and looked at the man in silver robe not far away, his eyes filled with coldness and murderous intent, are these your last words? As he spoke, Zheng Mu suddenly stepped on the ground with the soles of his feet and disappeared instantly. When he reappeared, he was already in front of the silver-robed man. What? The silver-robed man's pupils shrank, his eyes filled with shock. You how is that possible? Zheng Mu sneered, suddenly reached out his hand, grabbed the other person's neck, and raised the silver-robed man high in the air. The man in silver robe struggled with all his strength, but to no avail, he could only make a begging sound of ah uh, ah. Uh. His throat bulged violently, and his legs kicked wildly, trying to break free. However, Zheng Mu's five fingers were like the roots of an old tree, tightly locking the silver-robed man's throat, making it impossible for him to breathe. Gradually, a look of fear and panic appeared in the silver-robed man's eyes. He never imagined how the indigenous people of this world could have such terrifying strength. Damn! Let go let me go quickly. Help someone come to save me. The man in silver robe struggled hard. However, there are no living people in this space at all, the only living thing is Zheng Mu in front of us. At this moment, the man in silver robe had a look of fear in his eyes. All these changes in 4-0 exceeded his expectations. The picture he originally envisioned simply didn't exist. Let me go well let me go. The silver robed man spoke with great difficulty. His eyes were red, as if he had realized that death was about to come. Snapped. Zheng Mu ignored the silver robed man's words. His arm muscles squirmed and veins emerged. He lifted it up in the air and threw it out with all his strength. Chapter 705 No no. The silver robed man wailed miserably, his body cutting through the air, causing ripples. His body fell straight down and hit the wall hard. Bang bang. Stones flew and dust filled the air. The smoke cleared. A pool of scarlet blood appeared where the man in silver robe had been standing. The man in silver robe struggled to get up, the look of shock on his face still not dissipated. He never dreamed that Zheng Mu would be so powerful, so powerful that even the alloy material he was proud of could easily tear apart. This is impossible. The expression on the silver-robed man's face gradually became distorted. His eyes were dark and full of hatred. Damn! Rumble! Following the roar of the silver-robed man, the ground suddenly started to move. Immediately afterwards, streaks of black light rose into the sky, hovering in the void. Densely packed machine creations gathered from all directions, instantly surrounding Zheng Mu. Damn, why are there so many? Looking at the dense mechanical creations surrounding him, Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. There are many of these mechanical creations, and each one has a terrifying combat history. If it were an ordinary person, these mechanical creations alone would be enough to suppress him and make him unable to lift his head. However, that's not all. Soon, the silver-robed man controlled the mechanical creations again and began to attack Zheng Mu. Poof! 
A spear pierced Jing Mu's chest and shot. Damn! Jing Mu's face turned pale, and he gritted his teeth and cursed. The injuries on his body were getting more and more serious, and he was already seriously injured. Jing Mu's legs were trembling, and his body seemed to be collapsing. Jing Mu's face turned pale. He did not expect that the combat effectiveness of these mechanical creations was so powerful, beyond his imagination. However, at this moment, suddenly, a rapid siren sounded in Jing Mu's ears. Warning! Warning! You have violated a taboo, please leave this area immediately. Warning! Warning! You have violated a taboo, leave here immediately, otherwise you will be punished. When he heard the system prompt sound, Jing Mu's face suddenly became happy. Ha ha ha, it seems you know how to be afraid. If that's the case, why don't you get out of here right away? Wait, I will settle the score with you sooner or later. After saying this, a cruel curve appeared on the corner of Jing Mu's mouth, I remember your name. My name is Jing Mu, I have a long time to come, let's take our time and play. As soon as he finished speaking, Jing Mu turned around and ran quickly towards the depths of the mountain. He must now race against time to hide deeper to avoid being chased by these mechanical creations. However, at this moment, a sharp neighing sound suddenly exploded. Buzz buzz. Along with the sharp roar 300, the entire mountain range trembled. Jing Mu's heart skipped a beat, and his expression suddenly changed. Oops. Zheng Mu suddenly looked back and saw three giant transport ships speeding towards the horizon in the distance. The speed was simply unbelievable. In just a moment, the transport ship appeared in Zheng Mu's eyes. This is. When Zheng Mu saw the signs on the transport ships clearly, he was stunned. Those spheres flashing with blue light were exactly the electromagnetic guns he was familiar with. How is it possible could it be said? Does this space belong to Imperial Technology? Chapter, 706 A look of horror appeared in Jing Mu's eyes. Since these machine creations can't do anything to me. Then there's only one last resort left. Thinking of this, Jing Mu directly activated the chip on his wrist without hesitation. In an instant, a majestic wave of life swept out, covering the nearby machine creations, causing them to freeze in place. At the same time, a vague memory quietly emerged in Jing Mu's mind, and a picture emerged. That's a huge mecha warrior assembly factory. Jing Mu once witnessed with his own eyes a high-level divine creation wearing black armor and carrying a giant sword, driving a mecha and fighting with a robot spider. However, under the overwhelming power of the high-level divine creation, the robot spider finally lost. The robot spider had hideous scars all over its body, and its body was almost broken. The attack power of the high-level divine creation was so terrifying that even the air could not bear it, causing a violent explosion. The body of the robot spider was completely shattered and turned into countless small machines. These machines are exactly mechanical creations. This is actually a factory for making mechanical creations. Zheng Gai was extremely shocked when he saw the scene in front of him. He didn't expect that the world he lived in was actually made by a machine. If we could get these mechanical creations, wouldn't it be equivalent to getting a powerful army? Jing Mu's breathing became heavier. He couldn't wait to take steps and ran madly towards the depths of the mountains. However, when Jing Mu walked into the deepest part of the mountain range, he was dumbfounded. In the open space deep in the mountains, there are exquisite metal instruments placed one after another, densely packed all over the open space. In the center of those instruments, a robot about three meters tall and made of various parts was sitting quietly. This robot is exactly the one from before. Seeing the safe and sound robot, Jing Mu's heart sank. Could it be that these robots were protecting this mechanical creation so that he could not get close to it? This is really troublesome. Jing Mu frowned slightly and fell into deep thought. Since we can't rely on supernatural powers and weapons to solve it, we can only use hand-to-hand -hand combat. Jing Mu slowly closed his eyes. After a while, Jing Mu opened his eyes, with a strong light bursting out of his eyes. Since this mechanical creation cannot move, I will take the initiative to attack. 
As soon as he finished speaking, Zheng Mu's whole body shot out like an arrow from a string. His fist fell like a meteorite, hitting the machine creature's waist and abdomen hard. Click. With the crisp sound of broken bones, the mechanical creation crashed to the ground and turned into parts scattered on the ground. Hee <laughs> hee. Zheng Mu raised the corner of his mouth, showed a smile, turned around and prepared to leave. But at this moment, something strange happened. Among the mechanical parts scattered on the ground, a dazzling red light Noa de Hao suddenly erupted and condensed in front of Zheng Mu in an instant. Um. Zheng Mu looked at the fiery red liquid in front of him in surprise, with curiosity and doubt in his eyes. The temperature of this liquid is very high, and there is a light yellow mist on the surface, which makes it difficult to see clearly. However, Zheng Mu vaguely felt that this thing seemed to contain extremely terrifying destructive power. Boom! Just as Zheng Mu was sizing up the liquid, a muffled sound came from the liquid. Chapter 707 Immediately afterwards, a sharp blade suddenly popped out from the top of the liquid and slashed towards Zheng Mu. Not good. Zheng Mu's face turned pale. He didn't expect that this liquid had its own intelligence and could attack people. However, Zheng Mu was extraordinary after all. He reacted extremely quickly. He dodged the liquid attack in an instant and rushed forward again. However, just as Zheng Mu raised his hand, he was blocked by the liquid. The liquid wrapped around Zheng Mu's arm, trying to restrain it. Open it. Zheng Mu roared angrily, his strength surged, he slapped the liquid away with his palm, then jumped up and kicked the liquid hard. Boom! One of Zheng Mu's legs kicked the liquid firmly, but the liquid did not move at all. How is that possible? Zheng Mu's pupils shrank, his face full of shock. With his cultivation at the peak of the sixth level of qi refining stage, this kick is enough to kill a car. However, the liquid was intact. Before Zheng Mu could think about it, the liquid suddenly stretched out, as fast and agile as a whip, and instantly wrapped around Zheng Mu's arm, causing his body to suddenly stop. Snap, snap. At this moment, footsteps suddenly came from the liquid. Who is that? Get out. Zheng Mu shouted coldly, while looking around cautiously. Hey hey. A burst of sinister laughter came from afar. Immediately afterwards, a thin and hunched figure walked slowly towards this side. Who are you? Zheng Mu stared at the visitor with a serious expression. Me? Ha 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 ha. The figure suddenly laughed, what do you think? I don't know who you are, but I know that you are very weak now. Zheng Mu shook his head and sighed, with a look of regret on his face. He originally wanted to get the answer from this mechanical creation, but he didn't expect that this mechanical creation turned out to be an idiot. However, Zheng Mu did not give up and continued to induce mechanical creations. I don't care who you are, you'd better let me go immediately, otherwise I guarantee you will die miserably. Zheng Mu warned in a cold voice Akach. Did you die miserably? Ha ha ha, I've forgotten how many years I haven't heard this sentence. The visitor looked up to the sky and laughed. I have lived for five thousand years and have long forgotten pain, so how can I be afraid of death? The visitor murmured softly, as if recalling something wonderful. No, you don't deserve to talk about the word death, because death is the most painful torture for you. Hearing the visitor's words, Zheng Mu showed a sarcastic smile on his face. Five thousand. The machine creation in front of me has lived for five thousand years. You know, in ancient times, ordinary people could only live up to two hundred years old. Moreover, this refers to ordinary people with abundant longevity. And even so, the body of ordinary people will age to a certain extent. Once you reach the age of octogenarians, you will basically be in a state of exhaustion, and there is no cure. However, the machine creation in front of me has lived for five thousand years. Who is this? Is it really an old monster that has lived for thousands of years? But you are right, you are indeed weak. At this time, the strange man spoke again. He looked at Jing Mu with greed in his eyes. No matter how hard you struggle, it won't help. Just give your flesh and blood obediently. 
Along with this sound, the strange man opened his huge mouth and bit off a piece of Mu Mu's flesh. Phew! The bloody scene appeared in front of Zheng Mu, which made Zheng Mu furious. Chapter, 708 But being angry, Zheng Mu still refused to give up. In his mind, all the past events emerged. Oh shit! Isn't this stupid system a scam? Zheng Mu cursed secretly in his heart. Although he didn't want to believe it, reality forced him to admit that he was in great danger. The enemy he faces is definitely a super being. If he doesn't take any precautions, he will definitely die. Damn it, I'm going to risk it all. Zheng Mu's eyes were about to burst, and he roared in his heart. He took out the black jade ring without hesitation and crushed it hard. Ding! It is detected that the host is attacked by a foreign enemy. Please retreat as soon as possible. Buzz! Zheng Mu's consciousness suddenly flashed. The next second, Zheng Mu's vision suddenly changed. Zheng Mu stood firm again, but found that his position had changed dramatically. The environment in front of me has completely changed. The original overgrown forest has disappeared and been replaced by a magnificent palace. In front of his eyes was the mechanical creation. It was wearing armor and carrying a giant sword on its back, and was standing there quietly. Boy, it's useless. At this moment, the mechanical creation suddenly opened its mouth, here, there is no time flow rate and air quality, you can't escape from here. This palace is a magic weapon. As long as my will is immortal, it will be immortal. Even a martial arts master can't even think of destroying it. The mechanical creature's tone was low and hoarse. Its body trembled slightly, as if it was suppressing something, you shouldn't anger me. I want revenge, I want revenge. Rumble. The mechanical creation seemed to be in a state of madness, roaring crazily at Jing Mu, I will tear your body apart and suck your blood dry. Boom. The next moment, the mechanical creation rushed directly towards Xin Mu, as ferocious as an evil ghost. Humph, a mere garbage machine creation dares to be so arrogant. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold, since you are seeking death, I will help you. Die. Zheng Mu shouted loudly, pierced the void with the dagger in his hand, and stabbed straight at the mechanical creation. Clang. The next second, the collision of gold and iron suddenly sounded. The dagger in Zheng Mu's hand was smashed to pieces by the mechanical creation with both fists. Zero please give me flowers. His dash. Despite Zheng Mu's tough nerves, he couldn't help but gasp. He can resist a dagger just by relying on his physical strength, and even destroy the dagger with one move. How the hell is this a machine creation? Zheng Mu was shocked in his heart, but he couldn't think about it for too long at this moment. He saw that the mechanical creature had come over and swept his right leg. Wolf hit Zheng Mu on the chest. Bang! Zheng Mu instantly flew several meters away and fell to the ground. Click! Zheng Mu only felt that several of his ribs were broken. The severe pain made his forehead sweat, but what was more, he was shocked. He never expected that an ordinary mechanical creation could break his ribs with just one kick. You know, the material of this mechanical creation is made of the latest titanium alloy. This titanium alloy is the strongest material in the world and cannot be cut by ordinary weapons. But now, it can't even block this mechanical creature's leg attack. Oh, you don't understand how powerful I am now. The so-called strong people are just chickens and dogs in my eyes. Just when Jing Mu was shocked, a burst of joking sounded in his ears. Chapter 709. Then, the mechanical creature changed its target and pointed its sharp gun at Xiaoyifei, who was lying on the ground. Damn it! Upon noticing the ferocious muzzle, Zheng Mu suddenly woke up and hurriedly raised his arms. Click! A bullet shot out and grazed Zheng Mu's arm. Pfft! A bright red wound appeared, and blood flowed gurglingly. Um... The strange man raised his eyebrows, obviously not expecting such a result from 680. He stared at Zheng Mu indifferently and said threateningly, Boy, don't try to resist, otherwise, I will slice you up. Zheng Mu's eyes were staring at the mechanical creation in front of him, 
his expression extremely fearful. Just now, the bullet fired by this mechanical creature grazed his arm, leaving a deep scar on his arm. If he hadn't escaped in time, he might have died on the spot. The power of this mechanical creation is too terrifying. My current strength alone cannot resist it. The only way is to take advantage of the opportunity and run away. In this way, after leaving this space, even if the owner of this mechanical creation comes to visit, he may not be able to do anything to me. Zheng Mu quickly thought about it, and the next moment, he slowly got up from the ground. Seeing Zheng Mu's actions, a sneer appeared on the mechanical creature's lips. He looked at Zheng Mu as if he were a fool, you think you can run away? You are so stupid. Whoosh! As soon as he finished speaking, the mechanical creation suddenly bent over and reached out to grab his friend. Not good. Feeling the strong wind coming from the palm of the mechanical creature, Zheng Mu's pupils contracted and he quickly raised his arms to block it. Boom! The two collided, and a majestic force surged forward. Zheng Mu fell to the ground in embarrassment again. Ha ha ha! The mechanical creature laughed wildly and looked down at Zheng Mu on the ground, ants are ants after all. Even if you have advanced technological equipment, you are still an ant. Today, I will let you witness the gap between mortals and gods. As he spoke, the mechanical creature's aura surged, and it instantly climbed to the top. At this moment, the space around him became vaguely stagnant, making his movement sluggish. Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed slightly and his heart sank. The feeling of oppression given to him by this mysterious man in front of him. It's just too strong. Although he still doesn't know what level of power the other party is, he is very sure that the other party is definitely not an ordinary human being. And, just accept your death. The mechanical creation took one step forward, and its figure suddenly accelerated, rushing in front of Zheng Mu like lightning. His left hand suddenly stretched out and went straight to grab Zheng Mu's head, while his right hand clenched his fist and punched it out, roaring like a cannonball. Roll! At the critical moment, Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and jumped up suddenly. The fist hit Zheng Mu hard on the abdomen, almost making Zheng Mu angry. Zheng Mu's face was extremely ugly. This mechanical creation was far beyond his imagination, and it was simply not something he could deal with at this stage. Moreover, this guy can also use the power of technology to control the magnetic 2-8 field in the surrounding space, which makes his strength increase to the extreme. Even if he struggles desperately, he is no match for the other party. What to do? Zheng Mu frowned, various thoughts kept popping up in his mind, but he still couldn't make up his mind. At this time, a sound was heard. Immediately, a pitch black spear suddenly appeared on the right shoulder of the mechanical creation, shooting towards Zheng Mu. Chapter 710 Zheng Mu was startled and quickly dodged. Ah! However, the next moment Zheng Mu screamed because the arrow passed by his trouser leg and shot a bloody hole in his right calf. Zheng Mu's figure suddenly froze, and he stood frozen on the spot as if struck by lightning. Damn it! Zheng Mu's eyes were full of hatred and unwillingness. Huh, ants are ants. So what if you are fast? In my eyes, you are still an ant. The strange man laughed mockingly, his words full of contempt for Zheng Mu 02. But after hearing these words, Zheng Mu didn't have any anger. On the contrary, he suddenly grinned and showed a strange look. Hey, since you are so powerful, how can you be subdued by just a broken bow? I think you are the one who should really run away. Do you think I was scared just now? I'm just pretending to beg for mercy, luring you to relax your vigilance, and then waiting for an opportunity to take away this mechanical creation. Now, my plan has succeeded. After Zheng Mu finished speaking word by word, he suddenly jumped up and rushed towards the mechanical creation. Buzz! The mechanical creation was like a cat that had its tail poked, it suddenly jumped up and reacted instantly. Despicable bedbug, you are actually playing dirty tricks. Today I will personally kill you and send you back to the west. The eyes of the mechanical creature suddenly swelled with cold light, its body suddenly rose three feet, and then it swung its giant palm towards Xingmu. Humph, do you really think I will just sit back and die? 
Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with light, his muscles all over his body bulged, and his whole body inflated like a balloon. Boom! With a muffled sound, Zheng Mu turned into a huge iron lump and bravely faced the mechanical creation. Things that don't know how to live or die. There was a trace of ridicule on the corner of the strange man's mouth, and then he took action again. Boom! 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 The two started a fierce battle. Zheng Mu relied on his superior physical fitness to defeat the opponent's ferocious wolf attack. But the opponent didn't seem to care, and the power of each blow became more and more fierce. In just ten seconds, the two of them had fought hundreds of times. Although Zheng Mu could barely resist the opponent's attack with his super physical fitness, he was still shocked to the point of vomiting blood. If his body wasn't as strong as steel, he might not have been able to withstand such a level of attack. At this moment, the mechanical creature punched him again, stamping heavily on his chest. Zheng Mu spurted out a mouthful of blood, and instantly flew backwards, smashing into the wall and falling into the next room. Cough, 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 I'm a fool. Zheng Mu fell to the ground, and the severe pain made him couldn't help but ask his mother. At this time, his ribs were broken in six or seven places, and his internal organs were severely traumatized. Zheng Mu stood up with difficulty, glanced around 720, and accurately locked the location of the mechanical creation. Then, Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and rushed over suddenly. Court death. Seeing this, the mechanical creature suddenly became furious and kicked Zheng Mu. Whoosh! A sharp sword light flashed, and Zheng Mu's figure appeared behind the opponent like a ghost. Then, he raised his sword and slashed out. Click! The sharp blade cut on the robot's back, emitting a harsh metallic sound. However, the defensive power of the mechanical creation far exceeded Zheng Mu's expectations, leaving only superficial white marks. Rubbish! The mechanical creation sneered unceremoniously and attacked Zheng Mu again. Chapter 711 Boom! Zheng Mu was beaten out, his clothes stained red with blood, and he looked extremely miserable. The jaw of his right hand was broken, and a trace of blood flowed down between the fingers, dyeing the dagger in his hand dark red. The mechanical creation approached again, and a fierce look flashed in Jing Mu's eyes. Poof! He held the ground with one hand, pierced his heart with the other hand, and then used his last strength to pull out his heart. Ha 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 ha, do you think your heart can continue to move? The mechanical creature laughed and said sarcastically. Without further ado. Even if I blow myself up today, I won't let you succeed. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, and his face gradually became ferocious. Boom! The next moment, he suddenly pressed the detonation button. Not good. The strange man's pupils shrank, horrified. But it's too late now. There was a sudden sway of the mountains and the ground, and the whole area shook violently. Zheng Mu chose to blow up his heart, blowing up the entire area and causing a violent fire. It instantly turned into scorched earth, burning with blazing flames and filled with smoke. Damn! The mechanical creation went completely crazy, roaring again and again, roaring like a wild beast. He never thought that this weak ant would rather die than support him. Go to hell! The strange man roared angrily, his eyes were as red as blood, and he suddenly stretched out his huge palm and struck Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu was at the end of his strength and could not avoid it at all. He was instantly hit by the opponent's palm. His whole body flew up and the wolf smashed against the wall. He opened his mouth and spit out a mouthful of scarlet blood, then lay straight on the ground and passed out. At the same time, the strange man did not dare to stay for a long time, so he turned around and left quickly. This area is a specially built building, and the fire quickly subsided without causing much impact. Re. Next to the pile of charred corpses, a young man was slowly waking up. Um. Zheng Mu opened his eyes and felt extremely sore all over, as if he was falling apart. He frowned slightly, and after trying to remember for a moment, he suddenly remembered what happened before he fell into coma. Damn, this is trouble. Zheng Mu's face was extremely pale, and his forehead was dripping with cold sweat. There are actually such weird robots in this world. 
Zheng Mu looked down at the samurai sword in his hand, and a bitter smile suddenly appeared. Fortunately that guy was injured, otherwise. When Zheng Mu remembered the scene just now, his heart was still palpitating and he couldn't help but take a deep breath. If that mechanical creation was intact I would definitely die today. What the hell is this place? Zheng Mu looked around with a puzzled look on his face. Huh. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Not far in front of him, there was an exquisite box. Zheng Mu immediately moved over and observed carefully. I saw exquisite carvings and patterns on the surface of the box, full of a simple and heavy atmosphere. There is a silver key inlaid on the lid. Is this Qian Wang Zhao, a mechanism box? A guess popped up in Zheng Mu's mind, and he couldn't wait to pick up the key and slowly turn it to open the mechanism. Creak. There was just a crisp sound, and after the mechanism opened, a crystal clear water droplet fell out of it. This is. Zheng Mu was stunned, and then his face was full of astonishment. He quickly picked up the crystal clear water drop and examined it. The water droplets are oval shaped, crystal clear, and look quite strange. But, it's worth much more than that. Chapter, 712 Because This is a piece of mechanical heart. Zheng Mu's eyes widened, unable to conceal his excitement. He had seen that this mechanical heart was extremely rare and precious. Even on Earth, there are very few mechanical hearts in existence. That is the true condensed essence of the spiritual energy of heaven and Earth, which has many wonderful uses. Damn it, I have worked hard for half my life. As a result, I encountered a mechanical creation on the road and almost lost my life. Zheng Mu sighed, hating and annoyed in his heart. If there hadn't been that weird mechanical creation, maybe he could have taken advantage of the chaos and escaped. Sai it seems like you are not lucky this time. Let's find a chance to sneak away next time. Zheng Mu laughed at himself and prepared to leave this dangerous place. At this moment. Suddenly, a hidden instrument sounded an alarm sound at 130 degrees from Zheng Mu's waist. This is. Zheng Mu's face changed slightly. Then, he immediately checked the instrument, with a touch of shock in his eyes. This is an unknown mecha system. Zheng Mu's heartbeat suddenly accelerated. That's right. Not far away, lying quietly is a metal coffin. This metal coffin has a simple shape and is covered with dense and complex runes. At this moment, a three-meter-long robotic arm ejected from the coffin board. Click click click. The robotic arm quickly lifted up, and finally firmly grasped the crystal pendant aft, making it stay in place and stop moving. Oh my god! This mechanical creation can actually control the coffin? The corner of Zheng Mu's mouth twitched, causing huge waves in his heart. This coffin is actually alive. And, he also has wisdom. Could it be that this is some kind of relic treasure? Zheng Mu murmured to himself, his eyes full of greed. In that case, let's give it a try. After pondering for a moment, Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and made a decision. Get rid of this mechanical creation first. After making up his mind, Zheng Mu took a deep breath, then took the silver key and inserted it hard towards the coffin lid. Click. With a crisp and muffled sound, the coffin lid was pried open. Whoosh. Almost at the same time, the huge creature suddenly opened its eyes. Ice blue current flashes and green light splashes. This is a hideous and terrifying doll, with bloodshot eyes in its eyes, making it look extremely violent. Roar. The puppet jumped up suddenly, with a fierce pressure, and rushed towards Xing Mu fiercely. Damn it. Zheng Mu was so frightened that he ran away without saying a word. Call out. The puppet's reaction was so fast, it caught up with Zheng Mu in an instant and punched him hard. Click. Zheng Mu's figure trembled, and his entire right shoulder sank instantly. Fuck. Zheng Mu gasped in pain and ran away. The figure of the doll is stiff and can only barely move its legs to chase. Rumble. The doll has a huge body, covering a huge distance with every step, and can catch up with Mu in the blink of an eye. Grass. Zheng Mu cursed loudly and quickly took out his pistol. Boom. 
The gunshot woke the puppet. I saw the puppet suddenly stopped, and bursts of coldness burst out from its eyes. Not good. Zheng Mu secretly sighed that something was wrong. This doll seems to know firearms and is not afraid of bullet attacks. Zheng Mu didn't dare to neglect, he pulled the trigger crazily and poured out all the remaining six bullets. However, a scene that made Zheng Mu desperate appeared. This doll's defense was extraordinary and it didn't suffer any damage at all. Chapter, 713 Boom! The doll's eyes became colder and colder, and suddenly a huge steel tentacle stretched out. Snap! The next second, the tentacles easily wrapped around Jing Mu's wrist and dragged him over. Holy crap! What the hell is this thing? Jing Mu wanted to cry but had no tears. He originally thought he had made a lot of money this time. Unexpectedly, we encountered a prehistoric technological creation. The power of this thing is probably comparable to that of a powerful god. Even stronger. Zheng Mu swallowed hard, his face turned pale. Such a mechanical doll is enough to destroy the world. What to do? Could it be that I have to confess here today? I'm not willing to give in. Zheng Mu's eyes were red, and his heart was roaring. Holy shit! Is this bitch really serious? It's not a joke. If this is really dead, won't it become a historical term? Thinking of this, Zheng Mu couldn't help but feel his scalp numb. He doesn't want to be buried with history. Click. However, before Zheng Mu could think too much, a strange sound came from the sun array. I saw that mechanical creation slowly shrinking its limbs and turning into a black armor. Whoosh. The next moment, the battle armor suddenly rushed in and knocked Zheng Mu to the ground. Poof! Zheng Mu's throat felt sweet and he opened his mouth to spit out blood. His sternum was violently shaken, four or five ribs were broken, and he was seriously injured and on the verge of death. I wipe. This mechanical creation can actually heal injuries. What the hell kind of monster is this? Zheng Mu was filled with shock, completely. At this moment, he had only one thought in his heart. I'm not convinced. This kind of program thing is impossible to kill. What the hell is this girl doing? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, forced himself up, turned around and ran as fast as he could in the direction he came from. However, the huge mechanical doll also stood up at this moment. Wow! Its feet stepped on the ground, causing bursts of deafening explosions. It's like thunder exploding. This mechanical doll has all kinds of gun barrels all over its body. In its palm, it holds a thick spear. The next moment, the robot launched a brazen attack. A sharp spear pierced the air like lightning, arriving in an instant. Not good. Zero please give me flowers. At the critical moment, Zheng Mu suddenly ducked sideways. Boom. The spear instantly penetrated the solid wall, leaving a deep dent. Click click click. Zheng Mu looked at the doll with lingering fear. At this moment, the doll is lowering its head, its eyes are glowing red, and it is constantly scanning the surroundings. As if looking for prey. Damn it, is this thing really intelligent? Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes slightly and stared at the doll in front of him. At that moment, he clearly felt that this robot had the ability to think independently. What on earth is this thing? Zheng Mu frowned, and doubt flashed in his eyes. His. 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 At this moment, the mechanical doll suddenly raised its head and howled. The sharp neighing sound instantly pierced the silent night sky, causing nearby birds and beasts to flee in fright. Buzz. One after another, small armed fighter planes roared in from a distance. These small fighter planes are equipped with rockets and machine guns. Once it fires, it will definitely be earth shattering. Oops. The speed of the robot is too fast, we can't escape at all. What should I do? This doll won't shoot me into a sieve, will it? Chapter, 714 Seeing the fighter jet group getting closer and closer, Zheng Mu was completely panicked. No. We must find a way to stop it. I don't want to die yet, and I definitely can't sit still and wait to die. 
Zheng Mu screamed crazily in his heart, staring at the puppet in the distance. At this moment, a picture emerged in Zheng Mu's mind. He was cut in half by a mechanical doll, and the remaining body was sent to the laboratory and eventually turned into a pile of garbage. Thinking of this scene, 040 Zheng Mu suddenly felt excited. No. We can't sit still and wait for death. I must find a way to escape, even if it costs my life. After a brief daze, Zheng Mu forced himself to calm down. Although the mechanical doll in front of me is extremely weird, it is still just a handicraft. Perhaps. As long as these mechanical parts are destroyed, the mechanical doll will no longer be able to move. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu immediately controlled the dagger and began to disassemble the parts of the mechanical doll. Soon, a mechanical arm was disassembled, revealing the internal metal structure. However, what is disappointing is that Mu did not see any clues. There is nothing on this thing except parts and a body. Did I make a mistake? This is not a doll, but a kind of mechanical core. Looking at the various parts scattered around, Zheng Mu murmured to himself. Rumble. However, at this moment, the mechanical doll took steps again and walked directly towards Mu. I told you not to bother me. Zheng Mu was furious, raised his leg and kicked him hard. However, he missed. The mechanical doll was like a ghost, easily dodging Mu's attack. Damn it! I don't believe there are no weaknesses in this world. Since it can use thermal weapons, it must have weaknesses. Zheng Mu's eyes were scarlet, and he advanced instead of retreating. He suddenly waved the dagger and stabbed the waist and abdomen of the mechanical doll. Clang! The dagger hit the mechanical doll and splashed with dazzling sparks. Holy shit! Is this thing made of metal? Zheng Mu was so frightened that he quickly pulled away and retreated. This mechanical doll is like wearing a layer of diamond armor. Roar! Suddenly, bursts of violent roars reached my ears. The next moment, the mechanical puppet suddenly raised its spear and stabbed Zheng Mu hard. Call out! The spear breaks through the air and is unstoppable. In an instant, Zheng Mu's pupils shrank. This time, he had no time to dodge. Boom! The spear pierced Zheng Mu's chest, bringing up a pool of bright red blood. Ah, uh, I'm so stupid. Not quite dead yet. What what's going on? Feeling the severe pain spreading to his limbs and bones, Zheng Mu turned pale and struggled to open his eyes. The scene that caught his eye almost made Zheng Mu almost pee with fear. I saw the mechanical doll holding a gun in its right arm and a fist in its left arm, and it was about to be nailed to the rock wall. Ho ho ho! This mechanical doll actually stuck out its tongue and licked the corners of its mouth, as if it was chewing something. Gulyalu! Then, Jing Mu saw an extremely terrifying scene. I saw that the puppet's tongue was like a one five inch snake core, constantly swallowing a drop of blood from the rock wall. Zheng Mu was nailed to the rock wall and could not break free. Sizzle. In an instant, wisps of hot, high-temperature steam burst out from the doll. The entire area is filled with a faint blood mist. The figure of the puppet slowly condensed and took shape, turning into a human figure. Chapter, 715. Not only that, this doll still maintains its original posture, and even its expression has not changed just like a wood carving in clay sculpture. Whoosh! The next moment, the doll slowly turned its neck and looked at Jing Mu with its cold eyes. You who are you? At this moment, Jing Mu was completely confused. The scene in front of him made Jing Mu fall into a daze. At this time, the doll had regained consciousness, and its eyes were filled with bloodthirsty red light. Ouch! The next moment, the doll suddenly opened its mouth and bit Zheng Mu's throat. Zheng Mu felt like he was dead, and with all his last strength, he suddenly stabbed the dagger in his hand into the body of the Zero Two doll. Poof! Zheng Mu's knife stabbed directly into the chest of the doll, causing blood to spurt out. Hey! He is indeed a living target. Zheng Mu's face was extremely gloomy, and he immediately seized the opportunity and quickly retreated. This mechanical doll can only be destroyed by external force, but it cannot be shaken by brute force. 
Jing Mu finally reacted at this time and guessed the truth instantly. However, even so, Jing Mu still did not dare to try to resist rashly. After all, his physical strength has been exhausted and he is extremely weak at the moment. If you touch the doll even a little bit, it will probably be smashed on the spot. We can't fight this guy hard, we can only delay time. Wait for reinforcements to arrive. My reinforcements will definitely take care of this guy. Zheng Mu prayed secretly in his heart, and at the same time kept rushing towards the depths of the dense forest. It's a pity that no matter which direction Zheng Mu moves, this mechanical doll will follow him like a shadow, chasing Zheng Mu. Moreover, Zheng Mu would be beaten until he vomited blood and fell to the ground every time. Along the way, Zheng Mu's body was covered with scars and he had become extremely embarrassed. Hee <laughs> hee. You can't hold on any longer so soon. It seems that you are no good. In this case, there is no point in keeping you. The mechanical doll stood on the top of the cliff, overlooking Zheng Mu running awkwardly in the valley, with a playful smile on his lips. The next second, the doll slowly turned around and was about to rush towards Zheng Mu. Bang bang bang. At this moment, heavy sniper bullets suddenly burst out and shot directly towards the mechanical doll. More than 30 rounds of bullets, almost blocking all escape routes, were fired towards the mechanical doll. Although this mechanical doll is fast, it cannot completely avoid bullet attacks. A bullet grazed the mechanical doll's shoulder and exploded into a brilliant firework in an instant. Roar! The next second, the puppet suddenly shouted angrily. Click. 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 In an instant, the mechanical doll's back was covered with cracks, and countless steel fragments were flying. Ha ha ha. Your special code will run again. Come. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu suddenly smiled and stared at the 41 puppet with a sarcastic face. At this moment, the metal fragments on the doll's body were getting fewer and fewer, and finally its true colors were revealed. It was a steel puppet made entirely of silver metal and glowing with cold light. This doll is indeed the previous steel colossus, a creation of the gods. However, the difference from before is that now the eyes of this doll have turned scarlet. Seeing this scene, the hair on Zheng Mu's body stood up. This humanoid steel giant has obviously turned into a killing machine. Hiss. The next moment, Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. I saw this humanoid steel giant suddenly swooping forward and instantly throwing Zheng Mu to the ground. Chapter, 716 Immediately afterwards, two thick arms, like steel hoops, tightly locked Zheng Mu's neck and pushed Zheng Mu to the ground. Click. The humanoid steel giant closed its palms and pressed Zheng Mu tightly. Let go. Get out of my way. Zheng Mu was terrified and struggled wildly, but to no avail. Accompanied by bursts of machine spring trembling sounds, the doll's arms slowly closed. Click, click, click. The next moment, those two rows of sharp blades instantly slashed across the wrists, thighs, calves and other parts of the Zheng Mu mecha. Zheng Mu screamed in agony, her face turned pale in pain. Another two rows of sharp blades passed through, cutting off the tendons and bones of both feet. The next moment, the doll threw Zheng Mu to the ground, then walked to a stone pier and sat down. Ho 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 underscore w. The puppet made a low cry, seeming to be adjusting its breath. Zheng Mu's face was ferocious and twisted, and his eyes were staring at the puppet in the distance with hatred. Cough 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 underscore. Zheng Mu was lying on the ground, covering his legs and arms, coughing violently. He wanted to force himself to get up and escape, but he couldn't muster any strength. T.I.J. We must escape quickly while that mechanical monster is resting. As long as I leave here, no matter how powerful this monster is, it can't do anything to me. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and thought rapidly in his mind. Whoosh! At this moment, Zheng Mu suddenly heard a scream of wind. Um. When Zheng Mu heard this, he turned around to look, but his pupils suddenly tightened. A sniper bullet was speeding towards him at a speed invisible to the naked eye. The trajectory of this bullet is extremely subtle. Like a sharp sword, carrying frightening pressure. 
Not good. Zheng Mu's expression changed drastically, and his heart rate soared to the highest level. He knew that the target of this sniper bullet was his heart. Does God have to let me die like this? Deep sadness and unwillingness flashed through Zheng Mu's heart. Boom! The next moment, gunfire rang out. That bullet, carrying an unstoppable momentum, instantly penetrated Jing Mu's chest. Ah! Jing Mu let out an extremely shrill howl, as if he was suffering the most painful torture in the world. The piercing pain made Jing Mu wish to die immediately. However, he did not die immediately because the mechanical doll had noticed the abnormality. Wow! The next moment, the mechanical doll turned around and reached out to grab the bullet. Immediately afterwards, the mechanical doll clenched its right hand into a fist and blasted out instantly. Boom! A dull violent roar sounded, and the whole cave was filled with air. The owner of the sniper bullet, whose limbs were shattered by the punch, fell to the ground, his life or death unknown. Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he was horrified. Isn't this too damn strong? Zheng Mu couldn't believe what he saw in front of him. The strength of this Li Qian's mechanical doll is a bit too incredible. A humanoid armor alone could easily crush him. But the thermal weapon that he had worked so hard to obtain had no effect on him. Are you really destined to die here tonight? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, his heart filled with strong unwillingness and anger. Not enough far from enough. I can't die yet. Not only can I not die, I also want to kill you bastards. Chapter, 717 Let you pay for what you did tonight. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and cursed angrily. And at this moment, the puppet in the distance suddenly raised its head, and its scarlet eyes instantly looked here. Whoosh! The next moment, the humanoid mechanical doll took steps and slowly approached Zheng Mu. Seeing this scene, I often looked extremely panicked. If he is found by this mechanical doll, he will definitely die. But unfortunately, Zheng Mu doesn't even have the strength to get up now. Zheng Mu used all his strength to turn over and threw out the remaining gunpowder packet in his hand. Boom! The gunpowder package exploded in mid-air, sending up a cloud of black smoke, which alerted the puppet. We can't waste any more bullets. Damn it! It's such a disgrace that this kind of waste product is equipped with thermal weapons. The puppet snorted coldly and immediately stepped back. Phew! Phew! Zheng Mu gasped desperately, a trace of madness flashed in his eyes. Want to leave? No way! How can I feel at ease until you die? If that's the case, then don't live anymore. Bury with me! Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, and then took out a few black beads from his waistband. Phew! 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 The next second, Zheng Mu directly lit these black beads, and then quickly threw them out. The next moment, these black beads exploded in the air. In an instant, the originally dark place burst into flames all over the sky. There are even grenades. The mechanical doll in the distance roared violently, with infinite anger in its tone. The next moment, the humanoid mechanical doll stepped forward, trying to stop the fire from spreading. Ha ha ha! Come on! These bombs are very powerful, enough to blow you to pieces. Come! Keep chasing me! I'll blow you up first, you bastard, and then I'll die with those three sons of bitches! Zheng Mu roared wildly, as if he was crazy, and his whole body fell into madness. At this moment, his consciousness has long been lost. He only knows what he wants to do. I have to pull that mechanical doll and die with him. Aced, boom. As soon as he finished speaking, those sparks spread faster and faster. The mechanical doll in the distance suddenly stopped and waved its arms to resist, trying to disperse the flames. Rumble. In the forest, there was a roaring and trembling sound. A large-scale explosion of this magnitude would probably level even a small hill to the ground. The mechanical doll that was very close to the source of the explosion would definitely be torn into pieces in an instant. This thought couldn't help but appear in Jing Mu's mind. On the other side, although the mechanical doll tried its best to resist, it was not a real person after all. 
In the fire, it was quickly scorched and made a crackling sound. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, was still lying on the ground with a dazed look on his face, completely unresponsive. Du died. Finally dead. Zheng Mu's mouth was dry and he muttered to himself. However, the next moment. Suddenly, an icy cold voice slowly floated into Zheng Mu's ears. Ant, are you not ready to surrender? This is the voice of a mechanical doll. You are not dead. Zheng Mu suffered a cardiac arrest and was so frightened that he lost his mind. At this moment, a few faint lights suddenly appeared on the chest of the mechanical doll. Hiss. Seeing this scene clearly, Zhang's heart skipped a beat. Chapter 718 You are a resurrection mecca. Zheng Mu's pupils contracted, his face full of disbelief. This mechanical doll actually has a mecca as armor. Moreover, it is steel armor made of special materials and has strong defensive power. All this illustrates a problem. The mechanical doll in front of you is definitely not made by ordinary humans. Oh, Ant, you really have some knowledge. My mecha is made of special alloy. Ordinary rocket launchers can't do anything to me. Now, kneel down and beg for mercy. Maybe I can spare your life. The mechanical doll sneered, and the tone was extremely sinister. Bah! You little cobbler, you actually tried to make me bow to you and take risks. You're fucking dreaming. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, with a look of disdain on the corner of his mouth. A mere mechanical doll actually dares to make Zheng Mu bow his head. Huh, you are so stubborn. In that case, don't blame me for being ruthless. I want to see how long you, a despicable ant, can hold on. The humanoid mechanical doll said no more, directly raised its huge mechanical palm and patted Zheng Mu. Roll! Zheng Mu shouted loudly, then struggled to his feet and ran outside. He can't die. Zheng Mu knew very well that he must not die. It's a pity that although his strength has returned to 30% of its peak. But facing the humanoid mechanical doll in front of him, he still looked very weak. Boom! After only holding on for a few seconds, he was punched away. Poof! Blood spurted out wildly, dyeing half of the sky red. Cough, 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 cough. Lying in the grass, Zheng Mu coughed repeatedly. Ha 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 ha. Trash, why do you want to fight me? You really overestimate your capabilities. The mechanical doll stepped forward and looked down at Zheng Mu. It's like looking at an ant. I will kill you today to see what you can do to me. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and stood up, staring at the humanoid mechanical doll with cold eyes. He did not choose to escape because he knew very well that he could not be the opponent of the mechanical doll. Resistance is meaningless. Rather than suffer the tragic end of being tortured to death, it would be better to die calmly and have a good fight. Zero please give me flowers. Hearing Zheng Mu's words, the mechanical puppet became furious and rushed forward in an instant, waving its fist suddenly and causing a strong wind. Bang! This time, Zheng Mu didn't dodge. A head-on confrontation, directly with the humanoid robot doll. Click. The crisp sound of broken bones suddenly came from the place where the two collided. Immediately afterwards, a figure flew out and hit the ground heavily. Ahem. Zheng Mu's arms were drooped and he was covered in blood. He was lying on the ground, panting violently. In the confrontation just now, he almost had all his joints shattered by one move from the mechanical doll. Even if you are lucky enough to survive in the end, I'm afraid it will be completely destroyed. Your bones have been broken and your internal organs have been severely damaged. I advise you to give up your resistance and surrender. Otherwise, you will definitely die miserably. The humanoid robot squatted down, reached out to pinch Zheng Mu's cheek, and made a joking sound. You're dreaming. Zheng Mu's eyes were stubborn and he gritted his teeth and roared. Oh, if you don't eat the toast, you will be punished with a drink. In this case, then just wait quietly for death. I hope you can save some dignity when the time comes. Chapter 719 The mechanical doll sneered and then stood up slowly. Whoosh! A silver-white mechanical arm suddenly appeared next to it. 
On the mechanical arm, various weapons emit light, which is heart-stopping. You. What is this? Zheng Mu was horrified, eyes widened, staring at the mechanical doll in front of him. He never expected that the mechanical doll could actually control robots and even possess weapons. At the moment of 337, Zheng Mu felt a surge of regret in his heart. If he had known that the mechanical doll had intelligence, he would not have dared to act rashly. Huh, this is called an electromagnetic gun, which is specially used to destroy mechanical parts. This body of yours probably can't withstand three shots from it. The humanoid mechanical doll smiled indifferently, and then slowly pulled the trigger. A long needle glowing with blue electric arc shot out instantly and hit Jing Mu's chest. It's over. Feeling the terrifying power contained in the long needle, Jing Mu suddenly felt like he was dying. This level of attack was simply not something Jing Mu could stop. Pfft. The long needle penetrated Jing Mu's chest and pinned him to the ground. Huchi Huchi. Jing Mu was panting heavily, and his whole body was extremely exhausted, as if he had been fished out of the water. He knew that he was not far from death. However, in the next second, a sudden change occurred. The long needle did not penetrate Jing Mu, but hovered about 10 centimeters away from his neck. As if being pulled by some inexplicable force, he never made any progress. Um. Seeing this, the humanoid robot frowned slightly. It originally thought that this level of attack would be enough to kill Zheng Mu. Who would have thought that something went wrong? Just as the humanoid mechanical doll was confused, a trembling buzzing sound suddenly sounded in his ears. Immediately afterwards, a terrifying aura as vast as the sea instantly filled the humanoid robot's body. Why do you give me such a sense of oppression? The humanoid robot doll's eyes widened, revealing a hint of deep fear. At this moment, he only felt an extremely huge aura, locking him firmly. This breath is like the weight of Mount Tai, extremely suffocating. It was as if there was a towering mountain pressing on its head. Damn it! What happened? How could such terrifying power suddenly erupt? The humanoid mechanical doll did not dare to neglect, and quickly changed direction, trying to avoid the terrifying aura. However, the next moment, an even bigger aura suddenly hit his face. This aura is so powerful that it goes beyond its unimaginable scope. Boom! It was as if a meteorite fell and hit the humanoid mechanical doll hard on the back. In an instant, the mechanical doll fell directly into paralysis, and its entire body stood frozen in place, motionless. This what exactly happened? Is there some kind of terrifying existence, hiding and spying in the dark? The humanoid mechanical doll's pupils shrank, and its eyes were full of fear. The aura just now made it unable to muster any courage at all. Click zero, one. Click. Click. Immediately afterwards, the six steel rings at the ankles of the humanoid robot suddenly glowed with a dazzling metallic luster. Immediately, these metal rings quickly straightened and turned into sharp daggers, stabbing hard at the spine of the humanoid mechanical doll. Puff. 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 In the blink of an eye, all these daggers penetrated the humanoid mechanical doll's spine, causing it to lose its ability to move and no longer able to harm Zheng Mu. Chapter 720. Huhuchi. Zheng Mu sat on the edge of the wall, breathing heavily. First he was kicked by that man, and now he was sneak attacked by this humanoid robot doll. Zheng Mu felt his chest was tight and his throat seemed to be burning with fire. Who are you? Did you deliberately lure me here? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, stared at the humanoid mechanical doll, and asked in a difficult tone. Snort. The humanoid mechanical doll snorted coldly, without explaining much. You humans are always so stupid. Your so-called secret base is just like a gathering place for garbage. If I want to kill you, it will be easy. I won't need anyone's help at all. After the words fell, the humanoid mechanical doll raised its legs again and stepped towards Xing Mu. Bang! 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 Amidst the dull explosion, the soil beneath Xing Mu collapsed, splattering mud debris all over the sky, making him miserable. Fuck you! Zheng Mu cursed angrily and struggled desperately. 
but his limbs have been restrained by the high-tech materials of the mechanical doll, and it is very difficult to break free. Do you really think there's nothing I can do against you? Since you won't tell me your name, I don't want to bother with you anymore. Anyway, I'm going to die soon. Even if you kill me, what's the point? A sneer appeared at the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth. As soon as he finished speaking, he suddenly opened his mouth and spit out towards the humanoid robot doll. Poof! A spray of viscous substance directly covered the humanoid mechanical doll. Ah! What did you do? The humanoid mechanical doll roared crazily and seemed to be in endless danger. Hey, I'm sorry, my saliva is highly toxic and is designed to corrode metal. Zheng Mu's face was pale, with a ferocious smile on his face, although I can't beat you, I can still stain your clothes. Hearing Zheng Mu's words, the humanoid mechanical doll became furious instantly. I'm going to kill you, kill you. The humanoid robot went on a rampage, punching and kicking Zheng Mu. Damn it! Come on, hit me! Zheng Mu resisted for a few times, but his face was still full of defiance, refusing to bow his head or surrender. This humanoid mechanical doll is obviously more terrifying than Zheng Mu. Unfortunately, its body was destroyed by Zheng Mu and its combat effectiveness was drastically reduced. In addition, Zheng Mu used deception to take advantage of it and severely damaged it, causing its combat effectiveness to plummet. Although Zheng Mu is defeated, it will take a lot of effort for the humanoid robot to kill him. The two were in a stalemate for a while, and the momentum of the humanoid robot gradually weakened, and eventually it no longer reached its peak. Zheng Mu's eyes were darting around, waiting for an opportunity to escape. But at this moment, the mechanical doll suddenly pulled down the cover of the black box. 750 you what did you do? Grandma, please close the lid quickly. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu was instantly dumbfounded. Because inside the black box, there was a huge red nuclear bomb placed. Zheng Mu's heart skipped a beat, and he was so frightened that his whole body trembled. Zheng Mu knew very well how terrifying this kind of thing was. If the humanoid robot presses the fuse, a devastating disaster will definitely occur. Hey hey. Boy, you guessed it right. This is what you call a nuclear arsenal. Ha 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 you will die today. The humanoid mechanical doll looked up to the sky and laughed, then slowly pressed the red button with his finger. Chapter, 721 Zheng Mu's face was ashen and completely despairing. No matter how powerful he is, how can he avoid this nuclear weapon? Boom! At this moment, the humanoid mechanical doll's smile suddenly stopped. He was horrified to find that the electronic armor on his arm had a crack. Not good. The next moment, the humanoid robot felt a heartbreaking pain coming from his shoulder, and he quickly released the button. However, at this moment, Zheng Mu seized the opportunity and rushed out of the room. Whoosh! With the help of the explosive power of the nuclear bomb, Zheng Mu jumped out of the eaves and knocked away the old wooden door. Boom! In an instant, the nuclear bomb exploded, sending up smoke, dust and debris all over the sky. At the same time, a strong smell of gunpowder smoke filled the air. Zheng Mu's ears, nostrils, eye sockets, tongue, ears and other organs were all severely burned. Ahem! Zheng Mu couldn't help coughing, and blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. However, Zheng Mu didn't bother to wipe it. At this moment, his eyes were extremely red and his expression was extremely cold. You bitch, how dare you hurt me! I will make your death miserable and your bones shattered into ashes. Zheng Mu took a deep breath to dispel the numbness and pain all over his body, and then stepped forward. On the ground not far away, there is the remains of a humanoid mechanical doll. I will kill you with my own hands and let you be burned to death by fire. Zheng Mu cursed fiercely, then reached out to fumble, found a remote control button, and pressed it directly. Not long after, bursts of roaring sounds were heard in the distance. A glimmer of hope rose in Zheng Mu's heart. Maybe the mechanical doll had been blown up. As long as that guy dies, he will be safe. Zheng Mu endured the severe pain and dragged his scarred body towards the direction of the explosion. Um. Suddenly, Zheng Mu stopped and frowned slightly. 
Hiss. Hiss, hiss. At this moment, a sudden change occurred. The originally silent and dark night sky suddenly lit up with bright stars. Moreover, these twinkling stars all rushed towards Zheng Mu and instantly enveloped his whole body. What the hell? Zheng Mu was stunned on the spot, his head full of confusion. He has no idea what happened. Kakaka. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu suddenly felt that every muscle in his body was rapidly expanding at a speed visible to the naked eye. In just a few seconds, he turned into a super strong man more than three meters tall, with a body as strong as a bronze man made of steel. In fact, a thick layer of blue veins can be vaguely seen on Zheng Mu's neck. His arms were also nearly twice as thick. What is this? This is incredible. At this moment, Zheng Mu's pupils were widened, his eyeballs were instantly bloodshot, and he fell into a state of madness. He knew Ah Qianhao, could feel that this body was full of unspeakable terrifying explosive power. The blood of the gods actually merged with him as a fox. Roar. The next second, a thundering roar came. Zheng Mu suddenly woke up and looked down, only to see that the mechanical doll that had been smashed by his punch stood up again. Fuck me. Zheng Mu was so frightened that he turned around and ran away. However, the movements of this mechanical doll are actually much more sensitive than before. Chapter, 722 He grabbed Zheng Mu's waist and abdomen and pulled hard. Plop! Zheng Mu suddenly fell to the ground. Damn it! Zheng Mu cursed secretly and quickly broke away from the shackles of the mechanical doll. His reaction speed is simply incredible. Boom! However, before he could fight back, the mechanical doll pounced on him again and strangled his neck. Then, he ripped off the button on his chest. Fuck you! This time, Jin Mu was really panicked, couldn't help but cursed angrily, and then struggled desperately. It's a pity that these mechanical dolls seem to have endless 413 power. No matter how hard he struggles, there is nothing he can do. Crack! A sharp dagger was instantly pulled out and placed on Zheng Mu's neck. I advise you to cooperate obediently, otherwise, I will kill you. The cold and ruthless mechanical sound sounded, sending chills all over the body. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and had no choice but to agree. Ha, huh, I guess you know the truth. Drink these potions first. The humanoid mechanical doll threw a bottle of potion to Zheng Mu with a cold tone. What the hell is this? Zheng Mu raised his head and glanced, feeling slightly surprised. This is a blue potion with a faint fishy odor, and it doesn't look like an ordinary nutrient solution. I'm warning you not to play tricks, otherwise. I promise, I will torture you until life is worse than death. The humanoid mechanical doll snorted coldly, then picked up another cup of potion and handed it to Mu. What other tricks can you use for your special code? Zheng Mu snorted coldly, picked up the bowl of potion and drank it down without saying a word. Although he didn't understand the use of this thing, Zheng Mu had no choice but to do what he did. Buzz! Just as Zheng Mu swallowed the potion, a strange sound suddenly came from around him. Whoa! 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 I saw streaks of faint green light suddenly lighting up around Zheng Mu, surrounding Zheng Mu. Immediately afterwards, the surrounding grass began to sway, as if countless poisonous snakes were wandering quickly. Countless rays of green light instantly condensed around Zheng Mu, enveloping him. Zira. In an instant, countless vines appeared out of thin air and wrapped around Zheng Mu's body. Immediately afterwards, dense spider web like substances crazily penetrated into Zheng Mu's skin. Almost in the blink of an eye, Zheng Mu was invaded by countless insect eggs, causing his entire body to glow green. Zheng Mu's face turned pale, and his heart was filled with fear. He wanted to struggle hard, but he was horrified to find that these vines were extremely tough. No matter how hard he tried, they would not move at all. Impossible, what the hell is this? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he twisted his body desperately. Unfortunately, no matter how hard he struggled, it was of no avail. Huchi Huchi. You, what do you want to do let me go what do you want to do to me? Zheng Mu struggled desperately, but couldn't escape at all. 
This strange change caused Cheng Mu to completely collapse. In front of his eyes, there seemed to be countless venomous snakes, their teeth and claws snarling ferociously, as if they were trying to tear apart his own flesh and blood. That aura of despair swept over him instantly, almost suffocating Cheng Mu to death. Save me. Please save me. Chapter 723 At this moment, Zheng Mu finally couldn't bear it anymore and shouted hysterically. Ha, huh, do you know you're afraid now? What were you doing so early? Hearing Zheng Mu's wailing, the mechanical doll slowly walked up to him. Then, the robot suddenly clenched its fist and hit Zheng Mu hard on the calf. Bang! There was a crisp sound, like metal hitting the floor, making a harsh noise. Zheng Mu's entire left calf dented instantly and was obviously broken. Ouch! This kind of heartbreaking pain made Zheng Mu couldn't help but cry out, and beads of sweat suddenly appeared on his forehead. This. There was deep fear and confusion on Zheng Mu's face, as if he didn't understand why these mechanical dolls would attack him. I'm asking you, what's your name? The mechanical doll sneered, and then asked in a deep voice, Remember, I don't like nonsense. Zheng Mu was startled when he heard the words, and then slowly uttered two words, Zheng Mu. Very good. Now, I ask a question and you answer. If you dare to cheat in the slightest, I will pierce your heart with thousands of arrows and die without a burial place. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, slowly closed his eyes, and forced down the fear in his heart. Good. Zheng Mu sighed softly, then slowly opened his eyes and stared at the humanoid mechanical doll in front of him. Where exactly is this place? Zheng Mu slowly sat up straight, wiped the cold sweat from his forehead, frowned and leaned his head forward to look at it. I don't know either. We are demons who came to this world from hell. The humanoid mechanical doll chuckled strangely, with a sinister arc at the corner of its mouth. What? Hell. Hearing these two words, Zheng Mu's eyes widened instantly. That's right. From today on, you will live with us. I want you to witness with your own eyes how this world is destroyed, ha ha ha. This world is dirty, dark, and chaotic. This is a doomsday catastrophe. This land left by the gods must change its owner. The humanoid mechanical doll looked up to the sky and howled, its voice containing an expression of extreme excitement. What the hell is this place? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and his heart beat faster. He could feel that there was a very dangerous aura on this robot. Zero please give me flowers. Even through the thick armor, Zheng Mu felt uncomfortable all over, and even his soul was trembling. You don't need to know too much, because you are going to die here soon. The humanoid robot doll smiled strangely, then stretched its right arm and went straight to grab Zheng Mu's chest. Whoosh! In the light of the calcium carbide fire, Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly widened, his pupils shrank suddenly, and his heartbeat almost reached his throat. Bang! Bang! Click! Along with an ear-shattering explosion, the right hand of the mechanical doll struck Zheng Mu hard on the chest. Boom! There was a huge muffled sound that made people's scalp numb. Kakaka! At the same time, countless spider web-like things crazily poured into Zheng Mu's body. In less than a second, Zheng Mu's entire body was instantly covered with countless insect eggs. Roar! Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly widened, his eyes flashing with scarlet luster, as if full of violence. The next second, Zheng Mu suddenly stood up and punched out, straight towards the mechanical doll. Chapter 724 Boom! There was an explosion, and the mechanical doll was caught off guard and received an iron fist from Zheng Mu. Crack, click, click. In an instant, the right arm of the mechanical doll was broken into several parts. Damn it! How can you break through the shackles? A trace of surprise flashed across the face of the mechanical doll, and the eyes looking at Zheng Mu were filled with disbelief. I don't want to kill people but you forced me to 707. Zheng Mu's voice was hoarse and low, and his tone was full of murderous intent. Boom! After saying this, Zheng Mu suddenly raised his right leg, swept it out like a steel whip, and kicked directly on the belly of the mechanical doll. Boom, bang, bang. 
accompanied by a sound of bone cracking and mechanical shattering, the humanoid mechanical doll flew out and hit the wall hard. The armor of this humanoid mechanical doll is enough to withstand the bombardment of ordinary thermal weapons. But at this moment, its body, which was as strong as titanium alloy steel, shattered directly under Zheng Mu's kick and fell to pieces. Pfft. The humanoid mechanical doll was about to get up, but Zheng Mu grabbed his neck again. Zheng Mu's eyes were red, his expression was crazy, and he was holding the mechanical doll's neck tightly. Cough 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 go to hell. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and stuck the mechanical doll's neck tightly. The muscles in his arms were bulging, and his veins were exposed, squirming like an earthworm, exuding a terrifying power. You wanna die. The humanoid mechanical doll struggled to say the last three words and then became silent again. He never thought that this young boy would possess such terrifying power. You trash, you dare to kill my kind, go to hell. Suddenly, there was an angry shout from all around, and a cold light struck like lightning, striking at Jing Mu's head. Clang! The next second, the cold light hit the helmet on Jing Mu's head, making a sound of golden swords clashing. WTF! Jing Mu narrowed his eyes, picked up a military dagger on the ground, and threw it back. Call out! The sharp sound of breaking through the air suddenly sounded, and the speed of the dagger surged to the extreme, and it arrived in front of the black shadow in the blink of an eye. Jingle bell clang clang. The black shadow suddenly waved its wrist and directly blocked the general's dagger. Um. Seeing this, Jing Mu was stunned. He could feel that although the material of this military dagger was far inferior to steel, it was still extremely sharp. As a result, at this moment, the black shadow was intercepted by the physical palm alone. And it looks effortless. This is really unbelievable. This guy is weird. He's definitely not a normal person. Hiss. Doubts arose in Zheng Mu's heart, and then he suddenly twitched his body and tried his best to turn around, trying to avoid the attack of the black shadow. However, even if Zheng Mu tried his best, he still couldn't avoid it. Ah. An inexplicable panic suddenly appeared in Zheng Mu's heart, and then he howled instinctively. Blood spattered and Zheng Mu's lower abdomen was directly penetrated. The divine messenger suddenly stepped out, instantly closing the distance with Zheng Mu, and punched Zheng Mu directly in the head. Wrong. You are not a normal person. Seeing that his assassination attempt had failed, the messenger of the gods immediately snorted coldly, suddenly closed his fist and prepared to run away. Chapter, 725 However, before he could take a step, he felt a heartbreaking pain in his back. Pook. Immediately afterwards, the divine messenger made a muffled sound in his throat, and then suddenly fell to his knees. Bang! His knees hit the concrete floor hard, making a crisp sound. The shoulders of the divine messenger were pinned to the ground by Zheng Mu. No matter how hard the man struggled, it was of no avail. Huh, where else do you want to go? Zheng Mu grinned, with a trace of bright red blood on his lips. Looking at Zheng Mu's appearance, the divine messenger's eyes were full of panic. Gulu Gulu. The messenger of the god swallowed hard, his eyes filled with fear. You what kind of monster are you? How could you break free from the seal? Hearing the words of the divine messenger, Zheng Mu slowly released his palm, then took out a medicine bottle from his pocket, pulled out the stopper and poured it directly into his mouth. Call. After doing all this, Ba slowly exhaled a breath. The next second, a thick green mist instantly filled the entire room. The strong fragrance of grass and trees made the spirit messenger of the gods relax a little, so that he would not be as scared as before. Hey 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 ha ha ha. Suddenly, the corners of Zheng Mu's mouth raised with a strange smile, and he slowly approached the messenger of the gods. I'm telling you, I'm a monster. Not only that, I'm a devil. I'm going to eat your genes to make me stronger. Let my power reach a realm beyond human beings. As soon as the words fell, Zheng Mu suddenly clenched his fist and punched out with great force. Crack. There was a sound of bone breaking, and the neck of the divine messenger was instantly broken. Well. A sharp pain swept through the whole body, causing the messenger of the gods to take a breath. 
But at this moment, Zheng Mu grabbed the arm of the corpse. Click, click, click. The next second, Zheng Mu actually tore off the left arm of the mechanized mechanical doll. Buzz buzz. In an instant, the mechanized arm was shaking wildly, as if it had lost control, and a burst of alarm sound was erupting. Zheng Mu suddenly swung out his other arm and thrust it hard into the chest of the mechanical doll. Boom! This time, the entire heart of the mechanical doll was penetrated by Zheng Mu. Even the silver sword held in the mechanical palm was taken away by Zheng Mu. Tick tock tick tock. Blood flowed down the mechanical arm and gathered into a pool of dark red blood on the ground. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to eat you. Zheng Mu's eyes were scarlet, like a wild beast, and his whole body was trembling and roaring. Whoosh. The next second, Zheng Mu took out a button without saying anything. The button exploded and ejected instantly. I saw that the silver white button was made of special materials and contained a special crystal. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, crushes the crystal into pieces, detonates all the powerful energy contained in it, and integrates it into Mu's body. Kakaka. With the influx of energy, Zheng Mu's muscles seem to be rapidly expanding. Plop. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu's eyes turned red and he fell to the ground on his back. Whoosh! Chapter, 726 But at this moment, Zheng Mu, who was supposed to be unconscious, suddenly opened his eyes, his pupils filled with bloodshot eyes. His eyes were filled with bloodlust and violence, as if he was completely in a state of madness. And the black armor next to him was even brighter with fluorescent lights. Whoosh! A ray of blue light instantly shot out from the armor. Immediately afterwards, two more blue rays of light flew out from Zheng Mu's body. Boom! Seven rays of faint blue light bloomed in an instant. And the moment those seven blue rays of light appeared, they expanded rapidly. In a matter of seconds, it had spread throughout the room. What is this? Seeing the overwhelming blue light sweeping across the sky, the messenger of the gods widened his eyes and his face was full of shock. He wanted to escape, but he was suppressed by Zheng Mu and couldn't move at all. Not good. This is the signal band of the alien species. Run away quickly or you will be in trouble. The messenger of the gods woke up instantly, shouted suddenly, and then ran away desperately. Zheng Mu had already fallen into madness at this time, and even when he heard the prompts from the messengers of the gods, he remained indifferent. The only thought left in his mind now is to tear the messenger of the gods into pieces alive. Ho la la. Boo hoo. The dense blue light seemed to possess spirituality, chasing the messenger of the gods at an extremely fast speed. Damn it, how could this happen? The spirit messenger's mood was about to collapse. What on earth is it? The eyes of the divine messenger were about to burst, and his face was distorted to the extreme. He was obviously greatly frightened. Although Zheng Mu is no longer conscious, the coercion exuding from his body is getting stronger and stronger. Soon, the messenger of the gods was forced into a corner. Out on a limb. Are you really going to die here today? The divine messenger gritted his teeth and cursed angrily, a trace of determination flashed in his eyes. Since there is no way to escape, we can only fight to the death. Without any hesitation, the divine messenger instantly raised his right hand. There was also a sharp dagger sticking out of the thick steel wrist. Then, the divine messenger suddenly raised his hand and stabbed himself in the abdomen. Chilla. In an instant, a deep wound was made on the abdomen of the divine messenger, and a fishy smell spread everywhere. The toxins in his body also burst out instantly. Hiss. The messenger of the gods was dripping with cold sweat from the pain, but he still gritted his teeth and held on. And all the dirty blood in his belly flowed into the mechanical watch. Didi. Alien virus detected. Parsing scanning and collecting. Search completed, analysis completed. Analysis results, unknown virus tiger. Ding dong. It has been detected that the host's physique is different from ordinary people. Qian Qian Zhao is immune to all alien viruses, and the immune system has been repaired and can use any viruses and toxins. Just as the messenger of the gods was about to commit suicide, 
several cold electronic synthesized sounds suddenly came from his mind. Um. The messenger of the gods was slightly stunned, and then his face was full of ecstasy. He didn't expect that there would be such a big surprise waiting for him. Just after this brief silence, the blue spider web shrank instantly, wrapping the messenger of the gods tightly. Chapter 727 The messenger of the gods was also firmly trapped in place, unable to move at all. Ah! Asshole! Damn it! The eyes of the divine messenger were red, and the veins on his forehead were bulging. He struggled desperately but was unable to do anything. Didi! The remaining pharmaceutical residue in the host has been detected. Please host take antiviral drugs immediately, otherwise it will cause damage to your body. If you are unfortunately infected, it will affect your IQ and judgment. Immediately afterwards, another cold mechanical voice came from his mind. The messenger of the gods was very angry after hearing this, but there was nothing he could do. Tick. Finally, the tube of potion slowly flowed out and was poured into the mouth by the messenger of God 287. Cough cough cough. As soon as the messenger of the God swallowed the potion, he felt a burning pain in his throat, as if it was being burned. Among these potions, there is obviously a trace of light yellow powder, and I don't know what the ingredients are. Is this a corrosive potion? But at this moment, the faint blue light had already impacted the approach of the divine messenger. Boom. Crack. Click. The faint blue light instantly touched the defensive barrier of the divine messenger. Zila. The next moment, groups of arcs emerged. These electric arcs dance and flicker in the air, which is daunting. At the same time, the floor under the feet of the divine messenger suddenly erupted into an extremely thick metal wall. The hard steel is intimidating and can even block ordinary sniper rifle fire. However, when this faint blue light touches it, it is as fragile as paper. Bah! The arc jumped, and the tough steel wall was easily penetrated. At this moment, the messenger of the gods was completely panicked. But the faint blue light did not stop attacking, and struck straight towards his chest. Ha ha ha, do you think I really didn't notice your existence? Suddenly, Zheng Mu appeared in a mecca with a sneer, looking at the messenger of the gods with murderous intent in his eyes. He had deliberately exposed his flaws before, just to lure the enemy to show up. And this divine messenger did not disappoint him. Boy, if you dare to trick me, I will crush you to ashes. The messenger of the gods had already reacted at this time, and a look of intense malice flashed in his eyes. But then, it turned into madness. Because he clearly felt the violent trembling inside his body. This means that the alien genes in his body are quickly awakening. Once it breaks out completely, the terror will be boundless. His realm will skyrocket in an instant, reaching the peak of the ninth level of innateness, and may even transcend. However, this time, he was destined to miss it. Boom! The next moment, countless blood marks suddenly exploded on the body of the Divine Messenger. The skin was cracked and blood spurted out, and it was extremely miserable. Pfft. Finally, a jet of black blood surged up and sprayed directly on Zheng Mu's face. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, has a ferocious face. Snort. In that case, I will fight with you. Zheng Mu roared angrily and controlled the mecha directly to the messenger of the gods. The next moment, the two collided fiercely with each other, bursting out waves of air directly in the air. At this time, the messenger of the gods was knocked several meters away. The injuries on his body became more serious, and he was almost dying. If it were an ordinary person, he would have died long ago. Chapter 728 Even if his physical condition is terrifying, it is still unbearable at this time. But he did not die, but stood up with difficulty. Do you think you won? Ha! You are wrong. You are all wrong. I want this body. After the messenger of the gods finished speaking, he sat cross-legged on the ground. Immediately afterwards, he took out a bottle of medicine from his arms and stuffed it into his mouth. Crack. Boom, boom, boom. As the potion melted, a ferocious aura suddenly burst out from the spirit messenger's body. 
the whole body seemed to be expanding in circles. And his face also became ferocious, filled with a bloodthirsty aura. His eyes became as scarlet as blood, revealing an extremely fierce and bloodthirsty look. Jie Jie. At this time, the messenger of the gods actually let out a strange cry. Boom! Along with the vibration of the spirit messenger's body, streaks of thunder appeared out of thin air around him. These thunderbolts gathered on his fist and smashed towards the steel cage as if they were destroying the world. Bang! This punch directly smashed a huge hole in the steel cage. The messenger of the gods also took the opportunity to escape. Whoop whoosh! The messenger of the gods gasped for breath, and his face was filled with joy of surviving the disaster. Boy, let's wait and see. Next time we meet, you will definitely not be my opponent. After the messenger of the gods dropped a harsh word, he no longer dared to stay and left in a hurry. Only Zheng Mu and his mecha were left covered in bruises. Pfft. A deep ravine was carved out of Zheng Mu's heart with a long knife. Yin Hong's blood gurgled out. After a moment, the mecha's built-in crystal core shattered. Zheng Mu's body fell straight to the ground. Although he was protected by the crystal core, the huge force of the fatal blow still caused severe damage to his internal organs. He lost too much blood and fell into a coma. As for the messenger of the gods, he was also in an extremely embarrassed state. His left arm had been torn off by Zheng Mu's mecha, and his chest and abdomen were covered with cracks, almost collapsing. At this time, he was walking quickly. He must seize the time to heal, otherwise he may be in danger. Buzz buzz. But at this moment, Zheng Mu's ears twitched suddenly, and he immediately opened his eyes. Zero please give me flowers. Hiss. The severe pain made him take a breath. Only then did he realize that his shoulders, chest, abdomen, and legs were all cut with wounds by sharp thorns. The flesh and blood tumbled, extremely terrifying. And these wounds are not simple scrapes or scratches. Near these wounds, thin black lines can be vaguely seen. Want to leave? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and endured the pain. The next moment, he reached into his arms with his right hand, took out a potion, and threw it directly into his mouth. In an instant, rich spiritual energy spread out, making Zheng Mu regain some energy. Then, he opened the mecha again and prepared to chase the messenger of the gods. Whoosh! However, at this moment, the messenger of the gods who had already ran a hundred meters away. He suddenly turned around and charged towards Sheng Shesu again. At this time, he looked ferocious. A pair of eyes, glowing green like wild beasts. Boom! When he appeared in front of Sheng Mu, there was no nonsense. A palm shot out, and a fierce palm wind swept across. Chapter 729 it seemed as if Zheng Mu was going to be strangled directly. Boom! However, Zheng Mu had already taken the medicine at this time. Although the strength has not improved much, the speed has increased a lot. Before the messenger of the gods approached, Zheng Mu's mecha suddenly raised its right leg. Mixed with vast energy, it was drawn directly on the waist of the messenger of the gods. Crack! There was a snapping sound from the waist of the messenger of the gods, and the entire figure of 690 flew out in an instant, landed 50 or 60 meters away, and fell to the ground. Ah! At this moment, he let out a shrill wail. He never thought that this mecha master would become so powerful now. Roar! Looking at the divine messenger, Zheng Mu had no mercy in his eyes. Instead, he flashed with excitement, crossing a distance of tens of meters in one step, and rushed directly to the opponent's side. At the same time, the mecha's gun barrel pointed toward the sky. Fiery flames spurted out. As soon as the figure of the divine messenger dodged past, he was directly blasted away. Several of his ribs were broken and blood was flowing freely. It was obvious that he would not survive. At this time, Zheng Mu also collapsed on the ground. His condition is also not very good. System, exchange for life source liquid. Zheng Mu said weakly. Ding, the host consumes 10, 0, 0 points to obtain the source of life liquid. After hearing the voice in my head. 
he took it directly. Suddenly, a feeling of coolness came out, making his body feel much more comfortable. But at this time, Zheng Mu couldn't care less about rest and went straight to the messenger of the gods. Another kick. This time, the messenger of the gods did not even scream, but was completely killed. After all, he now has no resistance at all. Wow! Just when Zheng Mu was about to leave, the sound of water flowing sounded. Astonishingly, the blood of the divine messenger was sprinkled on the surface of Zheng Mu's mecca. The hard metal melted in an instant and even seeped into Zheng Mu's control room. Um. This scene made Zheng Mu frown, because after the blood seeped into the mecca, he actually felt that he had a connection with the mecca. It was like an extension of his own limbs, causing his pupils to shrink. Could it be that this mecca was refined by myself? At this moment, waves of alarms sounded in Zheng Mu's mind. It is detected that the host controls the mecca for more than a certain period of time, and the mecca will self-destruct. After hearing the system prompt in his mind, Zheng Mu didn't dare to hesitate. Jumped out of the battlefield instantly. The power of the mecca explosion was earth-shattering. Terrifying energy fluctuations spread out, affecting everyone within a kilometer radius. The already dilapidated city wall completely collapsed. Smoke and dust rose into the air, obscuring the view. Ha, huh, old guy, we'll see. Sooner or later I will kill you with my own hands. In the distance, Zheng Mu's crazy roar could be heard, causing the smoke to slowly disperse. Finally, a man wearing a grey robe and a stubble on his face was revealed. It was Zheng Mu. He was now covered in blood and his clothes were in tatters. But the light in his eyes was dazzling and breathtaking. Behind him, followed a mecca, which had become bumpy at this time. I don't know what material it was made of, but judging from its appearance, it should be extraordinary. Chapter, 730 On the other side, the body of the divine messenger was lying on the ground. Apparently dead. Just, at this moment. Call out. Suddenly, a strong wind came, causing Zheng Mu's pupils to shrink. Because he sensed danger. Bang! The next moment, he took a step sideways and narrowly avoided the sneak attack. Boom! A tall tree broke in its middle and fell to the ground. Call! Seeing this monster that suddenly appeared, Zheng Mu let out a sigh of relief. He knew that this should be the helper of the messenger of the gods. I never thought that there would be such a strong person on this planet. Zero two if I didn't have the enhanced version of the potion, I might have really fallen into trouble here. However, despite this, he was also a little exhausted. Therefore, after a little adjustment, we were ready to return. At this time, he could be said to be exhausted, not just physically exhausted. It was even more because, in the battle just now, he had used all his strength. At this time, just when Zheng Mu was about to leave. The mysterious monster started attacking again. It's extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Zheng Mu. The huge fist smashed down, causing bursts of strong wind. It made Zheng Mu's eyelids twitch. Then, he punched directly forward. Boom! The two collided together. Laugh! In an instant, Severe pain came from Zheng Mu's arm. It made him groan. However, Zheng Mu still refused to retreat at this time. Immediately afterwards, dense lines appeared on the left arm. Kala. The arms with knotted muscles looked like they were made of steel, after a moment of stalemate with the monster. Directly grabbed the opponent's wrist and controlled it suddenly. The monster's huge body was pulled directly and staggered. Then, before Zheng Mu could take a breath, another fist came. This blow was extremely ferocious and had unparalleled power. If it fell on him, even Zheng Mu would be completely dead. However, right now, there was a sneer on the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth. He actually didn't choose to avoid it. Instead, he let the blow fall on his chest. Plop! With a dull sound, the mysterious creature fell directly to the ground. Whoop, whoop. At this time, Zheng Mu gasped for breath, and beads of sweat rolled down his forehead. At this moment, he has reached his limit. Click. 
But at this moment, a crisp sound came from his ears. Then, Jin Mu was shocked to find that the lines on his arms began to fragment. He was too familiar with this situation. This means that 377's own mecha is about to be damaged. Moreover, there are still signs of the whole collapse. At this time, he finally understood why the system allowed him to escape in the mecha. Because, although the defense of this mecha is strong, it cannot withstand it. As long as one's own powers disappear, it will be absolutely impossible to withstand such a powerful attack. And just after he thought of this, a roar came out, and the mecha finally broke apart completely. Zheng Mu fell to the ground in a state of embarrassment. At this time, the surrounding scene finally came into his eyes. Hiss. Looking at the scene around him, he took a breath. Chapter 731 This place has been deserted for hundreds of years, with no grass growing. Skeletons of forest pythons were scattered all around. And further away, there are the corpses of several divine messengers. All this is really shocking. System, what on earth is going on? The mecha you mentioned can protect yourself, right? Why did it become like this? Zheng Mu asked in confusion. And just after his words fell. In my mind, a cold voice came out again. Ding, because your strength is too weak. Therefore, the system specially loaded it with a camouflage shell to save its life. However, the camouflage effect is now disabled, so you need to return to your original state. A cold voice sounded, making Zheng Mu's eyes widen. I didn't expect that I would encounter such a thing. At this time, the sound of the system did not stop. Continued. Ding, you can now use skill points to buy mecha repair fluid or exchange for potions. Please choose. After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu spoke without hesitation. Exchange for mecha repair fluid. Ding, Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a mecha repair fluid. After taking it, the mecha will be powerful for a short period of time, and at the same time immune to a certain amount of damage. Note, it can only last three minutes. As the sound sounded, Jing Mu opened the jade bottle directly. In an instant, the strong medicinal fragrance hit my nostrils. This made Jing Mu's eyes flash, but he gritted his teeth and drank it and after he swallowed the mecha repair fluid. The mecha, which was originally dim, suddenly burst into dazzling brilliance. And the monster that was originally charging towards Xing Mu seemed to have sensed something was wrong. He turned around and left. Only Xing Mu was left with a ferocious back. However, at this time, Xing Mu couldn't care about so many things. Because, just after he took the mecha repair fluid, an unparalleled aura was already surging within his body. Moreover, it is getting worse and worse. It was almost uncontrollable for him. Even his body started to tremble. At this time, he didn't dare to delay at all. Stomping the ground with the soles of his feet, his figure flew out. Roar! The monster that just turned around. Let out an angry roar. But there is nothing he can do about it, Zheng Mu has now erupted into a tyrannical and coercive force. And just as Zheng Mu's figure was approaching, boom! His body emitted a dazzling golden luster. At this time, he was like a god descending to earth. Hold head high. It even made bursts of dragon roars. Then, an illusory figure appeared behind him. This scene made him feel horrified. But the monster was not afraid at all. It actually pounced straight towards him. When the two intersected, thunder exploded. The monster fell directly backwards. Huh, okay, if that's the case, let's send you on your way. As he finished speaking, Zheng Mu followed up with his attack. Every time you take a step, the ground will crack. The long knife danced in his hand. It exudes a cold light. What's more, what's even weirder is when the long knife slashes at the monster's body. Those scales that were originally extremely sharp turned out to be as fragile as tofu. It was torn apart easily. This scene caused the monster to let out a shrill scream. However, in the end, he was completely torn apart by Mu. Chapter 732 Turned into blood mist all over the sky. 
After seeing this scene, Zheng Mu couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. This time I finally saved my life. If it weren't for the Mecca, I'm afraid it would have perished long ago. Thinking of this, a bitter smile appeared on his face. Whether it's the Mecca or the monster's blood. All are extremely precious. And just when Zheng Mu sighed. Boom! Another roar came out. At this time, in front of him, a giant a hundred feet tall appeared. His body was extremely dark and exuded a terrifying aura. However, after appearing, 520 ran quickly towards the distance. Obviously, the battle just now affected it. After seeing such a scene, Zheng Mu didn't dare to neglect, and he immediately chased after him. Roar! At this time, the monster also discovered Zheng Mu behind him and roared again. The moment the sound fell, a dark beam of light surged out. However, how can Zheng Mu still be afraid nowadays? The long knife in his hand split the fields instantly. The blazing qi swept through the surroundings in an instant. TSK. This sword almost condensed his life strength. Akch, wherever the sword passes. The monster's body was directly split open. Blood rained down. But it's not over yet. Following the death of this monster, countless divine creations slowly appeared from not far ahead. At this moment, Zheng Mu's pupils couldn't help but shrink. There are more than ten of these divine creations. The armor on his body reflected a faint blue light under the sunlight. The weapon in his hand is even more terrifying. Anyone who sees such an existence will feel numb. However, Zheng Mu didn't have any fear at this moment. He raised the long knife in his hand. He aimed at the divine creature closest to him. Hold head high. Vast energy burst out in an instant. Then, an extremely hot sword light cut through the air and hit the creature hard. Kala. There was a crisp sound. The creation was actually knocked straight away. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, is taking advantage of the victory to pursue it. Call out. A fireball hit the creature. In an instant, the opponent's head was directly penetrated. The body fell and let out a cry of grief. On the other side, Zheng Mu still didn't dare to stop. He knew that he had to deal with the creation in front of him as soon as possible. Otherwise, there is only a dead end waiting for you. Crack. Bang bang. Waves of shattering sound sounded in the field. But as time goes by, the figure of the creation is gradually dissipating. Finally, it disappeared completely. And Zheng Mu, who saw such a scene, did not dare to slack off at all. Although he said that he killed the monster in front of him. However, it also paid a huge price. There were bloodstains all over his body and he was in a very embarrassed state. And at the same time. Tick tock, tick tock. Bright red blood stains kept flowing out. It showed that he was suffering heavy losses at this time. Damn, the things here are really too dangerous. Looking at the mountains full of cracks around him, he cursed in his mouth. Then, they walked towards the distance. Because he knew that he had no choice but to leave this area now. Moreover, if the injury is not treated, it is very likely that one will die. Kill. Zheng Mu roared angrily, and once again drove the Mecca to kill the god's creation in front of him. Chapter, 733. This is his last battle. If he cannot end the battle within tonight, he will lose and all traces of his existence will be wiped out. But now, he can only survive if he tries his best. Boom. Another thunder struck, Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and held on without giving up, operating the aircraft in his hand to avoid those thunder and lightning. However, increasingly dense and terrifying thunders came one after another. Boom boom boom. Dozens of thunder and lightning struck every moment. Zheng Mu felt that he was completely numb, his body seemed to be torn apart, and the pain was unbearable. Ah dash. Finally, with a violent tremor, Zheng Mu's aircraft fell hard from a high altitude. Boom. With a loud noise, the aircraft hit the ground heavily, stirring up countless smoke and dust. Zheng Mu's body was also ejected from the light curtain. He fell to the ground and twitched, 
with blood bleeding from the corner of his mouth and a lot of dent in his chest. He stood up with difficulty, supported his body with his hands, and tried to climb back into the cockpit, but found that he couldn't do it. Am I still alive? Zheng Mu looked at the dark night outside the light curtain and murmured to himself. The battle just now left him severely injured, his muscles were sore all over, and his bones seemed to be falling apart. He knew that if no one helped him, it would be impossible for him to survive. Ha! Zheng Mu suddenly laughed, I see. This, we must win the battle. Although he was very reluctant, Zheng Mu knew that he was indeed not strong enough. He took a deep breath, mobilized his mental power, and began to condense the surrounding elements. Subtle vibrations suddenly came from the surrounding heaven and earth, and traces of white mist were born out of thin air, quickly gathering towards Xing Mu. These white mist contain huge energy and are so rich that it makes you suffocating. It's so comfortable. Zheng Mu showed a satisfied expression. He closed his eyes and allowed these elements to flow into his body, repairing his severely damaged body. After a while, Zheng Mu opened his eyes and let out a long breath, I finally recovered about 70% of my strength, which should be enough to defeat the demon. With that said, Zheng Mu stood up straight. He twisted his neck and made a crackling sound. Then he stepped up and walked towards the cab, preparing to go back inside and blow up the demon. Tada! A rapid gunshot sounded. Who? Zheng Mu frowned. Zero please give me flowers. He turned around and looked into the distance, only to see several armored vehicles approaching quickly, two of which turned out to be rocket launchers. Boom! Two fiery red missiles roared towards us with long tail flames trailing behind them. Court death! Zheng Mu snorted coldly, rushed out suddenly, waved his fists and whipped his legs to sweep away, smashing the two missiles in an instant. Whoosh! At the same time, a meteor-like bullet hit, instantly breaking through the protective shield and piercing Zheng Mu's shoulder. What? Zheng Mu was shocked and doubtful. When he lowered his head and looked down, he saw that a ferocious evil spirit had grabbed his shoulder. Blood was flowing out, dyeing half of his clothes red. Who are you? Zheng Mu's face was cold. The ferocious evil ghost opened his mouth wide, revealing his white teeth, I am the messenger of the devil, and I come to take your life in the name of the Lord God. Zheng Mu's pupils shrank, and a strong omen of danger rose in his heart. God. The previous scene appeared in his mind. Could it be that the gods this guy was talking about were those demons? Get out! Zheng Mu shouted violently, his eyes widened with a ferocious look in his eyes, and he suddenly threw his hand away, throwing the evil ghost away. Chapter 734 The evil spirit hit the armored vehicle next to it, and the armored vehicle immediately collapsed and turned into powder and scattered on the ground. The evil ghost's figure was shaken but was unscathed. Its eyes rolled around, staring at Zheng Mu insidiously, and its mouth slowly opened, ha ha ha. I didn't expect that a mere mortal ant could actually hurt the clone of the great god. Zheng Mu's heart skipped a beat and he immediately reacted. No wonder he didn't use 057 to kill the evil ghost instantly when he attacked it, and he couldn't even wipe off the fur. It turns out that this evil ghost is not real, but just some kind of illusory projection. However, even if it was just an illusory projection, it still made Jing Mu feel more stressed, because he knew that if an ordinary person encountered this situation, he would have wet his pants. However, Jing Mu is not afraid. He looked at the ferocious evil ghost in front of him and said indifferently, Messenger of the Devil. In that case, then disappear for me. As soon as he finished speaking, Jing Mu's hands suddenly turned into a metallic color, shining with dazzling light. The next moment, he suddenly swung out his arms and hit the evil ghost hard. Click. There was a numbing sound of bones shattering from the evil ghost's body, and his body suddenly exploded and disappeared into spots of light all over the sky. At the same time, a vast amount of information poured into Zheng Mu's consciousness, allowing him to comprehend many mysteries in an instant. In this world, everything is real, including time and space. Moreover, there are no sun, moon or stars in this world, and there is no alternation of day and night. This is the only real world. 
In this world, there is no heaven, no bliss, no food, women and all other luxurious enjoyments. There is only one ruler in this world, and that is the devil. I see Jing Mu was thoughtful. There is only one demon in this world, who rules the world. The so-called God is just a slave or puppet of this demon God. It turns out that the demons in this world are just illusory projections, and the real demons are in another world. And Zheng Mu squinted his eyes and carefully observed the changes in his body. He could clearly feel that his body was undergoing transformation. A mysterious and unpredictable change. It's as if my physical body is breaking away from its shackles and reaching a new level. Is this the basis for becoming a god? Zheng Mu secretly guessed. He knew that he had touched the threshold of becoming a god. The basis for becoming a god is to exercise various indicators and agility of the body and improve the strength of the human body. Only by tempering the physical body to the extreme can one awaken to the ability to become a god. Now, Zheng Mu has grasped some of the basics of the ability to become a god. For example, his body can withstand nuclear attacks and nuclear radiation. These are all significant effects of the ability to become a god. No matter what kind of demon god's testing ground this world is, let's get rid of him first. Zheng Mu stared coldly at the evil ghost in front of him, his eyes full of horror. His body is getting taller and stronger, his muscles are bulging like steel, and his whole body is like a demon coming out of hell, with overwhelming evil aura. Zheng Mu roared angrily, like a tiger or leopard neighing, and pounced out. Ah the evil ghost screamed, his body trembling violently. Zheng Mu's punch hit it directly on the waist, and the terrifying brutal force instantly tore its lumbar vertebrae, bringing out a large piece of bloody rotten flesh. Die! Zheng Mu took advantage of the victory to pursue and punched out again. Chapter, 735 Pft. With one punch, half of the evil ghost's body immediately fell apart and turned into a pile of debris, leaving only broken limbs and rag-like armor. Ha, huh, Zheng Mu breathed heavily, feeling relieved in his heart. Fortunately, this evil ghost is an illusory projection, otherwise he might really capsize. He wiped the sweat from his forehead and looked around, finding that he was still in the forest. It was quiet and there was nothing except trees and flowers. Zheng Mu thought to himself, it seems that I am not the only one in this world. The rules here are completely different from reality. This is another brand new parallel world, or a memory. There is no real technological civilization here, only magic, witchcraft, summoners and many other abilities. These demon gods are the oldest and most mysterious gods in the world. Why do these demons create a real world? Zheng Mu was puzzled, is it just for fun? Wrong. Soon, Zheng Mu shook his head and muttered, No, this is not like the style of those crazy demon gods. He has fought against these demons before. The ideas of these demons are completely different from reality. In reality, demons like to destroy, devour, and conquer. The devil here is more conservative. These demon gods seem to be seeking something. Zheng Mu deduced in his heart, maybe their true selves are also in this world. Although Zheng Mu could not confirm where these demon gods were, he vaguely guessed one thing. These demons are anything but simple. They are definitely not just looking for some kind of treasure. But with ulterior motives. They may want to change the world, make it completely different from reality, and completely subvert it. I need to find them as soon as possible, otherwise, they will plot against me sooner or later Zheng Mu thought to himself. He looked up at the sky with mixed emotions. Is this world really his world? This world, does it really exist? Ha! Huh. Just when Zheng Mu was silent, he suddenly felt the heat on his ankle. When he looked down, he saw several silk threads of different lengths and colors. Every thread contained strange energy fluctuations, as if it contained some unknown ability. This is Zheng Mu frowned, stretched out his hand to grab a few threads, and pulled gently. Buzz! Suddenly, these threads glowed with blue light and wrapped around Zheng Mu's body, wrapping him tightly. Zheng Mu's whole body was stiff, and he felt that these threads contained a strange attraction, trying desperately to absorb the energy in his body. This is 
Jing Mu was frightened and wanted to break free. The evil ghost roared and rushed over, its sharp claws chopping down like knives, and slashed hard at Jing Mu. 887 Get Out Facing the evil ghost, Jing Mu showed no fear and punched out with his backhand. Boom! The evil ghost flew several meters away, knocked down two small trees, and fell into dust. It climbed up with difficulty, a trace of ferocity flashed in its eyes. Immediately, the evil spirit opened its bloody mouth and bit Jing Mu. Boom! Jing Mu kicked out again, hitting the evil ghost in the mouth. A huge impact exploded, kicking the evil ghost back seven or eight steps and falling heavily to the ground. But it is still brave after standing firm, it opens its mouth and bites. Jing Mu jumped up, rode on the evil ghost's back, clamped the evil ghost's head between his legs, rounded his arms, and punched the evil ghost in the neck. Chapter, 736 Boom! The evil spirit's throat split at the sound. Kaka kaka. The evil ghost's body collapsed and turned into wisps of white mist, drifting away in the wind. Is this a virtual projection? Zheng Mu was slightly stunned. Generally speaking, fictional illusions are composed of fictitious images, language, and sounds. But now this evil ghost is made up of weird threads. The source of the silk thread is the evil ghost's throat, and now the evil ghost's throat is broken by his punch, the silk thread breaks, and the transformed evil ghost naturally cannot hold on and disappears into thin air. These phantoms of evil spirits are fictitious illusions. If Sheng Mu realizes something, he will continue to move forward in search of prey. At this moment, in the distant ice and snow kingdom, on the top of a giant snow mountain. The cold wind is biting, the ice crystals are dancing, and the scenery is covered in silver. In the central square of the ice and snow palace, a majestic figure stands. This figure is thirty meters tall, standing tall against the sky and on the ground, like a mobile fortress, which is awe-inspiring. He was wearing heavy armor, with mysterious symbols drawn on the breastplate, revealing a mysterious aura. Behind him, three black sickles were suspended, exuding a strong evil aura. This is the Death Scythe, which represents the end of life. They are the most powerful weapons of the temple priests, and it is said that the evil god even forged them himself. My lord, you have finally arrived. Suddenly, a soft and melodious song sounded. Immediately afterwards, a ball of pure holy light fell from the sky. The holy light condensed into the appearance of a woman wearing a gorgeous dress. She knelt in front of the ice and snow throne with a very pious face. You are late. The tall and majestic figure slowly said, My believer. I know. There was no emotion in the goddess's voice, but, there is one more thing I must do. Oh. The stalwart figure asked with interest, You want to stop me? No. The goddess shook her head. The stalwart figure stared at the goddess indifferently and said nothing. The goddess whispered, I must stop him, because it is related to your life. He. Who? The stalwart figure asked doubtfully. A powerful existence. The goddess's voice was ethereal and distant, and seemed to have some deep meaning. So what? The stalwart figure snorted coldly, in this kingdom of ice and snow, no one can threaten me. But he has the power. The goddess said, if he wants to destroy you, then the entire ice and snow kingdom will be destroyed and even you will be seriously injured. The goddess's words immediately angered the stalwart figure. You stupid fool. The stalwart figure roared angrily, you don't understand at all. This world has become rotten and has long since fallen into a devil's cave. We don't have much time, we must get out of here as soon as possible. I can't leave until that damn guy is found. Damn it, this is the place where I was born, no one will be allowed to touch it. Zhao Qianhao, the tall figure looked up to the sky and screamed, venting the resentment in his heart. My children where are you? The goddess listened quietly, squinting her eyes slightly and not daring to speak. A long time. The goddess said cautiously, please forgive my rashness. I know what you're worried about. The goddess said slowly, you are afraid that this world will collapse, and the power you left behind will also be destroyed. Yes the tall figure sighed. 
Chapter, 737 So, you want to leave? The goddess continued. I long for returning to the nest and restoring my former glory all the time. The stalwart figure said solemnly. In that case, then act according to your ideas. The goddess nodded. The stalwart figure was slightly stunned, obviously not expecting the goddess to agree so simply. Aren't you afraid of disobeying my will and annoying me? The goddess chuckled, you are our king and our most loyal believer, how could I disobey you? The stalwart figure was startled, looking at the goddess with complicated eyes, as if he was sizing up something. After a long time, he suddenly sighed and said, you can go, remember to convey your gratitude to me. After saying this, his figure gradually became distorted. Follow your will, great ancestor of Satan. The goddess bowed and then disappeared silently. The other sighed. In another space, in the boundless galaxy. A bright star hovers. Around the star, there are nine dark red planets floating, five stars distributed in a crescent shape. Surrounded by nine stars, one can vaguely feel a terrifying aura. These nine stars are surprisingly related to the nine evil gods. At this moment, the nine stars vibrated suddenly, and then suddenly burst out with monstrous blood, covering the entire star field. In the blood glow, nine ferocious and huge monster corpses can be vaguely seen. They are lifelike, like living people, but they exude extremely terrifying momentum and oppression. Especially the monster at the front is thousands of feet long, covered in red scales, and has six thick tentacles on its head. Its aura is so powerful that it surpasses the combined power of the nine evil gods. Ho! The monster opened its scarlet eyes and spoke human words. My children, we are finally awake. I've been waiting for too long, and today I can finally get my revenge. My clan must let all living beings in the world kneel down in front of us, tremble and cry, begging for forgiveness. Ha 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 SF. Accompanied by the crazy sound of monsters raging, the nine evil god corpses opened their eyes at the same time. In an instant, the whole world shook violently and turned upside down. In the ice and snow palace, the goddess lowered her head. She quietly stared at the snowflakes under her feet, as if watching everything in the world wither away, and she was the only one standing proudly at the top. My lord. The goddess whispered, is that ancient existence really worth your energy? The stalwart figure was silent for a moment, he is very dangerous. With only a brief confrontation, I know how powerful he is, perhaps not inferior to me. The goddess nodded slightly and said, then, please allow me to deal with him. The stalwart figure pondered for a moment and then said, okay. But be careful, after all, his power is too overwhelming. As you command. The goddess bowed and slowly exited the majestic figure. She raised her eyes and looked into the deepest part of the void space, with an unpredictable look flashing in her eyes. You want to get involved too. Boom. In a dark hall, several huge bodies were entangled. Their bodies are pitch black, their skin is covered with wrinkles, their white hair is as straight as steel needles, and they have a pair of fleshy wings on their backs. In addition, their heads actually look like snakes. The limbs and tail are also different, like a four-clawed lizard or a crocodile. Next to them, there are many giant boxes. Chapter, 738 In each box, there are several strange figures sealed. One of the corpses is struggling, trying to break through the restraints and escape. Katja. Suddenly, a chain broke. Roar. The corpse suddenly opened its eyes and glared at the surrounding monsters. He he he, have you finally broken free from the shackles dash? What's your name? We rarely encounter creatures that can resist us. The monster grinned and revealed its sharp fangs, I am. The god of killing. Crack. With a crisp sound, the metal door was pushed open. A figure wrapped in a black robe stepped into it. Where is this? He glanced around curiously and was slightly surprised when he saw the paintings hanging on the walls and the books on the table. He picked up the book and flipped through it, and found that the pages were written in ancient words. Although he could understand it, the word order was obscure and difficult to understand, which made him unbearable and irritating. 
This is not a library, a church, or a research room, but a prison. There are some creatures imprisoned in the prison. E.E. E. The god of killing he just released. Hey, where is this place? Roger, the god of slaughter, stared at the man in black robes warily and said, Who are you? Yeah. The man in black robe said calmly, Don't you know your identity? The god of slaughter had a gloomy expression on his face. He looked at his body carefully and suddenly exclaimed. This is. He stood up suddenly and rubbed his skin vigorously. Soon, he discovered something was wrong. On his neck, there was a squirming mass of flesh, which looked like a ferocious creature. No. The god of killing screamed, no. Don't devour me. Damn. Get out. He shook his head wildly, trying to drive the piece of meat away, but it was useless. That thing was biting the god of slaughter's skin, no matter how he used it, it was of no avail. Damn it. Bastard. The god of killing screamed angrily, get out. Get out of my body. Oh. This is unbearable. The man in black robe looked at this scene with great interest and said, your body is not bad. The god of killing screamed, don't touch me. Get out. Zero please give me flowers. He struggled wildly and even tried to attack the man in black robe. But this is only limited to his original power. Even his soul has been completely wiped out. How can he hurt the man in black robe? He he. The man in black robe shook his head and said, It seems that you still haven't figured out your identity. He stretched out his hand and pressed it on the head of the god of slaughter, and a deep purple arc suddenly spread. Ah! The god of killing screamed in pain, and he felt that his soul was slowly turning into a ball of pure black. He felt that his soul gradually turned into a dagger. A ruthless blade plunged into his chest and tore out his soul. Help! I was wrong please forgive me. The god of killing screamed and pleaded with all his strength. However, it was useless. The man in black robe just watched his performance calmly. It wasn't until all the purple arcs poured into his soul that the god of killing stopped roaring. He was stunned for a long time, then gradually regained consciousness, and climbed to a chair with difficulty and sat down. Am I dead? Guang. Chapter, 739. He murmured, It's a pity that I didn't find my parents, nor my brothers and sisters. Well. The god of killing sighed and looked at the bookshelf nearby. Contained inside are countless secret tomes and magic scrolls. The god of killing opened one of the books, looked at it twice, and couldn't help but laugh, it turns out, this is a prison. Immediately afterwards, he took out another ring and read through all the books in it. The god of slaughter closed the book and sighed in his heart, I never expected that I, Roger, would actually be a prisoner. I used to be a god in the world, but because my crime was too serious, I was caught by Zeus, and then I was thrown into this hellish place. I'm not willing to give in. The god of slaughter looked up to the sky and roared, I am far stronger than him, I shouldn't be caught. Whether you want to admit it or not, we are all the same. The man in black robe slowly walked over, you may never know what your body does but it just. Boom. Before he finished speaking, a wave of terrifying air swept over and knocked away the god of slaughter. The man in black robe staggered back a few steps and raised his arms to block the blowing dust. He squinted his eyes and looked forward. Less than ten meters away from here, a man walked slowly. He was driving a mecca, with a tall and slender figure, handsome features, a touch of indifference and cold arrogance between his brows, and a vague flash of thunder in his eyes. Is this the god of killing? He spoke slowly, his voice low, but it made the god of slaughter feel a thump in his heart and his pupils contracted. This feeling is like being targeted by a wild beast. Danger. Extremely dangerous. The hairs on the god of killing's body stood up, and he immediately jumped to the side, hid, and looked at the young man warily, You who are you? Am I the one who killed you? Zheng Mu said indifferently, looking around, and there was thunder flashing on the mecca. He did not expect that there were actually gods imprisoned on this island of gods. Ha! How dare a mortal like an ant dare to kill a god? 
The god of killing said sarcastically. Didn't you make the first move? Zheng Mu smiled half-heartedly, since you provoked me first, I will always give you a response. Ha ha ha. The god of slaughter laughed wildly, stupid. I am the god of slaughter. I am the strongest. How dare you, a mere ant, take action against me. You are so tired of living. Um. Hearing his words, Zheng Mu was suddenly startled for a moment. What did you say your name was? The God of Killing. The God of Killing raised his head high, I am the God of Killing, the only God in this universe, who rules the entire starry sky and controls the lives of countless people. You, a humble and insignificant human being, dare to disobey my majesty, and you must pay the penalty. The God of Killing, ha! Huh? Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, then shook his head, what a rare guest, your excellency, the God of Slaughter. Um. The god of killing's pupils shrank violently, you, how do you know my name? Who are you? It's really you. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold, I didn't expect you to be alive. Damn. 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 Who the hell are you? The god of killing yelled crazily, tell me. Who am I? Who I am? Zheng Mu snorted coldly and made a fist with his right hand. I am the one who wants to kill you. Chapter, 740 Boom! As he remembered the Iron Mountain, the God of Slaughter was slammed into the wall, and the whole house shook. He coughed several times and blood started to flow from the corner of his mouth. No no impossible you are definitely not human. The God of Killing was shocked. Although the confrontation just now did not last long, with his strength, he clearly felt that the other party was more terrifying than him. You are not worthy to be the god of killing. Zheng Mu walked towards the god of killing step by step. You you can't kill me. The god of killing suddenly jumped up from the ground and fled outward. He was panicked and frightened. He didn't know why these guys suddenly found him. Why do they know they exist? The god of killing ran desperately, but the faster he ran, the slower he became. Because every time he rushed out of the room, he would inexplicably hit some kind of barrier. He kept hitting various transparent glass, metal pillars, walls and other objects, dripping with blood. Where is this place? The god of killing roared hysterically. You do not need to know. Zheng Mu stepped closer, grabbed his neck and lifted him up. Let me go. The god of slaughter struggled hard, but had no control. His eyes were red and he said bitterly, I'm going to kill you. Kill you. I won't die. You can't kill me. Click. There was a sound of bones breaking. The god of killing once again let out a shrill wail. His throat was in tatters, and blood continued to flow out, staining the floor. Ah uh, ah. Uh. The god of killing's eyes widened, filled with resentment and hatred, why? Why? I already said that. Zheng Mu's tone was as cold as ice, I'm here to kill you. Click, click, click. Continuous crisp sounds resounded, and bursts of popping beans-like sounds came from the neck of the god of slaughter. The next second, he fell limply to the ground, twitching, gradually losing his breath, and finally fell silent. God of killing. Died. The body of the god of slaughter lay limp on the ground. An ownerless mecha slowly rose into the air and appeared next to the body of the god of slaughter. System prompt, congratulations to the host for obtaining the standard mecha of the god of slaughter. System prompt, the host's mecha attributes have been detected, please check the host. System prompt, does the host fuse with the mecha? Listen to the three prompts coming from your ears and turn slightly. His mecha actually has a fusion option. According to his understanding, all weapons and equipment can be combined into a form suitable for the user at will, just like his mecha, which can transform into various shapes in addition to fighting. And this time, this mecha actually has 100 fusion options. Zheng Mu hesitated for a moment and chose OK. In an instant, the mecha's body expanded and changed. A bright beam of light shot out from the soles of Zheng Mu's feet, causing him to fly into the air. He leaned over the entire area. 
The architectural style here is ancient and primitive, as if it is a relic left by primitive tribal civilization. There are huge and thick stone buildings on both sides of the street, and some roofs are even covered with moss. Well. Looking at the hurried crowds on the street, Zheng Mu thoughtfully said, here, is. The next moment, he felt a tightness in his chest and abdomen, his vision blurred, and his body fell uncontrollably, destroying a row of houses. Chapter 741 Puff Zheng Mu spat out a mouthful of blood. What's happening here? He stared at the ruins of buildings in front of him in astonishment. It was a three-story building. The surface was covered with various cracks and pits. It looked incomplete and had obviously been demolished a lot. Here it is. Zheng Mu touched his belly. There was some pain there, but it was not too serious. He endured it and looked around carefully. Here is an abandoned factory. He looked down at his body. At this time, his body changed from black to silvery white, looking like it was made of fine steel. Zheng Mu thought, and the wings behind him spread out, bringing a strong wind. Whoosh! His body suddenly disappeared in place. Bang! He appeared in front of another building. Immediately afterwards, he spoke to the doctor again. Zheng Mu looked at the surrounding scene blankly. His figure was like a ghost, pushing forward all the way. No matter where he went, there were wooden doors or walls blocking his progress. But as long as he raised his leg and kicked out, those things exploded one after another. In just over ten seconds, he destroyed more than twenty buildings, destroyed seven or eight cars, and even destroyed a shuttle. What technology is this? Suddenly, Zheng Mu looked at the mecha entrenched in the sky in shock. This mecha appeared without any warning. Mechanical Wolverine Its appearance is golden, and the mechanical body about two meters long has a dark luster, and it looks ferocious and terrifying. Moreover, its eyes contain scarlet blood, giving it a somewhat sinister aura. Whatever it is. Zheng Mu roared and jumped towards the mecha. His speed was very fast, far beyond the limit of normal humans, but the mecha was not slow either. The mecha also started to move the moment he took off. Boom! A huge golden claw condensed out of thin air and grabbed Zheng Mu in midair. Zheng Mu's eyes showed a cold light and his body twisted to dodge, narrowly avoiding this fatal blow. Nice! He chuckled and stretched out his hand to grab in the void. Call out! An extremely sharp spear tip appeared in his palm. He raised his hand and threw it out, instantly piercing the mecha's chest. TSK. The mecha's chest exploded, and a large hole appeared in front of Zheng Mu. Haha do you really think I can't do anything to you? Zheng Mu shouted angrily and smashed it out in one fell swoop. Boom! The huge metal fist hit the mecha's chest hard, causing huge turbulence and directly blasting its core. The mecha fell down with a crash. The driver in the cabin also died instantly, and the instrument lights in the cabin went out and turned into darkness. The mecha fell to the ground, trampling the hard cement floor into spiderweb-like patterns and raising dust all over the sky. Ha ha ha! Zheng Mu looked up to the sky and laughed, it's so cool. It's so damn cool. This is called Chang Song. He stood on the mecha, extremely excited. Um. Zhao Hao Zhao, just when he was about to lift the mecha to test its power, a violent and hoarse roar suddenly emerged from the depths of his mind. A sharp pain surged through his body, causing Zheng Mu to suddenly hold his head and squat down, trembling all over, and his face turned purple. Roar. Accompanied by a soul-shaking roar. Zheng Mu's vision suddenly became dim. In the darkness, a tall figure was faintly visible, pressing on him like a mountain. Chapter 742 An unspeakable mania and violence burst out from Zheng Mu's body. How is this going? Zheng Mu was terrified and wanted to escape from here, but the next moment, he felt stiff all over, and an irresistible force enveloped his body and fixed him in place. What happened? Zheng Mu was horrified and tried hard to break free from this bondage. Don't waste your efforts. This is just the initial form and won't hurt you. The system's electronic stomach sounded leisurely. 
Initial form Zheng Mu murmured. It turns out to be a mecha, no wonder it's so powerful. Zheng 360 Mu breathed a sigh of relief. He previously thought that this was a technological product developed by a certain company, but he never expected that it actually had life, was intelligent, and knew how to use weapons. This is simply unbelievable. These mechas should be the top mechas on the planet, right? Zheng Mu silently guessed in his heart. His eyes glanced at the scrapped mecha, and he felt a little regretful. Because he remembered clearly that this mecha can be repaired. Not only that, these mechas are very powerful and can be used as a weapon with only a few improvements. Acti. Of course, these mechas are now destroyed, and Zheng Mu cannot repair them even if he wants to. Zheng Mu looked around and quickly found a mecha. Compared with the previous mecha, the appearance of this mecha seems to be not much different. This is. Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes. This mecha is silver white in color, with clear lines and sharp edges and corners. It stood there quietly, exuding a biting chill. It's like the edge of a sword. This is. Zheng Mu's pupils contracted, and two words suddenly came to his mind. War armor. The outer shell of the mecha is made of metal, and the inside is made of steel, and the ceiling is very good. This material is definitely the world's top alloy. Since these mechas can be controlled, then I can definitely control them. Just dismantle these mechas and put them in the warehouse. Zheng Mu turned around and walked to the side, and soon found an unbroken mecha. He beat the mecha up. However, the next moment, his whole body shook suddenly, with an inexplicable look of horror on his face. He felt a cold feeling pass down his shoulders to his body. He looked down. His strong and muscular back was covered with dense black lines. Those black threads squirmed and climbed like poisonous snakes, tightly binding him in place. Holy shit! What the hell? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and his expression suddenly changed. He knows what these are. That is the energy chain on the mecha. As long as it is entangled, the mecha will completely lose its mobility and be slaughtered by others. But where do these energy chains come from? Zheng Mu looked to the other side again. Not far away, there was a mecha wreckage. Obviously, these energy chains are the energy supply carried by the machine itself. These energy chains should extend from these mechas, and there are dozens of these energy chains. Dozens of energy chains were intertwined and intertwined to form a huge spider web, tightly locking the mecha wreckage and Zheng Mu's feet, making Zheng Mu unable to move. What should I do? What are these energy chains that actually bind me? Zheng Mu was extremely anxious and frantically mobilized his mental power. Chapter, 743 A spiritual storm swept across. However, when he tried to shake these energy chains, those strange black lines started to swallow up his energy like living creatures. How is this going? Zheng Mu's face turned pale instantly. You don't need to understand, you just need to obey. The system's voice sounded. Obey your sister. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and tried his best to mobilize his mental power in an attempt to get rid of these strange black lines. These energy chains are so tough. Moreover, they are rapidly devouring Zheng Mu's mental power. If he continued at this speed, his spirit would be swallowed up in just a few seconds. Zheng Mu had blue veins on his forehead and was extremely anxious. What are these energy chains? These energy chains seem to be living things. Could it be said that this is the gift left by the gods to future generations? Thousands of thoughts flashed through Zheng Mu's mind, but there was no precise answer. These black energy chains are extremely overbearing. After devouring a lot of Zheng Mu's mental power, they still haven't stopped and are still rapidly eating away at Zheng Mu's mental power. Moreover, these chains continue to grow, become stronger and stronger, and it seems that they can continue to grow. Damn, what on earth are these? Zheng Mu shouted angrily and tried his best to pull those black lines away from the surface of the mecha. However, these black threads did not move at all, still tightly binding Zheng Zhuang. Click. Click. Suddenly, Zheng Mu heard a slight crisp sound. He turned his head and looked around, and suddenly took a breath of cold air. 
I saw that the right arm of the mecca on his body was slowly raised. Not good. Zheng Mu's expression suddenly changed and he quickly retreated. However, he forgot that his condition at the moment was very bad. Boom! The heavy mecca crashed to the ground, dust and smoke flying everywhere. Ahem damn it! After a while, Zheng Mu stood up in embarrassment, slapping the dust off his body, feeling full of aggrievedness. This time it's a waste of money. However, although this mecca was seriously damaged, it was not fatal and at least temporarily saved his life. Where did these things come from? Zheng Mu was extremely angry. He vaguely felt that he seemed to have encountered some big problem. Zero please give me flowers. He couldn't figure out who made these things. But he was sure that the people who made these things must have earth-shattering extraordinary means. Otherwise, it would be absolutely impossible to create such a behemoth in just a few seconds. What is this concept? This level of craftsmanship has surpassed human cognition. But now, I don't have time to pursue these issues. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, it's better to leave this city quickly. At the same time, on the edge of the city, those zombies that shuttled through the buildings like ghosts were slowly approaching. Ha ha ha, kill this bastard. Kill them all, kill them all, I want them to be buried with you. This bunch of trash. I want your blood to wash away my shame. Each robot roared crazily, with ferocious eyes. They seemed to be completely unafraid of life and death and rushed towards the human army without fear of death. Bang bang bang. Violent gunshots resounded throughout the city. Flames and bullets roared towards the mechanical puppets. Ding 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 dash. Beg. Chapter, 744. A translucent energy shield appeared on the surface of the mechanical puppet's body, easily resisting bullets. This energy shield is extremely defensive and can withstand high-voltage current. It is the favorite weapon of mecha soldiers. However, these bullets can penetrate this shield and injure these mecha soldiers. Therefore, no matter how hard these mecha soldiers try to wield their weapons, they cannot stop the bullets from firing. Bang bang bang! The energy shield of Mecha Soldier 807 became weaker and weaker, and eventually dissipated. Immediately, the bullets passed through the shield, shooting these mecha soldiers into hedgehogs. Soon, those mecha soldiers turned into piles of parts and scattered on the ground. And many of those mechanical puppets were also eliminated. This scene looks very shocking. The originally ferocious mecha soldiers were easily killed. This simply subverted Zheng Mu's cognition. What on earth happened to this world? Why do the mecha soldiers look like this? What are these black chains? Zheng Mu was puzzled. He tried to control these black energy chains, but he couldn't do it at all. This black energy chain seemed to have some mysterious magic power and was firmly stuck to his legs. His mental strength can't break free at all. These chains are real, and my mental power can't do anything to them. Zheng Mu's expression was extremely ugly. If his mental power is injured and his mental power collapses, Mu's strength will also decrease accordingly. He has sensed that the wandering mecha soldiers around him are approaching here. Zheng Mu must escape quickly. Otherwise, once he is surrounded by these mecha soldiers, he will really be doomed. He doesn't want to die. He wants to leave here. Zheng Mu recited the mantra silently in his heart. The next second, the muscles all over his body suddenly tightened. Whoosh! His whole body burst out with amazing explosive power and jumped up suddenly. Call out! In the blink of an eye, his speed suddenly increased and he jumped into the sky in an instant. Boom! The ground beneath him exploded. The huge force made him fly into the air and flee quickly outside the city. Buzz! Zheng Mu's ears trembled. He clearly heard the excited roars and low roars of the mecha soldiers behind him, running towards him. My day! Zheng Mu's mood became more and more irritable zero. This can't go on like this. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, we must find a way to get rid of these things. He tried his best to escape into the distance. It's a pity that he can't get rid of these black chains at all. 
These chains seemed to be intelligent, able to determine where he was and catch up with him at a faster speed. Boom boom boom. Cannonballs pierced the night sky and bombarded the streets near him. Zheng Mu couldn't help but sneer, since I can't run away, I will kill you first. Zheng Mu's eyes are about to split. Then, he suddenly turned around, his eyes turned red, and he glanced at the chasing mechanical puppets. Whoosh whoosh. Rays of brilliant five, two blue-white light bloomed from his pupils. One after another, the mechanical puppets were split into two pieces by the fierce sword wind and fell to the ground. Roar. Seeing that the situation was not good, the remaining mechanical puppets immediately stopped attacking and rushed towards Zheng Mu crazily. Although these mechanical puppets are made of metal materials, they still have flexible responses and rapid speed. Chapter, 745 Suddenly, all kinds of attacks swept towards Zheng Mu overwhelmingly. Ha, huh, what a small trick. Zheng Mu didn't shy away, holding an alloy long knife, and went straight towards him. The extremely sharp blade tore through the air, bringing out streaks of dazzling cold light. The shadow of the knife flashes, and the cold light intersects. Zheng Mu's figure moves from left to right, front and back. Every move he makes contains terrifying power. Pfft. A machine gun was chopped into pieces by him. Immediately, Zheng Mu suddenly jumped up, raised the long knife in his hand, and slashed the chest of another mechanical puppet. Zero Two Clang. Gold and iron collide. A dazzling spark splashed out. This long knife made of a special alloy failed to destroy the armor of this mechanical puppet. This made Zheng Mu secretly shocked. The material of these mechanical puppets is too hard. Even ordinary steel would have been shattered into pieces by Zheng Mu's full blow. However, the armor of these mechanical puppets was only cracked, with no sign of damage at all. Bang! While Zheng Mu was stunned, a mechanical puppet hit Zheng Mu's chest hard, almost knocking Zheng Mu out. This mechanical puppet obviously knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and was unwilling to give up. He raised the giant hammer again and smashed it down hard. Damn it! Zheng Mu cursed angrily, and his body suddenly shrank, turning into a black cat, and dodged the mechanical puppet's blow. As soon as he became smaller, he felt dangerous fluctuations coming from behind him. A cold metal light shot from behind and shot towards his neck. Zheng Mu was shocked. So close. He quickly jumped up and jumped more than 10 meters to avoid the range of this metallic light. The next moment, a metal tentacle stretched out from where he was standing, poking a hole in the ground. Damn it! Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, I must leave this hellish place. He used his body skills again and ran towards the distance. However, the mechanical puppets behind him were like mad dogs, chasing after him. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth. Since these guys are unwilling to give up, they have no choice but to fight. A trace of determination flashed in Zheng Mu's eyes, and the next moment, he turned around suddenly. Roar! He threw back his head and roared. In an instant, the hair on his back stood up, and he rushed toward the nearest mechanical puppet like a wild beast. At the same time, deep in Zheng Mu's mind, a system prompt sounded. Didi, warning. Please host stop this crazy behavior immediately, otherwise you will fall into a permanent sleep state. However, Zheng Mu turned a deaf ear. At this moment, he seemed to have regained his former bloodiness. Boom! Zheng Mu punched the mechanical puppet in the chest 347 hard. The mechanical puppet was caught off guard and was hit in the chest by Zheng Mu's heavy punch. Boom! The mechanical armor suddenly shattered and turned into parts all over the sky. The next moment, a black chip was taken out by Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu didn't hesitate and crushed the chip directly. The moment the chip shattered, a strange energy surged into Zheng Mu's body. He took a deep breath, suppressed the ecstasy in his heart, and took another step. Whoosh! His speed became faster and faster, leaving several afterimages in the air. In just a few breaths, Zheng Mu disappeared completely. The edge of the city. A robot suddenly appeared. Chapter, 746. The robot looks very strange. 
It is 3 to 4 meters tall, its whole body is pitch black, and its surface is covered with dense arcs. The robot's torso is cylindrical, with limbs growing on both sides, and its head is a ferocious lion's head. The robot held an electromagnetic gun in its hand, emitting a faint cold light. Buzz buzz. The robot gave a low chirp, then jumped up and followed Jing Mu in the direction he left. Following me. Looking for death. Suddenly, a sarcastic smile appeared at the corner of Jing Mu's mouth, he planted his feet on the ground, and his body jumped into the air, suddenly jumping out like a cheetah hunting for prey. Jing Mu's body is light and he can fly hundreds of feet in the blink of an eye, as fast as a shooting star. Call out. Jing Mu jumped up again, and his body suddenly rose up, reaching more than 10 meters in an instant. His speed reached the extreme, like a gust of wind. Whoosh! A car passed by Jing Mu. Boom! The car exploded in midair. Immediately afterwards, a mechanical puppet appeared trying to intercept Zheng Mu. Roll! Zheng Mu shouted angrily and waved his claws, claw marks appearing one after another. Bah! Dense cracks suddenly appeared on the mechanical puppet's shoulders. Boom! The mechanical puppet collapsed. Zheng Mu continued to rise into the air, more than twice as fast as before. Boom boom boom! All around, the mechanical puppets were furious. They turned their cannon barrels in unison, preparing to lock on Zheng Mu. However, before they could lock their target, Zheng Mu had already calmly avoided it. Swish, swish, swish. Zheng Mu's figure is like a swimming dragon, shuttling between these mechanical puppets. Crack. A mechanical puppet was swept across the waist by Zheng Muji's whip leg and broke on the spot. Immediately, Zheng Mu slapped a mechanical puppet, sending it flying backwards. A huge meteorite was hit by the mechanical puppet and collapsed on the spot. Zheng Mu's figure is extremely elegant, jumping among these mechanical puppets. He is extremely agile, like a ghost, and even faster than a mechanical puppet. Whoosh! 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 Zheng Mu's figure flashed continuously, and every time he soared into the air, he could cover a distance of tens of meters. In just one minute Zhongjing eliminated all the mechanical puppets around him. However, there was no joy on his face. These mechanical puppets are really strong. Especially their cores, they are simply terrifying. They are not afraid of pain, and they are not tired. Except that they have no intelligence, they are almost the same as humans. Moreover, my mental attack only made them temporarily comatose and not affected at all. It seems that only special means can be used to defeat them. Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes, but. Did you think this was the end? Zheng Mu suddenly grinned. The next moment, Zheng Mu's body suddenly dived, fell to the ground, suddenly bounced up, and rushed into the building complex ahead. Boom dash. Within the building, steel fortresses stand in various locations. And among them are puppets controlled by robots. Hello. Zheng Mu chuckled, brothers, let's play a game. This time, I choose to fight alone. As soon as he finished speaking, a huge spider fell from the sky and blocked the way of the puppets. Chapter, 747 Squeak The spider made a shrill scream, glowed red, and rushed towards the mechanical puppets. Bang bang The spider's sharp claws shattered several mechanical puppets, but it also took several shots on its body. Zitsizi. The arc raged. The spider's body trembled violently, the surface of its skin was burned, and white smoke came out. When Zheng Mu saw this, there was a trace of pity and ridicule in his eyes. This spider is obviously a mutated spider. Logically speaking, it should belong to the insect family, or the spider family. However, its physical quality is really terrifying. 580 its defense is far better than ordinary spiders, and can even withstand missiles. This thing is really powerful. If you take it away and give it to someone who specializes in robot research. Zheng Mu thought for a moment, then shook his head and gave up the idea. Although he has money, he will not waste a lot of money on a robot spider. Moreover, he couldn't guarantee whether his idea would be successful. 
What if the research fails? Wouldn't it mean losing money and making a profit? Zheng Mu made up his mind that it would be better to do less of this kind of thing. Crash. The next moment, Zheng Mu jumped out of the encirclement. Bang bang bang. Those mechanical puppets kept shooting, sending clouds of smoke out of the ground. However, Zheng Mu had already escaped. Without saying a word, he jumped up again and ran towards the center of the base. Buzz buzz. A buzzer suddenly sounded in front of Zheng Mu. Immediately afterwards, a small robot appeared in front of Zheng Mu. It was covered with arcs of electricity, striking like a blue-purple lightning, and crashed straight into Zheng Mu. Chilla. Zheng Mu reacted very quickly and raised his right arm to block. The next second. Zheng Mu's entire arm was wrapped in arcs of electricity. Crack. The robot crashed through the glass and got into the room. Hee hee. Zheng Mu snorted coldly and stretched his left fist suddenly. Whoosh! Zheng Mu turned into an afterimage and hit the robot in the abdomen with a powerful uppercut. Akka, bang! Along with the deafening collision sound, Zheng Mu remained motionless, and the robot actually took seven or eight steps backward. Um. Zheng Mu frowned slightly, a little surprised. Kaka. The robot stood firm, lightning surged from its body but it was unscathed. Something's wrong. Zheng Mu murmured to himself. This thing is it made of alloy. But, these materials don't seem to be suitable for casting this kind of armor, right? Zheng Mu frowned slightly, feeling that something was not quite right. But now is not the best time to explore. Because within his sight, there were many scattered mechanical puppets coming. If you don't leave as soon as possible, you may end up in a bitter fight. Roar. Click. Click. Bolts of thunder pierced the night. Zheng Mu did not dare to hesitate and fled quickly. Arc flashes. Zheng Mu ran wildly. Those mechanical puppets are in hot pursuit. Boo hoo. Aircrafts roared past, chasing the mechanical puppets. Suddenly, a missile roared over and pierced the chest of a mechanical puppet. Pfft. A flame rose up. The mechanical puppet's head was completely penetrated and it died on the spot. The other side. Several snipers targeted the mechanical puppets. One sniper rifle bullet after another blew up the mechanical puppets one after another on the spot. Chapter, 748 I want to see whether you die first or I die first. Zheng Mu yelled angrily, the muscles in his arms flexed, and his body disappeared in a flash. Whoosh! The next moment, Zheng Mu suddenly appeared in front of another mechanical puppet. Boom! He whipped his leg and kicked hard on the side of the mechanical puppet's neck. Click! The mechanical puppet was immediately kicked five or six meters away by Zheng Mu, hit the wall hard, and then fell to the ground. Zheng Mu's leg bone was shattered instantly. But all of this could not offset the excitement in his heart at this moment. Ha ha ha! So cool! I've always loved killing like this in my life. Zheng Mu looked up to the sky and smiled, his eyes blood red. Bang bang bang. Zheng Mu waved his palms, like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, quickly harvesting the lives of those mechanical puppets. In just two or three minutes, bodies were piled densely on the ground. Zheng Mu's clothes were in tatters and there were blood stains all over his body, like a bloody butcher. He held a dagger and kept killing the mechanical puppets around him. Dripping with blood. The strong smell of blood spread everywhere and permeated the entire building. At the same time, green lights surged out from the sun. Zheng Mu was stunned immediately. At this moment, he felt that his eyes became extremely clear. Even if you close your eyes, you can still see the movement of those weird green lights. Moreover, what is even more strange is that there seems to be some inexplicable magic power in the green light, which is drawing Zheng Mu's attention. What the hell is this? Zheng Mu frowned and subconsciously looked at the green light ahead. The green light was cylindrical, about two meters high and two meters wide. The top is inlaid with a green crystal core. The color of this crystal nucleus is very strange. It doesn't look like an object like jade, but instead looks like a heart. 
That's right. Just a heart. Moreover, it is made of viscous green liquid and is full of evil smell. Zheng Mu slowly approached the green crystal core, and his heart palpitated. This green crystal core is very strong and seems to contain some mysterious energy. Zheng Mu couldn't help but have an illusion. It's as if I can control this crystal core. Zheng Mu's mental power is extremely powerful, enough to allow him to control anything. Zero please give me flowers. This crystal core completely exceeded Zheng Mu's expectations. His mental power was completely unable to penetrate. And the green crystal core did not reject his approach. This thing is so weird. Zheng Mu secretly murmured in his heart. Buzz buzz. The green crystal core is tireless, constantly spitting out electric arcs. Each time the power released is greater than before. Moreover, the further you go inside, the more powerful the current becomes. Zheng Mu felt a little worried. According to his guess, he was probably close to touching the deepest level of this crystal core. If you move forward, it may have an impact on him. However, the irresistible temptation made him reluctant to leave. Fight! Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and continued walking inward. Finally, Zheng Mu passed through the outermost grid and came to the inner area of the green crystal core. Huh? What's going on? I saw that Zheng Mu's step suddenly stopped. He widened his eyes and looked at the scene in front of him in shock. The interior of the green crystal core is surprisingly empty soil. Chapter 749 Except for the crystal core that glows with green light, nothing exists. This. Zheng Mu frowned slightly, then stepped forward, trying to explore the green crystal core. However, as soon as his hand touched the surface of the green crystal core, it was instantly bounced away. You can't touch this crystal core at all. Zheng Mu was extremely confused. He tried dozens of methods to get in touch with the green crystal core, but all failed. What is this green 600 crystal core used for? Is it true that it has extremely powerful defense functions like the legend says? But what exactly is it going to do? Zheng Mu was puzzled. At this moment, the green crystal core is still releasing current continuously. The arc crackled and exploded in the air, as if the entire void was completely roaring. Suddenly, the green crystal core trembled slightly. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu was extremely shocked to find that the green crystal core slowly floated up and was suspended in the air above his head. Immediately afterwards, countless green rays of light burst out from the green core. Whoosh! The green light is overwhelming, swarming towards Zheng Mu. What's the situation? Zheng Mu was startled and took a step back subconsciously. Wow! The endless green light came straight to Zheng Mu and instantly enveloped Zheng Mu. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu felt a strong numbness that spread throughout his body in an instant. This feeling was so comfortable that Zheng Mu couldn't help but squint his eyes. Zila. Suddenly, the green crystal core suddenly lit up, and then countless arcs shot out. In an instant, Zheng Mu was wrapped up. Zheng Mu's face changed drastically and he subconsciously wanted to run away. Because he felt mortal danger. However, at this moment, his energy to lift his feet has been exhausted. There was no way to break free. Pfft. A few seconds later, countless arcs of electricity struck Zheng Mu hard. Zila. Following a burst of electric sparks, Zheng Mu's entire body instantly froze in place. He stood there blankly, with a confused and unwilling look in his eyes. Call. After a long time, Zheng Mu suddenly exhaled a breath of turbid air. What the hell is this? Zheng Mu murmured to himself. His body has recovered as before and he has not suffered any damage. The terrifying energy contained in this green crystal core gives people a creepy feeling. That aura that is extremely violent and raging across the wasteland makes one's soul tremble. Zheng Mu reached out and grabbed the green crystal core. However, Zheng Mu took the green crystal core in his hand without any hindrance. Zheng Mu held the green crystal core in his hand and subconsciously wanted to mobilize his mental power. However. Buzz buzz. 
The green crystal core shook violently and instantly released a ball of terrifying energy, directly pushing Zheng Mu into the corner. Hiss. Zheng Mu gasped and retreated quickly. Fuck. Zheng Mu was horrified. This 3-9 thing actually has attacks. Zheng Mu's heart was filled with turmoil and questions. I obviously didn't touch you. What's wrong with you? Zheng Mu looked at the green crystal core with a confused expression. Are you really alive? Zheng Mu said suspiciously. He was so suspicious. After all, this green crystal core can swallow life force. Chapter 750 if this green crystal core is really a living creature, wouldn't this guy be a cannibal? Buzz buzz. The trembling amplitude of the green crystal core gradually increased, and it even became a little crazy. Zheng Mu frowned, stop barking. Master, I have something else to do. Let me go first, okay? When I have some free time in the future, I will definitely make time to play with you. After hearing Zheng Mu's words, the green crystal core was quiet for a few seconds. The next moment, the green crystal core burst out with a dazzling green light. Immediately afterwards, a low roar came from the green crystal core. Although the sound was zero too low, it was like a thunderous thunder, deafening. Moreover, in this low roar, there is also a trace of excitement. This scene made Zheng Mu feel his scalp numb. What's the situation? Is this green crystal core a living creature? But can living creatures activate spiritual intelligence? Zheng Mu was extremely surprised, but decided to observe it temporarily. Hello. Don't get excited. Master, I have something else to do today, so I have to leave first. With that said, he turned and left. Although this green crystal core is strange and inexplicable, it does not seem to have the intention of killing Zheng Mu. In this case, Zheng Mu of course chose to leave. Anyway, he didn't know how to use this green crystal core. There's no use staying here. However, Zheng Mu just took two steps and suddenly stopped. Because. Right in his field of vision, a mechanical puppet composed of thick mechanical armor walked slowly and stood in front of him. It looks like a steel fortress about two meters high, very intimidating. What the hell? Zheng Mu was stunned. This robot seems to be very powerful. Squeak. The mechanical puppet made a harsh sound and stared straight at Zheng Mu, its eyes glowing red. At the same time, Zheng Mu could clearly see that the metal parts on the mechanical puppet were slowly rotating. Zheng Mu suddenly became alert. He always felt that he should stay away from this thing now. However, at this moment, a scene that shocked Zheng Mu even more appeared. I saw this mechanical puppet slowly opening its mouth and uttering a hoarse and cold word. Human your flesh and blood makes me feel hungry. So please sacrifice to me. As soon as he finished speaking, the mechanical puppet suddenly rushed forward with his fists waving. Zheng Mu was shocked. This special code is a machine gun. Zheng Mu turned around and ran away without even thinking. Boom! Zheng Mu fled quickly leaping and leaping as quickly as an ape preying on prey. However, no matter how fast Zheng Mu ran, he could not avoid the tracking of the mechanical puppet. Bang! Zheng Mu felt a huge pain in his chest. The next moment, Zheng Mu groaned and was blasted three to four meters away. Click! Click! Zheng Mu's chest ribs were broken, his whole body was so weak and he almost fell to the ground. This mechanical puppet is simply terrifying. Oh my god. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and stood upright. As soon as he stretched out his hand, a huge mecha appeared in front of him. He quickly got in, activated the mecha, and fought against the mechanical puppet. Clang. After the collision, Zheng Mu suddenly felt a sweetness in his throat. Just one move made him feel pain as if his internal organs had been displaced. Chapter 751. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, endured the pain, controlled the mecha, and continued to tangle with the mechanical puppet. Boom boom boom. Every time the two collide, there will be a sound, causing the surrounding soil to explode. Click. Click. 
the mechanical puppet's body actually emitted a faint blue light, which looked very evil. Bang! There was another duel, and the mechanical puppet whipped its leg and kicked the mecha in front of Zheng Mu into pieces. At this moment, Zheng Mu controlled the mecha to dodge suddenly, barely avoiding the blow. The mechanical puppet missed a hit and immediately raised its fist to hit again. Zheng Mu didn't dare to be lazy and quickly ducked to avoid it. Whoosh! The next moment, the mechanical puppet missed with a punch and hit the stone wall next to it. Boom! Stone chips rolled. Zheng Mu was speechless for a while. The power of this guy's punch is quite fierce. It will definitely not feel good if you get hit by it. Bang bang bang. For a while, Zheng Mu was in a hard fight. He kept trying to break through, but to no avail. Those mechanical armors were like copper and iron walls, not allowing him to get close at all. Finally, Zheng Mu simply gave up the resistance. He sat down on the ground, took out his cigarette case, held a cigarette in his mouth, lit it and took a deep breath. Under the stimulation of nicotine, he was slightly relieved from fatigue. Zheng Mu looked at the ferocious mechanical puppet and slowly blew out a smoke ring. Who the hell are you? Did I provoke you? Zheng Mu cursed angrily. However, the mechanical puppet ignored him. He just took one step and jumped directly in front of Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, then suddenly stepped back. The mechanical puppet punched the ground, and the entire ground cracked, revealing a hole several feet deep. My day. Monster. Are you a monster? I'm so stupid. How dare you, these rubbish mechanical creations, bully me. Just wait, I'll find someone right away. Zheng Mu roared, then took out his communication equipment and prepared to call for help. However, the next moment, he was completely stupid. He was shocked to find that his communication equipment was broken. Fuck. What's going on? My communication equipment is of defense level. Even missiles can be easily intercepted. But now, it's actually scrapped. What the hell is going on? Zheng Mu's eyes widened, his face dull. At this moment, the mechanical puppet had pounced on him. Boom! There was a muffled sound, and Zheng Mu was hit hard again. Pfft! Zheng Mu spurted out blood and was knocked away. His body hit the wall hard and then slid down. Ahem! Zheng Mu coughed violently while holding his chest, and a tooth slipped out of his mouth along with blood. What the hell? Is this intentional? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and said fiercely. The mechanical puppet remained silent, as if it couldn't understand Zheng Mu's words. Boom! The mechanical puppet rushed over again and punched him hard. This time, Zheng Mu was well prepared and instantly raised the mecha's shield. Clang! The mechanical puppet's punch directly hit the shield. The extremely hard shield was directly dented by the bombardment. Fuck! So hard! Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's pupils shrank suddenly, and his heart was filled with strong fear. Chapter 752 Even he couldn't withstand this level of attack. Hu Qi! Hu Qi! Zheng Mu gasped and kept retreating. The mechanical puppet refused to give up and rushed over again, heading straight for Zheng Mu. I'm going to fuck you. I can't kill you. This time, Zheng Mu did not run away, but rushed forward and punched hard. However, at this moment, the mechanical puppet suddenly stopped. Then, he raised his right arm and hit Zheng Mu hard on the chest. Bang! This punch was powerful and heavy, hitting Zheng Mu's shoulder directly, making a muffled sound. Pfft! Zheng Mu's face turned pale, and he immediately fell to his knees, spitting out two mouthfuls of dirty black blood. Ha ha ha! You have today too! Zheng Mu was lying on the ground, laughing crazily and miserably. His injury just now was caused by a punch from this mechanical puppet, which left a lot of hidden problems. Pfft! Pfft! But Zheng Mu's laughter was met with even more brutal attacks by the mechanical puppets. Boom! He punched Zheng Mu on the head and knocked him unconscious. Zheng Mu's spirit instantly became comatose. 
He originally still had the strength to struggle, but now he doesn't even have the strength to struggle. Buzz. 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 Asai, this robot seems to like torturing its prey. As it walked up to Zheng Mu, it reached out and pinched the collar of Zheng Mu's clothes, and lifted him up directly. Whoosh! Immediately afterwards, the robot grabbed Zheng Mu with one hand, raised it high with the other arm, and smashed it directly towards the ground. Crash! Zheng Mu's body hit the ground hard, splattering endless dust and sawdust. Zheng Mu's chest was instantly bruised. Moreover, the bruised area quickly swelled and even started to turn red. Crack, click, click. The bones in Zheng Mu's body went into chaos. Although this mechanical puppet has a low IQ, its strength far exceeds that of Zheng Mu, enough to crush him. The mechanical puppet raised its elbow again and hit Zheng Mu hard. Bang bang bang. In the next half minute, Zheng Mu was like a sandbag, constantly bearing heavy blows. This set of movements lasted for half a minute. Zheng Mu was covered in blood, and his whole body lay limply on the ground. The mechanical puppet stared at Zheng Mu indifferently, without any wavering in its cold eyes. He seemed to be looking at a piece of rotten meat, without any emotion at all. Then, the mechanical puppet stretched out its palm and pressed it directly on Zheng Mu's forehead. Buzz! In an instant, a ball of light suddenly appeared. The next second, the mechanical puppet turned around and left here directly. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, was lying on the spot, motionless. After a long time, Zheng Mu slowly opened his eyes. At this time, Zheng Mu had regained consciousness. He looked around and touched his forehead again, feeling wet on his forehead. This should be blood stains. Damn! It hurts me so much. Your sister, do you really think I'm easy to bully? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and stood up. His dash. Zheng Mu took a deep breath, then quickly sat cross-legged to meditate and adjust her breath. He must conserve his physical strength, otherwise, he will be in trouble once he encounters danger. Zheng Mu closed her eyes to rest her mind and calmly adjusted her breathing. After five or six minutes, Zheng Mu breathed a sigh of relief. Chapter 753 At this time, his injuries had basically stabilized. There was only one rib left and several fractures, but there was no danger to his life. Ha ha! Zheng Mu took a deep breath and wiped the sweat from his cheeks. Whoever wants to harm me, just wait for me. Sooner or later I'll make you pay the price. Zheng Mu took a deep breath and stood up slowly. The battle with this mechanical puppet just now almost made him lose his mind. Fortunately, at the last critical moment, he regained his senses in time and chose to avoid the danger for the time being, and hid in the game warehouse. Otherwise, he would definitely be dead now. Ding 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 then took out his cell phone and picked it up. I'm busy. What's going on? Zheng Mu shouted angrily and hung up the phone. He had just been attacked by someone and almost killed by a robot. I'm so angry now that I don't want to talk to anyone at all. However, the call came right after. I, Chao Nima, are you sick? Zheng Mu cursed angrily and hung up the phone again. However, the phone kept ringing. Zheng Mu suddenly became excited and answered the phone directly, Damn it, I'm telling you, I'm holding back a lot of anger right now. I'm going to blow up you bastards. Zheng Mu roared at the top of his lungs, his voice extremely angry. Didi. Didi. However, at this moment, the mechanical puppet suddenly turned around. Kaka. Kaka Kaka. The legs of the mechanical puppet suddenly bent. Then, he walked quickly towards Zheng Mu. Um. Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment, then a playful smile appeared on his lips. Huh, why are you looking for me? 
Zheng Mu looked relaxed and had no worries at all. The mechanical puppet is indeed powerful, but after all, its IQ is too low, so Zheng Mu is not worried that it can hurt him at all. Boom! However, at this critical moment, this mechanical puppet suddenly punched Zheng Mu in the chest. The speed is astonishing. Crack! Zheng Mu reacted and suddenly stretched out his left arm to block. Bang! Click! Click! However, after just one move, Zheng Mu felt severe pain in his arm. The power of that mechanical puppet is actually more terrifying than myself. Zero please give me flowers zero. Zheng Mu stared at the mechanical puppet with wide eyes and disbelief. How come? Zheng Mu was horrified. Why was the power of this mechanical puppet more terrifying than him? Boom! Click! Click! And just as Zheng Mu was shocked, the mechanical puppet kicked out hard again, instantly kicking Zheng Mu away and smashing the wall nearby. Zheng Mu's body hit the wall and bounced to the ground. There was a tearing pain in the chest, and a fishy sweetness came out of the throat. Pfft! Zheng Mu opened his mouth and spit out a large pool of blood. Fuck! What the hell is this? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he got up from the ground with difficulty. He knew that he was in trouble. Now, I am completely in trouble. Huchi Huchi. Zheng Mu leaned against the wall and gasped, his face flushed and his breathing rapid. At this moment, Zheng Mu finally understood how terrifying that mechanical puppet was. His speed was as fast as lightning. Even if Zheng Mu tried his best, he couldn't dodge his attack. Chapter 754 Wrong. Zheng Mu had doubts on his face. Because now he has seen the weakness of the mechanical puppet. This mechanical puppet only has limbs and a torso, but its head is empty, with nothing at all. So this guy doesn't need a brain at all. In other words, even if Zheng Mu dismantles this mechanical puppet alive, there will be no loss to him. Zheng Mu's eyes were full of 313 vigilance, and his heart was beating wildly. Zheng Mu knew clearly that although this mechanical puppet had no head. But his speed is too fast. Whoa! Whoa! The mechanical puppet took long strides and walked straight towards Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu looked alert, holding the weapon tightly in his hand, ready to respond to the enemy at any time. At this moment, the mechanical puppet was less than two meters away from him. Tap tap tap. Zheng Mu held his breath, not even daring to take a breath. At this time, Zheng Mu was trembling with fear. But the mechanical puppet remained calm and unhurried. Kaka. Kaka. The mechanical puppet continued to move forward, leaving a row of deep marks on the floor with every step it took. This scene made Zheng Mu even more vigilant. The mechanical puppet took a small step forward, only one meter away from Zheng Mu. Guru. Zheng Mu gulped, then turned around and ran away without saying a word. Bang! Crash, clatter, clatter. The mechanical puppet punched out and instantly knocked down the wall behind it. A huge hole appeared, frightening Zheng Mu to death. Damn it! This guy is so irritable. Zheng Mu's eyes widened and then he rushed out like crazy. Didi. However, the mechanical puppet suddenly raised its feet and came out instantly. What the hell? Zheng Mu was shocked and couldn't help but feel a sinking feeling in his heart. Boom! Pfft! At this moment, the iron fist of the mechanical puppet had already smashed into Zheng Mu's right shoulder. Pfft! Click! Along with a tearing pain, Zheng Mu fell straight down. Cough cough cough. Zheng Mu lay on the ground, covering his arms, unable to help coughing. His arm was dislocated and he had no strength at all. Kaka kaka. At this time, the mechanical puppet was still taking steps, slowly approaching Zheng Mu. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and stared at the mechanical puppet hatefully. Zheng Mu knows very well that in this situation, he absolutely cannot resist the mechanical puppet. Otherwise, tonight will be really unlucky. Whoosh! Zheng Mu immediately stood up and ran away. 
Not to be outdone, the mechanical puppet immediately followed Mu. What the hell? Why don't you give up? No, I can't delay any longer, I have to find a way to escape first. Zheng Mu's mind wandered and he made a decision in an instant. The next second, Zheng Mu turned around suddenly, and then slashed with his long knife. 2 9 Clang Zheng Mu slashed the mechanical puppet's neck with his sword, and a string of sparks flew out, as if it had struck an alloy made of steel. The defensive power of this mechanical puppet far exceeded Zheng Mu's expectations. What kind of monster is this? Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he was extremely horrified. He even wondered whether the mechanical puppet was damaged by a research project of some scientific research institution or some military base. Chapter 755 Otherwise, why would it be so strong? You know, even the top soldier in the world can beat it to the point of collapse if he shoots it with a gun, right? But what about now? This mechanical puppet is like an indestructible battle mecha. Even though Zheng Mu's blade was sharp, it could only cut through the skin, but it couldn't hurt the mechanical puppet at all. Tap tap tap. At this time, the mechanical puppet also refused to give in. The mechanical hand held up a steel and concrete stick glowing with cold light, aimed at Zheng Mu and swept over. Zheng Mu quickly ducked sideways, narrowly escaping the fatal attack. However, during this short delay, the Zero Two mechanical puppet instantly closed the distance between the two. Grass. Zheng Mu suddenly drew his knife and retreated. Boom boom boom. The mechanical puppet was holding a reinforced concrete stick and smashed it at Zheng Mu regardless of the situation. Zheng Mu kept evading, but still couldn't escape the pursuit of the mechanical puppet. Hey! What the hell is this? Zheng Mu gritted his teeth, feeling extremely angry. He Zheng Mu has been in Jiangnan city for several years and has never encountered such a thing. You fucking wait, I will kill you sooner or later. Zheng Mu's eyes were red, and he was extremely angry, but there was nothing he could do. Boom! Kacha! Kacha! At this moment, the mechanical puppet hit Zheng Mu with a stick. Zheng Mu had no time to dodge, so he was hit hard. Pfft! Zheng Mu spurted out a mouthful of blood, and his entire right leg was instantly broken, dripping with blood. At this time, his clothes were stained red with blood. And the mechanical puppet was chasing Zheng Mu again. Zheng Mu's face was pale, and he endured the severe pain in his body and kept retreating. At this time, he didn't know how to resist. Buzz buzz. Just when Zheng Mu was about to turn around and run away, he suddenly heard a voice coming from his ear. And the sound became clearer and clearer, as if it was coming from afar. What sound? Zheng Mu frowned and suddenly looked around with wide eyes. Swish, swish, swish. At this moment, hundreds of huge rocks suddenly appeared out of thin air. These huge rocks seemed to appear suddenly. A total of five to six hundred boulders fell from the sky overwhelmingly. The mechanical puppet had no time to dodge and was directly hit by the dense boulders. Bang! Crunch! In an instant, the mechanical puppet instantly shattered into countless parts. Ha ha! Zheng Mu was stunned when he saw this, and then couldn't help laughing. Ha ha ha! Zheng Mu was completely crazy at this time, laughing non-stop. Ha! I finally won! I finally won! Zheng Mu laughed loudly, as if he was crazy. Dd Dd 100! At this moment, a burst of electromagnetic wave reminders suddenly sounded behind him. Ding ding ding. The next second, a rapid siren sounded. I saw the remains of the mechanical puppet that had been smashed into pieces, quickly fused and reorganized. After just ten seconds, the mechanical puppet recovered. He he he. Silly. Do you really think this robot can trap me? I'm telling you, even if you use the most powerful nuclear bomb, I won't be afraid. It's just a mechanical puppet, but it's blocking me. It's just asking for death. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, then turned and left. Chapter 756 Although the move just now made him suffer a lot, under this situation, he couldn't care less. In the end, escaping life is the most important thing, 
and we will talk about other things later. Buzz buzz. But at this moment, the giant mechanical puppet behind Jing Mu suddenly erupted into a strong black smoke, instantly surrounding Jing Mu. Um. Jing Mu was stunned for a moment, then prepared to struggle out desperately. Zi La. Zi La. But the next moment, the body of this mechanical puppet stretched out instantly. Like a spider web, it is shrouding Jing Mu. Not good. Jing Mu's expression suddenly changed. At this moment, the mechanical puppet had arrived behind Jing Mu, and then hit him hard. Jing Mu quickly bent down to avoid it, but it was still inevitable to be touched. The mechanical arm, with its intense heat, instantly cut through Jing Mu's pants. Fuck. Jing Mu cursed angrily and continued running. Stab. At the same time, another elbow hit hard on Jing Mu's ribs. Pfft. Jing Mu instantly spit out a mouthful of blood and almost fell to the ground. Fuck you. I'll fucking fight you. Jing Mu gritted his teeth and turned around to rush towards the mechanical puppet. However, the mechanical puppet moved faster and suddenly kicked Jing Mu in the chest. Boom. There was a muffled sound, and Jing Mu's body instantly flew backwards and crashed into the bushes nearby. Cough cough cough. Jing Mu coughed violently and suffered severe injuries inside his chest and abdomen, making him feel like he could hardly breathe. Infinite panic and fear arose in Jing Mu's heart. What the hell is this? Jing Mu was shocked and began to curse involuntarily. But at this time, he was completely helpless. This mechanical puppet didn't give him any time to breathe. Boom boom boom. In an instant, Jing Mu was chased by this mechanical puppet and fled in panic, unable to fight back at all. Crack. Jing Mu ran too slowly and was directly grabbed by the mechanical puppet's calf and fell to the ground. Crack. Crack. The mechanical puppet punched down and crushed the joints of Jing Mu's wrist to pieces. Jing Mu howled out instantly. And the other mechanical arm of this mechanical puppet suddenly raised. Slap Jing Mu on the head. Crack. This slap was firm and hit Jing Mu hard on the face. In an instant, Jing Mu was beaten unconscious and lay motionless on the spot. Buzz. The mechanical puppet slowly stood up. It first lowered its head and glanced at Jing Mu. Then, he turned around and looked at the huge mountains in front of him. The mechanical puppet's eyes instantly emitted scarlet light, obviously filled with violence and bloodlust. Whoosh! Money! Bang 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 straight! The mechanical puppet took a step and ran straight towards the mountain. Boom! Just as the mechanical puppet ran less than 10 meters away, a huge boulder fell down instantly. It hit it directly on the knee, causing it to kneel to the ground on the spot. The mechanical puppet roared. A burst of black mist instantly emerged from its body, covering its hands and ankles. Whoop whoosh. Chapter, 757. The next moment, the mechanical puppet suddenly waved its mechanical arm. Bara. In an instant, a section of its thick mechanical arm was torn off. The mechanical arm instantly fell to the ground, causing sparks to fly. Immediately afterwards, the mechanical arm suddenly rolled on the ground. Click. It crushed all the way, leaving countless deep pits and cracks on the mountain wall. Finally, the mechanical arm came to a standstill. At this time, the arm has disappeared. Only a deep hole remains, proving that he once existed. Hiss. Seeing this scene of 863, Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath. He never dreamed that he would encounter such a strange thing. At this moment, the remaining half of the mechanical puppet's body was still trembling. That ferocious expression was as terrifying as a demon. Jing Mu could still feel the fierce evil aura even though he was far away. This mechanical puppet was definitely more ferocious than the cyborgs he had seen before. Whirring whirring. Jing Mu was already covered in scars at this time, and blood was flowing from the corner of his mouth. His eyes widened and looked forward full of resentment and unwillingness. These mechanical puppets don't even know how to write the word fear. They don't even know pain, and they don't fear death at all. 
because they are a group of monsters who only know how to kill. Boom. Boom. And the mechanical puppet doesn't care whether Xin Mu wants it or not. It took heavy steps again and chased directly towards Xin Mu. Damn. You bitch. Xin Mu cursed angrily. But his injuries were so serious that he was shaking and couldn't stand firm at all. Kacha. Kacha. The mechanical puppet rushed over instantly and grabbed Zheng Mu's neck. Zheng Mu's eyes widened and he tightly grasped the palms of the mechanical puppet with both hands. I'm going to fuck you, let go. Let go, did you hear me? Ack, holy shit. Are you fucking deaf? Let me go. Zheng Mu kept struggling and cursing. He doesn't want to die. He has never experienced a life or death crisis since he was a child, and he still wants to live for two more years. He still wants to play with women, he still wants to pick up girls. Click. Click. But Zheng Mu's resistance only resulted in the mechanical puppet's increasingly cold eyes. Zheng Mu's heart skipped a beat, and he suddenly fell into despair. And at this critical moment. Boom. The next moment, a violent explosion suddenly erupted in the distance. Zheng Mu turned around subconsciously. I saw that the huge mountain in the distance was slowly collapsing. That huge mountain peak actually had a golden beam of light shining through. It was as if it was some kind of sharp weapon that cut off the top of its mountain. And if you observe carefully, you can clearly see that there seems to be a metal plate at the end of the light column, which is shining with a faint light. The majestic mountains quickly collapsed and collapsed at a speed visible to the naked eye. The horrific scene made people's hearts palpitate. This scene is simply shocking. Zheng Mu's pupils shrank sharply, and his face looked uncertain. Could it be that the powerful energy contained in that light destroyed the mountain? Zheng Mu murmured to himself, his eyes full of solemnity. Chapter, 758 If this is the case, this light must be extraordinary. Although Zheng Mu was curious, he did not dare to act rashly. After all, he is now seriously injured and his combat effectiveness is less than one-fifth of his usual strength. If he causes any trouble again, he will be here today. Snort. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, then supported his weak body and prepared to return home. At this moment, the mechanical puppet suddenly stretched out its right hand and grasped Zheng Mu's waistband. Hiss. Zheng Mu immediately trembled all over and almost peed. And the eyes of the mechanical puppet revealed extreme bloodthirsty and cruelty. It's as if I want to eat Zheng Mu. Pfft. The next moment, Zheng Mu had no time to react before he was torn apart by the mechanical puppet and dragged into the dark abyss. Whoosh. Along with the harsh friction sound, Zheng Mu instantly disappeared into the mountains. Roar. The mechanical puppet looked up to the sky and roared, raising its arms high and waving violently. Just listen to a bang sound. The place where Zheng Mu was standing suddenly burst into smoke and dust, as if there was an earthquake. Crunch. The mechanical puppet slowly squatted down and picked up a metal ball. This metal ball is exactly the damaged parchment roll that Zheng Mu was holding before. This mechanical puppet seems to recognize this thing. It was seen slowly approaching the abyss, and then throwing the damaged parchment roll into the dark and deep pit. The mechanical puppet jumped down without hesitation and disappeared. Crash. At the same time, the hundreds of mechanical spiders around them slowly dispersed. It was as if everything just now had never happened before. Tap tap tap. After the mechanical puppet fell off the cliff, it did not immediately fall into the abyss. Instead, he slid slowly along the cliff for several kilometers. Finally, it slowly stopped sliding. Then, it raised its head and looked at the grass on the edge of the cliff, its eyes shining brightly. Click, 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 click. I saw the mechanical puppet taking heavy steps again and walking towards the cliff. Fuck. Don't come over here. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu was horrified. The mechanical puppet paid no attention to it and continued to limp forward. Zero please give me flowers. This mechanical puppet seems to be alive and can think. Buzz. 
It came to the edge of the cliff and grabbed the cliff rock with a steel claw. The next moment, apply force directly. Boom! I saw that the mechanical puppet actually excavated part of the entire cliff. I'll be good. Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu was completely dumbfounded. What kind of mechanism is this? This mechanical puppet can actually dig mountains. You know, even the latest model of mechanical puppet studied by the Academy of Sciences is nothing more than this in appearance. But now, the mechanical puppet in front of me is obviously not an ordinary mechanical armor. His intelligent program has definitely reached a terrifying level. Zheng Mu couldn't believe that such a thing could actually be born in the world. This damn thing simply goes against my own three views. At this time, the mechanical puppet had completely gone berserk and was digging into the cliff desperately. Zheng Mu was hiding in the dark, watching this scene, not daring to show any signs of neglect. At this time, Zheng Mu felt severe pain all over his body. Chapter 759 The bones on the body have been broken into pieces. Kacha. Kacha. And the mechanical puppet was still exerting force. But this mechanical puppet seems to have forgotten one thing. His body is made of metal. The so-called indestructible body is just a joke. Boom. I saw the mechanical puppet exerting all its strength and exerting force suddenly. 647 Huchi Huchi Within the body of the mechanical puppet, there were waves of low roaring sounds, as if something was operating within it. Zheng Mu could clearly see that there were many red lines coming out of the mechanical puppet. Those lines actually formed strange patterns. Immediately afterwards, the mechanical puppet punched the ground. Crack! The extremely solid mountain ground was forced into a hole by this punch. Then, the mechanical puppet jumped into the dark cave. Zheng Mu hid in the bushes and watched without blinking. After entering the cave entrance, the mechanical puppet continued to advance along the cave. Finally we came to another empty place. Kakaka. The mechanical puppet slowly turned around and looked at the place where it was hiding. Its eyes were filled with scarlet light of infinite killing. Hiss. Zheng Mu took a breath and felt his scalp numb. He couldn't help but feel weak and collapse directly on the ground. At this moment, he finally understood why the person before said that these mechanical spiders could easily kill him. I, Chao how could this happen? Zheng Mu's face was dull, as if he was stupid. Originally, he only thought this was an ordinary secret realm. Who knew, this is actually an active volcano. Moreover, there are so many weird and unpredictable mechanical puppets. If he had known that this was an active volcano, he would have rather avoided this road than come here to die. But now, it's too late. Da da da. The next second, the mechanical puppet went straight towards Xing Mu and moved slowly over. Every time you take a step, a series of footprints will be left on the ground. Xing Mu's eyes widened, he held his breath and quickly lay down on the spot. Now, he can't even move half an inch. In this state, just wait for the mechanical puppet to come over and kill him with one blow. Whoosh! The next moment, the mechanical puppet jumped up and rushed towards Xing Mu. The speed is so fast, it's incredible. The two sharp fangs of the mechanical puppet bit hard on the soil beside Xing Mu, splashing countless dust. Cough cough cough. At this time, Zheng Mu was choked and coughed violently. But he had no time to care about anything else and hurriedly collected the herb. Then, he quietly left here. And the mechanical puppet slowly retreated. Soon, Zheng Mu found a hidden corner and avoided the mechanical puppet. My Chao almost died. Looking at the empty valley, one, four coins couldn't help cursing. This secret realm is really weird. Zheng Mu just wanted to run away at this time and no longer wanted to stay in this ghost place. But when he was about to leave this area. But he suddenly froze. Because at this time, he suddenly saw that there were countless fine runes on the cliffs on both sides of the canyon, shining with a faint silver light. Chapter 760 Could this be? Zheng Mu frowned slightly. Because at this time, the runes on the cliff were very similar to the jade pendant in my hand before. 
Could it be said that this jade pendant is also an item left by a certain force? Zheng Mu's heart moved and he suddenly became excited. He was very much looking forward to getting the treasure in this secret realm of ancient ruins. After all, in such a magical place, there must be all kinds of weird treasures. At this time, the treasure left by that strong man may be buried deep in the valley. Thinking of this zero too, Zheng Mu didn't say anything, but even cautiously moved forward to explore. His legs were broken by the mechanical puppet, making him unable to move on his own. Click. Click. The robot also said nothing and just followed silently. As Zheng Mu moved forward, he carefully examined the surrounding scene. But the further they walked, the more doubtful Zheng Mu became. Logically speaking, this secret realm should be a huge cave. But the direction in which he was heading at this time did not look like a cave at all. Instead, it is a long and narrow underground tunnel. This made Jing Mu have to wonder if he had entered some taboo place by mistake. It's not really a monster, is it? Jing Mu's heart trembled and he stopped immediately. Squeak! Squeak! At the same time, the mechanical puppet made a harsh noise, as if urging Jing Mu. Hearing this sound, Jing Mu was so frightened that he immediately sped up. Pfft! However, before walking a few meters, the mechanical puppet reached out and grabbed Zheng Mu's shoulder, tearing off a piece of his sleeve in an instant. The blood spurts out, shocking. Your sister, why am I provoking you? Zheng Mu grinned in pain and couldn't help roaring. This mechanical puppet seemed to have identified Zheng Mu and would not let him go. Bang! The next moment, the mechanical puppet slapped him with a palm, causing him to fall to the ground. Kaka Kaka. The mechanical puppet swings its arms and instantly locks Jing Mu's limbs and neck. Kakaka. Jing Mu's eyes were splitting, and he felt like he couldn't breathe. If he were an ordinary person, he would probably suffocate to death long ago. Although he was seriously injured and his strength was greatly reduced, his physical strength was still there. As long as you give him some time, he will recover. Crack. At this moment, a ferocious sharp tooth directly bit the skin on his chest, biting hard. Blood spurted out, which was heart-stopping. However, Jing Mu still did not give up. His eyes widened, looking at the skull face so close. His eyes were filled with madness and resentment. Damn it, if you don't kill me today, I will definitely kill you. Jing Mu cursed viciously. He never expected that when he came to the secret realm this time, he would encounter such a tragic scene. Originally, he came here for experience. But now, he has become prey in the eyes of others. Whoosh! Zheng Mu's eyes were red. Suddenly, he took out an exquisite gun from his backpack. Boom! He pulled the trigger without hesitation, and a sniper bullet burst out, hitting the mechanical puppet's head. Bang bang! However, the mechanical puppet refused to dodge and let the sniper bullet hit him. But it can only bring out sparks in him. Chapter, 761 Ha! How dare you take a sniper rifle? Zheng Mu laughed loudly. You idiot, this thing is completely useless against mechanical life. Zheng Mu's face was full of sarcasm. But at this time, the mechanical puppet was unmoved at all. Suddenly punched Jing Mu. Boom! The power of the punch was enough to send Jing Mu flying tens of meters away, crashing into a stone wall on the side, smashing the stone and falling to the ground. At this time, Jing Mu was in an extremely embarrassed state. His whole body was stained with blood, and he was even more miserable. The sniper bomb just now could be said to be his last resort. But Naiha was ineffective against mechanical life and was easily cracked by mechanical puppets. Hiss. Looking at the wound on his chest, Jing Mu couldn't help but gasp. Although the attack just now was not painful, it still caused Jing Mu to suffer a lot. At this time, he just felt so weak that it was even difficult to stand up. Damn, what on earth is this? At this time, Jing Mu could only lie on the ground, cursing secretly. However, just when Zheng Mu was about to continue resting. Suddenly, a horse friction sound was heard. Immediately afterwards, a huge black shadow slowly crawled over. 
Seeing the big guy who was three meters tall, Jing Mu's pupils shrank suddenly. Because the giant mechanical puppet actually dragged another corpse and slowly crawled in front of Jing Mu. Jing Mu's heart was beating fast, almost in his throat. At this time, he only hoped that he would be lucky. Otherwise, you will be in danger when the big guy crawls over completely. Sure enough, after experiencing a short period of silence. The giant mechanical puppet finally started to move. It dragged the corpse and slowly approached Jing Mu. Jing Mu held his breath and didn't blink. He knew that if he made the slightest move at this time, it would lead to disaster. At this time, the mechanical puppet was less than half a meter away from Jing Mu. And Jing Mu's breathing has become stagnant. He didn't even dare to move his eyes. He was afraid that this mechanical puppet would hit him with a punch and smash him to death. However, at this critical moment, the mechanical puppet suddenly froze in place. Its cold eyes stared at Jing Mu. However, the mechanical body began to tremble. Giggle cluck. There was a strange sound like a rolling millstone. I saw crack marks appearing on the watch case of the mechanical puppet. Kala. A crisp voice came. I saw a gap on the surface of this mechanical puppet. And then, there was another crash. The entire mechanical surface was shattered inch by inch. The inner steel skeleton is exposed. The mecha's bones were covered with cracks. Obviously, under this invisible pressure, it finally couldn't hold on. Bang! At this time, the mechanical puppet finally collapsed to the ground. Call! Jing Mu let out a long breath. The heart beats violently. In the situation just now, it would have been impossible for Noah to have a super powerful fighting instinct. I'm afraid that he has been beaten to death by the mechanical puppet at this time. However, he did not relax his vigilance at this time. He understood that he had met a ruthless character this time. Tap tap tap. And at this moment, a burst of dense footsteps came again. And more and more. Oops. Zheng Mu's expression changed drastically. He didn't expect that there would be so many trapped dogs in this cemetery. Chapter 762 This is a cemetery. This mechanical puppet must be dedicated to guarding this tomb. At this time, Zheng Mu only felt that his body was extremely weak. It was impossible to escape at this time. However, Zheng Mu did not sit still and wait for death. Call out. He suddenly stretched out his right hand and slashed at the mechanical puppet with a knife. At this time, Zheng Mu was seriously injured and his strength had been exhausted. However, even so, a seventh level body tempering realm slashed the mechanical puppet with all his strength, and it still made a clanking sound. All this just left a faint scratch on the body of the machine puppet, not even a trace. Huh, it seems you don't have much ability. Upon seeing this, the machine puppet's eyeballs suddenly emitted a ferocious light. Following his words, he came to kill directly. The speed reached the extreme, as if teleporting, he appeared in front of Zheng Mu instantly. Not good. Zheng Mu was frightened at this time and tried his best to resist. Clang. However, in front of this mechanical puppet, it is not worth mentioning at all. A punch hit Zheng Mu's waist and abdomen, causing him to fly up. Click. As a crisp sound came, several of Zheng Mu's ribs were broken. At the same time, blood was flowing out and dripping on the rock wall. Hiss. A seb, Zheng Mu felt severe pain all over his body. And he struggled for a long time and stood up with difficulty. At this time, his face was as pale as paper and his breath was listless. How's it going? Do you still want to try? I advise you to stop as soon as possible. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and said with hatred. Jie Jie. But the mechanical puppet screamed eerily at this time. Then, he walked towards Zheng Mu again. He seemed to have identified Zheng Mu and wanted to kill Zheng Mu to vent his anger. Zheng Mu was frightened at this time. He wanted to escape. However, there is no way. Damn it, I don't believe in evil anymore. I can't kill you, a little puppet. Zheng Mu roared angrily. He actually rushed towards the mechanical puppet and launched another attack. 
This time, he took the metal tube directly above the neck of the mechanical puppet. Bang! Zheng Mu punched down and broke the metal pipe instantly. The mechanical puppet seemed to be feeling pain at this time. It suddenly paused for a moment, then took off again, chasing Zheng Mu. Hey, you can't kill me, I'm immortal. Zheng Mu said with a grin. At this moment, he seemed to have seen the dawn of victory, and he was extremely excited. However, this mechanical puppet still ignored everything and came straight to him. Crack. Finally, when the mechanical puppet came closer. He suddenly raised his arms and grabbed Zheng Mu's shoulders. Then squeeze hard. Pfft. Zheng Mu felt that his shoulder blades were almost torn into pieces. And this mechanical puppet didn't give up. Lifting his knees again, he hit Zheng Mu's head like a wolf. Boom. Zheng Mu could no longer hold on and was knocked out. Boom. He fell hard to the ground. At this time, all the internal organs were displaced and the pain was excruciating. However, there was a hint of madness and ferocity on his face. Ha ha ha. You can't kill me, you can't kill me. Zheng Mu laughed. At this moment, he turned out to be crazy. At this moment, the mechanical puppet came again. Chapter, 763 Zheng Mu had quick eyes and quick hands and rolled away like a lazy donkey. However, the mechanical puppet refused to let Zheng Mu go. Just reach out and wave. In an instant, a thick chain flew out. It actually drilled out directly from the surrounding rocks and bound the Zheng Mu tightly. Ugh. At this time, Zheng Mu felt a sense of suffocation arise spontaneously. Desperate. Click. Click. The mechanical puppet held the chain with both hands and pulled it suddenly. Stab it. There was a sound of clothes being torn. There are sharp serrations on this chain. It's over. Feeling death approaching. Zheng Mu's eyes widened and his pupils were dilated. And at the same time, the mechanical puppet suddenly raised another chain and struck at Zheng Mu. Crack. A whip was thrown, and the entire left side of Zheng Mu's chest instantly sunk, with deep whip marks appearing. The red blood flows, making the sun approach above the ground. Ah! At this time, Zheng Mu endured severe pain and screamed. However, these pains are far less than the psychological trauma. Today, he actually fell into the hands of a mechanical puppet. It made him extremely unhappy. At this time, the machine puppet slowly approached. You can't kill me. Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and persisted. Because I know your secret. Zheng Mu's voice was low and pleading. Click. After hearing these words, the machine puppet actually stopped. His eyes were shining with blue light, as if he was thinking. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, breathed a sigh of relief at this time. Although he is not afraid of death, he is very afraid of death. As long as you spare my life, I will tell you all your secrets. We can be friends. Zheng Mu said. Call. But this machine puppet exhaled a dirty breath at this time. Buzz. His eyes turned slightly, and finally he trembled slightly at Zheng Mu. This means consent. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, showed joy instantly. As long as you don't die, it'll be easy. You can also slowly find a way to leave. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. However, at this moment, the machine puppet suddenly moved. As he waved his palm, it instantly condensed into a sharp blade. Zero please give me flowers. It struck straight at Zheng Mu. The strong wind blew, making Zheng Mu feel pain on his skin. Even my scalp is numb. Laugh. He didn't dare to hesitate and evaded instantly. Boom. The sharp blade grazed his neck, cutting his clothes and leaving a deep bloody groove on his neck. The red blood is gushing. In this case, even his consciousness became blurred. And that machine puppet really didn't care about Zheng Mu's life or death. At this time, he waved his hand again, and another sharp sword shot towards Zheng Mu in an instant. A cold light shone on the sharp sword. Obviously, 
all it takes is one more sword strike to gain his benefit. But at this time, Zheng Mu was not afraid. Instead, he closed his eyes. He didn't want to die. He still had too many things to do and couldn't die. Bah! The sharp blade instantly penetrated his throat. A sharp pain hit, and Zheng Mu felt that the world was gradually getting darker. At the last moment when he lost consciousness, a bitter curve appeared at the corner of his mouth. And at this moment pill. Chapter, 764 The mechanical puppet lay straight on the ground. On top of the originally huge body. Layers of crack suddenly appeared. This is the result of being burned by electric current. Crack. Immediately afterwards, pieces of debris fell. This mechanical puppet turned into pieces and fell to the ground. This scene made Zheng Mu take a long breath. I'm alive. Zheng Mu murmured to himself. For 8-3 in the scene just now, he never thought that he would win. After all, he has reached his innate peak for two years. And he has rich combat experience. How could he lose to a mechanical puppet? However, at this time, he couldn't think too much. Because, he must leave here as soon as possible. Otherwise, there is only a dead end waiting for you. Brush. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu held on to his tired body and staggered to his feet. But, just when he was about to escape. But he was shocked to find that the door of the machine had disappeared at some point. Damn, how could this happen? Zheng Mu was horrified. This mechanism door is made of special materials. Extraordinarily hard. Unless you are a master in the divine realm or a weapon refiner, otherwise, it will not be easy to damage even the slightest bit, let alone destroy it. But now, it is destroyed. At this time, Jin Mu had no time to think about it. Because, at the moment when he finished speaking, the mechanical puppet was already rushing towards him. The fingers are curved like hooks, like eagle talons. In an instant, he grabbed Zheng Mu's chest. Extremely fast. Boom. Zheng Mu had no resistance at all and was instantly shot away. What's more, it's even more miserable. His ribs were directly pierced. The severe pain made him tremble all over and almost fainted. However, he was awake, gritting his teeth, working hard to run his exercises and recuperate his body. At this time, he understood that only by recovering his strength as soon as possible could he escape from danger. Roar. However, just as Zheng Mu was healing from his injuries, the mechanical puppet roared and rushed towards him again. This time, it was faster and more powerful. Zheng Mu's eyes were dazzled, and his figure was forced to retreat step by step. However, even so, Zheng Mu still didn't say anything. He worked hard to activate the skills in his body. Pfft. Finally, at the next moment, he spat out a mouthful of blood. The whole person looks full of energy. Then, it turned out to be when the mecha puppet had just arrived. Charge forward brazenly. Boom. The two fists collided. Zheng Mu had a look of madness in his eyes. There was a crisp sound. There was actually a slight crack on the arm of the mecha puppet. Then, it exploded instantly. Turned into metal debris all over the sky. Zheng Mu actually took the opportunity to escape the attack range of the mechanical puppet. But at this time, the other party had a look of disbelief on his face. Obviously, he believed that he had been deceived. And just when Zheng Mu ran zero, two meters away, the machine puppet actually shouted again. Then, the body actually expanded again. In the blink of an eye, it rose to about three feet. The palm of the hand expanded several times, like a cattail leaf fan. A strong and extremely fishy smell emanated from it. This made Jing Mu frown. Chapter, 765 And the eyes of the machine puppet were glowing with green light. This made Jing Mu even more timid and fearful. Then, he pushed out with a palm. The vast palm prints swept over like mountains and seas. Everywhere he passed, the space was trembling. Zheng Mu's face turned pale. He knew that he could not block the blow. But now, there is no other way. 
we can only face the enemy with all our strength. Roar. He roared to the sky, trying to block the attack, and at the same time, a shadow rose up behind him in an instant. Boom. The next moment, the two collided hard. Zheng Mu's body was thrown directly away. His eyes were unfocused. The chest seemed to be filled with unspeakable pain. At this time, he almost collapsed. But the mechanical puppet didn't care about that much at all. Another kick. Zheng Mu's chest collapsed directly. Then, at the moment of kicking out, Zheng Mu's figure fell to the ground. Ahem. Blood kept flowing from the corners of his mouth. He struggled to his feet. However, his heart had stopped beating long ago and he could not move at all. I could only sit down against the wall and wait for death to come. At this time, the whole house seemed to be shaking. His legs were slightly weak. However, Zheng Mu had no power to move at all and could only watch himself, waiting for death to come. But, at this moment. Click. There was a slight sound. A touch of joy filled Jing Mu's heart. He knew that the agency door was open. Then, I saw the mechanical puppet slowly retreating. In the end, it actually reintegrated into the underground and disappeared. Call. Jing Mu breathed a sigh of relief. As long as he was not beaten into a pulp, his life was finally saved. Just when he was about to stand up. A sound of machine springs turning sounded at this moment. Then, the entire floor rolled away. It actually revealed the passage below. Zheng Mu didn't dare to neglect and hurriedly got in. At this time, he was completely frightened. Not only him, but also the ordinary people's eyes widened. Because, they discovered that these mechanical puppets did not continue to hunt Zheng Mu, but retreated to the ground and settled down. Such a scene makes people feel weird. And at this moment, in the entire city, suddenly a shrill alarm sounded. Everyone was shocked and inexplicable. Because, when the alarm sounded, the defense system of the city lord's palace was actually triggered. Although, they don't know what happened. However, I also understand that something bad will definitely happen. At this time, Jing Mu was extremely excited. I am saved. And, listen to the sounds around you. He knew that someone had controlled these mechas. Needless to say, these people should undoubtedly be the army of the empire. But at this moment. Boom. Along with the roar of cars. The sky above the entire city was actually covered. The endless torrent of steel surges. These soldiers all held firearms and war mechas. In the cockpit, control this huge combat cassette. Everyone couldn't help but gasp. Chapter, 766 Especially those ordinary people. At this time, there is no hesitation. One by one they ran away into the distance. After all, with his current strength, he has no power to fight back in front of these mecha warriors. However, at this time, he made a discovery. Originally, the people who were closer to him were now being squeezed into pieces by trucks and died miserably. And at that moment he was stunned. On the other side, tanks were firing directly. For a moment, firelight shone on the street. No matter who it is, they will definitely die if they encounter this situation. At this time, Jing Mu did not expect that such a thing would happen in the empire. This was completely beyond his expectations. It can even be said to be shocking. Because, he knew very well that if this was really the case, the imperial capital would probably fall. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu crawled towards the location of the city lord's mansion regardless of being seriously injured. But at this moment. Bang bang. Two more mechanical puppets charged towards them. Zheng Mu couldn't escape. It hit the two puppets directly. This time, he did not survive. Under the huge force, he smashed through the window and fell out of the yard. Wow! Zheng Mu fell heavily to the ground. And his head was hit hard on a hard rock. Suddenly, the blood on his forehead gurgled out. Making him gasp for breath. He waved his hand again to summon the mecha, and then controlled the mecha to face the enemy. Boom! After a punch was fired, a puppet exploded directly. 
However, no one noticed him. At this time, Zheng Mu felt dizzy. Because the impact just now was too violent. He is now seriously injured, and even if he takes pills, he will need to rest for a long time before he can recover. But he knew that if this continued, he might not even have a chance to escape. But at this moment, a burst of noise started to sound. Quickly, rescue Mr. Zheng. There was anxiety in his voice. He was a medic. After hearing the alarm bell, he quickly rushed to the city lord's mansion. At this time, he happened to meet Jing Mu who had passed out. Laugh. The sharp blade instantly cut open the clothes on his chest. Then, a huge heart appeared in front of the medical soldier. Oh my god, sir, he's actually hurt. The medical soldier's voices became sharper. At this moment, the people in the main city finally reflected. They gathered one after another. You guys, send Mr. Zheng back to the manor immediately. He must be treated. At this time, his heart was full of resentment. Unexpectedly, those mechanical puppets would actually invade the city. Boo hoo! Several bullets shot out. Instantly penetrated a mechanical puppet. Immediately afterwards, other high level officials in the main city also took action one after another. There was a moment of chaos on the court. However, while they were acting, the medical soldier was already preparing to send Zheng Mu back to his manor. This Zheng Mu is the backbone of the entire main city. As long as the other party is alive, he believes that the main city will never perish. However, right now. But a guard on the side shouted. Therefore, he picked up Zheng Mu without hesitation and ran outside. Roar. However, at this time, he obviously couldn't do what he wanted. Chapter 767 The moment he stepped out of the yard. Kala. A bolt of lightning struck down directly. It enveloped his entire being. Zitsi. The terrifying high temperature made his blood steam. Then, he fell straight to the ground. However, no one paid attention to it. Roar. At this moment, a roar came out. Immediately afterwards, countless mechanical puppets appeared on the city wall. Bang bang. Intensive gunshots were heard. Da da da. Unparalleled bullets swept through the entire city wall in an instant. For a while, the rain splashed. Both humans and mechanical puppets were shot into sieves. However, those city defense troops did not stop fighting back. Each tank 240 directly adjusts its muzzle at this time. Shoot into the sky. Boom. There was a burst of explosions. The dark fighter planes and those mechas in the sky stopped for a moment. But, immediately afterwards, it rushed downwards again. At this time, the main city became even more chaotic. The masters who were usually majestic were now walking awkwardly among the crowd. Trying to find a way to survive. However, it was blocked by dense artillery shells. After a brief battle. In the entire main city, except for the puppets and the city defense troops, no one survived. Seeing such a scene, Zheng Mu's eyes were about to burst. He wanted to call for backup. However, at this time, the main city was already in chaos. How could he call? At this time, he knew clearly. Tonight, he must sacrifice. Otherwise, the entire main world may be destroyed. He slowly approached the infirmary. At this time, his face was pale and his eyes were blank. He wanted to get inside and see. However, at this time, he was physically weak and could not get in at all. And right now. Whizzing. Almost without any hesitation, figures gathered from all around. Immediately, the door was blocked. Then, he looked at Jingmu standing in the center of the room. ACDC. An old man shouted. Mr. Zheng Mu, please come with us. My lady, please come back. After the words fell, a woman slowly walked out. Although she was dressed very plainly, she still couldn't hide her stunning beauty. But at this time, Zheng Mu didn't pay attention at all. He just stared at the woman quietly, with a look of sadness in his eyes. Then, he spoke. Who are you? 
he's waiting for answers. At this time, he understood in his heart. I'm afraid I can't save my life. But at this time, the woman said with a smile. Ha, huh, Mr. Mu, don't worry, as long as you are safe and sound, I promise to let you leave alive. At the same time as the voice sounded, a cold light flashed in his eyes. She naturally knows who Zheng Mu is. The other party controls the finances of the entire Imperial Mountain. The funding given to all parties every year is also the largest. If only it could be controlled. Your own master can take a step further. Moreover, in her opinion, she also has a way to control these people. After all, she possesses a special kind of poison that can completely make people lose their resistance as long as they take one pill. However, after hearing the voice, a hint of bitterness appeared on the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth. Chapter, 768 He knew that he might not be able to survive today. However, just when he raised his head and was about to speak. Suddenly, a burst of angry curses came out. You damn slaves, get out of here. Then, a burly man pushed open the door and barged in. Bang! After seeing him, the woman slapped him in the face. Great power surges. The burly man fell to the ground. However, immediately after, he got up again. He said viciously. Bastard servant, if it weren't for you, how could the master be harmed? You deserve to die. After the voice fell, he rushed up here. And after seeing this situation, Zheng Mu couldn't help but smile coldly. He didn't expect that things would develop to this point. When he drove the robot and arrived at the edge of the main world, looking at the scene in front of him, he couldn't help but frown. Because, on the main world, there are ruins everywhere at this time. The original prosperity has completely disappeared. The strong smell of blood filled the air. There is no harmony at all in such a scene. However, just after his gaze shifted. A guy in black robe is walking towards here. The other party's face was extremely gloomy. His hands were behind his back. Although there are many people patrolling around. But it didn't attract any attention at all. Boom! Just after the other party approached. The robot controlled by Zheng Mu moved instantly. It stretched out its arm and smashed it down. He knocked the man in black robe away. Not only that. Even the guards patrolling around were alarmed. I saw dozens of powerful auras emerging from every corner. Their eyes were extremely cold, as if they were ready to take action at any time. However, Zheng Mu was not afraid at this time. He summoned the mecha to appear. Crack. The sound of metal friction sounded. That was the sound of the mecha colliding with the ground. The next moment, the whole person was enveloped in the mecha. At the same time, his right hand was slowly raised. In an instant, ten rays of bright light emerged in the air. Those energy balls fell directly like a meteor shower. There was a rumble. The surrounding defenders were instantly covered. Zero please give me flowers. Before they could react, they turned into pieces of meat and fell downwards. These mechas are all made by people from the technological world. Although the level is not high. But the combat power is indeed unparalleled. The leader at this time had just walked out of his house. It just felt like something was wrong. Dang even shouted angrily. Who dares to sneak attack? However, just after he finished speaking. The mecha below moved again. Call out. Fierce sparks burst out. Then, an energy bomb burst out. The leader looked at the cannonball in disbelief. He didn't understand how someone could attack him outside this main world. You know, this is the holy court. Unless he is seeking death, otherwise, no one would dare to provoke him. Laugh. The next moment, the energy bomb landed on his head. Blazing energy blooms. The opponent's entire head was exploded in an instant. Then, the leader's body was directly burned clean. And after doing all this, the mecha standing in the void did not stop attacking Qin. Chapter, 769 He wanders across the sky. Every time it appears, it will definitely take away several lives. 
In a short period of time, the ground was covered with corpses. And this kind of massacre is not over. Because, Zheng Mu in the void. At this time, it launched another attack. Countless energy bombs draw brilliant arcs in the air. Then, it fell into the crowd of defenders. The terrifying energy made them scream one, three, zero at the same time. Reduced to ashes. Zheng Mu in the Mecca was grinning widely. He felt that these Mechas were really fun. This made him extremely excited. Thinking of this, I would never give up. He immediately shouted. Keep killing. After the sound fell. Whoosh. Those mechas actually flew towards other areas in the city. Wherever he passed, screams could be heard one after another. However, it also attracted more defenders to appear. When they arrived. However, he discovered that all his companions had died. Seeing such a situation, they were extremely angry. Especially after seeing those mechas. Dang even pounced on him. However, under such circumstances, how could it be possible to defeat him? This time, the leader was also angered. He took action directly. The finger points out. Laugh. A general, unable to escape, was directly penetrated through the body. You are seeking death. He shouted loudly. He met Jing Mu directly. But at this time, the other party did not dodge or avoid. Both fists danced and collided with each other. The two were instantly entangled. It was a close fight. Zheng Mu's mecha. Defense, in this world, can definitely be ranked at the forefront. After all, it is made of fine steel. Just after the battle started, the two of them fought for three full days, but there was still no winner. Finally, the team leader retreated. Because he knew that with his own strength, it would be difficult to kill the opponent. But, this is just the beginning. Just after the team leader left. The rest of the people also joined in. They laid siege regardless of their lives. However, the current battle situation has no impact on the mecha at all. The other party is still harvesting lives. This battle lasted for about half an hour. There are fewer and fewer defenders left in the entire city. Finally, all the mechas were destroyed. The defenders were also completely killed. This was seen by everyone on the city wall. There was a look of horror on his face. They knew in their hearts that these mechas that suddenly appeared were definitely not simple. And right now. The leader's eyes showed a ferocious look at this moment. Cheng Mu, I remember you. Let's go. He said coldly. Then, he led his subordinates and prepared to withdraw. But, at this moment. Zheng Mu in the distance came towards this side amid bursts of roaring sounds. Obviously, they have discovered the situation here. Then the roar of five, two fell. Those mechas had already wrapped them up in the center. Immediately afterwards, blazing energy spurted out. Pfft. There were sounds of sharp blades piercing the body. So that they didn't dare to neglect at all. At this time, we can only resist desperately. However, their cultivation levels are very different. Chapter, 770 In a short period of time, he was strangled on the spot. After those mechas calmed down. It was extremely quiet here again. However, no one dares to underestimate these mechas. And right now. The other end is deep in the mountains and forests thousands of miles away from here. At this time, an army was approaching quickly. On their helmets, there is a spear symbol. He is clearly a member of the Blood Wolf mercenary group. At this time, they were on their way. Because, in front of them, there is a desert. If we follow common sense, there will never be any ferocious beasts in this desolate place. However, today 02 is an exception. Because, not long after they moved forward. A giant demon wolf blocked their way. The opponent's body was huge, five or six feet long. Dark all over. Exuding cold murderous intent. At this moment, the solemn look in the eyes of the members of the Blood Wolf mercenary group couldn't help but become more intense. Because, the monster in front of him actually has strength comparable to that of a titled emperor. 
however, since they have accepted the task, they must complete it. Therefore, he did not dare to be careless. Dang even opened his mouth and shouted. Rush over. After hearing the sound, everyone charged forward at this time. This time, many members of the Blood Wolf mercenary group showed their true abilities. At this time, Jin Mu was not to be outdone. Driving the Mecca, he rushed forward. Such a scene is extremely shocking. Bang bang. A series of sounds of gold and iron were heard. At the moment of collision, the demon wolf's eyes showed surprise. It didn't expect that humans could actually possess such powerful mechas. However, this also made it more ferocious. The huge mouth opened, and a blue light glowed on one of the fangs. Then, he bit forward fiercely. This is a nine-marked demon wolf, and it is also a bloodthirsty demon beast. Although he is not in the realm of a titled emperor. But he is so powerful that within the same level, there are almost no opponents. Therefore, at the moment when those fangs were about to touch the mecha. A roar came out. Zheng Mu's body suddenly jumped out and punched down. Bang! A violent collision was heard. The demon wolf's body flew out at this moment. He did not expect that the resistance of these humans would be so violent. There was even an overwhelming force coming from the opponent's fist. Let yourself get hurt. At this time, he had a look of fear in his eyes. Kill! Zheng Mu shouted. Within the mecha, thousands of combat robots rushed out like a tide at this moment. And their target is the Demon Wolf. At this time, Demon Wolf 183 wanted to escape. But no matter what, these mechanical life forms are too strong. The strength of each one seemed to be on par with him, or even vaguely superior to him. In such a situation, how can it be possible to get rid of it? In a short period of time, the demon wolf's body was torn into pieces. Then, he was dragged into the space crack by the mecha and disappeared. At this time, the entire Mu's battleship. There was a smile on everyone's lips. They knew that this time, they would be able to successfully complete the task. But at this time, the people of the Blood Wolf mercenary group were unwilling to stay and wanted to continue rushing to the next location. Chapter, 771 However, their actions have already been targeted by the Skynet system. Whizzing. Streams of light cut through the void and shot towards them. Careful. After seeing these streams of light, the deputy leader couldn't help but exclaimed. Then, next to him, there was a mecha blocking him. This is a bronze mecha, although it is not too powerful. However, as a group of ordinary members, it is enough. And just after he finished his instructions. Bang bang. A dense sound came out. The mecha exploded and blood spattered out. Damn it, these human war machines are actually chasing us. We must leave immediately. The deputy leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group said with a gloomy expression. Others, on the other hand, did not hesitate at all. Because, at this time, they clearly felt that those machines could actually detect their existence. If you continue to stay here, you may be trapped here. Therefore, he didn't wait for his words to fall. Everyone just retreated towards the back. At the same time, the Tianchen Wang series followed everyone and rushed forward. At this time, the Skynet series seemed like the god of death had come. Pushed all the way, no matter who encounters them, there is basically no chance of survival. In a short period of time, the warships of the Blood Wolf mercenary group were defeated. In the end, they were all killed on the battlefield. At this time, Jing Mu's eyes shone with joy. This time, after hunting down so many members of the Blood Wolf mercenary group, my points definitely exceeded the limit. And while he was thinking, a figure was standing not far away. This man has a stubble on his face and a burly figure. He exuded a fierce aura. It was the employer this time, the Tianha mercenary group. And looking at the mecha battle scene in the distance. The other party said slowly. Okay, you can go back after you have accomplished your meritorious service. The voice sounded with a touch of indifference. It seems to be saying that you should make the best use of your own things. And just after he finished speaking. 
a hover car appeared in the distance. Sitting on top of the car was the deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment, Yang Yicheng. He did not participate in this mission, but he also sent his son master here. All this is in the hope of getting enough benefits. Thank you, Captain. Saw the hover car appear. All the mercenaries were extremely excited and stepped forward to express their thanks respectfully. They knew that the group leader sent someone to take them and others home. However, among the floating cars, it is not just this car. There are two other women taking a rest among them. One is the daughter of the leader of the Pioneer Regiment, and the other is the wife of the deputy leader. The two girls are very powerful. But at this time, he looked a little haggard. And there was worry in his eyes. After all, their father is still in the hands of the star thieves. It's just that they can't help Qian Zhao, at all. And right now. A figure was walking towards them. Who are you? Looking at the figure that suddenly appeared, the deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment asked coldly. Ha, huh, you don't need to know this, I just want to tell you. The reward this time is very generous. Your mission is over. As for the other brothers in the Pioneer Group, it's up to you to ensure their success. Our bounty is very high. Chapter, 772 After the voice fell, he turned around and left again. After hearing the sound, a ferocious look appeared deep in the eyes of the deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment. And just when he was about to leave. In his mind, a cold voice suddenly sounded. Alert, enemies appear near you. Please stay away. The voice sounded. The deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment couldn't help but be startled, and then a flash of horror flashed in his eyes. Because he discovered that he was surrounded by a group of robots unknowingly. These guys are extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, they were wrapped up in it. Boom! Immediately afterwards, a cannonball hit the ground directly. The blazing flame spread instantly 720. The surrounding temperature became extremely hot. However, even so, it was difficult to stop the members of the vanguard group from escaping. Because, their surroundings have been completely blocked. At this time, the Skynet series had no intention of letting each other go. Call out. A stream of light burst out in an instant. Laugh. The blood mist is blooming. The deputy captain's head was thrown into the air. Then, the mecha's body continued to move. Sweeping toward the distance. Don't dare to stop for a moment Aka. This scene caused the remaining mercenaries to freeze on the spot. Unexpectedly, a human being actually appeared in front of him. Moreover, it is Skynet's team. We surrender, we surrender. Someone yelled loudly. There was fear in his eyes. Because, he saw that his captain was dead, and even the bones were not found. If you don't surrender, it will be dangerous. Bang bang. As the sound fell, dozens of mechas rushed towards these mercenaries, crashing into each other crazily. Almost in an instant, all the mercenaries were killed. The strong smell of blood filled the air. In the Blood Wolf mercenary group. Crack. A dagger fell from the palm of the leader of the Blood Wolf group to the ground. His eyes were dull. At this time, I realized what a terrifying force I had provoked. However, he had no regrets. Instead, he picked up a spear in an instant and ran outside. He can't die here. Otherwise, it will cause chaos in the Blood Wolf mercenary group. And while he was running. The mechas of the Skynet series are already chasing them. A hail of swords and swords fell, instantly killing the leader of the Blood Wolf regiment on the spot. Captain. Looking at the leader lying in a pool of blood. The battle formations of the Blood Wolf mercenary group let out miserable roars. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, was not soft-hearted at all. In his opinion, these people will be destroyed sooner or later. If these mercenaries were given up today, they would surely be greeted by more killings. At this time, the Skynet series has completely taken the lead. Boom! Another mecha was destroyed on the spot. Huh, we are going to make a lot of money today. Kill all the members of the Blood Wolf mercenary group and seize their wealth. 
At this time, the deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment had excitement in his eyes. Although these rewards are exclusive to them. However, their leader has paid too much. Now, it has been the harvest it deserved. Naturally they cheered. Chapter, 773 However, the vanguard group at this time was not calm. Because, at the edge of their camp, it was blocked by layers of iron nets. Among them, there were bursts of roars and shouts of killing. Kill, kill them all. Kill all these bastards, the beasts of the Blood Wolf mercenary group. At this time, the entire edge of the camp was like boiling water. All kinds of attacks kept pouring down. The battle formation of the Blood Wolf mercenary group was defeated one after another. Next to a hill, the deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment stood on the top of the mountain. There was a bitterness in the corner of his mouth. I didn't expect that it would eventually turn into this situation. This time, I was in trouble. Withdraw. At this time, the deputy leader gritted his teeth and said. As an old fox, he knew that if he stayed here he would surely die. Boom. But at this moment, a huge boulder flew out. It hit his head hard. Blood spattered and he fell to the ground in an instant. At this time, he was beaten to death alive. The entire vanguard regiment was wiped out. The battle in the Skynet series continues. They will not leave the enemy any chance to breathe. At this time, in a forest not far from the Blood Wolf mercenary group. A huge team is running rapidly. The clothes they wore were almost the same as those of the vanguard group. It was the Blood Wolf mercenary group. Such a mercenary group can definitely be regarded as the top existence in the entire universe. Moreover, because there are many members in the group. Gathered together at this time. But it seems majestic and extraordinary. Especially the one in the lead was extremely muscular. His body shape is like that of a wild beast. There was a bloodthirsty light in his eyes. Astonishingly, he was the number one ruthless bandit in the Blood Wolf mercenary group. Wolf King Luo Yun. He is powerful and has no control over the universe. Even if you encounter a super strong person, you can still escape intact. Now, after hearing the report from his subordinates, he couldn't help but frown. Captain, this matter is very strange, we have not provoked anyone at all. Why would someone attack us? One of the group members said. Anger was written on his face. After all, the rise of the Blood Wolf mercenary group took countless efforts. Now it has been destroyed. Zero please give me flowers zero. Who would? Yes, Captain, it's better to gather the brothers quickly and go to the rescue. Otherwise, we will suffer heavy casualties. Another member of the group spoke up. At this time, it was obviously determined that the Blood Wolf mercenary group had offended a certain strong person, so the current situation occurred. Well, I will handle this matter myself. You immediately organize your brothers, prepare defense facilities, and follow me to deal with those guys. Luo Yun said coldly. This time, he understood in his heart that all this was because he had offended others. If it is not explained clearly in time, something big will happen. Yes, leader. After hearing the sound, the elite members of the Blood Wolf mercenary group spoke respectfully. At this time, Zheng Mu was commanding the vanguard team to kill other mercenary groups. At this moment, his eyes flashed with water cool light. Because these mercenaries are the elites of the Blood Wolf mercenary group. If they all fell here. It will be a fatal blow to the entire Blood Wolf mercenary group. It wasn't just his heartache. Moreover, his status in the Blood Wolf mercenary group will also be affected by the group. Chapter, 774 Therefore, he must find out about this matter. As for the Skynet series, the Blood Wolf mercenary group is not considered at all. As long as they are destroyed, their mission will be completed this time. As for the Blood Wolf mercenary group, there is no way they can escape the end of destruction. And just when his thoughts were starting to work. A figure entered the camp instantly. Boom. Without any hesitation, he punched the opponent in the chest. A trace of bright red blood spat out from the man's mouth. The body fell straight backward. Before landing, 
he was already killed on the spot. It was Zheng Mu. At this moment, he was wearing a new type of mecha, with blazing flames spurting out from around him. It made him look like a demon god. Then, charge forward again. Laugh. He slashed with the knife and immediately cut the regiment leader's body in half. The opponent didn't even have time to scream. Kill. At this time, a fierce light bloomed in his eyes. Then, he began to direct the battle. Bang bang. When the battleship moves in the void. There was a dull collision sound. Ship after ship, members of the Blood Wolf mercenary group fell into a pool of blood. The camp of the Blood Wolf mercenary group was also in panic. The deputy leader of a mercenary group shouted. Brothers, follow the leader and fight. At this time, his eyes showed a perseverance. Then, a long spear was thrown directly in his hand. Call out. The gun shot through the air. Stabbed straight into the blood wolf's head. Ding. However, just when his figure just emerged. An arrow actually blocked the spear. So that the other party doesn't dare to get even close. But at this moment. Boom. Violent tremors could be heard outside the Blood Wolf mercenary group. Then, a burly young man walked in. At this time, I am happy in red. When he saw the corpse of the regiment leader, an even more violent aura overflowed from his body. It was the Wolf King Luoyun. At this time, he was extremely angry. He immediately shouted. Who killed my son? I will make him pay with blood. At this moment, the air around seemed to solidify. After hearing the sound, the deputy leader of the Pioneer Regiment showed fear in his eyes. Because he knows that this battle must be won. Otherwise, when the wrath of the Blood Wolf mercenary group comes, the vanguard group will definitely be destroyed. And after seeing the expression of the deputy captain. There was indeed a ferocious look in Luo Yun's eyes. Since no one answered. Then go to hell. After his voice fell, re patted Tian. This palm is extremely swift. In an instant, it landed on the shoulders of the deputy captain. Crack. There was a sound of bones breaking. The deputy captain turned into a house of blood in an instant. At the same time, Luo Yun's figure moved. Kill towards Sheng Mu. At this time, the latter was already stunned. Never imagined. This Blood Wolf mercenary group actually has such terrifying masters as 3-9. Although I don't believe it in my heart. But at this time, he couldn't care too much. Wearing a new type of mecha. Explodes forward. A loud noise was heard. Luo Yun collided with the mecha. In an instant, the two of them stepped away. Roar. At this time, Luo Yun roared. His eyes were tearing. At this moment, I was completely angry. Chapter, 775 He wanted to take revenge and kill this sneak attack. Boom! As soon as he stepped out, the entire camp seemed to be shaking. Around his body, there was a strong wind howling. This made Jing Mu's eyes look horrified. But at this time, he couldn't back down. Because, wearing a new type of mecha, he is almost unmatched in this world. Once again, the two collided hard. Pfft. Luo Yun immediately flew out. With such power, he is no match at all. Zero two and just when his figure stopped. A trace of blood was already flowing from the corner of his mouth. Looking at the opponent who slowly stood up, he gritted his teeth and said. Who are you? Ha, huh, leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group, you should know who I am. I came to you this time just to tell you that you blood wolves are going to be destroyed. Zheng Mu's cold voice came out. At this time, Luo Yun finally showed fear in his eyes. He said to the deputy captain next to him. Quickly, inform the captain that the blood wolf mercenary group has been destroyed, and the other party is here to seek revenge. There was panic in his voice. After hearing the sound, the deputy captain did not dare to neglect and left as if he had just left. At this time, the entire Blood Wolf mercenary group was boiling. The Blood Wolf mercenary group does many evil things. I don't know how many people were killed. 
Therefore, many people wish they could eat their flesh and sleep on their skin. But today, they finally encountered revenge. When the message is delivered. The Blood Wolf mercenary group has completely collapsed. At this time, one by one, the prisoners of war knelt on the ground. I hope the other party can let me go. Zheng Mu snorted coldly. Wearing new mecha. He looked like a killing god at this time. Looking at the many prisoners of war in front of him, he shouted coldly. The leader of your blood wolf must die. The sound sounded, causing despair to appear in the eyes of the prisoners of war. Then, prepare to resist. But under the attack of the new mecha. But they couldn't hold it up at all. One after another, the stumps and broken arms were thrown away. The strong smell of blood permeated the entire space. At this time, Luo Yun did not leave. He wanted to kill the opponent himself. Only in this way can you relieve the hatred in your heart. Die. His voice was cold. He punched out directly and hit the new mecha. Vast energy swept across the entire battlefield at this moment. A violent collision was heard. This made Zheng Mu retreat in an instant. However, he finally stabilized his figure. Looking at Luo Yun, he spoke. Who the hell are you? There was a hint of embarrassment in his voice. Huh, I am Luo Yun, the leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group. What, are you scared? The other party's arrogant voice came out, and his eyes flashed. 307 at this time, Luo Yun did not dare to delay any longer. He didn't believe that his magnificent fifth-level cosmic powerhouse could not do anything to the other party. Thinking of this, he rushed forward again. This punch made the sky sink. At the moment of falling. The iron fist was actually deflected by the blow. Then Jing Mu fled away. Laugh. I saw the opponent's left leg moving. The moment it was kicked out, it was like a whip. The space was pumped and collapsed. This scene is really too brutal. Luo Yun, who was far away, had a look of horror in his eyes. Chapter, 776 This kind of trick is so secretive that it's hard for people to guard against it. But now, it's too late. His left arm was kicked out of a bloody hole. Ah! The scream sounded, and Luo Yun's face showed pain. Then, a dagger blade was pressed against his throat. A cold voice came out. Captain Luo, how do you feel now? Is this dagger of mine fast enough? After the words fell, now Luo Yun shut up at this moment. He has no doubts about the other party. He just said unwillingly. I do not understand. Why is this happening, how did you do it? There was reluctance in his voice. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, said with a playful smile. Ha, huh, this is none of your business. I want to kill you, and you can't stop me. Boom. After the sound fell. On Luo Yun's neck, there was a large splash of blood mist. Obviously, he has lost his vitality. Boom. At the same time, within the base of the Blood Wolf mercenary group. A deafening roar sounded. The members of the Blood Wolf chapter who were originally practicing were all killed at this time. At this time, the leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group had a gloomy expression. Asshole. Who did it? There was anger in his voice. Report. Captain, we just received a tip that our Blood Wolf mercenary group has been destroyed. Just after he finished speaking, a subordinate ran into the room. And after hearing the sound, the leader of the mercenary group couldn't help but shrink his pupils. Then he spoke. How can this be? Our Blood Wolf mercenary group has stood here for thousands of years. Who dares to kill my blood wolf? The sound sounded, full of incredible meaning. But at this time, he did not dare to hesitate. Directly ordered. Gather all the teams and follow me. There was a solemn tone in the voice. And just as they were setting off. The other side. Zheng Mu also received the report at this time. Captain, we just found out. The blood wolf mercenary group was completely slaughtered. Commander, do you think this matter has anything to do with Nao Luo Yun? The person below asked cautiously. 
although they don't want to believe it. However, if this matter is really related to Nao Yun, the other party is too terrifying. After all, even the new mechas can't do anything to him. But at this time, Jing Mu frowned. However, after a moment, he spoke. No matter what, go and capture that guy first, I don't believe that he won't give in to the temptation of military glory. Otherwise, this life will be over. There was a hint of perseverance in his voice. Then, just after the words fell, he led his team in a mighty march. Just wait until they arrive. There is no trace of the Blood Wolf mercenary group there. Captain, this Blood Wolf servant Hao Nuonyuo, regiment seems to have escaped. Looking around, a comrade said cautiously. Escaped, how is this possible? Something must have happened to me, Blood Wolf. The leader of the mercenary group said with red eyes at this time. There was panic in his eyes. He did not expect that the foundation he had worked so hard to build would be ruined. And just after his voice fell, the store opened. The members of the Blood Wave mercenary group behind them had excited faces on their faces. Chapter 77 Because their boss is about to get a promotion and a salary increase. But at this moment, a helicopter roared over from the horizon. Then, the hatch opened and two familiar figures walked out of the cab. Surprisingly it was Luo Yun. Why are you two here? Seeing such a scene, the leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group said in surprise. Then, Luo Yun spoke. Blood Wolf, let's take you on your way. Then, the short knife in his hand was raised. The blazing sharpness exudes a cold glow. You wanna die. The leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group 787 shouted loudly. He waved his palm and greeted him. Boom! The two sides collided together, making the sound of metal and stone clashing. But Luo Yun's face didn't change at all. The arm swings and strikes out again. Extremely fast. The leader of the Blood Wolf mercenary group couldn't help but have a look of horror in his eyes as he evaded. He found that the man opposite him looked nothing like the Luo Yun he knew. The opponent's fighting skills are too superb. Not much weaker than himself. Moreover, the body is stronger. It was almost an injury in exchange for a life. Pfft. Immediately, a ferocious scar appeared on the blood wolf's arm. Blood gushes out. It made him look pale and even unsteady. Damn it, is he a monster? The leader of the blood wolf shouted in fear at this time. I don't know who I met. It's actually so terrifying. Luo Yun, on the other hand, took advantage of this opportunity to approach the opponent again. Chilla. The sharp claws tore it apart directly. Then, his finger pointed on the blood wolf's eyebrows. In an instant, blood spurted out. The leader of the blood wolf mercenary group has died. Then, he slowly walked towards the outside of the blood wolf mercenary group. This time, he planned to go to other mercenary groups to obtain resources. A voice did come out. Finally, you have shown up. A cag, today is the day you die. There was a cold murderous intent in his voice. And just after his voice fell. The entire body shape has already exploded. Behind him, a giant hammer appeared. The giant hammer came down. It carries a terrifying coercion that makes the air constantly explode. He is obviously a strong man, and he is also the strongest being in the Blood Wolf mercenary group. Roar! At this time, Luo Yun roared. With a shake of his wrist, the Blood Wolf gun flew out in the dew. The sound of violent collision of gold and iron was heard, making the entire void tremble. The strong men of the Blood Wolf mercenary group retreated in an instant. Then, it disappeared. At this time, the Blood Wolf mercenary group was completely destroyed, leaving no trace. It turns out that you have also set your sights on the gods' creations. Zheng Mu looked through the information about the legal domain left in the Blood Wolf mercenary group and couldn't help but said to himself. He was constantly calculating something in his mind. If the secrets within the legal domain can be analyzed, it can definitely improve your strength to a higher level. Thinking of this, the light in his eyes flashed. Then, he turned around and left. 
He drove the Mecca back to the palace under the island of the gods, and began to transform his Mecca. Inside the temple, Zheng Mu's figure kept flashing. At this time, he was controlling the Mecca, trying to activate the legal domain. However, no matter how hard he tried, he still couldn't do it. Chapter 778 Crack At this moment, a shattering sound sounded. His Mecca was actually cracked at this moment. Finally it fell into pieces. Huh, it seems that this legal domain is indeed a treasure of gods and spirits. Just for the first time, I can trigger a backlash. If only I could get it. Strength must be, it can grow a lot. As long as you give me enough time, I can sweep across the entire legal domain. By then, my ambitions will be even greater. After the voice fell, Zheng Mu's face showed a smile, and his eyes were full of greed. At this moment, he wanted to rush out immediately. And just when he was about to leave, countless mechanical puppets appeared in the secret realm. Each of these puppets is about 10 meters tall. As the arms waved, strong energy base fluctuations emitted. Damn it, why did so many mechanical monsters suddenly appear? Looking at the densely packed robots, the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth finally twitched. But there is no way. Because, he has been surrounded. If you want to escape, you have to go back the same way. However, this is simply not realistic. Because this is an absolutely forbidden area among the forbidden areas. Any holes. Even if you have the ability to reach heaven, you will definitely die. Therefore, the only way is to confront these agencies head on. Although I know there is little hope. But Cheng Mu still decided to give it a try. After all, opportunities are fleeting. If you miss today, it may be dangerous if you encounter it again. Then, his body flashed and he started to kill those robots. The sword flew in his hand. A sharp cold light bloomed. Make people look at you. Laugh. Finally, a robot was killed. But more robots have already surrounded him. There are even huge machine guns that can be fired directly by pulling the trigger. Fiery tongues of fire swept around. Zheng Mu couldn't help but narrowed his eyes. But, immediately afterwards, he showed no fear. The legs were slightly bent and shot out like cannonballs. With the sharp knife in his hand, he took it straight to his neck. This sword was so powerful and heavy that it almost blocked all the opponent's escape routes. Boom! However, the robot showed no signs of weakness. Its fist also came forward. A violent roar came out. Zheng Mu felt as if he had hit an iron plate. The body was shaken. Zero please give me flowers. Bleeding from the mouth and nose. Moreover, even the pace is stagnant. With a cold snort, Zheng Mu held the long knife in his palm and slashed towards the opponent's chest. This knife is extremely fast. Like a shooting star. I saw that the robot had just raised its fist, and it had been directly penetrated. With boom. A huge roar sounded. The robot's chest collapsed. Then he fell to the ground. Seeing such a scene, Jin Mu's face didn't change at all. However, deep in his eyes, there was a dignified look. The move I just made was extremely powerful. But he still didn't kill the robot. The other party is obviously not a simple person. Therefore, do not dare to neglect. Continue to raid outwards. Boom! A long knife cut through the void. He slashed hard at the shoulder of another robot. Suddenly, there was a roar. The entire arm of the robot was completely shattered. However, this is not the end. Zheng Mu turned his wrist. Another long knife whizzed out and stabbed hard into the robot's head. Chapter 779 At that time, the opponent lost combat effectiveness. And right now. Call out. Boo-hoo. In the distance, mechanical spaceships were shooting towards here. The speed is extremely fast. In an instant, they arrived close. Boom! On top of the first battleship, endless beams of light spurted out. Blazing light illuminates the night sky. Roar! At this time, Zheng Mu roared. 
Then, the breath all over his body exploded. Holding two long knives. Dancing in midair. Ding ding. The sound of metal interlacing sounded. Bullets were shot down on the ground one after another. However, right now. TSK. Zheng Mu's back was injured. There's something wrong with this secret realm. It's already beyond A level difficulty. At this time, Zheng Mu murmured. And just after he finished speaking. Kala. There was a mechanical friction sound. Then, mechanical warriors appeared next to Zheng Mu. These warriors are all made of special alloys. Although he has no mind, his physical body is extremely strong. Laugh. Just after the warrior appeared. He headed directly towards Zheng Mu. This situation made Zheng Mu's pupils shrink. Because, in this secret realm, there are too many robots. Moreover, the combat power of each statue is quite extraordinary. Kill. Zheng Mu did not dare to hesitate. Putting on the mecha, he rushed towards the robot. The mecha he drives is the latest model T-15. The attack power is unparalleled. Just contacted. Just tearing apart a robot's head. And just when his figure had just stood firm. A mechanical warrior had already rushed towards him. The alloy spears in his hands were extremely brilliant under the sunlight. At this time, he threw it suddenly towards Xing Mu. With a strong wind. The sharp blade passed across, and a crack appeared on Xing Mu's mecha. However, it was not damaged. Moreover, at this time, he didn't care about anything else at all. Kick out. In an instant, he kicked the mechanical warrior in the abdomen. There was a roar, and the mechanical warrior was kicked away. At this time, Zheng Mu was completely angry. On his mecha, electricity flashed. Then, a giant axe was caught in his hand. Then, he struck directly at a mechanical warrior. The axe blade left a trail of afterimages in the air. Although the mechanical warrior escaped the critical point. However, there is still a gap left on the helmet. Obviously, this mecha is invincible. Just, after Zheng Mu just solved it. The other side. A mechanical chariot stood in the middle of the road. Blocking his path. The car door opened, and a robot that was five or six meters tall appeared in the field. Holding an alloy shield in his hand. Against the background of the sun, it shines with dazzling light. At this time, he slowly walked towards Xing Mu. His eye sockets were dark red. The figure is majestic. At this time, looking at Xing Mu, he actually showed a ferocious smile. Jijia, your soul can be used as food, but I want your body. Eat it for me. A hoarse voice came out. Then, the robot waved the alloy shield and smashed it down towards him. Zheng Mu looked cold. At this time, there is not much to worry about. He knew that these robots were intelligent. Chapter, 780 Moreover, it should be an intelligent machine to some extent. However, I don't know what the test in this secret realm is. Therefore, don't dare to neglect and jump directly. The war blade in his hand was swung and collided with the alloy shield. Kang. A harsh sound sounded. Zheng Mu's tiger's mouth was shattered. But he knew in his heart that this was just the beginning. Sure enough, the moment the alloy shield was knocked away. A long sword stabbed directly at him again. Zheng Mu could not avoid zero two, and his left rib was pierced. The severe pain made his face turn red, and blood even dripped down. But Zheng Mu really didn't care at this time. There was a look of madness in his eyes. His fingers gently fiddled with his mecha armor. Crack. Pieces of parts were scattered all over the floor. After a moment, a strange firearm suddenly appeared in Zheng Mu's hand. At this time, a cold smile appeared on his lips. Ha, huh, this is the price you pay for trying to take me away. Death will surely come. While talking. He pulled the trigger and shot directly at the robot. The bullet pierced the sky and shot straight towards the robot's head. And right now. The other party did not dare to neglect. Boom. 
the figure flashed and dodged. Bang bang. However, Zheng Mu simply refused to give up. At this time, the firearm in his hand kept firing. Bullets were fired one after another at the robot. Roar. Finally, after several rounds of shooting. The robot's defense was finally penetrated. At this time, he had become a pile of scrap metal. And after seeing this scene, Zheng Mu's face showed excitement. At this moment, he felt that his life was protected. At the same time, more and more robots were gathering around. However, Mu had no fear at this time. He clenched the weapon in his hand and advanced instead of retreating. Kill directly towards those robots. Although there are many robots here, their combat skills are very poor. After all, this is just an assessment, there is no need to use extremely lethal moves. Therefore, in Zheng Mu's view, these guys are just targets. With one punch, a robot was directly exploded. Thick black mist filled the sky and the earth. But at this time, Zheng Mu showed no signs of stopping. He is constantly hunting robots. At this moment, a huge creature appeared in Zheng Mu's sight. This is a terrifying mechanical beast that is over three feet tall. Its body exudes a terrifying power. Holding a heavy hammer in his hand, he hit Zheng Mu at this moment. Roll. At this time, Zheng Mu did not dare to hesitate and clapped his hands. The giant hammer was swung away, but a deep pit was created in his chest. And when the terrifying robot moved the heavy hammer out, he charged towards Zheng Mu again. Sparks burst out from the giant hammer. Zheng Mu couldn't help but frown. At this time, he took one step forward. The whole person turned into a stream of light and crashed directly into the mechanical beast. Call. Extremely fast. Like a cannonball. In an instant, it appeared in front of the mechanical beast. Boom. As a roar sounded. The giant hammer was directly shattered. The robot's body also flew out upside down. Chapter, 781 Then, Jing Mu's eyes showed excitement. All of this seems to have been calculated by him. Boom! Then, he rushed towards the robot again. Pfft! The sharp blade penetrated from the back of the robot. In this scene, no one expected that Jing Mu would still have the energy to sneak attack on the opponent. This is simply incredible. However, such an attack also caused the robot to lose its combat effectiveness. However, right now, the robots around him also came to kill him. At this moment, even Zheng Mu is powerful. He was also in a hard fight. Finally, when he smashed a robot into pieces, the mecha on his body is already covered with marks. Even the cockpit was blown to pieces. At this time, he had almost no power to resist. And right now, in the distance, an illusory figure. But it appeared in Zheng Mu's mind. This is the examiner and the host of this level. He said calmly. Congratulations to the player for passing the trial, please go to the next level. After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu nodded and walked forward. At this time, he didn't know. Just after he disappeared. The robot originally lying on the ground. He actually stood up and continued to chase him. This is a group of mechanical beings who are not afraid of pain. Unless their chips are destroyed, they will never die. At this moment, Zheng Mu was in another corridor. But he also encountered danger. It was a team of elite mechanical warriors armed with various weapons. Coming to attack Zheng Mu. Bang bang. Every one of them has reached S-level combat power. Zheng Mu did not dare to hesitate and went straight to greet him. Bang bang. After the two sides fought, his body couldn't help shaking. Because, his mecha is being damaged. These robots are so powerful. But those elite mechanical warriors were still attacking him non-stop. Crack. Finally, after holding on for two minutes, his mecha was completely scrapped. Roar. At the same time, those robots were not prepared to let Jin Mu go. They roared and clawed at him. At this time, Jin Mu had a look of despair in his eyes. But he knew that he could not sit still and wait for death. 
The next moment, a short dagger in his hand was inserted directly into the ground. A dazzling electric light flashed above the dagger. In an instant, a pool of thunder was left on the ground. Then, Jin Mu's body flew towards the outside world. This is his last resort. Hope to escape the pursuit of these robots. However, he thought too simply. These poor trialists never thought that everything would turn out like this. TSK. That's when Jin Mu left the room. Behind him, there was a mecha, following him and rushing towards the outside. Seeing such a scene, Jin Mu's pupils shrank sharply. How come these robots still have souls? You know, this kind of thing should have been eliminated long ago. Thinking in his mind, the arc on his body was indeed getting brighter and brighter. Chi chili. As bursts of sounds came out. Dense spider web-like cracks appeared around Jing Mu. Chapter, 782. Obviously, the limit of endurance has been reached. Blow it up for me. But at this time, Jing Mu shouted angrily. The next moment, his figure exploded out in an instant. These spider silks were all made by him using the materials in the mecha during this period of time. Now, with the activation of the electric element, it instantly becomes extremely violent. Bang bang! When the spider web spreads out, dense wounds also appeared on the bodies of those robots. In their bodies, arcs of electricity surged. But he didn't die. Roar. They roared. I want to earn zero zero and stand up. But Ching Mu ignored it and rushed forward directly. The dagger in his hand stabbed out crazily. Ding ding. The sound of metal collision continued. Moreover, the armors of those robots also had cracks at this time. When the last robot fell, those arcs also slowly disappeared. But at this time, Zheng Mu had a look of exhaustion on his face. During this period of time, although I had been avoiding those robots, I was still controlling the mecha after all. Very nervous. Now, Akfk has finally solved it. But, just when he was preparing to take a rest. Those robots got up again and charged towards him. Chi Chi. After seeing this scene, Zheng Mu didn't dare to neglect. Fight with him again. However, as time went by, he gradually felt a little exhausted. No matter how much he resists. Those robots are all brave and fearless of death. In the end, he was directly surrounded. You are really haunted. At this time, Zheng Mu couldn't help but speak. Then, the dagger in his hand slashed out. At this moment, the air was filled with the smell of blood. But those mechanical warriors seemed to know no pain. The corners of their mouths showed ferocious smiles. Move forward regardless. Seeing such a scene, Jing Mu did not choose to retreat. He must break through these monsters' defenses. Otherwise, you can only be killed here. But, just when he was approaching, a cold voice sounded in his ears. Boom! Immediately afterwards, a punch landed on his chest. In an instant, Severe pain caused his body to leap out. He fell heavily to the ground. He felt as if all the bones in his body were falling apart at this moment. Then, he spit out a mouthful of blood. At this time, those mechanical warriors were surrounding him. There was a bloodthirsty light in his eyes. At this time, if he takes a step too late, what awaits him will be his demise. At this time, when these mechanical warriors were approaching me, Zheng Mu roared out instantly. The whole person seemed to have transformed into a ferocious beast. The muscles on his body bulged like a horned dragon. The arms are even thicker. He pumped his fists. Hit it out directly. Those robots were directly killed by him. However, this only temporarily blocked the progress of those robots. Click. At this moment, a clear voice sounded. A huge gap suddenly appeared on the mecha's shoulder. This is a mecha that Jin Mu worked hard to build. Now, it is about to be torn apart. At the same time, the mechanical warriors around him were getting closer to him. Chapter, 783 Pfft. There was even a mechanical warrior who reached out and clasped his head directly when he got close. Wanted to crush his neck. 
Chilla. At this moment, blazing flames suddenly rose from Zheng Mu's body. In an instant, it swallowed him up. And this is just the beginning. With the scorching temperatures. The temperature in his area is rising rapidly. Even the space is distorted. This is the last bit of electrical element burning in Zheng Mu's body. Only after killing these robots. Only then can he obtain new energy. Chi Chi. The increase in temperature caused the surface of the skin of these robots to become charred and black. This is a sign of being scorched by high temperatures. However, their strength is there after all. Even under such circumstances. There were still several robots rushing towards Xin Mu. Their palms reached out at this time. Sharp nails. At this time, there was a cold glow. Moreover, the power of each one is also amazing. Zheng Mu's helmet was torn directly. A terrifying scar appeared on the scarlet head. But those robots did not stop. Their other palm directly grabbed Zheng Mu's head. Wanting to crush the opponent's head. However, just when their actions were about to be completed. Call. A blazing sound of wind came out at this moment. It made their bodies stagnate. At this moment, Zheng Mu's figure appeared from the void. The long knife in his hand had a cold light. Laugh. Then, the necks of those robots were split open in an instant. Blood splattered out. Thick blood mist is filling the air. It made the surrounding temperature even hotter. At this time, Zheng Mu did not hesitate. Continue walking forward. The attacks of these mechanical warriors couldn't do anything to him at all. However, the two beautiful anchors who were watching in the distance were stunned. They originally thought that their boyfriends would definitely die. But I didn't expect it. At the critical moment of life and death, Zheng Mu actually burst out with powerful potential. This shocked their hearts at the same time. Very excited again. At this time, Zheng Mu had already arrived at the exit of the secret realm. Zero asking for flowers zero. This is the only way to the outside world. Therefore, he did not dare to delay at all. He jumped directly and rushed outside. However, he hasn't even waited for him to step into the entrance. TSK. Behind him, a harsh sound broke through the air. It made his pupils shrink. He turned around to dodge. It's just that the robot's speed is too fast. He was blown away directly. The whole person's body exudes a terrifying luster. His figure was extremely embarrassed at this time. And that robot had no intention of holding back. The moment Zheng Mu was blown away, he pursued forward. This time, the robot's claws directly penetrated his right leg. Ah! A shrill scream was heard at this moment. And this completely pissed off the robot. Its eyes were filled with blood. Catch Zheng Mu. But, just when he was about to succeed. But he was swept away by a giant axe. Boom! It fell with a banging sound. The bodies of those robots fell apart in an instant. Chapter 784 In front of Zheng Mu, a huge creature stood at this time. The whole body bloomed with dazzling light. And Zheng Mu also quickly put on the mecha. On his face, a look of violence surged at this moment. He persisted here for three days and finally found his partner. But at this time, he did not dare to hesitate. The long blade in his hand was raised, ready to charge again. But, just when he took two steps. Five zero roar. A roar came out suddenly. Then, there was a mechanical warrior who slowly stood up. His appearance was exactly the same as before. Not only the appearance, but also the body shape are the same. At this time, Zheng Mu's eyes showed surprise. Unexpectedly, he encountered so many mechanical warriors. In this case, if you want to leave, you will be in trouble. But the mechanical warrior did not hesitate. He waved his steel claws. He hit Zheng Mu directly. This time, the opponent's speed was extremely fast. When Zheng Mu reacted, it was inevitable. Crack. There was a sound of bones breaking. His left arm broke in an instant. 
At the same time, the mechanical warrior was already attacking him again at this time. Seeing such a scene, a ferocious look appeared on Zheng Mu's face. Although this mechanical warrior is powerful, he may not have no chance of winning. Boom! Thinking of this, he went up to meet him again. But this time, the mechanical warrior was no longer conservative. Sharp palms, shot directly. Bump! The two intersected and made a violent explosion. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu's figure was directly pushed back. And at the moment of landing, blood flowed from the corners of his mouth. Obviously, he was seriously injured just now. But the mechanical warrior did not stop at this time. Follow up directly. The sharp claws in his hands reached out again. Kala. When the sharp claws swiped across the mecha, bursts of golden and iron clanking sounds were made. Several scratches suddenly appeared on Zheng Mu's mecha. It made him frown. At this time, if he controls this mecha, he really is no match. But at this time, the mechanical warrior seemed to have run out of patience. His sharp claws directly poked out zero. Like the sharp beak of an eagle. I want to penetrate this mecha. But Cheng Mu, at this time, was unwilling to just sit back and die. The dagger in his hand was thrown out in an instant. Stab towards the mechanical warrior's chest. He knew that the defense of this mechanical warrior was the weakest. Just after the other party reacts. The sharp dagger fell on him and only pierced one layer of the watch case. This made Jing Mu feel cold in his heart. The power of this mechanical warrior exceeded his expectations. At this time, not only the dagger cannot pierce the opponent. His own mecha also seemed to have failed. Let the mechanical warrior wreak havoc on his body. Laugh. Finally, a cold one, one breath escaped from the hand of the mechanical warrior. Then, a hole was punched through Zheng Mu's shoulder. The blood flowed, making his face pale. At this moment, he felt that he was so close to death. However, at this time, he couldn't take much into consideration. Fingers pop. Several bullets were shot out in an instant. Chapter, 785 The energy contained in every bullet is extremely powerful. Even more than ordinary bullets. However, this mechanical warrior has no intelligence after all. When the bullet reaches him, he actually chose to resist with his bare hands. Such an operation made Zheng Mu's eyes light up. There was a hint of joy on his face. Call out. The next moment, the specially made bullet penetrated the opponent's chest in an instant. The opponent staggered and almost fell to the ground. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, took the opportunity to run away into the distance. This mechanical warrior is tall. The action is also extremely slow. Otherwise, Zero Two would have been killed long ago. At this time, Zheng Mu was in a miserable state. But at the corner of his mouth, a smile appeared at this moment. Because, he felt that the energy in this confined space was extremely rich. Even more intense than the temple. At this time, he still doesn't understand why, as long as he continues to stay in this sealed space. It won't take long to return to your peak. By that time, your combat effectiveness will definitely increase to a terrifying level. Whoops. At this time, the mechanical warrior had followed up again. In his eyes, red light flashed. With a fierce murderous intention. Boom. Then, he grabbed it with another claw. This time, what the opponent attacked was Zheng Mu's head. If this was broken into pieces, it would probably be enough to instantly kill an ordinary SS level strongman. After seeing such a situation, Zheng Mu's eyes sparkled. His figure flashed to one side. The short knife in his hand turned into an afterimage at this moment. Laugh. Finally, he found the opportunity. A deep mark was drawn on the wrist of the mechanical warrior. Then, Ji's footsteps started to move. Whoosh! In an instant, disappeared in place. At this time, he just wanted to get away from here quickly. But, just when he was about to escape, the mechanical warrior actually followed closely. The claws swiped across again. 
At this moment, Jing Mu's eyes showed horror. Roar. Then, roar. At this time, he had no way to match the mechanical warrior. And just at the moment when he was ready to fight, a shadow of a giant hammer appeared in the field. Bang! After a violent tremor, the mechanical warrior was flew out directly. This scene made Jing Mu's pupils shrink involuntarily. Because the person who took action was more powerful than he expected. He didn't know who it was. But at this moment, there was no time to think too much. He turned around and ran away into the distance. On the other side, in the mind of the mechanical warrior, the voice of the mastermind sounded at this time. Ding, congratulations to the player for triggering the side mission, defeating the mysterious existence, and obtaining rewards, S-level martial arts and biochips. After hearing the sound, Jing Mu couldn't help but froze. Why is this online mission completely different from what I have done before? Not only do we need to kill these monsters, but now we also need to kill mechanical warriors. Aren't we worried that we will be surrounded and suppressed? Thinking of this, I feel like I want to cry without tears. But at this moment, those mechanical warriors in the distance were already chasing them. This time, there were dozens of people. Completely blocking Zheng Mu's escape route. Chapter, 786 As a result, he had no chance of survival at all. This made Zheng Mu grit his teeth. There are too many of these robots. Even the mecha shelter. Still unable to block the opponent's attack. These things are simply too perverted. Damn it. His voice was extremely deep. I can only hold on. But at this moment, the mechanical warrior's claws had fallen again. Laugh. The speed of this claw is so fast that people can't avoid it. Zheng Mu only felt a pain in his abdomen. Then, he saw that his belly was torn open. Red blood gurgled out. Huh, you can't escape after all, so become my food. After seeing this scene, the mechanical warrior said wildly. At this time, its eyes were full of scarlet color. He seemed to be extremely excited. And Zheng Mu also knew in his heart that he was probably in a very bad situation now. Boom! Sure enough, right after he finished speaking. A spear hit the mechanical warrior's head hard at this moment. Fiery temperatures burst out. The mechanical warrior's entire head was instantly shattered. This is the arsenal Lu Zheng left in the base. Moreover, he set the alarm as early as when he arrived here. At this time, after seeing Zheng Mu in distress, he rushed to rescue him. Almost at the same time, a powerful wave of energy spread out. A black fighter plane soared straight into the sky. Obviously, this is also the most advanced tank in the base. Both speed and power are terrifying. When the driver just rushed out, a mechanical warrior was instantly overturned to the ground. Not only that, this fighter plane did not stop moving forward. His cannon barrel hit those mechanical warriors directly. Pfft. Under the hot beam of light spitting out from the muzzle. Can't resist it no matter what. Bang bang. There was a muffled sound, and countless mechanical warriors perished directly on the spot. And this is just the beginning. At this time, Wang Bao, who was piloting the fighter plane, became more and more courageous as he fought. A punch blasted out, bringing up a blazing energy zone. This made it impossible for the mechanical warrior to get close at all. And right now. Boom. The fighter plane crashed after flying a hundred meters horizontally. However, Wang Bao did not have tears in his eyes at this time. There was a look of madness in his eyes, which shot straight up to the sky. At this time, he actually wanted to fight to the death with these mechanical warriors. Not only that, but on the other warships around, groups of warriors also emerged one after another. The cultivation level of each one is not weak, even comparable to the realm of a master. Their bodies exuded a sharp aura. At this moment, everyone knew that they and others were about to face a war. Such a thing has never happened before. They must resist, otherwise, their family may be destroyed. Call out. But at this time, he didn't care much anymore. If you want to fight, let's fight. Anyway, he will face danger sooner or later. 
Thinking of this, his expression became more determined. Roar. At this time, those mechanical warriors were also roaring and rushing toward everyone. Chapter, 787. This is a fight, a real fight. Countless mechanical warriors were crushing towards everyone. Especially the one in the center of those mechanical warriors, a huge mechanical combat body. It is even more powerful to the extreme. At this time, it was like a mountain, charging towards the King Leopard. His legs stepped heavily on the ground, making bursts of roaring sounds. It made the surrounding air seem to freeze. At this time, Jing Mu's eyes showed fear. But he didn't dare to neglect, waved his palm, and went directly to meet him. Boom! With a banging sound, Wang Bao's figure flew out in an instant. Blood was flowing from the corners of his mouth, and his chest was even more collapsed. 300 Although this fighter jet is made of steel. The defense is extremely powerful. However, that mechanical combat body is indeed a real body. The outcome of the collision between the two can be imagined. But at this time, he did not dare to hesitate. It swept directly to the side. At the same time, the figure of the mechanical warrior had already rushed into the crowd. This time, it was the base soldier's turn to be unlucky. One soldier after another was killed in an instant. However, they are also extremely brave. Even though he was seriously injured, he never stepped back. However, that warrior was even more bloodthirsty. He was slaughtering the prey in front of him wantonly. Soon, all the humans in the entire base were killed. After seeing such a scene, the mechanical warriors became even more excited. There was a roar from their mouths. Then, it actually continued to surge outward. Obviously, these mechanical warriors are controlled by the mechanical spirit. Another warrior fell to the ground. But at this moment, the voice of the mechanical spirit slowly came out. You ants are so annoying. Well, I'll assign you a new task. Today, I will use your bones to feed the demons under my command. I hope you like it. As he spoke, he controlled a mechanical warrior to come out. Face Asia, those corpses, and step on them. Kala. In an instant, one building after another was completely destroyed. Countless corpses turned into ashes. The place was filled with a strong fishy smell. This mechanical spirit is actually absorbing the resentment and mental power of these humans. If this continues, those ordinary people may not even be able to reincarnate. At this time, their eyes were bursting with anger and sadness, intertwined together. But the mechanical spirit didn't pay attention at all. Still continuing to devour those corpses. Each figure rushed towards Xing Mu in an instant. Ah, let's fight him. Looking at the attacking mechanical warriors, Xing Mu's face turned red. He shouted angrily and rushed towards the enemy. He couldn't tolerate letting the mechanical spirit continue to devour these human corpses. Otherwise, the entire planet will be completely destroyed. And after his voice fell. One after another figures soared into the sky at this moment. These are those base fighters. At this time, they had no choice but to escape and had no way to escape. There's only one chance left. Bang bang. I saw sharp blades appearing in their hands, slashing towards the mechanical warriors. On the other side, Zheng Mu also collided with those mechanical combat bodies at the same time. Chapter, 788 In his opinion, these machine battle bodies are just things without thinking. Therefore, the attack will not be given up at all. The moment they came into contact, the two of them were engaged in a fierce battle. Call. However, at this time, Zheng Mu's clothes were in tatters. And his own injuries became more and more serious. After all, these mechanical combat bodies are too fierce. After one punch landed, it was enough to shatter a small building. How could Zheng Mu resist this? At this time, his eyes gradually turned red. It feels like my head is exploding. But at this moment, in the distant sky, there was a giant spaceship, rushing towards it. He knew clearly in his heart that someone had sent reinforcements to save him. Thinking of this, there was a hint of surprise in his eyes. 
this feeling of life being saved is really wonderful. But those mechanical combat bodies will not let go of this good opportunity. Whizzing. After Zheng Mu was stunned for a moment. Those mechanical combat bodies leaped out again. Crack. A sharp claw went straight to his head. This time, it was inevitable. Zheng Mu's pupils contracted and he tried to dodge, but it was already too late. I can only resist with my scalp. Chang. There was a violent friction sound, and his arm broke instantly. However, the mechanical combat body was also blocked for a moment. Just after the mechanical battle body rushed out. Several other machine combat bodies rushed towards him at the same time. Zheng Mu did not dare to underestimate the enemy and immediately put on the mecha. His palm is sharpened by the blade. Collided with the mechanical combat body. Sparks flew. At this time, the other party seemed to be aware of the danger and wanted to leave. Unfortunately, it was already too late at this time. Boom! As a roar sounded, the long knife in Zheng Mu's hand had penetrated deeply into the chest of the machine combat body. Then, more violent explosions were heard. Bang bang! Several machine battle bodies were completely torn into pieces in an instant. Thick blood mist emitted. This made Jing Mu have a ferocious look on his face. And the last few remaining machine battle bodies. The eye sockets also bloomed with scarlet color. Apparently they were stimulated. Zero please ask for flowers. Then, he roared and rushed towards Jing Mu. But Jing Mu said disdainfully. Even a lowly robot dares to be arrogant in front of me. Today I will let you die without a burial place. As the words fell, the whole person's momentum suddenly increased. In his eyes, a brilliant light flashed. Immediately afterwards, he greeted him. Kala. Two more mechanical combat bodies were killed on the spot. However, this is not over yet. The moment Jing Mu's figure moved, he hit one of the mechas directly. A violent noise was heard, and the mecha was smashed into pieces in an instant. As for the driver, he had already died at this time. But Cheng Mu did not stop moving. His figure continued to move. Bang bang. After each impact, a mecha was directly smashed into pieces. In the end, even the wreckage was nowhere to be found. At this time, he was like a god of war. All the machine combat bodies could do nothing to him. At this time, the person in charge was indeed stunned. Because he discovered that the damage of the mecha actually reached 95%. Chapter, 789. In other words, the mecha controller at this time could almost declare failure. Moreover, the most important thing is that the opponent is not dead yet, just seriously injured. If Sheng Mu continues to be allowed to grow, it will definitely be a disaster. After thinking of this, he didn't dare to hesitate. He shouted to the machine soldier on the side. Kill them all. The order has just been given. The endless machine gun barrage 497 swept over. Although Zheng Mu is protected by powerful armor. But at this time, it was still a bit unbearable. Pfft. His shoulder was instantly shot through by a bullet, and blood spurted out. Not only that, even his arm was broken off. If it weren't for Zheng Mu's secret skills, he might not have survived at this time. But now it is also very miserable. The mecha combat bodies around him became increasingly rare. Finally, at a certain moment, when the last mechanical combat body fell. There are no mechas standing next to Zheng Mu. At this moment, all the mechanical combat bodies in the secret territory fell. Zheng Mu slowly walked towards the final secret place. He must obtain more resources to ensure his own safety. He walked into the huge base and found that a power system was finally suspended in the hull. It just matches my mecha. A desperate start at this time. Boom! As a roar sounded. A blazing beam of light burst out from the center of the base. Then, the entire secret realm was illuminated extremely brightly. The surroundings of Zheng Mu were also covered in blazing flames. He knew that this was the gene fusion machine starting to operate. My body will be transformed soon. However, at this time, 
he couldn't care about this anymore. Now he is ready to fight to the death. Moreover, he was confident that he could escape. At this time, all the bones in his body were making thunderous crackling sounds. The whole person seems to have become much stronger. Roar. Within the secret realm, he was roaring crazily. However, there was a strong sense of oppression on him. It was indeed a relief to him. In this way, the probability of his survival increases by more than ten points. Just after he thought of this. Boom. A roar came out zero. Then, he saw a dark substance smashing towards him. It was the seal of the secret realm. The weight of such a thing is enough to smash an ordinary person to pieces. But now, to today's Jing Mu, it is nothing. He kicked the black ball. In an instant, the black sphere cracked open. Then, with Jing Mu's excited eyes, he rushed towards the door. This time, he wants to escape. However, the moment he stepped out of the secret realm. Bang bang. Then, countless cannonballs kept passing by around him. Shooting stars draw brilliant arcs in the sky. 5, 7 damn it. At this time, he cursed angrily. However, he soon discovered that he could not dodge within the attack range of these shells. You can only resist forcefully. However, it is his physical body that is tyrannical. Under such an attack, it was somewhat unbearable. Especially those cannonballs that landed on him, carrying a burst of destructive energy. His body was dripping with blood. Chapter, 790 The whole person's body is covered with scars. However, it was all worth it, because at this time, he was getting closer and closer to the outside of the secret realm. Just one step away. And just when he decided that he was about to leave the secret realm. Boo hoo. Several SS level mecha masters are flying towards here. The leader looked at the embarrassed Jing Mu. A cold smile appeared on the corner of his mouth and he said slowly. You are amazing, you can persist until now. But, you still can't do it, come with me zero two. At this time, the SS level mecha master headed by him had a cold voice. Get away, or you will be killed without mercy. After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu shouted. At this time, although there were scars all over his body, there was still a hint of ferocity in his eyes. And just after he finished speaking. Ha, ah, do you have any other tricks? In this case, you can still threaten me. Today is destined to be your death anniversary. After the voice fell, the SS level mecha master struck out with one palm. The speed is extremely fast and you can reach it in the blink of an eye. Call. The sound of howling wind sounded. Crack. But at this time, Zheng Mu had no time to escape. His arms are under this palm. Broken directly. Then, the mecha master grabbed him again. Roar. But Zheng Mu was completely aroused at this time. Let out a roar. The whole person turned into a wild beast and rushed towards the mecha. However, how can he defeat an SS level mecha master now? At the moment of contact, the figure flew out upside down. There was a huge scar on the entire chest. The bright red blood kept dripping. This scene made him extremely afraid of Beijing. After all, his strength has not recovered yet. Now there is no chance of winning against an SS level mecha master. At this time, he could only wait for death to come. Huh, I didn't expect you to be so stubborn. In this case, let you stay here forever. The SS level mecha master said sadly. Bang bang. Immediately afterwards, he waved his fist and hit Jing Mu hard on the head. In an instant, waves of severe pain erupted in Jing Mu's mind. But he gritted his teeth and held on. Jing Mu's heart went crazy, and he slammed the power core into his mecha. I saw the ability flow on the mecha, and it was actually upgraded. The original second generation mecha. At this time, it exudes a metallic luster and even flashes of electricity, making it even more ferocious and terrifying. At the same time, a strong suction force was also generated. Those mecha masters were caught off guard and were directly attracted in. Chi Chi. Immediately afterwards, countless energy flowed along the lines on the mecha. 
Finally, it was swallowed up by the power core. But at this time, Zheng Mu from 813 did not stop. His eyes sparkled with brilliance. The whole person looked extremely brave at this time. Bang bang bang. Punches were thrown around. Every strike contains a huge area of force. Those SS level mecha masters were directly blown away by him. For a time, the scene was extremely chaotic. Damn it, how could he suddenly increase so much? The SS level mecha master roared. The other SS level mecha masters also had looks of horror on their faces. Their eyes were bursting with tears, they did not expect that things would develop like this. Run quickly, his strength has increased to SS level. Shouted the mech. Chapter, 791. Kill. After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu's eyes turned red. This is his last hope. If he can't get out of trouble, he will really be in trouble. Boom. Then, he directly knocked away two mechas. Then, he drove the mecha and galloped away into the distance. And those SS level mecha masters, how dare they neglect at this time. Even if he catches up. This guy is too dangerous if the other party escapes. They will all suffer. However, Zheng Mu did not give up at this time. There was a sparkle in his eyes. Break it open for me. At this time, he finally found an opportunity and drove the mecha to slash forward. The sharp sword cut through the air like a horse. This made the SS level mecha master's pupils shrink involuntarily. This time, he didn't dare to hesitate. The figure jumped up and barely dodged the blow. But at this time, Zheng Mu didn't care. It flew directly towards the other side. Ho! He roared angrily, trying to get away from his pursuers. And after seeing this scene. Bang bang! The remaining Mecha Masters did not dare to neglect and took action to stop him. The blazing flame spread across the sky and the earth. And these are the technologies they are proud of. However, at this time, Zheng Mu was completely in a state of madness. His body was covered with red gold armor. Every punch is punched with immense power. At this time, even the SS level Mecha Masters were somewhat unable to resist. There were scars all over the body. However, his strength is not trivial. For a time, the two sides actually fought to an even score. At this time, everyone around him felt his heart tremble. They never thought that Zheng Mu could overwhelm an SS level mecha master to this extent. How can this be? Could it be that this time, we are all going to end up here? Someone said in horror. And the SS level mecha master also had a solemn expression. He felt the aura from Zheng Mu. The other party seems to have tried his best. If we continue to delay like this, I'm afraid we will definitely die. Humph, your strength is indeed good, but so what? In this secret realm, your cultivation will gradually deteriorate. When the time comes, you will definitely die. At this time, the Mecha Master's cold voice came out. A trace of despair instantly appeared in Jing Mu's eyes. With a burst of explosions, he was blasted out again. Puff. Then, a mouthful of blood spurted out. At this time, he was covered in blood. However, his eyes were still extremely sharp. A cold word came out of his mouth. Then, he rushed towards the other party. Jie Jie, stop doing useless work, you can't escape. As the voice fell, a black shadow appeared again under his feet. This is his mechanical puppet, which can help him burst out with strength beyond ordinary SE level mecha masters in a short period of time Qian Ji's. Although only for a short quarter of an hour. However, in this environment, it is enough. At this time, he controlled the mecha and rushed towards Xing Mu. Boom! The two collided together, making an ear-splitting roar. This time, Xing Mu finally defeated Song. Bang! After losing his ability to fight, his body fell to the ground. This time, his injuries were extremely serious. Chapter, 792 There was a deep sword mark on the chest and abdomen. Blood gurgled out. At this time, he had lost the power to resist. However, the smile on the corner of his mouth was extremely bright. 
because, he knew that before he fell. After all, he killed three SS level mecha masters. This honor is definitely worth being proud of. At this time, the SS level mecha master. He is standing outside the battleship. There was a bloodthirsty light in his eyes. Then, he said slowly. I haven't encountered such an interesting prey for a long time, so don't die. Follow me. After he finished speaking, he waved his hand. A black mist, 717, was wrapped around Jing Mu. This is his soul energy controlling the body. But, just when he was approaching Jing Mu. Boom. A blazing white light pillar appeared in front of him in an instant. The expression of the SS level mecha master changed. But before he could react. The blazing white light pillar actually penetrated his body directly. In an instant, the SS level mecha master fell to the ground. Eyes wandering. He never thought that Shoah had such a trump card. At this time, he was Aki, completely dead. After seeing this scene, those SS level mecha masters were all frightened. They couldn't believe their eyes. Especially those mecha masters who had fought fiercely with Jin Mu before. Even more pale. At this moment, I wish I could slap myself. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have coveted this task. If you don't accept it, you might still be able to save your life. After all, these SS level mecha divisions can be considered a valuable asset to the military. Not only are they powerful, but more importantly, these mecha masters have special identities. However, there are many things in this world that you will never regret. At this time, Jing Mu, after seeing those SS level mecha masters, actually fled without fighting. I became even more angry. He shouted angrily. Today, I will sanctify you. There was determination in the voice. At this time, I was ready to fight hard. However, at this time, those SS level mecha masters were already running into the distance. They were afraid that they would be spotted by Zheng Mu if it was too late. After all, the other party at this time is obviously crazy. However, at this moment. Laugh. Another beam of light appeared. He went straight towards a mecha master and shot him. Caught off guard, the opponent's figure shattered into pieces. Such attacks are not limited to SS level mecha masters. Even SS level and even SS level mecha masters are enveloped in it. Moreover, it is extremely powerful. These mecha masters didn't even have the slightest ability to fight back. Bang bang. One mecha master after another was killed on the spot. The entire venue was filled with the strong smell of blood. Zheng Mu's eyes bloomed with scarlet light. When the last SS level mecha division died. He breathed a sigh of relief. Then go to the entrance of the secret realm and break it. Walk towards the outside world. His target is those SS level mecha masters. Although these people are not afraid of him. But it can also be involved. And at this time. The leading SS level mecha master. But looking at the bodies of his subordinates being separated, his eyes were about to burst. But there is no way. After all, he is no match for those SS level mecha masters. At this time, there is only patience. Chapter, 793. Waiting for the next attack. And just when they were gathering here. Zheng Mu also returned to the base. He knew in his heart that these SS level mecha masters would not give up. As long as they live, they will definitely take action again. However, according to Zheng Mu at this time, only after his strength improves. Only then can you take revenge. Otherwise, you will never have hope. Then he went back to repair and upgrade the mecha, preparing to enter the next secret realm. But at this moment, a young mecha master in green rushed over. At this time, he was tall and handsome. But there was a sinister look in his eyes. When he arrived at the base, he yelled at everyone. All SS level mecha masters obey orders. Go out immediately to kill Zheng Mu. I want everyone to know the majesty of my mecha leader, no one dares to challenge me. Plus, this is a reward for you. It will allow you to break through to S-class mecha masters. After the sound fell. The young man in green robe flicked his wrist. 
several energy cores fell into the hands of the SS level Mecha Master. Then, it disappeared in place. Thank you, Master, for the reward. Those SS level Mecha Masters bowed respectfully to the ground. Although they don't know exactly what these energy cores do. However, since it was brought out by the Mecha leader, it must not be too bad. Then, several SS level Mecha Masters swept towards the outside. The remaining SS level Mecha Masters followed behind the Mecha leader. At the same time, head towards the outside of the base. At this time, Jinmu still didn't know that danger was approaching. Moreover, it is still very deadly. Boom! With one punch, the space shattered. Laugh! Immediately afterwards, a big hole was blasted out of the SS level Mecha Master's chest. How can it be so powerful? There was a look of disbelief in his eyes. Such a scene exceeded his expectation. Then, the whole person was reduced to ashes. And after seeing this scene, Zheng Mu did not pause. Leap up again and kill towards another SS level Mecha Master. And the SS level Mecha Master had a look of horror in his eyes. Unexpectedly, a level 55 Mecha Master was killed instantly. At this moment, a bright arrow appeared behind him. Zero please give me flowers. Call out. There was a sound of breaking through the air, and the Mecha Master's head was penetrated directly. Such a scene made everyone else around him horrified. Zheng Mu's attack speed was simply suffocating. Then, a sharp blade struck down, and the SS level Mecha Master's body was cut into two halves. At this time, the other party could no longer feel the pain. There was a blank expression in his eyes. It seems that he doesn't understand why he died. However, at the moment of death, he saw it. Outside the Tianyu Empire base, there are densely packed mechas coming. There are endless elite mecha divisions waiting for them. Their eyes shone with excitement. Ha, ah, I finally found you. This time, I will cut you into pieces. An SS level mecha master laughed and said. His eyes were filled with bloodthirsty light. The other SS level mecha masters also slowly gathered. Everyone's cultivation level has reached the SS level, and there is even one who is an S level mecha master. At this time, after seeing Jing Mu, a ferocious curve appeared at the corner of his mouth. Chapter 794 Jing Mu, we have been waiting for you for many days. You'd better admit defeat. Otherwise, today will be your death day. A level 5 mecha master shouted. Ha, huh, Jing Mu, Jing Mu, this time, you are destined to fall here. No matter how many adventures you have, this cannot change the fact. Snort. After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu snorted and waved his arms. In an instant, the boundless rain of swords streaked across the air 863. It was as if it was trying to cover the entire void. The pupils of those mecha masters could not help but shrink. Because they found that Zheng Mu's sword intent was too violent. This kind of sword power is enough to rival an S-class mecha master. At this time, he was still repairing his injuries. Because, he needs to stack his combat skills and experience points to the peak in the shortest possible time. And while he was practicing. Call. A strong gust of wind blew by, causing the expressions of those SS level mecha masters to change drastically. Because, they discovered that Jing Mu was missing. This is so weird. An SS level mecha master disappeared under their noses. Boom. However, at this moment, a violent explosion sounded. The entire base was covered in flames. Smoke filled the air. Did Jing Mu escape? An SS level mecha master murmured to himself. Then, he turned around and looked at the mecha leader. At this time, a smile appeared on the corner of the other party's mouth. Hee hee, this guy is really stupid. He was surrounded by my people just after he stepped out of the base. This time he won't be able to escape. There was a hint of coldness in the voice. This time, he had a complete plan. Not only did he send all his brothers over. It can be said that Jing Mu is definitely dead this time. Thinking of this, a sinister smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. The other SS level mecha masters nodded at this time. 
they really didn't expect that Zheng Mu would actually escape. But at this moment, a figure flew out from the thick smoke. It was Zheng Mu, but he looked a little embarrassed at this moment. The giant sword in his hand was trembling. Huh, you didn't expect that today, even if you have extraordinary abilities, you will definitely die. After seeing such a scene, the SS level mecha master shouted. But Cheng Mu was not afraid after hearing the sound. His eyes were extremely cold. He said coldly. I admit that you are strong. However, today, I have been promoted to SS level mecha master. No matter how powerful you are, what can you do to me? After he finished speaking, he walked forward step by step. And those SS level mecha masters were not willing to waste time. At this time, they only hoped to kill Zheng Mu as soon as possible. Zheng Mu immediately put on the latest mecha. A bronze mecha appeared in front of everyone. It exudes a heavy smell. At the same time, there is also a blazing metallic luster. Roar. With a roar, this mecha suddenly underwent a huge transformation. The original long sword was replaced by a star lightsaber. The blade of the sword shimmered with dazzling brilliance. At the same time, there was a faint ripple floating. It gives people a sense of vastness. Kill. Zheng Mu's deep voice sounded. Then, the whole person rushed into the ranks of those SS-level mecha masters like ghosts. Kala. Just a sword swing. Chapter, 795. An SS-level mecha master was sent flying at this moment. Such power made everyone's pupils shrink involuntarily. Because, Zheng Mu is too strong. Puff. Another muffled sound came out. Next, an SS-level mecha master fell to the ground. And right now. In the distance, there was a burst of exclamation. It's an SS-level mecha master. Our support was delayed. After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu's eyes revealed a fierce light. He did not expect that at this moment, someone would attack him unexpectedly. But since you dare to attack yourself, I want them to never come back. Therefore, Dang even swept away towards the distance without hesitation. Although this time, the losses were heavy. However, his strength has increased to level 55 after all. Adding his own Mecha Master characteristics. Even SS level Mecha Masters can withstand several attacks. Moreover, he has the confidence to escape from the battlefield. However, those SS level Mecha Masters at this time, after reacting, would not let him go. Boy, leave the iron. The leading SS level Mecha Master shouted. Immediately afterwards, the figure rushed forward. Boom! The fists collided in an instant. A deafening roar sounded. The whole valley was shaking. However, there was a hint of unwillingness in the eyes of the SS level Mecha Master. He never thought that Zheng Mu would break through. At this moment, on the other side, hundreds of SS level Mecha Masters also gathered around. For a time, my pressure increased sharply. However, there was a hint of cruelty in the corner of his mouth. Then, blazing flames surged from his body. The whole person's body turned into flames at this time. Chi Chi. The waves of fire are rolling, and the burning air is emitting bursts of sonic booms. With one punch, an SS level mecha master was knocked to the ground. Damn, this Ching Mu is a madman. The mecha masters who saw this scene all exclaimed. Because, this is simply not something a mecha master can do. At this time, Zheng Mu was like a monster in their eyes. Bang bang. While they were thinking, another SS level mecha master on the other side was killed. Blood was flowing on the ground, making everyone around him a little shocked. This bastard. The SS level mecha master who led the team narrowed his eyes. Then, he spoke slowly. I'm here to hold this kid back, and you kill him as fast as you can without wasting any time. Otherwise, if someone else takes the lead, you will be in trouble. After saying that, he rushed to Zheng Mu. However, his words had just finished. Zheng Mu's attack has fallen again. He wants to strike while the iron is hot. If we wait for these SS level mecha masters to react. I'm afraid it will take a lot more effort. 
The terrifying power carried by the fist caused ripples to appear in the surrounding space. The SS level Mecha Master did not dare to neglect, and directly waved his weapon to meet him. In an instant, the two collided. Crack. A crisp cracking sound sounded. The SS level Mecha Master's chest was actually penetrated directly. No. However, all this is not over yet, his shrill wail has just started. The whole body was turned into ashes. At this time, Zheng Mu looked like the god of death had descended. Chapter, 796 Every time he takes action, a life will definitely be taken away. I don't know how long it took. On the battlefield, only a lone mecha was left. It is the SS-class mecha, Zheng Mu. His body was covered with scars. But there was excitement in his eyes. Because, during the battle just now, his combat experience has reached 100%. Such progress was something he never dared to imagine in the past. But at this time, he was standing there with a ferocious look on his face. Then, he spoke lovingly. Today I will slaughter these SS-level Mecha Masters. I want to see who dares to stop me. As soon as he finished speaking, he rushed towards one of the SS-class Mechas. And after seeing this scene, all the SS-level Mecha Masters were angry. They did not expect that a dignified SS-level Mecha Master would be provoked like this. For a moment, everyone rushed towards him. And right now, Zheng Mu also fought with the SS-level Mecha Master who was driving a Mecha. Boom! A violent roar came out. The two SS-level Mecha Masters separated instantly. Zheng Mu was covered in blood at this time. You can even see bones. And the SS level Mecha Master wasn't much better. On the chest, there is even more flesh and blood. Under such circumstances, the two people's fighting spirit became even higher at this time. Boom! Finally, when the two touched each other again, the body of the SS level Mecha Master flew out directly. At this time, Jing Mu. The body jumped forward in an instant. He stretched out his palm and grabbed the SS level Mecha Master's neck. At this moment, it seemed as if it was about to be crushed into pieces. However, the SS level Mecha Master's movements were indeed extremely fast. At the moment when Zheng Mu hadn't touched the other person's body, he was the first to grab the opponent's wrist. Moreover, he kicked out and went straight to Zheng Mu's chest. At this moment, Zheng Mu did not choose to escape. His eyes sparkled. Draw an arc in the air. The last kick came out. The two of them stepped back at the same time. Then, they culled them all at the same time. This time, they tried their best and prepared to fight to the death. A violent explosion sounded. Zheng Mu's figure was thrown away. He was covered in blood. But there was no fear in his eyes. At this time, he completely aroused the fighting rage. Roar. The roar sounded, and his figure turned out to be nearly three times stronger than before. At this time, he seemed to be possessed by the devil. His eyes were red, constantly galloping between heaven and earth. Every punch is thrown with unpredictable power. And the SS level Mecha Master was tightly entangled. At this time, his face showed a solemn look. How could he not be surprised that he could do nothing to help Xing Mu? Bang bang! The attacks from both sides became more and more fierce. At this time, they had forgotten everything, Zhao Zhaohao could only fight to the death. On the other side, as time went by, the soldiers of the Han Legion continued to gather. They are very fast. In just a moment, several powerful troops were assembled. Call out! An SS-class mecha was demonic at the beginning of the battle. Zheng Mu has already been locked. This time, he was ready to kill the most powerful man in one fell swoop. And when he saw that Mecha Master, he actually dared to appear in front of him. Chapter, 797 At this time, Zheng Mu shouted coldly. Die to me. There was endless killing intent in the voice. At this time, he seemed to be possessed by a demon. Both fists changed in an instant. Blast towards the Mecha Master. Kala. With the sound of gold and iron clashing, it fell. 
the mecha master's head was blown open in an instant. Thick blood mist emitted. The entire battlefield was filled with a faint smell of blood. Huh, what a pleasure. I really didn't expect that after being promoted, would have such a strong combat power. At this time, Jing Mu's eyes shone with excitement. And just when he was about to look for traces of other SS level mecha masters. But I heard bursts of screams. Boom! An SS level mecha master was actually run over by several large transport vehicles. There is no room for struggle. Damn ants, you are looking for death. Seeing such a scene, the other SS level mecha masters almost roared. Although they were unwilling to admit it, they were forced to retreat by a group of ants. But the facts are right in front of them, and they can't help it. Ha, huh, if that's the case, then let's keep them all. A bloodthirsty smile appeared on the corner of Zheng Mu's mouth. At this moment, he was like a ferocious beast crawling out of the abyss. The aura on his body is frightening. But other people couldn't care less about anything else at this time. Because those giant trucks had already rolled over at this time. TSK. An SS level mecha master was a step too late to dodge and was severely knocked away. The whole person looked very embarrassed. The other two mecha masters were also seriously injured. Had to give up chasing Jing Mu. Then, he turned around and ran away. However, Jing Mu at this time had no intention of letting it go. His figure followed closely behind him. Finally, a mecha was knocked out. At this time, the entire body actually collapsed in an instant. Blood spread all over the sky. Akbi. Zheng Mu, however, did not hesitate and continued to hunt down the escaping SS level mecha masters. At this time, he was like a mad tiger. Let the blood stain your body. The whole person looked terrifying. No matter how much the enemy resists. It is difficult to get rid of his entanglement. In a short period of time, a colleague died. This scene is too terrifying. Pfft. After another attack, the SS level mecha master was torn into pieces. At this time, the entire sky was filled with a sense of murder. The people around were trembling. They had never seen such a cruel scene. Jie Jie, I will kill enough today. Zheng Mu said with a smile. There was excitement on his face. Then, it swept away into the distance. This time, he didn't go to trouble the SS level mecha master. Because, he is about to break through. After devouring so much energy. He felt that as long as he broke through to S level. I am afraid that I can defeat the SS level mecha master. At this time, his eyes were flashing with excitement, and he was ready to find a quiet place to practice. And just when Zheng Mu disappeared from the same place. Chilla. At this moment, a long sword suddenly pierced the void. It stabbed out like a thunder. Attack and kill Zheng Mu. This is an SS level mecha master taking action. He knew that Zheng Mu must die at this time if the other party completed the breakthrough. Chapter 798 Zheng Mu snorted coldly. The mecha on his body emits a light blue light. It's a plasma light shield. At this time, the defense is extremely powerful. Ding! A clear voice sounded. The lightsaber launched by the SS level mechanical puppet was directly bounced away after colliding with the plasma light shield. At the same time, Zheng Mu had already rushed into the mecha group. His right arm waved out, as if it had turned into a steel whip. Every stroke. There must be a mechanical puppet killed. When a mecha was smashed to pieces again. The remaining SS level mechanical puppets were completely panicked. Walk. No one wants to be cannon fodder. After knowing that they were no match for Jing Mu, the remaining SS level mechanical puppets fled into the distance in an instant. How could Jing Mu let them escape? His mecha rushed out and quickly caught up with them at a speed of Mach 20. The plasma light blade bloomed even more brilliantly. Boom! Then, he split an SS class mecha into two pieces. Fierce flames rose. This made the other mechanical puppets even more frightened. However, it was impossible for them to escape. These people were still showing off their power when they first entered the war zone. 
but at this time, it was like a lost dog. They were begging for mercy, even falling to their knees. Don't kill me, I surrender. A SS level mechanical puppet shouted loudly at this time. His face was full of horror. But Cheng Mu ignored his cry for help. Cut it down with one knife. Just cut it in half. But other people are extremely desperate at this time. These people were originally the elites in the major cities. However, in today's battlefield, it is not worth mentioning at all. It's just that they have no choice at all. At this point, all that can be done is a crazy counterattack. However, Zheng Mu is already at the entry level now. His combat power is comparable to that of an SS level mechanical puppet. The lethality that exploded was simply not something that the opponent could match. And, more importantly, Zheng Mu's figure was constantly cruising at this time. Don't give these people a chance to surround you at all. This made those mechanical puppets feel even more helpless. Boom! Another SS-level mechanical puppet was kicked out by Zheng Mu. Roar! At this time, his eyes were red and he roared. He didn't understand that he was a super mechanical puppet. How could he be defeated by a small SS-level mechanical puppet? This is simply a disgrace. Whoosh! Then, the spear in his hand cut through the void. It actually hit Zheng Mu straight down. This is his ultimate move, which can penetrate a mountain directly. However, Zheng Mu at this time was not afraid. His fist rushed forward. Crack. Then, the sound of broken bones sounded. The A-level mechanical puppet's wrist was broken. The spear also fell to the ground. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, did not stop moving. He raised his fist again and blasted towards the A-level mechanical puppet. If we say that before, he only relied on his physical skills and combat skills to kill the opponent. Now he relies entirely on strength to crush him. And it crushes everything. Bang bang. Three beeps rang in succession. The A-level mechanical puppet was actually beaten to death by Zheng Mu. Chapter, 799 This scene caused the pupils of everyone around to shrink. This Zheng Mu's strength is too terrifying. It's not just about killing all these mechanical puppets. The most important thing is that it has turned this place into a forbidden area for humans. At this time, Zheng Mu's face was extremely gloomy. His eyes looked around. At this time, he was already familiar with the surrounding environment. You know, there are still many 903 mechanical puppets hidden in this wilderness. If it is not resolved. For the human coalition, it is definitely a disaster. Moreover, these people are also their own enemies. So, he let out a low drink. All mechanical puppets, listen up, your only way to survive now is to surrender to me. Otherwise, die. His voice was extremely cold, causing resentment to appear in the eyes of the SS-level mechanical puppets around him. However, it is of no use at all. Ha, huh, do you think I will agree? Although you are powerful. However, our tens of thousands of mechanical puppets can wear you to death even if they fight on wheels. At this time, an SS-level mechanical puppet said slowly. He knew in his heart that if he surrendered, he would definitely be controlled by others. Yeah. Then let's give it a try. As soon as he finished speaking. Zheng Mu is just not prepared to talk nonsense. The plasma light cannon on the mecha's arm is extended. In an instant, an SS-level mechanical puppet was penetrated. Then, holding the light blade, he swept towards the other side. Pfft. Another SS-level mechanical puppet has died. Blood mist filled the air. However, this angered other SS-level mechanical puppets. Kill. Follow him and fight hard, we don't believe we can't kill him. Boom. As waves of roars sounded. One after another, mechas flashed in the sky. At this time, their eyes showed ferocious looks. Want to kill Zheng Mu. However, at this time, Zheng Mu had a look of disdain on his face. Bang bang. His body jumped up at this time. Missiles one after another drew meteor-like tails in the air. It bombarded straight down. Boom. A huge explosion sounded. 
When the dust dispersed, the figures of those mechanical puppets emerged. Then, their heads were directly exploded. In a short period of time, this team of thousands of people was all strangled on the spot. The rich blood floated between heaven and earth, making people feel horrified. Zheng Mu didn't care about this at all at this time. Continue walking towards the distance. There are countless mechanical puppets here. Moreover, there are even more powerful mechanical puppets. If you don't deal with the other party, you will be in danger. At this moment, a rapid siren sounded outside the forest. At the same time, there was a deafening roar. Obviously, someone strong has arrived. Zheng Mu sneered. With so many people dispatched, I want to meet him. After saying that, he headed towards the outside world. And as time goes by three, two. Soon, a burly figure appeared in front of him. This is an SS-level mechanical puppet, bathed in metallic luster. Behind him is a giant sword. The whole person has the smell of iron blood. Traitor of humanity, I advise you to hand over those mechanical puppets as soon as possible. You don't deserve a device like this. Chapter 800 The mechanical puppet's voice was full of solemnity. And just after he finished speaking. But he was interrupted directly by Zheng Mu. Roll. A violent voice sounded. Then, his figure hit him directly. Boom. The SS-level mechanical puppet was knocked away. But Cheng Mu didn't care. His figure almost turned into a black phantom. Directly killed towards the SS-level mechanical puppet. Now, although he has broken through to SS-level, he still does not dare to show any signs of neglect. Because, these SS-level mechanical puppets, with the blessing of various special materials, have extremely amazing defense capabilities. Zero two even if he wants to kill the opponent, it is still difficult. Hold head high. The light blade in Zheng Mu's hand swung, and it struck the opponent's body in an instant. Fierce sparks bloom. However, for SS-level mechanical puppets. These attacks are nothing. However, he didn't notice it with each blow. The robots behind him disappeared a lot. At this time, those mechanical puppets did not dare to neglect and charge directly towards them. They know that Zheng Mu is very powerful. But since I have so many people, there is really no need to tangle with him. At this time, all they want to do is to hold the other party down as much as possible and wait for rescue. At this time, Zheng Mu was already surrounded. Although these mechanical puppets are not strong, they have not even reached the SS level. But the advantage is that there are enough of them, and they can flow out in an endless stream. Therefore, even with Zheng Mu's strength, Rao felt that it was difficult. After all, under such intensive attacks, even he would not be relaxed. At this time, there was a sparkle in his eyes. He knew that if he wanted to leave, he must find the right opportunity. Thinking of this, I will not retreat but advance. Kill those SS-level mechanical puppets. Moreover, his speed is extremely fast, like a ghost. Call. The light blade in his hand was fiercely withdrawn. The blazing sword light tore apart the air. An SS-level mechanical puppet couldn't avoid it and was hit by a knife. There are scars on the body. His eyes were fierce, and he rushed towards Xing Mu again. At this time, the spiritual energy all over the body gathered on both fists. He was ready to fight hard. However, at this time, Zheng Mu's mouth showed a cold arc. Then, rush forward again. Laugh. He grabbed the opponent's shoulder and threw him directly. There was a look of unwillingness in the mechanical puppet's eyes, and his chest actually sunk. Obviously, the chest was smashed. Then, he fell to the ground. But, right now. 337 A cold light emerged. The mechanical puppet's head was chopped off directly. Blood splashed out. He died. Zheng Mu, however, did not stop. He stepped on the void and flew away into the distance. His target is the headquarters of those mechanical puppets. At this time, he was completely furious. Therefore, there was no hesitation at all. Electricity burst out from his body. At this time, Zheng Mu was already going crazy. 
I saw his legs kicking on the ground and flying out in an instant. The whole person is like a cannonball. Along the way, he would directly kick anyone who blocked him to the ground. Chapter, 801 Boom! At this time, Jin Mu finally broke through the many blockades. When he came to the depths of the forest. It was shocking to find that those mechanical puppets had already evacuated this place. This made him feel angry and angry. He shouted involuntarily. Chase me. He didn't believe that he couldn't even catch up with these little mechanical puppets. The voice sounded. Then, the entire figure turned into a stream of light and disappeared in place. At this time, those SS-level mechanical puppets were secretly observing his whereabouts. Look at that extremely fast movement. They all have microscopic pupils. If such a master were to encounter him on the battlefield, he would probably become a nightmare for himself and others. But at this moment. But they suddenly heard their commander speak. Notify the mechanical puppet group to immediately change direction and intercept and kill the opponent. There was a gloominess in his voice. Then, the SS-level mechanical puppet also moved forward to meet him. His speed is also dissatisfying. Whoosh! However, just when he was within a hundred meters of Jin Mu, a ray of cold light flew out from a distance. The speed was extremely fast, and he appeared next to this SS-level mechanical puppet in the blink of an eye. This is a dagger. It was extremely sharp and cut through the air, making a whimpering sound. The SS-level mechanical puppet's face couldn't help but turn pale. But now, I don't dare to neglect it. His body suddenly flashed at this moment. Ding! The sharp blade pierced his right arm at this moment. Suddenly, blood splashed. This caused the SS-level mechanical puppet to roar in pain. Jing Mu, on the other side, took the opportunity to come to the opponent. He swung his palm horizontally and struck directly at the neck of the mechanical puppet. His movements are extremely fast. It makes the other party unable to avoid it at all. Crack. There was a sound of bones breaking. The neck of the SS-level mechanical puppet was cut off directly. Scarlet blood spurted out. Then, Jin Mu held a sharp blade in his hand again. Then, in the other party's frightened eyes, he flew him away directly. Pfft. Another puff of blood flew out. This time, the mechanical puppet had no chance of surviving. But at this time, Jin Mu still didn't stop. With a flash of body, he rushed straight towards the last two SS-level mechanical puppets. At this time, he had murderous intent in his eyes. Bang bang. Two violent collisions were heard. The remaining two SS-level mechanical puppets were directly knocked to the ground by him. This all comes slowly. However, it was only a short moment. At this time, the SS-level mechanical puppets around were completely stunned when they looked at the scene in the field. They simply couldn't believe that this was what their boss did. Jing Mu, on the other hand, didn't pay any attention to the thoughts of the people around him. Wang Yimo Zhao, people in the cockpit, listen, you have been surrounded by me, surrender immediately, I may be able to guarantee your lives. Otherwise, don't blame me for being ruthless. A cold voice sounded. Let all SS-level mechanical puppets understand clearly in their hearts. At this time, Jin Mu was already angry. If they don't do what the other person tells them to do. I'm afraid there will be no escape from disaster today. Therefore, a moment later, a huge battleship was in front of everyone's attention. Chapter, 802 Appeared in the center of the battlefield. And after seeing such a scene, those mechanical puppets all breathed a sigh of relief. At this time, they were in an extremely embarrassed state, and they did not have the same majestic appearance as before. This is especially true for the SS-level mechanical puppets. At this time, he was covered in blood and his clothes were covered with filth. Zheng Mu, however, ignored all this and walked straight out of the cockpit. As long as you take down the opponent, you will definitely win. Stop, we are willing to surrender, please let us live. Just after entering the cockpit, an SS-level mechanical puppet opened his mouth and said 893. At this moment, he has understood the situation clearly and wants to survive. 
Huh, it's too late, it's too late to surrender now. Zheng Mu said calmly while walking towards the outside of the cockpit. At this time, he didn't have the slightest pity. Since these people do not abide by the agreement. Then we can only send them to the west. Then the mecha covered the whole body and rushed towards these people. Plasma lightsaber in hand. Emitting a dazzling cold light. Bang bang. With just one blow, several level 55 mechanical puppets fell. Such attack power. Akvch, the eyes of those SS level mechanical puppets showed a look of shock. Damn it. They swore angrily. But he couldn't resist it at all. Although they are also considered to be extremely talented people, they can challenge higher levels. However, facing the pervert Jing Mu, it is simply not enough. Plasma bomb. Launch. Jing Mu's cold voice came out. Swipe. The marbles, like raindrops, attacked those SS level mechanical puppets. Fiery sparks bloomed at this time. They had to avoid it. And right now. Laugh. Zheng Mu suddenly swung the sharp blade in his hand. The blazing sword roared out. Pfft. Another figure fell to the ground, blood splattering. Today Zheng Mu has almost become a god of killing. Then, he held a dagger and attacked other mechanical puppets. These SS level mechanical puppets are powerful, but the gap with him is too big. Many people did not even dare to resist and surrender directly. However, Zheng Mu was not moved at all. He wants to kill all his enemies. Ah! A shrill scream came out. Zheng Mu has killed countless mechanical puppets. At this time, those SS level mechanical puppets were no match at all. At this moment, a huge mechanical puppet arrived here. It is 3,000 feet tall. In both hands, each holds a giant hammer. As soon as they appeared, they smashed towards those SS level mechanical puppets. After seeing such a scene, Zheng Mu shouted loudly. Immediately afterwards, a punch was thrown. Blazing metallic light burst out at this moment. Boom! When the two collide together, make a roaring sound. Kala. Then, a crisp sound was heard. It turned out that the arm of the mechanical puppet was directly blown to pieces. Kill him. After seeing such a scene, the remaining SS level mechanical puppets roared. At this time, they wished they could eat Zheng Mu alive. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, did not hesitate. The figure jumped directly into the air and headed towards him. The long sword in his hand was like a dragon, slashing directly at those level 5 mechanical puppets. Chapter 803. The bright energy is constantly surging. So that the other party can only avoid it. However, even so, they were still losing ground. In less than half an hour, all the SS level mechanical puppets died in Jing Mu's hands. His eyes flashed, showing a ferocious smile. Then, prepare to clean up the battlefield. Just, at this moment. Boo hoo. A rapid sound broke through the air, but it sounded in an instant. Then, a group of dark figures appeared on the battlefield. They are all mechas. The energy cannon in his hand emitted a blazing light at this moment. Bang bang. Immediately afterwards, several blazing cannonballs pierced the void and blasted towards Xing Mu. Suddenly, a strong sense of crisis emerged in his heart. These people were actually led by an S-class mechanical puppet and came to support them. Damn it! He cursed inwardly. Zheng Mu's figure plundered towards the distance. This is the speed that only SS level mechanical puppets can achieve. However, mechanical puppets below level 55 simply cannot catch up. In an instant, several companions were blown apart by gunfire. Moreover, the S class mechanical puppet was also chasing after him. A ferocious smile appeared on his lips. At this moment, Zheng Mu finally felt death approaching. Every SS level mechanical puppet is precious and abnormal. If there was a loss, he simply couldn't afford it. However, at this time, Zheng Mu did not hesitate at all. There was a look of madness in his eyes at this moment. At this time, the SS level mechanical puppet also arrived at the same time. 
they prepare to work together to capture Xin Mu. Whoosh! Just after the two sides got closer, Zheng Mu stretched out his palm and grabbed it towards the opposite side. At this time, he wanted to capture the thief first and capture the king first. Snort! Seeing such a scene, the S-class mechanical puppet shouted coldly. Then, the energy in the body surged, trying to stop Zheng Mu. Crack! At this moment, a clear sound of broken bones was heard. Immediately afterwards, the body of that super-mechanical puppet was crushed to pieces. Hiss. After seeing this scene, the horror in the eyes of the surrounding SS-level mechanical puppets could not be concealed. Zero request flowers. They didn't expect that their captain didn't even react. That is to say, he was killed. This Jing Mu's strength is too terrifying. However, in the minds of these people, although they were shocked, they were not afraid. Because, in their understanding, if the mission fails this time, they may die here. After thinking about this, a SS-level mechanical puppet shouted. The brothers fought hard with him. As long as we survive, we can still take revenge in the future. If you die, everything will be over. After the voice fell, all the SS-level mechanical puppets nodded blankly. Then, he rushed towards Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu on the other side stared at everyone coldly. His eyes were filled with endless killing intent. These people must die. Roar. He let out an angry roar and rushed forward in an instant. Blazing brilliance flashed around. This time, he was completely furious. Laugh. Zheng Mu's figure was extremely fast. The sharp claws in his hands were like poisonous snakes. Every time he probed out, an SS-level mechanical puppet was killed ten times. Chapter, 804 In just a short moment, hundreds of people were killed by him. The entire venue was enveloped in a formidable aura. At this time, Zheng Mu, with cold eyes, rushed towards the last SS-level mecha again. He wants to destroy this base. As long as it is destroyed, you will be safe. After all, he is an important figure in the imperial city and cannot make any mistakes. Die to me. Zheng Mu growled. With sharp claws in his hands, 600 cut through the space in an instant. Laugh. There was a sound of a sharp weapon entering flesh. The SS level mechanical puppet was split into two pieces. Blood mist filled the air. Tick tock, tick tock. Scarlet blood slowly flowed down the claws. This was left over from Zheng Mu's killing process. And after seeing such a scene, the other SS-level mechanical puppets did not escape even though they were horrified. They knew that they were no match for Zheng Mu. Ha, huh, do you think you can make a comeback by yourself? It's just a fool's errand. Today, I will definitely crush you to ashes. The SS-level mechanical puppet said with a venomous face. Brush. Then, he took out the communication device. Prepare to contact your leader, hoping that the other party will come to rescue. But Cheng Mu, after seeing such a scene, didn't care at all. Now, it can be said that I am in an extremely embarrassed state. Not only seriously injured. What's more important is that these mecha warriors have no intention of evacuating at all. Let him understand in his heart that these mechanical puppets definitely have a backup plan. But at this moment, an SS-level mechanical puppet had already informed his boss of his arrival. After a while, densely packed aircraft appeared in the sky. Each one emits powerful energy fluctuations. Moreover, there are many mechanical puppets forming formations outside the spaceship. Even the first-level god emperor cannot resist such an attack. At this time, Zheng Mu's face instantly darkened to the extreme. He didn't expect that the situation would be so serious. These people actually invited such a powerful force. Boom! At this time, the attack from the opposite side has arrived. The blazing energy gathered into a beam of light in an instant and hit him hard. This time, it even caused the void to tremble. If it is hit, even Jing Mu will definitely die. His pupils couldn't help but shrink. Hola! Then, behind him, an unparalleled strong wind swept out in an instant. 
Then, his body disappeared in place. The next moment, it appeared hundreds of meters away. Dodged the blow. However, that blazing energy, after flying several kilometers away, actually continued to have an unstoppable trend. Finally, it exploded on a hill. Huge rocks shattered and earth and trees flew everywhere. A huge rock fell from the sky and headed straight for Jing Mu. At this time, his eyes were about to burst. Just as his body had dodged, several more missiles were hitting him. In this situation too, Zero, even though he was powerful, he did not dare to neglect and could only barely parry. At this time, he was already in danger. But those SS-level mechanical puppets showed no mercy at all. They controlled the chariot and surrounded and killed Jing Mu. A violent collision sounded, making the air seem to condense. Chapter, 805 Such a scene made Jing Mu keep avoiding. However, at this time, he was getting more and more tired. And look at your properties panel. He knew in his heart that if he continued. If you persist for half an hour at most, you will fall on the spot. Thinking of this, the anxious look in his eyes became even more intense. But at this moment, a figure was rushing towards here. It was an army. They are all wearing armor. The various weapons in his hands glowed with cold light. Looking at the group of SS-level mechanical puppets, he said coldly. You are really brave, you dare to go against our imperial city. Today, no one can survive. After hearing the sound, Zero Tu Jing Mu couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Behind this person, there were more than a dozen SS-level mechanical puppets standing. Enough to crush the enemy in front of you. At this time, after hearing the sound, the faces of the SS-level mechanical puppets revealed a ferocious look. He said coldly. Hey, today I'm going to let you see how awesome I am. Then, in an instant, he raised the weapon in his hand. Streams of bright energy cannonballs spurted out at this moment. But the person leading the team was not afraid at all. He shouted coldly. Block it for me. These guys will definitely die today. After the words fell, his fingers moved slightly. In an instant, defensive shields rose up one after another. Boom! The two sides collided. The blazing energy spread to all directions instantly. At this moment, Zheng Mu couldn't help but close his eyes. Because, in his opinion, the army of SS-level mechanical puppets could not withstand so many attacks. Sure enough, after a while, the energy gradually dissipated. And when Jing Mu opened his eyes, his eyes sparkled. Because, the picture in front of me is somewhat different from what I imagined. The army of SS-level mechanical puppets. Although there was some damage, overall, there were no casualties at all. And all of this is thanks to the people in front of me. When he saw the opponent, he punched him out. Ripples rippled in the air, like water ripples. Then, all the energy was swallowed up. This made the SS-level mechanical puppet show a look of shock in its eyes. I didn't expect that the other party was so powerful. This was something he never expected. But at this time, Jin Mu couldn't care less about observing the other party. After swallowing up the energy, it shot out into the distance again. Now that we have the help of experts, there is no need to stay here. And the SS-level mechanical puppet obviously knew his intention. Roaring angrily, he drove his chariot and followed closely. Duh duh duh. At this moment, the clear sound of the firearm was heard. But it was the soldiers under the SS 960 mechanical puppets who started shooting at Jing Mu. Tongues of fire spurted out. Like raindrops, it covers Jing Mu. Boom! A huge meteorite struck directly towards Jing Mu. He waved his arm and slapped the meteorite onto the ground splashing endless smoke and dust. At this time, his face also became extremely pale. Even an SS-level mechanical puppet would be unable to withstand such an attack. But those mechanical puppets didn't care at all. Kill, I must kill this damn bastard. A level 55 mechanical puppet roared. Chapter, 806. And those SS-level mechanical puppets. At this time, he was charging towards Xing Mu with great madness. Their speed is extremely fast. 
Moreover, there are mechanical puppets to fix leaks in the rear. Pfft. Finally, after a round of attacks, a deep scar was torn open on Zheng Mu's chest. Blood flowed down. But the SS level mechanical puppet's eyes showed joy. As long as Zheng Mu is killed, the mission will be completed perfectly. He can be rewarded handsomely. However, Zheng Mu at this time did not sit still and wait for death. After feeling something bad, he took out the communicator and shouted into it. Request support. Didi. At this moment, a harsh alarm sounded from the communicator. Then, the other party said. You are currently performing a special mission, and our army cannot participate. I wish you a speedy return. A cold voice sounded. Zheng Mu was stunned. But at this moment, the SS level mechanical puppet charged in again. Die. He roared in anger, cut through the sky with a knife, and slashed down towards Xing Mu. This scene is too terrifying. Even the people around him couldn't help but be horrified. Boom. And just when he was about to succeed, a roar sounded at this moment. A pitch black spear instantly penetrated the body of the SS level mechanical puppet. Then, the opponent fell to the ground. Laugh. After the mechanical puppet fell, a corpse appeared in everyone's sight. They didn't know it, but they knew what the corpse was holding. That's a symbol in the Mecha League. Moreover, it is the emblem of the mechanical puppet organization. How could it be so, how could it be so, I don't believe it. The SS level mechanical puppet on the other side also reflected at this time. He yelled at his companions. However, no matter how hard he struggled. The pitch black spear was trembling constantly. As time went by, a complete hole appeared in his head. As for the subordinates of the SS level mechanical puppet, they were even more stunned at this moment. This ending exceeded their expectations. I was just about to escape, but it was already too late. Bang bang. Missiles landed at their feet one after another. In an instant, the entire world seemed to be enveloped in flames. Thick fog rolled in. This time, Zheng Mu's losses were much smaller. After all, those mechas are quite powerful. But facing this wave of attacks, it was impossible to resist it. After a brief confrontation, the remaining SS level mechanical puppets dissipated. Not only that, even Zheng Mu was rescued and taken away from the battlefield. But the leader of the SS level mechanical puppet organization had a gloomy face. This time, their losses were too serious. Hundreds of SS level mechanical puppets all died, including the leader of the Lord. You must know that every mechanical puppet is very valuable to the Mecha Alliance. But today, hundreds of mechas were lost in front of him, how could he not be angry? However, at this time, he had no choice. Because, under the pressure of the other party, there is no way to take revenge and can only endure. Chief, this can't go on, this organization is getting more and more deceitful. Moreover, it is said that the background of this organization is extremely complicated. Chapter, 807 We're afraid we can't afford to offend him. The adjutant next to him spoke cautiously. Humph, so what if we can't offend them, do they really dare to fall out with us? As long as we take the initiative, they will not be able to please us. The sound rang out, making the adjutant dare not speak. But, how could they know at this time? Now Jing Mu has been forced to a dead end. If you don't die this time, you will never have peace. And just when they were both losing. At this time, Jing Mu was already in a desperate situation. The injuries on his body became more and more serious. Even moving is a little difficult. During the recent period, he had almost no practice. The mission of this mechanical puppet guild is really too dangerous, and mechanical puppets are dying every moment. If you don't improve your strength, you may not even be able to protect the lives of these mechanical puppets. However, at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Then, the figure exploded out in all directions. Wherever it passed, the subordinates of the SS level mechanical puppet were all turned into minced meat. When he saw Zheng Mu, he was still standing there alive and kicking. The leader of the mechanical puppet organization finally couldn't bear it anymore and roared angrily. You wanna die. 
Then, he took a step forward and rushed towards Xin Mu. This time, his breath locked onto the opponent. Want to kill it? Laugh. And Zheng Mu showed no sign of weakness at this time. On the palm of the hand, golden light flashed. A plasma ray was shot towards the mechanical puppet. Bang! Violent explosions resounded between heaven and earth. The body of the SS level mechanical puppet was actually exploded. Blood spattered out, causing shock to the eyes of the people around him. No one expected that under such circumstances. Jing Mu will choose to fight hard. This gave everyone an incredible feeling. However, just after the mechanical puppet leader was killed, Jing Mu's figure also stumbled and fled towards the distance. He needs to recuperate, otherwise he will definitely die. Ache, at this time, he was seriously injured. If he did not receive treatment in time, he would be in danger. And just after Zheng Mu left, whizzing, a figure fell from the sky. It was the leader of the Mecha Alliance. A ferocious smile appeared on his face and he shouted. Huh, chase him, remember to leave him alive, I will interrogate him personally. After the sound fell, there were people flying around. Then, he pursued forward. Zheng Mu on the other side was not clear at all. Your own destiny will be rewritten soon. He dragged his tired body and ran towards the distance. But no matter what, the injury was too serious this time. The body simply cannot bear it. Crack. After stepping into the valley, he fell to the ground. The bones all over the body were broken and the flesh and blood were blurred. But there was no way to get back up. At this time, the SS-level mechanical puppet leader had already arrived on the battlefield. His eyes were extremely solemn. Because the battle here is coming to an end. I saw a large number of broken limbs and broken arms falling on the ground. Apparently the corpse of a mechanical puppet. Except for those SS-level mechanical puppets. Even ordinary mechanical puppets were killed. Chapter 808 after seeing this scene, his eyes almost burst out with flames. Roared at his men. Search quickly and we must find that guy. There are also the remains of these puppets that must be taken back for study. After the voice fell, several senior executives behind him hurriedly took action. After a while, the remains of the puppets were collected. However, right now. Laugh. A flash of sword light flashed. But it was a mechanical puppet that actually returned to its peak state again. This is a new puppet, with a majestic figure, like a giant beast. The armor on his body exudes a cold light. The weapon in his hand is a giant hammer. At this time, they slowly approached these mechanical puppets, hoping to hunt their prey. After seeing such a scene, the SS-level puppet leader didn't care about anything else and rushed forward. In an instant, the two collided together. Boom! The weapons of both sides collided fiercely. It emits a vast sound wave and sweeps around. Pfft! At the moment of collision, the SS-level mechanical puppet was directly blown away. This time, he was really hurt. At the same time, the other mechanical puppets also reacted. Heading towards the new puppet. As a banging sound fell. The chest of the mechanical puppet leader was pierced. Scarlet blood flowed out. The whole person turned into a bloody gourd, lying on the ground dying. And right now. The other mechanical puppets also rushed forward one after another. Boom. A violent collision was heard. These mechanical puppets completely collapsed at this time. And the mechanical puppet leader was completely strangled. However, this made the remaining mechanical puppets unwilling to give up. They continued to search for Zheng Mu. No matter what the price is, the opponent must be captured. This is the rule of the Machinery Alliance. But at this time, Zheng Mu didn't know. His life is already in danger. He was seriously injured and could not walk far at all, and soon encountered an interception. This time, hundreds of mechanical puppets appeared. They held sharp claws, and their eyes glowed with a cold light. At this time, Zheng Mu had a look of horror in his eyes. However, at this time, he couldn't resist it at all. 
the body was smashed and flew out again. Then, he spit out blood from his mouth and his eyes were extremely dim. Damn it, if I were stronger, I wouldn't be like this. Now I can't hold on at all. What to do? This time, it was his tenacity that separated him. At this time, I was also very frightened. On the other side, the leader of the mechanical puppet did not want to waste time. He ordered everyone to hunt them down. Be sure to catch that Ching Mu. This time's contribution is enough to advance to the level of Mecha Master. However, they are still searching hard. But no trace of Zheng Mu could be found. The other party seemed to have disappeared. At this time, Zheng Mu fell into the dense forest. But he struggled to sit up. At this time, his face was full of embarrassment. The head was covered with blood. Dark red blood also seeped out from the corners of his mouth. However, even so, there was still a stubborn look in his eyes. He said it through gritted teeth. Chapter 809 I will definitely avenge this loss. This time, I almost died at the hands of the leader of the Machinery Alliance. Moreover, those mechanical puppets also captured the base they had worked so hard to build. These losses made him extremely angry. But, just when he was about to get up. But I heard a voice coming from not far away. Help! Hearing the shout, Zheng Mu did not dare to hesitate and quickly rushed towards the direction where the voice of 023 came from. And at the same time, a group of men in black robes also followed behind. Behind them, there were several figures following closely. It's obviously the guy from the Mechanical Alliance. However, Zheng Mu at this time was not afraid. He ran ahead. The speed is extremely fast. When getting closer and closer to that group of people, Zheng Mu's mecha instantly formed a plasma cannon in his hand. Hold head high. A blazing white beam of light burst out in an instant. This is Zheng Mu's last resort, and he will never use it if it is not a last resort. Because the power of this white light beam is really too great. It can even kill an innate second level strong man instantly. Not only is it powerful, but more importantly, it consumes a lot of spiritual stones. Now, he has no spirit stones at all and can only use his last move. However, at this time, the members of the Machinery Alliance also felt a strong sense of danger. They dare not neglect. Push out with one palm. Boom! The two attacks collided. The white light dissipated, and the mechanical puppets were blown away. These mechanical puppets are worthy of being the top existences in the Mechanical Alliance. Although he was injured, he was still brave. Humph, kill me. At this time, the leader of the Machinery Alliance finally appeared. His voice rang out. Digital mechanical puppets surrounded him. Although their strength is weaker. But the victory lies in bravery. In just an instant, he gained the upper hand. And Zheng Mu's plasma lightsaber was also swung out at this time. However, he understood that if he continued to fight, I was afraid that I would definitely die. Therefore, after just striking out an attack, he actually turned around and ran to the side. You can't escape, hand over the treasure map and I will spare your life. The sound sounded zero. Zheng Mu's figure couldn't help but pause. At this time, he knew clearly in his heart that if it weren't for the treasure house map, the Machinery Alliance had already killed themselves. Where is the nonsense? Therefore, even if you open your mouth and shout, if you want a treasure map, just dream. After his voice fell, his figure became even more agile. But the leader of the Machinery Alliance showed no sign of weakness. If that's the case, don't blame me for being rude. Give me your life. The voice fell, and the long knife in his hand was raised. Behind him, an endless halo appeared, crashing directly towards Xing Mu. Seeing such a scene, Xing Mu's eyes were about to burst. But at this time, he had no room to escape. Only zero, six can resist hard. The moment the two sides touch each other, Xing Mu's figure was blown away in an instant. At this time, he only felt that his throat was numb. However, luckily he was not injured. And right now. 
the leader of the Machinery Alliance spoke again. You are no match for me, so please hand over the treasure map. Chapter, 810 There was a hint of coldness in his voice. For some reason, Zheng Mu always felt that this guy seemed familiar. However, at this time, there is really not much to consider. Then he used the photon ray cannon and shot towards the opponent. Seeing such a scene, the leader of the Machinery Alliance did not dare to be careless. Chi Chi The unparalleled beam of light streaked through the air and shot towards the leader of the Machinery Alliance. The latter is constantly dodging. Laugh However, this time, after the beam came, his left arm was directly blown to pieces. After seeing such a scene, Zero Two showed anger in the eyes of the leader of the Machinery Alliance. This was the first time he had been injured. If something like this is passed on, I'm afraid it will be really difficult for him to hold his head up in the future. And just when he was about to step forward and kill Zheng Mu, the opponent's figure suddenly disappeared from the spot. Then, in a burst of sound, it disappeared into the distance. This made the leader of the Machinery Alliance almost go berserk. His eyes were red, and a terrifying aura surged around him. He yelled unwillingly. Damn guy! At this moment, he felt ashamed. But at this moment. Pfft! There was a sound of gold and iron clashing. A sharp blade pierced into his body. Crack! At the same time, a mechanical puppet on the other side cut off his arm. He also slowly collapsed to the ground. Looking at this scene, the remaining mechanical puppets in the field were completely confused. And the leader of the Machinery Alliance also reacted. Look around. I found that except for the mechanical puppets, there were no enemies at all. But just now I clearly saw that Zheng Mu was defeated and captured by me. How could it become like this? And just when he was puzzled, a voice sounded from far away. I said, have you forgotten something? Then, the voice spoke again. Who is it? The leader of the Machinery Alliance shouted sharply. However, just after he finished speaking, a cold murderous aura filled the air. A figure appeared in the field. It was Zheng Mu. His face was as dark as water, and his whole person was shrouded in murderous intent. And the leader of the Machinery Alliance also recognized Bien. The other party was dressed in the same dress as before, but the weapon in his hand was different. You were sent here by the Holy Alliance. The voice sounded. Haha, yes, I am from the Holy Alliance. Are you dissatisfied? Zheng Mu said with a smile. In his heart, he was extremely excited. Originally, this Machinery Alliance was one of the most powerful forces under the Holy 160 Alliance. But it was because of an incomplete drawing. The two sides fought for hundreds of years, and finally the Holy Alliance won, so they were expelled. But now, the people from the Machinery Alliance must be looking for the treasure map to find themselves. After all, in Zheng Mu's opinion, he could take advantage of the chaos and escape this time. But the expression of the leader of the Machinery Alliance couldn't help but change drastically. He didn't understand why the Holy Alliance wanted to help Xing Mu. However, at this moment, bursts of footsteps came out. It turned out that during the battle just now, the troops patrolling nearby discovered something unusual. That's why I came to investigate. Boom! When this army arrived. Chapter, 811 Zheng Mu has disappeared without a trace. Their faces showed horror at this moment. At the same time, Zheng Mu had appeared outside the city. At this time, he was surrounded by people of all races. After seeing Zheng Mu, everyone bowed to the ground respectfully. At this time, he also spoke. You should return to your respective homes immediately. I still need to find treasures. After that, he just drove the spaceship and headed into the distance. At this time, he was no longer willing to waste any time. But after Zheng Mu left, the people around him did not get up. They fell to their knees and shouted long live. Because, in their opinion, if Zheng Mu hadn't taken action today, even if they are not killed, it is also inevitable to be captured. This is absolutely a disaster for them. However, things are different now. 
As long as he returns to the tribe, everything will be fine. At this time, Zheng Mu was driving a flying boat through the void. But he didn't notice it. Behind him were two figures. There was a faint mist exuding from their bodies, making them look extremely mysterious. These humans are so weak. Even the leader of a small city couldn't defeat. One of them spoke. His face was filled with disdain at this time. After hearing the sound, the other person also showed a solemn look on his face. Don't underestimate these humans. Their wisdom exceeds our expectations, so don't be careless. While the two were talking, Zheng Mu has arrived above a huge city. This is the area where the Mechanical Alliance is located, so it is called Karas. As the richest city in the Machinery Alliance, a large number of mechanical life forms gather here. Moreover, there are some special mechanical facilities. There are even scientists who specialize in studying various mechanical creations. At this time, after Zheng Mu arrived, he naturally attracted the attention of a large number of mechanical beings. Brother, what are you doing here? At this time, the mechanic responsible for guarding Karas asked Zheng Mu politely. Because the identity of the other party cannot be ignored. Do you have a broken map in your machinery alliance? I need it. Zheng Mu said straightforwardly. Although he also wanted to get more information, at this time he could only choose to get the map first and then leave. Are you talking about the map of the ruins? After hearing the sound, the mechanical alliance guard hesitated for a moment and then spoke. After all, that map is the privacy of the mechanical alliance. It cannot be easily leaked to the outside world. However, just after he finished speaking, Zheng Mu nodded. Okay, please come with me. Talking is leading the way. Soon, two mechas appeared on the square in the city. There was a huge sand table, in which Wang Zhao's drew a vast star sea pattern. Zheng Mu's eyes lit up. Because, all of this is the same as the drawing in my mind. And after seeing Zheng Mu's expression, the mechanic continued. This map was created by the ancestors of our machinery alliance who spent their entire lives. There is a dangerous place marked on it. If you really want it, just pay the price. There's nothing we can do about this. Chapter 812 After hearing the sound, Zheng Mu said without hesitation. I bought it. The sound sounded, but the guard breathed a sigh of relief. Then, he took out a ring and handed it over. This is a spiritual weapon worth 50 million points. I hope you can keep your promise. The mechanic spoke. But just after he finished speaking, he didn't pack up the map, turned around and left. Seeing such a scene, Zheng Mu's face lit up with joy. Then, he went straight to the secret room. Now that it's confirmed, this map is connected with the map in my mind. Naturally, he wanted to take it back and study it. As for the revenge of the 580 Machinery Alliance, he did not take it into consideration. His methods can make these mechanical beings suffer a lot. He put on his mecha and started the curvature engine, disappearing instantly. At this time, in the Machinery Alliance, the leader was sitting in the meeting hall, his face ashen. Damn humans, how dare you deceive us, you are so tired of living. A roar sounded from the other party's mouth. They didn't expect that humans would dare to deceive them. Ha, huh, no matter what, you, the current leader, have broken through the third level and become a second level mechanic. ACDC. Those humans are no match for you at all. We'd better attack as soon as possible, otherwise, if this continues, something might happen. After hearing the sound, the leader nodded and then spoke. Okay, if that's the case, then prepare to attack. Remember, this time I want to kill all humans and let them know the consequences of offending our mechanical civilization. I don't believe that those human beings will always be huddled in a corner. There was a strong chilling air in the voice. Immediately afterwards, a number of famous Machinery Alliance disciples gathered. But this time, the other party has formed a huge fleet. Every battleship is comparable to the powerful God King. At this time, it was extremely majestic and was thrown towards the area occupied by humans. Wherever he passed, the entire world seemed to be a bit dim. 
and just after those people from the Machinery Alliance approached. Jing Mu, who was standing on the battleship, had a ferocious look on his lips. There was a cold light in his eyes. He said slowly to the person next to him. Everyone. Enter the battle. Kill the enemy. Bang bang. As his voice fell, thousands of human warriors stepped into the battleship. Then, those mechanical lives also moved. They kicked the ground with the soles of their feet and jumped up in an instant. Extremely fast. It cuts through the sky like a stream of light. In just the blink of an eye, they collided together. Blood spurts out. After a brief stalemate, the human army was completely defeated. Boom! Another round of explosions occurred. This time, it was a giant elephant that was directly torn apart. At the same time, a lightsaber appeared in Zheng's hand. The cold light flashed. It stabbed straight into the chest of a mechanical beast. In an instant, the heart of the mechanical life form was directly pierced. As a result, he had no chance to react and fell to the ground. Then, he shouted again to the other people. This is a second life. After the voice fell, Zheng Mu swept forward again. At this time, the other party's eyes were filled with tears. Chapter, 813 Because they felt death was approaching. Ha, huh, you humans are screwed, you dare to mess with my machinery alliance. Today, let me kill you all. The leader roared crazily. This was the first time he felt the hope of victory. Because, those human armies finally couldn't hold on any longer. At this time, Zheng Mu, who was driving towards here, didn't care about anything else at all. He had to find all the maps. Otherwise, there is no way to explain it at all. Crack. When the distance from the battlefield is only about a hundred meters, distance. There was a burst of cracking sounds. Then, a map as high as a palm appeared in his palm. Above, the shapes of various places are clearly outlined. There is even a detailed introduction. Sure enough, this map is the map on the earth. Looking at the drawing in his hand, Zheng Mu couldn't help but murmur to himself. Then, it swept away into the distance. He wants to return to earth in the shortest possible time. At this time, above the ground. The battle situation is getting more and more tragic. Both ordinary people and mecha masters were already scarred at this time. Zheng Mu activated the photon laser cannon and drove back the mechanical life forms. Flying away into the distance. But, at this moment. Buzz. A terrifying pressure spread above his head. It made him extremely frightened. Then, look up towards the sky. He is a fourth level mechanic. I saw the metal armor on the opponent's body exuding a cold luster. He even held a giant axe blade in his hand. At this time, a bright light flashed in his eyes. The fighting spirit around him boiled. Obviously, the opponent's offensive just now did not work. This is as it should be. Although the mechanical civilization on Earth is weak, it has many unique technologies. Take the mechanical armor as an example. This kind of material is difficult for even the Empire to provide. How can you not be tyrannical? Moreover, this member of the Machinery Alliance is also the main force of a mechanical civilization. At this time, he was extremely brave and brave, which could not be compared with ordinary human cultivators. Therefore, even if you open your mouth and shout. Kill these humans. The sound sounded, and beside him, several third-level mechanics swooped forward. Zero request flowers. Kill towards Zheng Mu. Looking at the other party's ferocious face, there was no trace of fear in Zheng Mu's eyes. The lightsaber in his hand was instantly struck. The bright sword light turned into a blazing sword light in the air. Boom! The two collided hard. The strong man of mechanical civilization was sent flying in an instant. Outside the body, there were even sparks flying. The other party's pupils couldn't help but shrink. However, it was followed by another charge. Boom! A violent collision occurred at this time. The strong man from the mechanical alliance was knocked away by Zheng Mu. 
Not only that, but the men behind him were also extremely unlucky. The body fell straight to the ground. Laugh. The lightsaber in Jing Mu's hand swung out again at this moment. The dazzling brilliance enveloped everyone. Those robots fell to the ground in an instant. After seeing such a scene, Jing Mu's eyes showed excitement. Then, the figure continued to gallop forward. His body was like a ghost. Dodging, one after another the mechanical puppets chased after him. Chapter, 814 At this moment, he was like a star. Every time it appears, it means that another group of humans have been killed. No matter if he is an ordinary person, a person with superpowers or a mecha master. At this time, they all became his prey. Killing all the way, he didn't know how many people he had killed. And on the earth at this time. Those ordinary people and those mecha masters had despair on their faces. At this time, they were not escaping from the 840, but wanted to resist the attack of those mechanical civilizations. After all, such a long war caused them heavy losses. At this time, an old man was sitting at the rear. His face was ashen. As the guardian of China, how could he not be angry when he saw people being killed one by one? Boom! At this moment, a missile crashed from the city wall. A mecha master was killed on the spot. This scene made his face paler. Because, there are so many mechanical puppets. It's enough to destroy half the city. At this time, Zheng Mu, who was flying towards the distance, also discovered the situation here. His brows furrowed and his figure suddenly stopped. Because, although the old man's strength has reached the early seventh level. But in front of mechanical civilization, it is nothing at all. If those guys are allowed to wreak havoc, the entire city will probably fall soon. And while he was thinking, the mechanical civilization also stopped attacking. Mechanical puppets float in the air. A mechanical war god wearing a golden battle armor and holding a giant axe walked out. He said slowly to the city lord. Your resistance is useless, surrender. After hearing the sound, the old man's eyes showed resentment. But he didn't dare to refuse. Boom! He punched out and hit the ground directly. Suddenly, dust flew up. A huge pit appeared. At this time Zheng Mu did also see those mechanical warriors. Leave these things to me, you can save your energy. After the sound fell. The laser gun in his hand was shooting towards those enemies. The dense bullets drew brilliant tail flames in the sky. Those mechanical warriors were blocked from the outside world at this time. As time went by, beads of sweat began to drip from Zheng Mu's forehead. Because he didn't know how long he could hold on. If you don't get out of the battle in time, you may really die here. But now, he has no way to escape. At this moment, he felt like he was dreaming. In such a hellish environment, there was a glimmer of sunshine but he didn't dare to neglect. Call. Finally, when the last mechanical warrior completely disappeared from sight. He breathed a sigh of relief. At the same time, a hint of bitterness appeared at the corner of his mouth. But at this moment, a cold voice sounded next to his ears. Hee hee, in this world, there are actually people who can convert the energy of the armor into energy. This is simply unbelievable. However, now that you have encountered it, don't even think about escaping. Come with us. After the voice fell, Zheng Mu's eyes showed a look of horror. Because, what appeared in front of him at this time. They are several masters of mechanical civilization. This made Zheng Mu couldn't believe it. And when he was stunned. Laugh. A sharp claw was grabbed at Zheng Mu. Chapter, 815 the cold light shone on the sharp nails. If he is caught, he will definitely die. However, Zheng Mu's reaction speed was extremely fast at this time. On the palm of his hand, a ball of electric arc flashed. Thunderbolt. Boom. As his voice fell, there was a crackling sound. The claws of the mechanical god of war were directly wrapped in electric light. Crack. A shattering sound sounded. It made the faces of those powerful mechanical civilization men become extremely ugly. 
they never imagined that there was such a weird ability on this earth. This is so surprising. It's just that when they were stunned, Zheng Mu had already kicked him out. His legs contained terrifying energy zero two. This kick hit the chest of a mechanical warrior. In an instant, the opponent's figure flew backwards. This is the only ability Zheng Mu gained after traveling through this world. These human beings are far inferior to themselves in their use of energy. Therefore, Zheng Mu has the advantage. Roar. After kicking the mechanical warrior away, the opponent's roar sounded at this time. He stretched out his arms, and a thick black smoke spread to all directions. Then, there were black tentacles. It surged in the air and swept towards Zheng Mu. But at this time, Zheng Mu had a look of madness in his eyes. He knew in his heart that this battle would be extremely difficult. He might even die. However, the old-fashioned mechanical warriors still came forward. When the two collided together, they made a shocking roar. Zheng Mu's body flew back in an instant. His mouth and nose were covered with blood. However, at this moment, his eyes showed excitement. Because the right arm of the mechanical warrior was also disabled at this time. Ha, huh, so happy. Zheng Mu shouted with a smile. But at this time, the face of the mechanical god of war was extremely gloomy. He did not expect that a small life on earth could actually hurt him to such an extent. Moreover, he also disabled his arm. This made him feel angry. The next moment, a solemn voice came out. Humanity, suffer death. Immediately afterwards, the wings behind him opened instantly. In the void, a vast hurricane is stirring. Then, he rushed directly towards Zheng Mu. After seeing this scene, Zheng Mu was unwilling to be outdone. The blade in his hand struck out in an instant. Kala. There was a sound of broken metal. The head of the mechanical god of war was cut off directly. At this moment, Zheng Mu's face showed a look of satisfaction. Just at this moment, a figure appeared behind him. It was the old man who had just made a sneak attack. Jiejie, young man, this is our 757 territory. You killed our tribesmen, this matter cannot be done well. What did you say? At this time, the old man looked at Zheng Mu and said sadly. Although their lineage is at odds with mechanical civilization. But they will not sit back and watch while the other party slaughters their own clansmen here. After all, there are many mechanical armors here, all of which were developed by them. Moreover, in mechanical civilization, they are not without backers. Otherwise, he would not be domineering here. Humph, so what? Do I not even have the qualifications to live? Zheng Mu said lightly. Chapter, 816 At this time, he was obviously determined to fight for his life. In that case, I'll let you see it today. Our mechanical civilization is amazing. The old mechanical man didn't care about anything else at this time and shouted directly. There was bloodlust in his voice. After the words fell, bursts of light surged out of his body. TSK. A dagger instantly pierced the waist and abdomen of the machine armor. Fiery sword light burst out. This caused the mechanical warrior to let out a miserable cry. At the same time, the body is retreating rapidly. However, right now. Boom. A huge fist exploded out of his chest without any warning. Then, it penetrated his entire chest in an instant. All this sounds complicated, but it is only done in an instant. But when the old mechanical man looked at the corpse of the mechanical warrior that collapsed on the ground, his eyes showed shock. Only then did he realize how powerful this body's defense was. Even with his own strength in his heyday, he could rarely defeat his opponent. Now, being easily killed by Zheng Mu, this guy's attack power must be so terrifying. But at this time, Zheng Mu had no time to care about the other party. After solving the mechanical soldiers, his figure swept away and flew away into the distance. He needs to find a way out. Otherwise, death will be waiting for him. However, Zheng Ji just ran about a hundred meters. Whoosh! Several soldiers of the mechanical civilization appeared next to him again. 
Kill him, this human being will never be allowed to stay. The strong man of mechanical civilization has a ferocious light in his eyes. Then, several attacks came towards Hong in an instant. Boom! Boulders roll. Zheng Mu was hit and flew out instantly. At this time, he was covered in dust. However, his eyes were extremely red. Because he knew that if he continued to delay like this, what awaits him must be a dead end. At this time, he was already ready. The mecha instantly entered overrun mode, and countless lasers and micromissiles were launched. Chi Chi. A dense sound sounded at this time. Those powerful men of mechanical civilization couldn't escape at all, and they were reduced to ashes in an instant. Call. After finally getting out of danger, Zheng Mu breathed a sigh of relief. But at this moment, another army of mechanical civilization appeared. This is a team composed of more than a dozen high-level martial artists. Their bodies exuded a cold metallic texture. Holding various weapons in their hands, they charged towards Zheng Mu. Kill. At this time, Zheng Mu, even though he knew he was outmatched, was still unwilling to give up. He roared in anger, and the long knife in his hand was swung out in an instant. Laugh. The sword light tore through the void. The bodies of the two warriors at the front were actually divided directly at this time Qian Zhao. Blood gurgled out. However, the soldier seemed to be unconscious. Continue to kill Zheng Mu. At this time, Zheng Mu's face was horrified. He didn't expect that these soldiers were actually free of pain. If all these robots are really like this. This time, I'm afraid it's going to be really bad. While thinking. Crack. A mechanical warrior spear had pierced his shoulder. Chapter, 817. The sharp spear tip scratched his armor. It made his muscles twitch violently. The attacks of these warriors finally stopped. At the same time, a pill was also put into Zheng Mu's mouth. As the elixir entered his throat, a warm feeling appeared in his mind. The originally tired body was actually restored to its peak condition at this time. This elixir was refined by him in the secret realm. The effect is extraordinary, even for Juzongshan, it is a treasure. Moreover, each time you take it, your combat power can be enhanced for a period of time. At this time, Zheng Mu's eyes flashed with cruelty. Then, the long knife in his hand was raised in an instant. Kill. A roar came from his mouth. The whole person is like a ferocious beast. The sharp blade in 250's hand moved in the air. Wherever he passed, rays of cold light flashed. Boom! The moment Zheng Mu's figure knocked away the last mechanical civilization warrior. His whole body collapsed on the ground. This kind of consumption is too serious. At this time, it became difficult for him to even stand. At the same time, the surrounding mechanical civilization warriors also slowly gathered around. In their hands they held spears made of special materials. The heavy rust casts a cold light against the spear. Haha, <laughs> human being, you are finally at your wit's end. Go to hell. A figure rushed towards Xing Mu. This is the leader of those mechanical civilizations. His body was several feet tall, and the steel fork in his hand was like a door panel. The head is chopped down. Kala. When the long whip was pulled out, the air was distorted. Zheng Mu's pupils couldn't help but shrink. Not daring to be negligent, he stepped forward to greet him. Ding! There was a crisp collision sound. The steel fork shattered in response. But Zheng Mu was knocked back half a step. There was surprise in his eyes. Because he discovered that this mechanical civilization is indeed not simple. Now, everything is wrong with me. Then, without hesitation, he retreated towards the rear. But the leader of the Mechanical Civilization Act was pursuing victory. Kick out. Zheng Mu's figure was kicked hundreds of meters away. Yin Hong's blood spit out from his mouth. At this moment, he felt a strong breath of death rushing towards him. However, it was already too late at this time. A strong man of mechanical civilization was coming towards him at this moment. Die. Senren's words sounded. 
Immediately afterwards, a dark spear was driven towards Xing Mu. The opponent's speed is extremely fast and extremely sharp. In just the blink of an eye, he reached the top of Xing Mu's head. At this time, if it falls, it may be enough to kill Xing Jiu in just a moment. But, faced with such a situation. In Zheng Mu's heart, he was not afraid at all. The mecha emits a brilliant light, which is a plasma decomposition beam cannon that has been condensed. As a roar fell, a bright ball of white light headed towards the spear. Suddenly, white mist filled the air, blocking their sight. Zi La. However, immediately after, a dazzling arc of electricity burst out from the white dew. The expressions on the faces of those mechanically civilized people couldn't help but change. They didn't expect that Zheng Mu had the ability to resist. Then, he approached Zheng Mu again. Chapter, 818 At this time, the other party was at the end of his rope. Neither the electric arc or the blazing energy can stop them. And just as they were getting closer. Laugh. A blazing white lightning burst out from the white mist in an instant. Chi Chi. Then, a strong man of mechanical civilization was sent flying. Plop. Then, the body fell to the ground, revealing the incomplete body inside. He had lost the ability to move and was scorched into a ball of ashes. After seeing this scene, the faces of the remaining mechanical civilization people changed wildly. Withdraw. At this time, not only was Zheng Mu not killed, but another person on his own side was killed. After seeing such a scene, the voice of the commander of the mechanical civilization suddenly sounded. The next moment, he was ready to escape with his men. However, after hearing the voice, Zheng Mu, who had just breathed a sigh of relief, saw the sparkle in his eyes blooming in an instant. How can it be so easy to run away? After the words fell, the long knife in his hand was raised again. Then, it hit the leader of the mechanical civilization commander directly. Get away. The ferocious look in the other party's eyes flashed away. He stretched out his palm, wanting to slap Zheng Mu away. But at this time, Zheng Mu's eyes were extremely cold. He didn't dodge, and allowed his chest to dent after being slapped. Then, the right fist was thrown out in an instant. Crack. The clear sound of broken bones sounded. Ah. A scream came out. The commander of the mechanical civilization fell directly to the ground. At this time, his chest collapsed, and it seemed that there was no possibility of survival. And at the same time, the soldiers of mechanical civilization have already arrived. Bullets were shot towards Zheng Mu's forehead at this time. At this time, Zheng Mu was no longer holding back. The sword danced in his hand. Bang bang. Every sword strike must be accompanied by a shower of blood. In a short period of time, the remaining enemies in the field had become increasingly thin. Call. At this time, Zheng Mu was panting heavily. Although this fight made his injuries more serious. However, he also gained a huge amount of points. At this time, looking at the corpses and blood, Zheng Mu's eyes were about to burst. At this moment, a group of troops appeared beside him. The leader is none other than the prophet. His eyes were full of surprise. Unexpectedly, he met his savior. Thank you for saving me. The prophet spoke cautiously. Although the young man in front of him was of low strength, he saved his life. Well, are you okay? Zheng Mu said slowly. His body at this time was shaking and wanted to fall to the ground. I'm fine. The prophet helped Zheng Mu sit down. At this time, their clothes were already soaked with sweat. Zheng Mu slowly closed his eyes and entered sleep mode. Doing this is the best choice. Otherwise, with his current weak physique, he simply wouldn't be able to hold on for too long. Just as he fell into a deep sleep. And Zheng Mu after resting for a while. Finally feeling better. Stand up immediately. Looking at the battlefield in the distance, a look of determination appeared in his eyes. He decided to take revenge with his own hands. Chapter, 819 Brush At this time, the battle in the distance had ended. Five hundred robots, all dead. 
except for the prophet and a few survivors, everyone died on the spot. The mechanically civilized people on the other side were in an extremely embarrassed state. Their bodies were in terrible shape and covered in blood. At this time, they are slowly gathering together. Looking at the surrounding situation, his eyes were filled with vigilance. Their 727 held weapons in their hands, but they did not dare to attack rashly. After all, no one knew whether the humans in front of them would attack them. Ha, huh, today I got my revenge for the first time. Zheng Mu shouted excitedly. At this time, looking at the group of mechanically civilized people, his eyes exuded a cold light. Boom! Just after he finished speaking, a deafening roar sounded. Immediately afterwards, a huge mechanical beast drove towards the battlefield. Its size exceeds 10 meters. It's like a huge mountain pressing down on you, which is frightening. What's this? At this time, the eyes of the mechanically civilized people showed fear. Because everything in front of me is terrifying. Even Jing Mu's pupils contracted. He has never seen this kind of thing before. At this time, the mechanical behemoth stopped moving. He stopped less than 300 meters away from everyone. Roar! Immediately afterwards, an angry roar sounded. Zheng Mu quickly put on the mecha, and the plasma cannon was ready. As long as the opponent dares to make the slightest move, he will launch an attack. Boom! But at this moment, the mechanical beast was the first to move. I saw its huge head raised high. Saliva flowed from the corners of his mouth. Then, the limbs spread out and rolled over like a tank. Wherever it passed, the air exploded. The thick smoke and dust rippled up, making it suffocating. Such an attack is too quick, simple and violent. Bang bang bang. In the moment when the mechanical behemoth rushed over, the people of mechanical civilization had completely collapsed. Their bodies were constantly trembling, trying to escape. But the mechanical behemoth was too fast. Bang bang. After knocking into the air more than a dozen people from mechanical civilization. They are pressed into patties. In the end, everything was swallowed up zero. Z law. At this time, after the mechanical behemoth had eaten all the mechanically civilized people, it turned its head and looked at Jing Mu. Jing Mu was not afraid at all, and then the plasma light blade was fired directly towards the mechanical behemoth. Fierce energy spreads across the sky and earth. At this moment, it seemed as if the whole world was reflected in golden color. The mechanical behemoth reacted quickly and raised its giant claws to meet the light blade. There was a crackling sound, making Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a step back. At this time, he was shocked to find that the defense of the mechanical beast actually reached S level. But at this time, the mechanical behemoth roared again. There was a fierce look in its eyes. Then three, six came towards Xing Mu. Humph, since you are bent on seeking death, don't blame me. Xing Mu gave a cold shout and stepped forward to greet him. Two figures passed each other. Hiss. When the bodies of both parties are separated. Xing Mu took a breath. At this time, his body was covered with dense scars. Even the shoulder was broken. However, compared to the opponent's mechanical behemoth, it is far inferior. Chapter, 820 The other party is still intact. Roar! Then, the mechanical behemoth roared again. At this time, his eyes were red, like a wild beast. Chilla! A sharp arrow shot out from its tail. Zheng Mu did not dare to neglect, and waved the gun in his hand directly. The flames rose and enveloped the sharp arrow. Boom! The next moment, it turned into ashes. After seeing this scene, the crazy look in the mechanical beast's eyes became more intense. Boom! His footsteps hit the ground again. The ground cracked instantly, and even a deep pit appeared vaguely. Then, it opened its huge mouth and bit Jing Mu. This is a real behemoth of steel machinery. Even Jing Mu couldn't help but vote for it. Because he saw that in the other person's mouth, there were sharp teeth shining with metallic luster. Obviously, if you bite it, you may even be able to chew steel. At this moment, Jing Mu's face looked very ugly. 
he never imagined that he would encounter a mechanical behemoth in such a dangerous situation. Moreover, it is still so powerful. But now, he couldn't allow him to think too much. Just when the steel mechanical behemoth was approaching, his figure disappeared instantly. Laugh. When he appears, it has already appeared on top of the steel mechanical beast. The plasma cannon in his hand was activated instantly. A bright white light lit up. The next moment, the mechanical behemoth's head was pierced. Blood mist drifted out. However, Zheng Mu's expression was still solemn. Because, he could clearly feel that the other person's life fluctuations had not disappeared. Sure enough, just when he was doubting. The mechanical behemoth actually slowly opened its eyes. There was a bloodthirsty light in his eyes, and then he rushed towards Xing again. Seeing such a scene, he knew that it was impossible not to fight desperately. But at this moment. Whoosh! A missile flew towards me. Boom! A violent roar came out. Then, Jing Mu's vision dimmed. It turned out that the advanced detection equipment was destroyed. But at this time, Jing Mu didn't care about anything else. Driving the battleship, it quickly swept away into the distance. Call out. Another missile sliced through the void. This time, it hit his battleship directly. Crack. Under this terrifying impact. There were actually cracks on the battleship. Then, amid the rolling waves, it fell straight into the river, setting off thousands of feet of waves. At this moment, Zheng Mu could not survive it. Bang bang. His body was struggling. Although his strength is stronger than ordinary SS level warriors. However, this is on a planet, and there is no spiritual energy, making it impossible for him to replenish energy. Therefore, in the end, 723 could only watch himself fall into a deep sleep. On the other side, when those mechanically civilized people were stunned for a short time. There is really no stopping, just continue to escape. They knew that if they were caught up, they would definitely die. And when they had just run more than 10 kilometers away. A steel city wall rose instantly, blocking their way. Immediately afterwards, gunpowder bombs fell directly next to them. In an instant, thick black smoke filled the sky. The mechanical behemoth roared at this time, but it was of no avail and could only stand where it was. Chapter 821 After a while, he walked towards the city wall. At this time, those mechanical civilization people had already escaped. Only Zheng Mu is left. Looking at the mechanical behemoth in front of him, the anger in his eyes was burning. I told you, this star is my territory. If you dare to break in, you will never come back. A cold voice sounded, with a cold connotation. But the mechanical behemoth didn't care. Catch Zheng Mu directly. This guy has rough skin and thick flesh. Moreover, Zheng Mu couldn't match his huge figure. Boom. However, even if Sheng Mu cannot win, he will not just sit back and die. Fist Gang burst out in an instant. This time, he used 80% of his strength. Laugh. A punch fell, and a hideous wound appeared on the chest of the mechanical beast. However, despite this, the mechanical behemoth's eyes were still flashing with scarlet light. Such a result surprised Jing Mu. You know, one punch with all your strength is enough to penetrate the alloy. Unexpectedly, there were no wounds left on this mechanical behemoth. Not only that, this mechanical behemoth became even more brave. His eyes gleamed with excitement, as if he had encountered some kind of prey. Bang bang ww. As the giant claws swung, the surrounding buildings were torn into pieces. This place became a ruin. As a last resort, Zheng Mu could only hide in panic. Damn it! At this time, Zheng Mu had a look of resentment in his eyes. He felt that he was really unlucky today. I had just reached level 55 when something like this happened. The mecha that caught it suddenly emitted a brilliant light, it was the photon cluster cannon. As a burst of explosion sounded. The mechanical behemoth was pierced through the head in an instant. Then, it fell towards the ground. But at the same time, several figures from all around came quickly. 
It was a mecha master. After they saw Jing Mu, they respectfully bowed to the ground. Thank you for saving me. The cultivation levels of these people are all at the SS level. Jing Mu, on the other hand, frowned. You should be the top leaders of mechanical civilization. No need to be polite. This is a mecha, help you improve your cultivation. After he finished speaking, he took out the mecha and handed it to the leading man. The other party's eyes showed joy. After all, no one dislikes the fact that the growth of strength is too slow. Especially the top management of mechanical civilization, their strength is stuck at a bottleneck. If it is assisted by mecha, it may be possible to break through. Therefore, he took it without hesitation and started refining. Who? At the same time, Zheng Mu exhaled a sigh of relief. Then, after he saw the body of the mechanical beast, his eyes showed excitement. Ha, huh, I didn't expect that at the last moment, my mental strength was enough to advance. Zheng Mu said with a smile, and then his whole figure jumped up in an instant. Jumped towards the belly of the mechanical behemoth. He needs the energy core of King Zhao's mechanical behemoth, otherwise, it will be difficult for him to achieve a breakthrough with his own strength. But at this time, he didn't notice Wei at all. The moment he just jumped out of the house. Two small spacecrafts collided directly towards his direction. If Sheng Mu saw it, he would definitely not miss such a good opportunity. But at this time, Sheng Mu didn't notice it at all. He looked at the mechanical behemoth in front of him with joy. Roar! Chapter 822 At the moment when those mechanically civilized people were approaching, the mechanical behemoth roared again. It made those people stop immediately. There was even a look of fear in his eyes. After all, their strength is far different from them. However, just when those people were preparing to retreat, Zheng Mu was not afraid at all. There was a lightsaber extended on the arm of the Mecha. The sharp cold light dazzled people's eyes under the night. Pfft. Then, the head of the mechanical behemoth was cut off directly. Blood spurted out. This scene was seen by those with mechanical civilization. Their expressions all changed. But at this moment, Zheng Mu had already retracted the lightsaber. The people looking at the mechanical civilization shouted. Don't leave yet. There was a hint of solemnity in the voice. 357 And after hearing the sound. Those who are mechanically civilized do not dare to stay. He quickly ran towards the distance. After all, these people know how powerful Zheng Mu is. If you offend the other party, you may risk your life and others. At this time, they no longer have the intention to trouble Zheng Mu. Anyway, the other party will die sooner or later. And after these people left, Zheng Mu didn't delay either. Driving the Mecca, it flew away into the distance. He needs to regain his strength as soon as possible. At this time, Zheng Mu had already reached SS level. As long as you work hard, a calf, can easily advance to S level. But, when he came to a mountain range. It's discovery. At the top of the mountain range, a dense army of troops gathered. These people are well equipped, and each of them holds a variety of firearms in their hands. Obviously, these people are the reinforcements of mechanical civilization. At this time, they looked at Jing Mu below, with solemn expressions in their eyes. Whizzing. At this moment, a bright beam of light fell from the sky. Like a meteor, it hit Jing Mu hard. This made the other party have a look of horror in his eyes. Boom. The violent collision caused his entire body to fly away at this moment. Laugh. Then, a mouthful of blood spit out. At this time, his eyes have narrowed. Unexpectedly, the opponent's attack was so powerful. But at this moment, on the top of the mountain, a violent voice came out. Ant, you dare to rob me. You must pay the price today. After the voice fell, Gu Zhu rushed from below. It is a huge mechanical giant. The whole body exuded terrifying coercion. Within his eye sockets, blue light spots were flashing continuously. Boom! Just shoot it with one palm. Fiery waves of air swept around. At this time, 
he had already determined that Jing Mu was his enemy. Moreover, he was the enemy who killed his father. How could he not hate this, and how could he not be crazy? However, just when his moment was about to fall, Jing Mu's pupils shrank slightly. Then, a vast momentum spread out. This caused the giant's body to stagnate. And the next moment, a lightsaber was drawn out. This sword is extremely sharp and contains the aura of destruction. This made the mechanical giant retreat, and at the same time he couldn't help but shout angrily. How can it be? He was shocked inexplicably, and he couldn't figure out why a warrior with SS level strength could actually unleash such an attack. At this time, G really doesn't care about anything else. Chapter, 823 After the sword was drawn out, the whole person followed. Laugh. The sound of a sharp knife penetrating flesh was heard. The giant was actually killed on the spot by Zheng Mu. This made Zheng Mu ecstatic. And right now. Several other SS level experts also rushed over. Although I don't know what happened just now. However, Zheng Mu was seen killing the mechanical beast. Naturally, I was extremely excited. Immediately afterwards, he shouted. This guy has killed the mechanical behemoth, we will definitely succeed. Their voices were full of surprise. Then, he walked towards the bottom. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, is extremely vigilant. Looking at those people, he said slowly. You go first. There was indifference in his voice. After hearing the sound, the corners of several people's mouths couldn't help but twitch. But he didn't dare to neglect it. Drilled directly into the body of the mechanical behemoth. In a short time, it disappeared completely. Not only them, but also Zheng Mu couldn't help but sigh in his heart. This opportunity is really not small. If you can get it, your strength will definitely improve. Then, he sat cross-legged in the void and began to absorb the surrounding energy areas. And as time goes by, those people of mechanical civilization finally completely devoured the mechanical behemoth. At this time, their eyes showed bloodthirsty red light. When seeing Zheng Mu, there was a ferocious look on the corner of his mouth. Then, the figure swept out in an instant. Coming towards Zheng Mu. At this time, they knew clearly in their hearts that if they could not kill each other. I'm afraid it's in danger for me and others. After all, where is Mu's strength? Faced with such a situation, Zheng Mu did not panic at this time. The ion cannons on the mecha's hands flashed continuously. Pillars of light shot towards the soldiers of the mechanical civilization. This is his newly refined weapon. After being blessed with energy, its power is unparalleled. Even SS level masters cannot resist it. Boom! Dozens of people were killed on the spot. Seeing such a scene, the fear in the eyes of the soldiers became more intense. However, they did not flinch and continued to rush forward. Eventually, several more people died. Zero please give me flowers. At this time, they were completely driven crazy. Because at this time, Zheng Zhuang already had the advantage. If the other party is allowed to wreak havoc, everyone will perish. And after seeing this scene, Zheng Mu said with a sneer, Since you want to seek death, then I will help you. Then, he greeted him. He held a long sword in his hand like a demon. The blood flames rose behind him. With one punch, it directly smashed the heads of several mechanical civilization people. Such a battle made those mechanical civilization soldiers feel timid. Especially after seeing those companions being killed in an instant. At this time, there was no courage left to attack. They want to escape. However, surrounded by those ferocious beasts, there was no way to break through. He could only avoid the surroundings at all costs. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, took the opportunity to pursue him. Every knife fell. It will take a life. After a while, more than 300 people were killed. The remaining people of mechanical civilization had a look of despair on their faces. They didn't understand how Zheng Mu did it. Chapter, 824 You know, this time the plan is carried out in secret. Moreover, except for people like myself. 
other people don't know at all. Moreover, this mission is very difficult. Their base has been destroyed. It even damaged the digital commander. But now, in just a short time, everything has been destroyed. This made them feel a little unbelievable. However, it was at this time of 847. Boom! In the sky, bursts of thunder sounded. But those who were being chased by Zheng Mu had expressions of surprise on their faces. Because, they felt a familiar atmosphere. Waving the lightsaber in his hand, he charged forward again. This is the reinforcement of our own civilization. The leader had a solemn look on his face. This place is hundreds of millions of kilometers away from their base. How did the other party know that their base was destroyed? However, it is obvious that he no longer needs to know this question. At this time, the men around him were already chasing those people. For a time, the situation in the field became chaotic. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, stood in the air and watched the changes. Here is a swamp. He was prepared to wait until the two sides were almost at the same level. Take action and get what you want. And those people with mechanical civilization obviously understand this. Therefore, at this time, he seemed to be becoming more cautious. Crack. Mechas form a battle formation in the air. They want to stop Zheng Mu. However, at this time, Zheng Mu had already accelerated his speed to the extreme. The body seemed to have turned into an afterimage. Every move that falls will take away the lives of several mechanical civilization people. It made other people's eyes burst with tears. Laugh. When an S-level strongman attacks him. Zheng Mu's right arm stretched out in an instant. The sharp claws on the palms are extremely sharp. Kala. Easily tore apart the opponent's armor. Blood splattered out. Ah, you deserve to die. That level 5 strong man had a look of resentment on his face. At this time, he no longer cares about his own comfort. Because, if Zheng Mu is allowed to continue killing, I am afraid that he and others will really have to answer here. But at this moment, an SS level existence had a gleam in his eyes. Then, a missile flew out from his cuffs. Call out. Like a meteor, it streaked through the air and hit Jing Mu. This is a weapon specially used by SS level powerhouses for sneak attacks. When used, unexpected results are often achieved. Therefore, during speeding, the engine is revved to the extreme. In the blink of an eye, he arrived in front of Zheng Mu. After seeing such a scene, the S-Class strongman's face showed joy. Thinking that victory is within sight. Ha, huh, go to hell. After the voice fell, his body emitted a blazing light. This is his life-saving skill. As long as it is activated at the locked 2-3 time, it will be extremely difficult for even an SS-level expert to keep him. Roar. And just when the missile was approaching Jing Mu, the metal arm guards on his wrists made roaring sounds. Immediately afterwards, streaks of black mist emerged, surging forward. Those who were still proud of the A-level and S-level mechanical civilizations had a look of horror in their eyes. Call. Chapter, 825. They want to evacuate. Unfortunately, it was already too late at this time. When the black mist shrouded the sky. Corpses fell from the sky one after another. The whole world is eerily silent. At this time, Zheng Mu was indeed rich and healthy. A light shield appeared around the Zheng Mu Mecca. Strong electromagnetic light shield. This is the device he set up inside the Mecca. The defense is terrifying. Although those missiles are sharp, they don't have any calendar. As time goes by, those people with mechanical civilization become increasingly rare. Boom! When those mechanically civilized people were almost annihilated. Those mechas had a 0-2 explosion. When they were fighting against the people of the machine tribe, the other party seized the opportunity and cut off their energy supply chain. This is a doomed situation. At this time, the strong men of the mechanical race lost control after a brief period of time. There was excitement in his eyes. They wanted to rush forward and kill all those humans. But, just when they rushed out. Zheng Mu has been waiting for a long time. 
At this time, he directly controlled the mecha and rushed into the battle circle. The giant axe slashed out. Crack. A strong man of mechanical civilization didn't even react, but was directly hacked to death on the spot. The look of horror in his eyes didn't fade away in time. The body was smashed directly to the ground. At this time, Jing Mu was too domineering. Plus those mechas. These mechanically civilized people are simply unable to resist. Soon, the battle was over. The strong smell of blood spreads out. Jing Mu stood in the air, his eyes filled with violence. This is the smell of bloodlust. At this time, he seemed to have turned into a killing machine. Looking at the corpses lying on the ground, there was no mercy in his eyes. Because, in his mind, the weak eat the strong. These people want to snatch their prey, but it is too common for them to be killed by themselves. Even if it was the other party who shouted the word Bien Jiang Tu before dying. However, this result still cannot be changed. But at this time, looking at those mechanically civilized battleships, Zheng Mu had no intention of giving up. Bang bang bang. One warship after another was sunk. In the end, only one was left. At this time, Zheng Mu, piloting the mecha, flew directly towards those people. At the same time, the sharp blade in his hand was raised, instantly splitting the person piloting the battleship into pieces. Such a scene was clearly seen by the banker in the distance. They dare not neglect. They rushed to the battlefield. This kind of thing is too weird, no one dares to waste time. But at this time, Zheng Mu didn't care about this. At this time, he was driving a mecha and was carrying out a crazy killing spree. None of the enemies 043 encountered along the way could escape. Finally, after all the enemies were slaughtered. The whole world became silent. However, at this time, Zheng Mu couldn't help but feel tense. Because, just now, he received a new signal in his mind again. At this time, he did not hesitate. Flying towards the depths of the battlefield. At this time, those powerful mechanical civilization men were extremely frightened and angry. Because, they actually lost half of their team. Moreover, I haven't gotten any treasures yet. Especially after looking at the clansmen who were killed on the ground. Chapter, 826. It made them feel extremely angry. Damn bugs, I will definitely destroy you. At this moment, in the mind of the strong leader. Zheng Mu has become a must-kill person. Because this is about the revenge of one's own race. And here is Zheng Mu at this time. After hearing the prompt in his mind, a sneer appeared on the corner of his mouth. He is wearing a mecha. If you can't kill the opponent. That's weird. Then, he drove the mecha and disappeared into the distance. This day is destined to be the most painful night for the ruler of Area A. All his people were killed. Zheng Mu, on the other hand, completed his own trial and successfully advanced. As for the other three people in the S area, they also gained a lot at this time. However, at this time, they did not know what danger there was. On the other side, when the leader of the mechanical civilization was preparing to lead the tribe back to the base. However, he discovered that all his people had been slaughtered. This made the anger in his heart almost burst out. How could this happen? Who did it? I will make him pay a sufficient price. These tribesmen are loyal guards who have followed him for thousands of years. Now, they were all caught in one sweep. How could he bear it? At this time, the other two people in the S area showed solemn expressions on their faces. Obviously, they felt that this time the enemy was not easy to deal with. Report, a fleet has been spotted nearby and is approaching rapidly. It seems to be our fleet. Just when these people in the S area were discussing. A voice sounded. Then, a mecha appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Not only did they see that the other party was driving the receiver. Even the other party's image can be seen clearly. It is undoubtedly Zheng Mu. Moreover, at this time, his eyes were red. The evil aura on his body frightened everyone. Although these people in Area S are doing their own thing. However, after all, it is an alliance, so he spoke at this time. It's him. 
there was surprise in their tone. After all, Zheng Mu is just a SS level warrior. In their eyes, such strength is no different from that of ants. But now, they are actually attacking their tribe. Let's go, since we have encountered it, let's take action to solve it. One of the S level masters said slowly. After he finished speaking, he didn't care whether others were willing. He directly drove the mecha and walked towards Xing Shaolai. Call out. A bright ray of light cut through the void, like thunder, and crashed towards Xing Mu. After seeing such a scene, Zheng Mu's eyes sparkled. He knew that these people would not retire easily. Therefore, he directly drove the mecha to meet him. Bang! The violent collision caused the S-level master to fall back a hundred meters. But the mecha was as stable as a rock at this time. Looking at each other, his eyes were full of indifference. Kill! At this time, Zheng Mu knew in his heart that although his strength was far beyond that of ordinary level warriors. But if you want to compete with these veteran S-class warriors, you are still a little short of it. Therefore, there is no need for the other party to take action. He controlled the mecha and took the initiative to launch an attack. Chapter 827 The blazing shells blasted forward. This is a mecha he developed, a weapon specially designed to target mechanical life. When close to the other person, it will burst out with extremely dazzling light. But those people with mechanical civilization don't know all this. They looked at the flying mecha. There was excitement on their faces. Ha, huh, I finally found these bugs, kill them. After the sound fell, a lightsaber was waved out. Suddenly, the surroundings were covered by the mighty wind. Laugh. And those mechas that were speeding over. Under this strong wind. But it shattered directly. Humph, you are a bunch of trash. After this battle, I will definitely dismantle all those mechas. 743 Let everyone know the consequences of provoking mechanical civilization. The leader of the mechanical civilization spoke. He believes that these mechas are garbage and are not qualified to compete with mechanical civilization. However, just after his voice fell. Boom! A loud noise was heard. The originally shattered mecha recovered in an instant. A missile shot out from it. The leader of the mechanical civilization reacted at the moment. The entire chest was pierced. Red blood flowed out. There was a look of horror in his eyes. However, there is obviously no way to leave now. But Cheng Mu didn't stop. After beheading it, he directly rushed towards the other mechanical civilization people. Now, his fighting skills and experience have almost reached a level of perfection. Every move and every move contains the potential of destruction. One by one, people of mechanical civilization fell in a pool of blood. In a short period of time, dozens of powerful men fell. But those remaining people of mechanical civilization were also shocked. They never imagined that such a weak chicken could actually kill them. Don't dare to neglect and call for reinforcements quickly. Whizzing. One spaceship after another appeared in the sky. When these spaceships stay in the center of the battlefield, countless strong men came out. Akfk, they wore alloy armor and exuded an icy murderous aura. The leaders were two S-level warriors. At this time, he looked down with cold eyes. At this time, Jin Mu did not dare to slack off. Because, he knew that if he couldn't resist it, these people behind me may not be able to escape. Thinking of this, he shouted without hesitation. Everyone assemble. Roar. The next moment, uniform shouts of death rang out. Then, tens of thousands of mechas lined up to stand on the battlefield. Ha, huh, I didn't expect that you can control so many receivers. Yes, I did underestimate you. However, today I am still going to die. The leader of the S-level powerhouse said with a sinister smile. Then, the order was issued again. Put poison. These venoms are special items they obtain from outside the universe. It has an extremely strong corrosive effect. Even mechas will turn into dust. Now, facing Zheng Mu, they don't believe that these people can still survive. 
After hearing the sound, Mu couldn't help but shrink his pupils. I didn't expect that the other party would use venom. However, now he couldn't allow him to think too much. Because the venom is already pouring downwards. Chapter, 828 If he continues to delay, death will be the only thing waiting for him. Boom! Thinking of this, Zheng Mu no longer hesitated. He controlled the mecha and rushed forward. In his hand, he held a sharp blade. At this time, Zheng Mu knew clearly that even though his mecha was much more advanced than these people, it was by no means an opponent. So, this time, he will use the mecha to delay time. Boom! The sharp blade slashed across. The head of a high-level warrior was cut off directly. Then, he drove the mecha and cruised around the star battlefield. Damn it, chase me! The S-level warrior roared at this time. However, just as his order was issued. On the other side, a pitch-black mecha crashed directly onto the ground. It was members of the advance team. And that's not all. After falling with a bang. Continuous scream sounded. I saw that the flight cabins fell to the ground one after another. What happened? The high-level mechanical civilization leader felt that something was wrong. He didn't believe that the mecha could survive the crash of so many flight capsules. Sure enough, right after he finished speaking. There is a flight cabin open. Immediately afterwards, the extremely embarrassed mechanical puppets appeared in front of him. How can this be? At this time, the strong man of mechanical civilization had eyes that were about to burst. He didn't expect that there were so many mechas in this small gathering place of humans. There are even strong murderous auras on some people's bodies. At this moment, those mechanical puppets were already rushing towards him. For a time, these mechas had the upper hand. Especially those new recruits, they even included him. One punch hit the leader of the S-class strongman, and he was retreating steadily. And after seeing this scene, the leading S-level warrior finally did not dare to stay any longer. He prepared to evacuate, but it was too late. An aircraft hit his spaceship at this time. The severe pain caused the strong man at that level to relax for a moment. Then, he was torn into pieces by everyone. Finally, he fell completely. And this scene is still being played out. These mechanical puppets are like tigers entering the flock of sheep. Kill the masters of mechanical civilization one by one. Crack. At this moment, an aircraft was directly exploded. Then, those mechanical puppets ran away into the distance. Extremely fast. Seeing such a scene, Mu Mu's eyes were filled with excitement. He did not expect that he could roam the territory of the human race. At this time, he didn't care much. Rushing towards the front. This time, he needs to hunt down as many people as possible from the mechanical civilization to increase his strength. And while he was running, those strong men of mechanical civilization were indeed in a hurry to keep up. Because, so many mechas are simply too important to them. At this time, within the human race. When a message spreads throughout the human race. Everyone was stunned. Because they did not expect that Zheng Mu would lead so many mechas to participate in the war. What is this going to do? Moreover, the equipment of these people seems to be even better than that of the Mecha Alliance. Chapter, 829 At this time, Zheng Mu was wearing a mecha, firing plasma cannons on his shoulders, and waving a lightsaber in his hand. The mechanical puppets of the mechanical alliance suffered heavy casualties. In front of him were three robots. These three robots were two meters tall, and their entire bodies were covered in black alloy armor. They looked extremely ferocious. Boom dash. A loud noise came, and Zheng Mu kicked out, hitting one of the mechanical puppets hard on the chest, and immediately kicked three two seven ten meters away. The other two mechanical puppets also responded quickly and launched the offensive almost at the same time. The robot on the left held a laser gun and fired it directly at Zheng Mu's head. On the right is a laser cannon with a height of two and a half meters. Shua. The laser beam streaked through the air and arrived in front of Zheng Mu in an instant, but Zheng Mu easily dodged it. 
Immediately afterwards, he jumped up suddenly, jumped into the air, grabbed the laser beam that was shooting at the top of his head at high speed, and then pulled hard, actually breaking the laser beam. Roar Dash This mechanical puppet, which was more than two meters tall, seemed to sense the danger. It opened its mouth and roared. At the same time, it raised its mechanical fist and smashed directly into Zheng Mu's head. Zheng Mu's eyes narrowed slightly, and his figure suddenly fell downwards, barely able to dodge the attack. But at the same time, the mechanical puppet holding a laser gun had pointed at his back and pulled the trigger. Just listen to a whoosh sound. The energy bomb in the laser gun turned into an incandescent meteor, breaking through the sound barrier and shooting towards his heart. Snort. Zheng Mu snorted coldly, and then jumped into the air again. While avoiding the energy bomb, he reached out and grabbed the laser gun. The next moment, he broke off the laser gun without mercy and threw it away. This scene made the mechanical puppet stunned. He didn't expect that this guy would resolve the battle in such a simple and crude way. It's time to end. While it was thinking, Zheng Mu suddenly descended from mid-air and headed straight for its head. The mechanical puppet immediately changed direction and prepared to escape. Unfortunately, Zheng Mu had already expected that it would make this choice, so he swept his legs and kicked it directly on the side, forcibly stopping it from escaping. The next second, Zheng Mu held a lightsaber and pierced its body directly. But it didn't hit the core, and the mechanical puppet is still alive. Zheng Mu frowned, he clearly hit it just now, why didn't he kill it? Could it be that its body is not real? At this moment, when Zheng Mu was not paying attention, the mechanical puppet suddenly threw out a steel rope and wrapped it around Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu was caught off guard and his whole body fell to the ground, smashed to pieces. The mechanical puppet's eyes lit up with a red light, and then it immediately controlled the mechanical arm and beat Zheng Mu's head crazily, trying to smash him to pieces. Bang bang bang! Every attack contains terrifying power. Even if Zheng Mu's mecha is extremely hard, it cannot withstand such intensive attacks. He immediately released a strong electromagnetic force light shield 1, 2. The powerful light shield slammed the mechanical puppet away. Zheng Mu quickly got up with the help of this countershock, rushed to the mechanical puppet again, and then suddenly used all his strength to raise his lightsaber and slashed at the mechanical puppet. Clang dash. This time, the mechanical puppet couldn't stop the sharpness of the lightsaber after all, and its body suddenly split and exploded. Chapter 830 Inside the mecha, Zheng Mu took a deep breath, feeling that the clothes on his body were seriously damaged, and his face became much more solemn. The machinery alliance is really amazing Zheng Mu couldn't help but exclaimed. Although the previous mechas were also very powerful, they never had such exquisite coordination as this mecha. The mechanical puppet just now not only knew how to use laser guns and laser cannons, but also knew how to use mechanical arms and tentacles to control other mechanical puppets. If Sheng Mu hadn't reacted quickly enough, he would have died in its hands by now. Um. Suddenly, Sheng Mu noticed something strange. In that small city, hundreds of mechanical puppets suddenly swarmed toward his location. This made Sheng Mu's face darken. It was obvious that the intelligent robots in the city realized that something was wrong, so they sent so many mechanical puppets to come over for support. Huh, if that's the case, then you all can stay. Before it finished speaking, it rushed towards the mechanical puppet. He must take the initiative to attack those mechanical puppets and try to get rid of them in the shortest possible time. Bang! Following a violent collision, Zheng Mu kicked a mechanical puppet in the abdomen, sending it flying several meters away. The moment the mechanical puppet was kicked away, his finger pressed on a button on his waist, and a ball of blue light suddenly bloomed. A laser cannonball was ejected directly from the mechanical palm and flew towards Zheng Mu. Seeing this, Zheng Mu immediately bent down to avoid it. Buzz! The laser cannon whizzed past the tip of Zheng Mu's nose, blasting a crater into the street. The power was quite astonishing. Boom! The laser cannon exploded directly after landing, causing a line of fire to rise into the sky. Hiss dash! When the nearby mechanical puppets saw this, they immediately ran away. 
These things seem to be intelligent Zheng Mu muttered to himself as he looked at the movements of the mechanical puppets around him. He originally thought that these mechanical puppets were pure combat weapons, but he didn't expect that they were all intelligent and completely controlled by AI. Since you are wise, don't blame me for being rude. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold, and he slowly took off into the air, heading straight for the group of mechanical puppets. Soon, Zheng Mu was fighting with the mechanical puppets. The lightsaber in his hand kept slashing, splitting one mechanical puppet after another in two. These mechanical puppets can't do anything to Zheng Mu, so they can't attack Zheng Mu, or even get close to Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu's lightsaber is so sharp that even if it only scratches the joints of the mechanical puppet, it will be damaged. This makes Zheng Mu more relaxed and can almost wield the lightsaber unscrupulously. No matter who gets close to him, he will suffer a lot. In the blink of an eye, the ground was covered with incomplete mechanical parts, which looked very impressive. Kakaka. At this moment, Zheng Mu's ears suddenly heard the sound of mechanical twisting and friction. He turned around and saw that at some point, a robot was slowly walking towards him, holding a mechanical dagger in each hand, staring at him eagerly. This thing Zheng Mu raised his eyebrows slightly. He found that he seemed to underestimate these mechanical puppets. Not only are these guys smart, they also know how to use weapons. Chapter 831 Zheng Mu did not dare to neglect at all, he immediately waved his lightsaber and cut off the two mechanical daggers. Then, he rushed towards the mechanical puppet again. The robot also came towards him. The two sides are intertwined again. This battle has entered a stalemate stage, and no one can do anything to anyone. But as the war situation intensified, the disadvantages of mechanical puppets gradually surfaced. Zheng Mu relied on the sharpness of the lightsaber to compress their range of activities little by little, while the mechanical puppets kept looking for opportunities in an attempt to hurt Zheng Mu. But Zheng Mu's speed is so fast that he can easily dodge its attacks every time. Now the war situation is becoming more and more favorable to Zheng Mu. As long as it is delayed for a moment, it will be enough to destroy them all. At this moment, the robot finally lost its patience and no longer struggled with Zheng Mu, but quickly evacuated the battlefield. Ha! Huh. Ran away. Zheng Mu narrowed his eyes slightly. Although it feels a bit regretful, it is a good harvest for him. After all, his goal is not these mechanical puppets, but something in the research base. Thinking of this, Zheng Mu no longer hesitated and quickly chased after him along the street. Soon, Zheng Mu arrived at the square in the center of the city. He looked up and saw a giant sphere standing on the top of the city. And the surface of the sphere is covered with various complex patterns. It looks like a crystal, but it doesn't quite look like it. And Zheng Mu vaguely heard a strange humming sound. This buzzing sound seems to come from deep in the soul. Bu much. Immediately afterwards, a sharp and piercing alarm sounded suddenly in Zheng Mu's ears. Beep. Enemy signal detected, requesting to switch to simulation form. Zheng Mu. He never expected that there would be intelligent AI here. Beep beep. Warning, cool. At this moment, the siren sounded throughout the city again. Zila. As a burst of electric current sounded, the complex patterns on the surface of the giant ball suddenly lit up with dazzling white light. Then, those patterns suddenly assembled together to form a transparent cover like a door panel, wrapping the entire ball. Stand up. This transparent cover exudes a faint light, giving people a mysterious beauty. Zheng Mu frowned slightly. This transparent cover covers the entire city, and even he may not be able to break it for a while. Unless that smart AI is killed. But how to find the smart AI in this case? Zheng Mu thought for a moment and quickly thought of a way. He raised the lightsaber high above his head and slammed it down. Boom! A violent roar echoed through the sky. A three-meter-long crack suddenly appeared on the thick and hard ground, and the crack spread toward the distance. This level of destructive power shocked the group of mechanical puppets. Swish, swish, attack. The mechanical puppets quickly fled the scene and hid Li Lihao, far away, for fear of being affected by Qi Yu. Seeing this, Zheng Mu showed a smile. 
Sure enough, violence is simpler and more crude. With a joking smile on his lips, he slowly walked towards the center of the town. During this period, the mechanical puppet kept harassing Zheng Mu and tried to attack him. However, the strength of Zheng Mu's mecha, even if it is attacked by a mechanical puppet, is just a little bit of paint. Zheng Mu continued to move forward and finally came to the giant ball. Chapter 832 At this moment, the transparent cover has become much bleaker, and it is obvious that it can no longer hold up for much longer. Ha, huh, I want to see how long you can hold on. Zheng Mu grinned, then gripped the lightsaber and stabbed it hard. Chilla. A bolt of golden lightning cut through the void, instantly penetrated the cover, and inserted directly into the crystal on the inside of the transparent cover. Buzz buzz. The crystal suddenly rippled, and then released a dazzling light. Boom dash. A huge force suddenly descended on this world. A mechanical puppet filled with thunder and lightning appeared in front of the round crystal stone, staring at Zheng Mu with a pair of 907 blood-red eyes. This mechanical puppet is tall and muscular, with lightning all over its body. Who are you? How dare you break into the restricted area? The mechanical puppet asked coldly. Oh, I don't know who you are, but your luck is really bad. Zheng Mu snorted, and then pounced on it, preparing to kill it first. The mechanical puppet's face suddenly showed anger. Court death. It roared angrily and struck hard with the iron rod in its hand with strong wind. Boom. The next second, the iron rod fell on Zheng Mu's chest. Asia. Crack. The iron rod shattered with the sound. However, this was not the end. The violent impact carried by the iron rod still acted on Zheng Mu's body, and actually knocked Zheng Mu's lightsaber away. Immediately afterwards, the mechanical puppet raised his fist again and punched Ditong. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Fists rained down, and Zheng Mu could only defend himself. Damn it. This guy is actually a mechanical life form. Zheng Mu cursed through gritted teeth. Whoosh. Zheng Mu jumped up, then clamped the mechanical puppet's neck with his legs, grabbed the mechanical puppet's head with both arms, and smashed it against the wall next to him. The walls collapsed and dust flew everywhere. While the dust was covering the mechanical puppet, Zheng Mu stepped on the mechanical puppet's back, and then kicked off his right leg. With a muffled sound, the mechanical puppet was kicked out and fell heavily to the ground. And the ball also fell from the sky and landed on the mechanical puppet. Zheng Mu immediately reached out to catch the ball and observed it carefully. The shape of this ball is like a giant crystal ball, which contains a mysterious fluctuation and law. Is this the core controlled by the intelligent AI? Zheng Mu guessed secretly. He tried to operate according to the frequency of fluctuations in the ball, but to no avail. It seems that we can only wait for the opportunity, or kill this smart AI directly. Zheng Mu sighed secretly turned around and left. After taking just two steps, the mechanical puppet stood up. It shook its groggy head and seemed to have returned to normal. The mechanical puppet opened its legs and walked towards Zheng Mu, looking like it wanted to eat him. Zheng Mu couldn't help but be happy when he saw this. Ha 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 your IQ is worrying. I've been walking for dozens of minutes before you even reacted. When the mechanical puppet heard this, he immediately became angry and attacked Jing Mu crazily. Dong Dong Dong. A series of heavy collision sounds were heard, and the mechanical puppet wielded an iron rod and attacked Jing Mu crazily. Jing Mu was not afraid at all, but was extremely excited, because the stronger the robot was, the closer he was to the reward for completing the mission. Chapter 833. Jing Mu's reaction and agility were amazing. He could narrowly avoid the mechanical puppet's attack every time, and occasionally he could even fight back. Bang! A loud bang suddenly came. I saw that the iron rod in the hand of the mechanical puppet exploded directly. Zheng Mu's face lit up, his weapon was broken. Although his weapons were also destroyed, at least he still had his lightsaber and light wings. Zheng Mu pulled out the lightsaber from behind without hesitation, and then slashed at the mechanical puppet. The power of the lightsaber is so amazing. 
once it hits the mechanical puppet, it will definitely cause him severe trauma. But at this moment, the mechanical puppet's abdomen suddenly shot out a faint blue light, and it instantly hit the light sword. Zheng Mu's wrist shook, and the lightsaber came out of his hand. At the same time, the mechanical puppet raised its arm, and a ball of purple-black thunder converged on its palm. The next moment, he suddenly shot forward, and the purple-black thunder shot out like a sharp arrow, hitting Zheng Mu at a speed that could not be caught by the naked eye. Not good. Zheng Mu's expression changed, and he instinctively mobilized his mental power to resist. Crack. Zheng Mu felt as if he was stuck in a quagmire, and his speed was several times slower. He knew something was wrong, so he immediately used all his strength to fly up into the air, narrowly avoiding the attack with purple and black thunder and lightning. Bang! Purple black thunder struck the wall heavily, immediately destroying the building. Damn it! Zheng Mu was in a very irritable mood. He originally thought that it would be very easy to deal with this mechanical puppet, but now it seems completely beyond imagination. Zheng Mu frowned slightly and used telekinesis again, trying to control another mechanical puppet. But the next second, another mechanical puppet suddenly appeared next to Zheng Mu. Call out. The sharp blade instantly pierced Zheng Mu's left shoulder, and blood spurted out. Zheng Mu's pupils shrank suddenly, and he immediately screamed in pain. Roar dash. The mechanical puppet opened its mouth and let out a beast-like roar, then raised the steel pipe and slammed it down on Zheng Mu's head. This time Zheng Mu had no way to avoid it and could only watch the steel pipe fall down. However, at the moment when the steel pipe was about to fall on Zheng Mu, a bright light suddenly bloomed from Zheng Mu's body, and a silver-white light curtain appeared out of thin air. That light curtain directly blocked the steel pipe in mid-air. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu suddenly exerted force, pushed the steel pipe hard, and pushed it back. Boom! The steel pipe hit the mechanical puppet hard on the head, knocking it away immediately and knocking it to the ground. The mechanical puppet's head cracked open, creating a huge pit. Its body kept shaking and soon lost its ability to move. Hu hu! Seeing this scene, Zheng Mu breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, his mecha has a photon driver, otherwise he might have fallen here today. Zheng Mu put away his light wings and lightsaber, and slowly approached the mechanical puppet. He picked up the steel pipe and looked at it carefully. This is a steel pipe made of alloy. It is quite hard and extremely elastic. It is definitely a high-quality weapon. TSK, TSK, Tisk I can't bear to throw away such a good thing. Zheng Mu murmured to himself. Buzz. At this moment, the sound of starting suddenly came from far away. I saw the mechanical puppet's mecha slowly getting up and walking towards Zheng Mu. Chapter, 834. Fuck. Why the hell are you alive again? Zheng Mu was stunned. These mechanical puppets not only have thinking and fighting skills, but they even have extremely strong vitality. Roar. The mechanical puppet roared angrily, then suddenly raised its arm, and swung its thick and powerful arms towards Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu's expression changed drastically and he quickly dodged to avoid it. Boom! The mechanical puppet's 060 arm hit the ground hard, causing smoke and dust to fill the sky. Zheng Mu suddenly took a breath after seeing this. Fortunately, he dodged in time. If he had been hit by this thing, he might not have died on the spot. Damn it, I'm following you today. Zheng Mu's eyes were cold, and he quickly took out his lightsaber and attacked the mechanical puppet. Although mechanical puppets have extremely strong defense, speed is not their advantage. Zheng Mu relied on the blessings of his light wings and lightsaber, coupled with his dexterous movement skills, to quickly find the flaw around the mechanical puppet. He seized the opportunity and suddenly struck the mechanical puppet in the chest with a sword. TSK Zheng Mu's lightsaber struck the mechanical puppet's chest. Pfft. A stream of heat spurted out. But the strange thing is that Zheng Mu's lightsaber is far sharper than the electromagnetic gun, and it didn't even cut through the mechanical puppet's defense. Oh my god, this guy's material is actually so terrifying. Zheng Mu was horrified. At this time, 
the mechanical puppet suddenly raised its fists and hit Jing Mu hard. Clang dash. Sparks flying. Boom. The mechanical puppet's punch was so powerful that it caused the entire structure of the house to vibrate. Kacha. The shield light curtain on Jing Mu immediately shattered. At this moment, Jing Mu finally understood why this group of people were easily wiped out by the mechanical puppet. In terms of pure defense, these mechanical puppets are indeed terrifying, and they are not afraid of death. Jing Mu opened the breastplate of the mecha, and the energy core emitted a strange light. Photon Cluster Cannon Jing Mu shouted. In an instant, streaks of bright light burst out from the gaps in his body. Immediately afterwards, all the light beams condensed together to form a giant light column that was 20 meters long. An attack of this level is enough to destroy small hills and kill 7th and 8th level evolvers. The power is terrifying. Along with a deafening roar, the light beam hit the mechanical puppet hard. The mechanical puppet was instantly blown to pieces and completely lost its ability to fight. Zheng Mu breathed a sigh of relief and immediately ran over to check the degree of damage to the mechanical puppet. I saw that the mechanical puppet's right arm had completely disappeared, and its chest was even more dented. Sure enough, as I guessed, an energy cannon of this level is enough to kill a ninth level peak evolver. Zheng Mu thought to himself. Crack. At this moment, the mechanical puppet's leg bones suddenly made a crisp sound. Ha. Huh. Zheng Mu was stunned. Immediately afterwards, he saw that the mechanical puppet's legs were healing at a slow speed of 5, 9. Almost in the blink of an eye, the mechanical puppet's legs recovered and stood up again. Fuck. Is this guy made of iron? Zheng Mu couldn't help but curse. The photon cluster cannon he used just now is enough to penetrate rocks easily. However, the mechanical puppet was still safe and sound, with not even a scratch on its fur. Chapter 835. Click, click, click. In Zheng Mu's surprised gaze, dense mechanisms gradually appeared on the surface of the mechanical puppet's body. Those mechanisms are combined into a variety of weapons, the most common of which are firearms, such as machine guns, grenade launchers, etc. The most shocking thing was that a missile suddenly and quietly hovered in the air, aiming at Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu instantly opened the strong electromagnetic light shield. All attacks are blocked. Plasma hand cannon. Laser cannon. Electromagnetic bomb. Countless weapons poured out crazily, all of which were blocked by the strong electromagnetic light shield. However, the next second, a missile rushed straight towards the strong electromagnetic force light shield. Zheng Mu's pupils suddenly contracted. He never imagined that this mechanical puppet's missile could actually hit him. Bang! There was a muffled sound, and the strong electromagnetic force light shield was directly shattered by the missile. Fuck you! Zheng Mu was so frightened that he was scared to death and hurriedly dodged to the side. However, the missile seems to have been premeditated and is chasing after it. Zheng Mu hurriedly raised his lightsaber and stabbed the missile with all his strength. Ding! The lightsaber hit the surface of the missile and made a crisp and sweet sound. Immediately afterwards, the missile softened like plasticine and blended directly into Zheng Mu's lightsaber. Hiss. Zheng Mu couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. He only felt as if his lightsaber had become made of mercury, soft and sticky, with a strange stickiness. At the same time, Zheng Mu felt a strange energy and instantly got into the lightsaber. Immediately afterwards, he saw the color of the lightsaber turn red. Whoosh! The lightsaber suddenly burst into brilliant light, illuminating the surrounding area as bright as day. Wisps of crimson light overflowed from the sword blade, swimming in midair like blood. Go to hell! Zheng Mu shouted loudly and swept his lightsaber across. Wow! The blazing sword wind instantly blew through the entire ruins. A ravine more than 30 meters long was cut out by Zheng Mu's sword. Click click. Click. Immediately afterwards, countless cracks appeared on the mechanical puppet and finally shattered. Boom. The mechanical puppet completely shattered. Huh it's so dangerous. Zheng Mu couldn't help but exhale. 
He originally thought that he would be torn apart by that mechanical puppet, but who knew that in the end he would turn defeat into victory with the super-destructive power of the lightsaber. This is the incredible thing about technological weapons. In the face of these weapons, no matter can escape the fate of being destroyed. It only takes a few missiles to collapse an armored vehicle. Zheng Mu slowly put down the lightsaber, looked at the fragments on the ground, and frowned slightly. There are still two crystal cores left, which should allow me to upgrade smoothly. Zheng Mu waved, took one of the blue 453 purple crystal cores in his hand, and put it into the mecha core. Buzz! The core of the mecha began to operate, continuously devouring energy and replenishing the core energy area. The originally dim core gradually became brighter, and a faint blue halo slowly flowed in it. This feeling is so comfortable. An excited smile appeared on Zheng Mu's face. The next moment, Zheng Mu reached out and pressed the helmet of the mecha and put it on his head. Call out. Under Zheng Mu's control, the mecha's left foot kicked hard on the ground, and then jumped into the air. Ha ha ha. It's so cool. Zheng Mu jumped up and landed on the shoulders of another mechanical puppet. Chapter 836 Then he jumped up again and jumped onto the shoulder of another mechanical puppet next to him. Whoosh! Zheng Mu made a 360 rotation in mid-air and landed on the back of another mechanical puppet. While rolling in mid-air, he constantly used the power of the mecha to change direction, leaving afterimages in mid-air. It looked so cool. Boom! Zheng Mu held the sword with both hands and struck the mechanical puppet's head hard. ZZ. This time, the lightsaber sank directly into the body of the mechanical puppet. Kakaka. The mechanical puppet's head began to crack. Immediately afterwards, the lightsaber was released. The mechanical puppet collapsed. Plop. Zheng Mu fell to the ground and gasped violently. Although he enjoyed the thrill of flying a lightsaber across the sky, it was not suitable for continuous combat. Because he simply can't bear such frequent consumption. In less than five minutes, Zheng Mu's mecha energy value had dropped to 6%. If it continues for more than five minutes, Zheng Mu will definitely die suddenly on the spot. Huchi Huchi. Zheng Mu collapsed on the ground, panting hard, with cold sweat dripping from his forehead. His current state is very bad, both mentally and physically, he is exhausted to the extreme. Fortunately, the lightsaber is powerful enough, otherwise this mechanical puppet would not be easily solved. Zheng Mu murmured. He looked at the scattered parts around him, picked up a mecha's lightsaber at random, and waved it twice. Along with a trembling sound, this lightsaber suddenly burst out with a thick brilliance. This is the attribute attached to the lightsaber, the energy aura. Zheng Mu's eyes suddenly widened. The information hidden deep in his memory shows that every attribute represents a new technology. Energy halo is a special type of halo with extremely strong amplification and auxiliary effects. Light emerged, and a light cyan energy shield appeared on the surface of the mecha, blocking the surrounding radiation and toxin erosion. There is actually energy defense. Zheng Mu said in surprise. He had heard before that the most common additional attributes of a lightsaber are the additional light energy shield and amplification. Moreover, the energy shield is only 0.5 times the energy shield at the lowest, which is a huge gap compared to Zheng Mu's current shield. In addition to the increase, this kind of shield also has another feature, long-lasting. During the continuous consumption, the shield will continue to increase its energy. Even the more advanced the energy shield, the longer it will last. This is like a battery that never runs out but is constantly replenished. Zheng Mu estimates that this shield can last for at least 20 minutes. Hey, it's better now. I don't have to worry about any dangers anymore. Zheng Mu said with a smile. Just when Zheng Mu was about to take a rest and recover, there was a sudden roar. Zheng Mu looked around and found that the ground not far away was shaking. Ha! Huh. What's going on promised? Are there still enemies? Zheng Mu immediately became vigilant. Immediately afterwards, Zheng Mu saw a black shadow approaching quickly in the distance. It was a huge mechanical giant. This thing should be the form of intelligent life. 
Zheng Mu asked in surprise. This mechanical giant's body is covered with dark golden mechanical runes, and there are many cannon barrels on its arms and neck. It is eight meters tall, with muscles all over its body, like a hill, filled with a sense of oppression. Chapter 837 The mechanical giant was very fast and rushed in front of Zheng Mu in the blink of an eye. Damn it! This guy runs so fast. Zheng Mu was startled, hurriedly adjusted his position and dodged towards the flank. However, the mechanical giant did not stop and rushed directly to where Zheng Mu was standing just now. A cloud of sparks exploded, and the ground where Zheng Mu was sitting suddenly exploded, filled with dust and smoke. Damn it, I almost got smashed by you. When the smoke gradually dissipated, Zheng Mu patted the dust on his clothes twice and cursed angrily. Buzz. 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 The goal of Mechanical Titan 210 is very clear, that is, to capture Zheng Mu. However, he still avoided it deftly. Humph. Let's see if I don't kill you. Zheng Mu rolled his eyes and fell to the ground pretending to be weak. At this time, the mechanical giant had already approached him. Bang! The mechanical giant punched the mecha's chest hard. The chest of Zheng Mu's mecha was dented, and there were dense cracks on the surface. The corners of Zheng Mu's mouth curled up, then he suddenly raised his hand and pulled out the giant mechanical fist inserted in his chest. Wow! The mechanical giant immediately retreated dozens of meters. Ha, huh, do you think you are a human? Also, Zheng Mu smiled sarcastically, then mobilized his energy again to launch an offensive against the mechanical giant. At the same time, Zheng Mu quietly activated the energy mode of the lightsaber. Whoosh! The silver-white sword blade instantly expanded to three meters long and was extremely sharp. Then, Zheng Mu shook his hand violently and headed towards the mechanical giant. This sword contains terrifying power. If it is struck hard, not even the tough steel skeleton of the mechanical giant can resist it. However, to Zheng Mu's expectation, this mechanical giant moved extremely quickly. It twisted its body suddenly and escaped the sneak attack of the lightsaber. Then, the mechanical giant suddenly raised a thick leg and kicked Zheng Mu hard. Clang! The kick was in the air, and Ak, the mechanical giant seemed stunned for a moment. The next second, without hesitation, it raised its legs again and struck Zheng Mu hard. This guy's reaction speed is so fast. Zheng Mu was surprised. He has met a lot of people, even several teammates of the king's division. But he has never seen a monster as fast as the mechanical giant in front of him. Call out! A sword slashed away the soles of the mechanical giant's feet. Zheng Mu took advantage of the moment when the mechanical giant was temporarily stiff and jumped up. However, he was still a step slow. One of the mechanical giant's arms suddenly stretched out, and actually locked Zheng Mu's mechanical arm firmly. Hiss! The armor on the mecha was instantly torn to pieces, and the mechanical arm was pulled to the side. Zheng Mu's face suddenly sank. These things actually know how to use weapons. Zheng Mu can tell that these mechanical giants are completely capable of independent thinking. They know how to use weapons to fight. It seems that my guess is correct. The energy shield of the mechanical core is indeed a protective barrier. Zheng Mu frowned and said, I just don't know, what are the functions of these mechanical cores? Who can control them? Zheng Mu carefully observed the mechanical giant, trying to find flaws and seek solutions from it. The mechanical giant keeps attacking and can only passively defend. Although his lightsaber was extremely powerful, it was still weak against the mechanical giant's violent attack. Chapter 838 Roar The mechanical giant opened its mouth and roared again, spitting out blazing red energy. Zheng Mu's mecha burned instantly and turned pitch black. Damn it! Zheng Mu couldn't help but curse. His mecha was severely damaged, with less than 10% of its energy reserve left. No. I have to leave quickly, otherwise my mecha will be burned. Zheng Mu secretly gritted his teeth, desperately gathering the remaining energy in his brain and pouring it into the light sword. The mechanical giant attacked crazily, as if vowing to kill Zheng Mu Dash. 
Whoosh! Suddenly, Zheng Mu's mecha shook suddenly, and the dim lightsaber suddenly burst into dazzling light. Shine thousands of miles. Boom! Violent roars resounded through the sky, and endless heat waves rolled out, swallowing Zheng Mu and the mechanical giant. In this terrifying heat wave, it seemed that even the air had become hot and dry. Cough cough cough. When the heat wave calmed down, Zheng Mu finally broke free from the area enveloped by the heat wave. He covered his throat and coughed violently. His cheeks were so red from holding it in that he could hardly open his eyes. Ahem, cough, cough damn, you're such a bitch. Zheng Mu panted for a long time before he regained his composure. He looked around and found that it was a magma pit. The bottom of the pit is a circle of lava surrounding the entire cave, and the temperature is extremely exaggerated. Zheng Mu tried to take a few steps deeper. Then, he was shocked to discover that this area must be five or six hundred meters deep. Moreover, there are various rocks everywhere in the pit, and they are all red, as if soaked in blood. Phew! This is indeed an excellent forging place. The temperature here is enough for me to forge a magic weapon. Zheng Mu murmured. His eyes fell on the edge of the pit, where there was a pile of messy minerals. Those minerals have a strange dark yellow color and a strong smell of sulfur. Zheng Mu picked up a piece of ore, put it to the tip of his nose and smelled it. Then, his pupils shrank. This ore actually contains a strong sulfur smell. Is it possible that the sulfur here is all artificially produced? Zheng Mu had doubts in his heart. Zheng Mu remembered clearly that there was no such thing as sulfur on this planet. The mineral resources here are purely composed of debris left after meteorite impacts. Every grain of slag here has an extremely high temperature. If used as fuel or alchemy materials, the effect will be absolutely incredible. However, the ore here contains highly toxic substances, and you will lose your life if you are not careful. Could it be that it was because a lucky person triggered the mission that the plot started early? Zheng Mu's heart was beating fast. If this reasoning continues, then the secret of this planet may soon come to light. First look for where there are energy fluctuations here. Zheng Mu gathered his thoughts and began to investigate the surroundings. Zheng Mu climbed all the way up, and soon he saw a hill appearing in the distance. There was a faint glow on the hills. There is light. It must be there. Zheng Mu immediately quickened his pace and climbed up the steep mountain wall. Soon, Zheng Mu came to the top of the hill, and then he froze. On the top of the hill, there are various instruments and equipment. The most eye-catching thing is undoubtedly a giant machine box suspended in the center of the hillside. This mecha is three or four stories high, its whole body is covered with ferocious metal armor, and its arms are wrapped around circles of thick mechanical arms. Chapter, 839 This mecha exudes a terrifying aura, like a dormant beast, ready to strike and deliver a fatal blow to the enemy. Zheng Mu frowned slightly, feeling that this huge mecha was very difficult, so he adjusted the mecha on him to invisible monster mode. Next, he moved his mechanical legs and carefully touched the giant mecha. At this time, the giant mecha was still silent and did not make any sound. Zheng Mu held his breath and quietly approached the behemoth. The closer he got, the more frightened Mu became. He has never seen such a perfect mecha, full of power and science fiction. This mecha has perfectly reached the pinnacle level of human technology. Even compared to those previous mechas, they are not inferior at all. Such terrifying technological strength is shocking. Zheng Mu thought to himself, no wonder this is the place where mecha warriors compete for treasures. With such a terrifying mecha, who dares to compete with it? Buzz! At this moment, the giant mecha suddenly trembled slightly. Zheng Mu was startled and immediately hid behind a nearby rock. Then, he stared at the giant mecha with wide eyes. At that moment, Zheng Mu clearly felt a terrifying energy sweep through his phone. This is the reaction caused by the impact of the mecha's shield. There are other creatures here. Crack, click, click. The giant mecha's case suddenly cracked several gaps. Along with the cracks in the mecha's shell, the sound of electric current came from inside the mecha. Boom! 
At the same time, a bright brilliance suddenly bloomed from the chest of the giant mecha. Jing Mu looked over with squinted eyes. Stellar energy core. Jing Mu suddenly became excited. The value of a star level energy core is simply incalculable. Jing Mu even doubted that if he could obtain a star level energy core, he could use it to repair the damaged energy pool in his body. Although I don't know why this star level energy core appears here, if you happen to encounter it, you definitely can't miss it. The giant mecha seemed to be conscious and began to turn its head to search for the surrounding situation. This time, I was more careful. Fortunately, the giant mecha didn't seem to notice Zheng Mu's existence, but was just looking for something in this magma sea. Zheng Mu continued to crawl forward, and soon climbed to the ridge, only two or three meters away from the giant mecha. At this moment, a spear-like barrel was exposed on the back of the giant mecha, aiming at Jing Mu's position. Not good. Jing Mu's face changed wildly, and he immediately fell to the ground and rolled to the left at an incredible speed. As soon as he stopped, a pillar of blazing white light fell from the sky and crashed directly into the ridge. Boom! Sparks flew. This lava river actually sunk into a huge pit. Hiss. Jing Mu couldn't help but gasp. If he had run a second too late just now, he would have been blown away and turned into ashes. The giant 4 6 type mecha locked onto the area where Jing Mu was located again and fired a hot projectile. Jing Mu immediately launched an interceptor and caught it in midair. The giant mecha locked onto him again, another round. Jing Mu quickly ducked to avoid the blow. At the same time, he found that a hole had collapsed on the ridge where he was, and he almost fell down. Damn, the accuracy of this thing is actually as high as 98%, almost reaching the limit of human beings. Chapter, 840 This thing must be destroyed as soon as possible. Zheng Mu's thoughts changed rapidly and he began to look for a solution. He first chose the stupidest way, sneaking near the giant mecha, looking for opportunities to launch a surprise attack. Zheng Mu clung to the rock wall and slowly moved towards the giant mecha. His body clung to the wall, constantly stretching. His muscles tensed and he burst out at his fastest speed. Finally, Zheng Mu came to the giant mecha. The giant mecha still didn't respond. Zheng Mu breathed a sigh of relief. He quietly held the hilt of the sword, ready to slash with the sword at any time. However, the next moment, a cold mechanical sound filled my ears. Ding dong. The giant mecha is activated. Its right arm was instantly raised and aimed at Zheng Mu's location. Zheng Mu snorted coldly and fired the plasma beam. Whoosh! The right arm of the giant mecha shook violently, raining down energy from it. Clang! The energy beam fell on the ground, stirring up dust all over the sky. Zheng Mu took the opportunity to pounce on him, brandishing his steel claws, and slashed hard at the mecha's right arm. However, the defense of the giant mecha is too strong, and a simple attack cannot penetrate its protective suit. Whoosh! The giant mecha suddenly raised its knees and hit Zheng Mu. Zheng Mu quickly dodged and retreated, narrowly avoiding the mecha's knee. He gritted his teeth and stared at the giant mecha, wishing he could smash its head with a punch. How on earth did this guy control it? Zheng Mu felt very depressed. I originally thought that this guy's control center was an energy core, but I didn't expect it to be a mechanism. And I don't know what kind of material this guy is made of, but he can still move freely. The giant mecha slowly walked towards Zheng Mu, and with every step it took, the entire air seemed to freeze. Zheng Mu roared in his heart. He knew he couldn't escape, and he had to quickly find an opportunity to kill this giant machine. The giant mecha's movements are very slow, but it is a stellar weapon after all. If you are approached by it, you will definitely die. Fight! Zheng Mu gritted his teeth and made a decision. Boom! He jumped up and stabbed the giant mecha with the short titanium blade in his hand. Zheng Mu believes that as long as the shell of the giant mecha is chopped open, the energy core inside will be exposed. It only takes one knife to destroy this mecha. The giant mecha's exoskeleton is tough, but its shell is also fragile. Clang! 
the titanium alloy blade penetrates deeply into the shell. Ka. 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 The shell keeps crumbling. When Zheng Mu pulled out the titanium alloy knife, an energy core as thick as a fist appeared. The giant mecha is approaching here and is about to be killed. At this critical moment, Zheng Mu suddenly grabbed the giant core and threw it into the dark void in the distance. Bang! The giant core exploded in the air, releasing terrifying energy. Pfft! The giant mecha was blasted with a huge gap and shook violently. Ha! I succeeded. Zheng Mu laughed wildly. Although he paid a heavy price, he won the bet. The control core of the giant mecha was severely damaged and temporarily lost its ability to move. Zheng Mu quickly came to the mecha's breastplate and removed it. That's right, he wants to seize the stellar core. Call. Zheng Mu grabbed the giant energy core and pulled it off with force. Buzz. A vast energy poured into the body along the energy core. Boom. There was a loud noise inside the giant mecha.